Look at me, I'm Donkey Kong. 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 <laughs> Alright, El Monster for two bucks. Show the why. Look at me, I'm Donkey Kong for a dollar. Look at me, I'm Donkey Kong for a dollar. Look at me, I'm Donkey Kong. <laughs> I've got 5,000 of these locked and loaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Rusty Cage, uh, he did like a Facebook Live thing where he uh, put the, the he uh, faced the camera down and then uh, let his guillotine go and played a sound effect. So he's, yeah. he's probably planning some series or another. Yeah. Look at me, I'm Donkey Kong for a dollar. <gasps> yeah, because apparently, from what I understand, people were freaking out thinking that he killed himself with a fucking guillotine, mm -hmm. which, eh, I don't nah. think so. In the video itself, it's like, why isn't there a blood splatter? Why isn't there this? Like, there's some stuff about it. Apparently, someone went to the effort of doxing him and, like, calling a wellness check on him to make sure he's okay, and yeah. apparently he is okay. Uh, look at me, I'm Donkey Kong for a dollar. Uh, Lulu, four for two bucks. Look at me, I'm Donkey Kong. Playing bongo. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> If you're playing Suicide Squad, I really damn hope you pirated it. <laughs> I think he faked it. Oh, he he 100 did. He's probably uh he's probably preparing something for his YouTube channel. Yeah, which would be pretty cool. Yeah. The fact he was willing to fuck with people like that, it's like you know what, that's respectable. Well, he's been building that fucking guillotine for like forever. Yeah. Like straight up like like a half a year or so. Yeah. Maybe more. Uh, do you see Scarl getting harassed by a Twitter mob for eating cake and her be being Niji and bent the knee and apologize? Yeah. She didn't bend the knee. She was told by corporate to bend. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah it, it was dumb. It was dumb as hell. Uh, what are we, some kind of Donkey Kong? <laughs> Chat, maybe maybe the real friends were the Donkey Kongs we made along the way. You ever think about that? 1-800 uh, taking some medals for two bucks. Look at me, I'm... <laughs> I, I was going to say, I don't know if that's supposed to be a bongo sound or a bang, bang. Okay, right, I'm starting to for two bucks. Look at me, I'm Donkey Kong. Clap, 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 clap. Uh... Fucking love cake. What bitches be bitching about cake? Uh, it was because she went to Starbucks and got some McDonald's. And according and, to people, they support genocide. Yeah. Uh, chat, don't you know McDonald's and Starbucks personally fund soldiers uh, killing Palestinians? Yeah. Good. Uh, sweet, bull, uh, sweet Pitbull Inc. for two hours. No, no, no. You're not allowed to play the Sweet Baby Slop. You can only play Asylum, City, or Origins. I'll bar you from playing this absolute <laughs> dog shit of a game. What about Night? What about Night? The best game in the franchise. Uh, Spaz Space Food for Dollar, uh, found out how to crop images on my phone, time to crop a dick into stupid people's mouths. <laughs> uh, also, don't you love it when you miss twice while fighting a boss and then he wipes your entire unit in SMT5? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alexander Castro for $5, uh, got all Berserk Deluxe Editions, and I'm starting to read them. Uh, safe to say I love, uh, I love and appreciate your Berserk vids, introducing it to me and others, keep it up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, for Dollar, Shota hung up after the death of his Oshi. <laughs> Chad, it's great. I don't have any Oshis. I, I'm a free man. I don't have to worry about Starbucks killing my Oshi. Uh, Mark99 for two bucks. Uh, sup, guys? Gotta grind a lot more. Uh, hell, a lot more in Helldivers 2. All my buddies are almost level 50 while I just hit level 12. A uh, reminder, both of you, drink some water and tell your parents you love mm -hmm. them. That's the thing, though. High-level players are fucking morons. Yeah. They, they are fucking ridiculous. Yeah. When you get into higher-level Helldivers games, you realize how many people just grinded the, the dumbest fucking game modes ever because they have no idea what the hell they're doing. Fuck Gotham Knights. Well, Gotham Knights wasn't Rockstar. The Gotham Knights was the people that made Arkham Origins, and it's separate from uh, from all the Arkham games. Yeah, we're talking about Arkham Knight. Yeah, we're talking about Arkham games, chat. Motherfucking Arkham. Uh, just got back from writing music. What do I miss? You guys see Rushia tried to kill herself? No, I didn't. All right, I gotta show. I gotta show a link. Our boy Winston is in the the quarterfinals. Oh, I thought he, this was gonna be for some money. <laughs> yeah, he, he is in the quarterfinals, and we, we gotta secure the Winston sweep. So I put the link in the chat. Winston sweep. Yeah, Winston sweep. Winston, Winston sweep. I, I I want to Lolly. I want to express my uh, I, I I I have I have gone out of my way. I have I have I have made amends with gamer subs. All right. I was willing to broker a deal on your behalf with gamer subs. All right. However, I about two months ago I put in a purchase for some gamer subs. And it has not arrived. It has not been shipped yet. They're they're holding it hostage at their facility, and I believe it is due to this. I got a, a flavor of gamer subs. I think it was mango something or something or another, and I got a tumbler. Okay. And I sat there. I, I I handed the phone to my mom because we were out shopping, and I was like, "Hey, just pick one of these that you like." And she picked the shy lily one. It was the one that came with her like her flavors and stuff. I was like, eh, "Okay, sure." And I bought that and I ordered it. So I think Shy Lily, the whore, is personally holding hostage my gamer subs 
That bitch owes me my gamer subs. <laughs> Uh, you have any interesting Alex, uh, Alex Keister allegations? I can DM the evidence Google Doc uh, against him to you. It's honestly comical how fake this shit is. No, no, I, I saw it was spreading around. As stated, I'm waiting on how he responds to it. I don't know who that is. The guy who made a Mandela catalog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, nasty Nate for 10 buckaroos. Dear God, why did you give me almost every good thing you could ever provide? Only to have the gall to give me a small pee-pee. Why do you torture me so? Uh, so I guess the Red Sonya reboot might be dead on arrival of the extra's recent statements. Oh, yeah, it's going to be shit. Oh, yeah, well, I don't I, I don't know why people uh, keep it getting excited for the reboots of stuff yeah. nowadays. Need to, need to let that shit peter out. Shall we cup missed? Apparently her flavor is coconut. Not going to lie, I kind of want to try that. I like coconut. Oh, God. Well, she has like four or five flavors or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Alex, who? Alex Keister, the guy who made Mandela Catalog, mm. a very popular uh, video series. Someone came out and accused him of being like a groomer and a rapist, and they have like a big Google Doc. But people are kind of going like, eh, this is kind of weird. It's kind of shady. Uh, I voted for Winston. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently they fired the X-Men 97 writer. Not just fired. He completely yeah. nuked all fucking social media. Yeah, supposedly he nuked all of his social media accounts and uh, has just kind of gone gone down low. Uh, Dr. Homicide for 10 Buck Ruse. I uh, had an idea for a game where you play as a cook for Death Row Final Meals. You can mess with the food to make them worse. You can also talk to the prisoners and learn their crimes and see them die. You know what? That would actually be interesting. Kind of like papers, please. It's like it's like papers, please. But you also have the the Shane not, not Shane Wozniak, but the the Shane uh song playing in the background. Yeah. Uh, it's not coconut. It's pretty much Baja Blast. Well, I stay there. There's apparently multiple flavors. I heard one yeah. of them is coconut. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say like whenever uh, the cup came with like four test flavors or something. Yeah. My God, man, you already killed Tori Allen by making Winston get to quarterfinals. Who else has to die for Winston? Which is the top anyone Everyone. who's necessary. There will not be a single VTuber left standing, chat. Okay, but Rusty Cage guaranteed himself, doubt it. No, he didn't. That's day. Apparently, he's okay. Uh, it was a week before X-Men 97 releases. Yeah, apparently, he's, like, something's going on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have any thoughts on Riona? Isn't that the blood fetish? Because that shit weird. Yeah, it's either, it's either like, uh, the killing fetish? I think it might be the killing fetish. Full on, Something like that. Full-on murder. Uh, do you think H content rots your soul? Anything rots your soul if you let it be an addiction. True. Or Valhalla but serving drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Shy Lily's Baja Gush. Well, that's the, doesn't she have multiple flavors? I was going to say the her tumbler comes with like four flavors, so I assume they're all hers. Uh, finished two uh, Vampire Hunter D novels. Going to get to the next two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's Rusty Cage again? He's the guy that uh, did the Knife Game song. Oh, yeah. He also did White Girls Fuck Dogs. He, He's a pretty funny guy. Uh, you see, Stone Tall supposedly got doxxed as some fat dude living in Texas. Well, I imagine so. Yeah, not just that. He is a Latino man in <laughs> Texas. So once again... Latinos are America's strongest soldiers. <laughs> they really are. They really are. Uh, okay, but Keister's releasing Mandela Catalog on VHS. That's kind of clever. It is. It's just... Uh, say, yeah, that's probably... Uh, what turned me off from him was him being like a major, oh, yeah, he, major asshole. He got uppity. He got uppity and was like talking about how like urban spook is a piece of shit and should be gone. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, don't don't fucking moral police horror. Yeah, and it's, it's that kicking the ladder down thing. It's yeah, the, I hate moment, that shit. the moment you get a get a chance to, you start going like, well, you know, uh, he's a piece of shit because he included. I I think it was like rape in his thing. Yeah, it was like a uh, rape. rape and murder. Yeah, rape and murder. Tell me, Stone Toss isn't Andrew Dobson. He was not Andrew Dobson. He was not <laughs> Smorky. All the theories were wrong. Stone Toss is a Latino with the most German name on the planet, so he's Argentinian. <laughs> Uh, Would you rather have 999 trillion Venezuelan Boliv- uh, Boulevard or 12 inch PP? What, what does my PP shrink down to if I take the money? Uh, Alex Keister allegation. As stated, someone put out a Google Doc saying, claiming he's a groomer, but a lot of people are also saying it's really fucking shady and mm-hmm. kind of relies on statements that are out of context. Like, there, there's some weird shit about it. Yeah. Cult Persona for 10 bucks. Uh, what's that, Lolly? Uh, you're willing to see the full story regarding allegations before coming to conclusions? Even with you not being a fan of the guy and his work? How dare you be a rational human being? I know, right? I think he's guilty. I know, right? I'm, 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 I'm taking the stance right now. Arthur Tomlinson, five bu- uh, for five bucks. I have a twit long, and I'm accusing all my lolly of, in fact, being from Kentucky. Slander. Fucking lies. Slander. We're sitting we're sitting happily on a couch in a, in a big old uh, three-story house in Indiana. Yeah. Complete Nato's Dungeon in Persona 4 Gold. Nice. Uh, Zodiac for dollar? Yeah, boy, this is why I'm here for the trash, baby. Trash. Uh, Marquez Square for two dollars. I'm shocked. Uh, I'm shocked that shock horror is shocking. Yeah. Yeah, right. Wolf Spain for two dollars. Uh, the more I listen to Brianna Wu, the more I hate her. Why are you listening to Brianna Wu? Yeah, massive fucking scam artist, dude. Uh, Zim Desper for fifty bucks. Uh, uh, some details about Jake Lloyd came out from his mom that are quite telling. Uh, one schizophrenia runs in his family on his dad's side. 
Uh, two, he left acting because of family reasons. And three, his mom kept him off the internet, so uh, he never knew about the hate. You know what? That's, That's good. good. That's good. Uh, Jeremiah Ombre for two dollars. Godzilla minus one wins best effects uh, at the movies. Yes. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Won best special effects at the Oscars. Oscars yeah. Uh, a couple for two dollars. I'm now 30 years old, and every bone is breaking. Yeah. Hashtag pain. Lawrence job for a dollar. Uh, hurry up and get a fucking gamer sub, uh, gamer sub sponsor so I can use your code instead of some other shitheads. Mm-hmm. Also, best and worst restaurant for Chinese steakhouse, uh, chicken and burger. Chinese always a local place. Mm-hmm. Steakhouse. Uh, I like Longhorns. Longhorns is good. Yeah. I haven't been to a Texas Roadhouse in years because every single one of them is like packed to capacity. Oh yeah, seriously. Uh, chicken. Ah. Mm. Uh, I don't know. There's Popeyes? not very many. There's not very many places that like uh, are really nice and upscaled that serve yeah. fucking chicken. Popeyes, maybe. <laughs> uh, burger, Five Guys. I like Five Guys a lot. Five Guys burgers and fries. Uh, spiral head face for a dollar. Uh, gun to your head, which uh, hollow girl would you force to take a shit down laxatives and eat out her ass? I pick Maury. You oh, are. No. You need an exorcism. You need an exorcism. You should feed those laxatives to the horse chat. Uh, media goes for 222. Hey, you fuck cucks. Uh, so what are we, some sort of Suicide Squad? If so, we should be in a Marvel, Marvel movie. <laughs> Chat, there's been two Suicide Squad movies in like the yeah. last... Oh, God. Maybe, I think that, I think it's been more than five years, actually. In the yeah. last like seven years, Chat. I respect Wendy going to back away as rape shouldn't, mean, uh, shouldn't be in horror thing and for Urban Spook and instead focus on other aspects that made it bad. Even though, I, I don't, I didn't like the, the mob against him. I didn't like that everybody all at the same time decided to shit on the guy. Oh, yeah. That, that, to me, felt way too much of oust the guy for not being in our club. Yeah. I hate that crap. I hate that crap to no end. Uh, for all I know, the guy's videos are bad, but it still is a thing of you all collectively don't have the right to judge who is allowed to be here and what's not. That's yeah. bullshit. Haiti has fallen. Millions will get fed to cannibals. Uh, what did people do to make them niggas hungry for human flesh? Uh, they're all morons, chat. Yeah, right. Uh, Plus another $50. Uh, I have Haitian timeshares to sell to SBI employees. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, got a vinyl player in the JoJo Part Five soundtrack yesterday. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw uh, I saw that at the at the store. I saw the Part Five vinyl. Uh, I, I love I love whenever uh, Trump said Haiti was a shithole, and then you yeah. had all those people coming out of the woodworks to be like, actually, uh, Haiti is amazing and fantastic. Yeah. I wonder how they feel right now. Yeah, all right. Ten days till Dragon's Dogma Two. You're goddamn right, Chat. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be good. Are Cole posters getting mad over DD2? Chat, they need to, they need to make some controversy. Yeah. Their, yeah. Their, their bills are coming up, chat. Every game has to be bad for some money. Yep. Reminder, these people want you miserable. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lawrence job for a dollar. Rihanna is just uh, beating, vomit, bruises, and sometimes blood. Goro is death, uh, gore, and mutilation. Oh, okay. Also, the Divine Loser Girl uh, tags are Jimiko, Mo- uh, Mojo, unkempt bags under eyes. Basically put... That uh, basically put that in to get Tomoko and Tomoko lookalikes. Also, e- Emojin Borogard. Emojin Borogard. Light side dark for 10 fake monies. You hate thee to see it. <laughs> uh, Ban him. Big Pussy Bench Bureau for dollar. So I just realized not H Bomber Guides and Bomber Guides. Almost like he was mostly projecting his trolls more, so his bread tube talking points. Also, SFL refused to take the L and other news. Sun rises in the east and sits in the <laughs> west. Yeah. Well, everyone already knew that about H Bomber. They, they 100% yeah. knew that about H Bomber. Anyone that knew his history was like, yeah, this guy's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, love that Godzilla minus one guys brought Godzilla toys to the Oscars with him. It was adorable. Yeah, they they seem like they are genuine fans of Godzilla. Yeah. They also had uh, all their shoes had like Godzilla on yeah, the heels. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Uh, Cole Pistol for two dollars. Uh, I'm a boomer. What the heck is a Cole poster? Rage Bader. Yeah, uh, Arkansas Ar- Control for two dollars. Haiti really went full wild wasteland. Oh yeah. I don't know why Adam and Citra bring on. We want to talk about Sweet Baby. All she does gaslight and light. Yeah, it's like yeah. fucking scam artist. Uh, fucking like, yeah. It's like a, a fucking scam artist that was right alongside Zoe and mm-hmm. Anita and trying to get the UN to censor the fucking internet. Yeah. That's on the character creator in Dragon's Glockma 2. It's pretty good. I liked it. Oh yeah, the the, the it, it is it is incredibly in depth. I'm so yeah. happy. I'm so happy they went from like preset shit and uh in uh, Dragon's Dogma to full on proper sliders, like fluid yeah. sliders. You can you can make literally anything you want. It's yeah. fantastic. Maybe maybe the best character creator ever. It is pretty damn good. It is pretty damn good. Uh, one complaint people have is that you can't make midgets anymore, which is sad. But maybe oh, yeah. they'll patch that in. Yeah. I was going to say, I know you can make short people. Yeah. Uh, but SFO said she's sorry. It doesn't fucking matter. It's a fucking scam artist. Don't fucking listen to these people. SFO is also friends with her. Yeah, it's like, are, are you fucking high? Mm-hmm. Him. Uh, Brianna, Brianna, who is reaping what she sowed? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like, it, it is the most, like, cowardly shit ever. It reminds me of, like, what was it, like, Chris Raygun's girlfriend was like, ooh, I want to talk to people on the right, and I then all... So. Yeah, and all, all, all she fucking did was turn him into a cuckold. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's not how these people fucking work. I want to talk to people on the right, so sit in the cuck chair. <laughs> uh, Takashi Yamazaki says he wants to make a kaiju battle movie because he thinks no one has done a serious movie that's a battle between two kaijus. Well, I mean, they've been teasing that over and over and over mm -hmm. again for the sequel. Uh, Biolante, baby. It really does seem like we're getting Biolante. I want some Biolante. It'll be fucking great. Uh, has Dragon Ball uh, 2's character creator compared to Black Deserts? Uh, whenever I was playing Black Deserts, uh, your character your character uh, is locked based on your class, so you can you can only customize like a pre made character depending on what class you are. Uh, so infinitely better because I'm not locked to a single fucking class. And Yamazaki wants to make a film that's a response to Oppenheimer's. That'll be interesting. Yeah. That could be cool. But then I'm worried, like, is he just going to do, like, a live-action Grave of the Fireflies or something like that where it's just about people getting bombed? It's like, I mean, obviously, Grave of the Fireflies was a different yeah, one. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that was the fire bombings. Dragon's like, two is shit now. No little people running around. Trashy-ass game. They're still little people. They're still little people. Uh, have you watched a podcast with Kier's talking about Bridge as much like Sweet Baby? Yeah, she's talked about Bridge before. They, they're they trying to rework ESG because it now has a literal stigma on Wall Street. Mm-hmm into bridge and i think one of them was like ssi they're trying to name it different things to get investors interested because investors pulled the fuck out of it because they're like everywhere we go with this crap we lose money yeah then dev try to get compromising info on jim possibly docking shit yeah, yeah i say he's a piece of shit yeah well dev dev does that fucking repeatedly yeah uh, the fact people haven't beaten his ass over it is uh ridiculous well, that's the thing. Like, people have repeatedly said over and over again, motherfucker, you lie. Motherfucker, you lie. And he's just so fucking stupid and pig-headed. Mm -hmm. You lie and repeatedly try to dox people. You're yeah. a bad person. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the whole thing with the Canadian truckers was like, oh, I'm going to show that there's violence on both sides. And people went, no, you fucking can't because that's impossible. Because, mm -hmm. no, that, that's not how that went down. Sat on it for fucking years. And then only recently after the government officially said, <laughs> yeah, we went too far and fucked people over. Sorry, Diego. Okay, now I might do the video because now I have the official opinion. Yeah. Then he canceled it because, yeah, it turns out you can't make both sides bad. Mm -hmm. Season two of Call of the Night's been announced. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's oh, gonna yeah. It's going to be good. Yep. We're going to get a vampire detective lady. Yeah. Uh, I'm out of the loop what's going on in Haiti. Actual full-on anarchy. Yeah, gang, gangs have taken over the country, and uh, the guy who's leading it right now is a, uh, a fucking gang member named Barbecue. Yeah, General Barbecue. Uh, and he eats people. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex Kister is a bad person, but the allegations are fake as fuck. I'm sure. Yeah, we yeah, already, yeah. already moved past it. We moved past it. Uh, name the guy I'm going to import into Dragon's Dogma 2, Jormungundr, because uh, I'm predicting a twist that this cycle the Arisen is the secret big world ending threat in some way. Mm -hmm. That could be cool. Yeah, well, I imagine it's literally just a, a, a redo. Yeah. Just a redo of the first game. Uh, It wasn't just that. Dev waited for ages, and then he said he wasn't making it because it was no longer relevant. Yeah, it's like the, the most obvious fucking, like, cuckoldy shit ever. Sweating. <laughs> Which, once again, wouldn't have been so bad if it wasn't one of the most egregious human rights abuses in fucking modern human history. Yeah. Uh, I think they could do Ultraman or Gamera in MonsterVerse. I still... Mm. Shin Ultraman was pretty good, but it leaned pretty hard into being fun cheese. Yeah, it's so, Ultraman. So maybe, like, Western Ultra Drunk Fun, maybe? Yeah. Uh, the new one they're doing with, like, Shin... Well, I say Shin, Shin. but I mean it was fucking Shin Godzilla. Uh, I, I think you could. I think you could. It just depends on how you do it. Mr. Skullface Garcia, five bucks. Uh, Director Godzilla Moss 1 said he would love to make a Star Wars movie. Yeah, he just seems like he's a genuine nerd, and he just loves oh, yeah. shit. Uh, Archive Star Control, two bucks. He's literally a Fallout Raider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fallout New Vegas literally had a guy named uh, Barbecue, if I remember yeah. correctly. Uh, w, uh, planning a trip to Japan for the first time. Should I go to Nagasaki or Hokkaido? We didn't go to either. We were in Kinchicho, and we went up to Mount Kinchicho. Fuji. Kinchicho. Kinchicho. Went to Akihabara, and we kind of went some areas around Akihabara. Akihabara. We went through. Uh... We went through Shibuya, but we didn't actually go up and. and uh, yeah, we we, do we didn't we we weren't able to actually walk around Shibuya. We were going we were going to, but we didn't get to. Yeah, it, it, it's really fun. It's a really nice place. Really nice place. Uh, Campbell Cow is called Cook Cook. Ah, damn, you're right, Cook Cook. Yeah. Uh, Quiet Rider for five bucks. Lolly, I went back and watched the Hogwarts Legacy video. How dare you make me look uh, look on the corpulent visage of Jim Sterling? Have a super as payback. It's important to burn those memories into your mind. Aka super for 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 memory. Yeah. Uh, as well as to try to do gay ops and cures from what's ousted. Oh, yeah. 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 As to, he, he does this shit repeatedly. Yeah, fucking faggot. <clears throat> shit. 
Uh, fuck is cuck is for all. SFL knows that Brianna Wu is also complacent on the suicide of the guy Zoe Quinn screwed over but doesn't care. Uh, also, SFO is harassing VTubers again, going after Kirsch and pulling out denial, denial, denial. Oh, yeah. Like, that's the thing. He'll, he'll probably try to accuse everybody of being, like, fanboys or simps because he's, he's fucking hated VTubers since they started. Mm -hmm. uh, no. It's because this is a fucking pattern of behavior he does time and time and time again. Yeah. Like, he, he absolutely fucking burned himself with the goddamn pick me thing, which was just egregiously him picking on somebody for no yeah. fucking reason. Like, literally no reason. It is, well, why do you care so much about VTubers? Oh, so you're going to turn this into about you so you can protect your fucking fag-ass tranny friends. Mm -hmm. Have you watched Shogun yet? And if so, what are your thoughts? It is really yeah. good. I've, uh, I've only watched the first episode, but yeah, it's good. It is I, I really it. good. I enjoy it. Yeah, I, I am enjoying it immensely right now. It It has completely avoided any dumbass fucking... Mo revisionism shit. If anything, they've actually been like pretty blunt with with a lot of the history and the relationship between everybody. Like everyone's calling each other slurs. It's fucking great. Yeah. Uh, so did you watch the short vid of a dude roasting a DBZ hater about Mr. Popo? Fucking uh, Weed Bro sent that in the in, yeah. in the group chat, and I was like, ah, yeah, Weed Bro's getting in on it. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think that I think that motherfucker worked for that was the one that worked for Sweet Baby too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, couple of for ten bucks. Dev's just uh, uh, using his VTuber rage arc to procrastinate on the trucker vid. Also, I knew most of that info from your SBI video, except for the baby ghost thing. And holy crap, uh, that's been a rabbit hole. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Well, like the the homeland security thing uh, has been known since 2022, and yeah. it's it's only just now getting traction. Cause hey, guess what? Uh, people give a shit. Yeah. Shocker, when when you're demanding seventy dollars from people for video games, they're gonna yeah. start looking into where their money's going. And we 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 were, we talked uh, extensively about about uh, this game, uh, Suicide Squad, before the, the yeah. stream even started. And I, I I'm very adamant of the uh, in the belief that uh, the whole sweet baby thing, it could have been circumvented for another like yeah. another one maybe two video game bombs. Yeah, it could have been circumvented if if the people who uh, at Rocksteady instead of Instead of sitting there and being really petty and arguing with people online and calling them names and saying that, you know, they're they're all they're all trolls and, and bad people. If instead of that, if they had just been transparent about it and been like, hey, guys, uh, we we, you know, obviously we didn't want to make a bad game. Uh, it, it did not perform to our expectations. Yeah. And we we apologize for what we put out. Uh, we will continue to be working on it. and they're transparent about how much they already had laid out. Like if they came out and said we already have you know, four or five seasons completely planned out. We have a way that we're going to uh, revise the game. Yeah. I, I genuinely believe the the whole Sweet Baby shit could have been put off for another two video game bombs because guess what? People wouldn't have gotten pissed off enough to, to be rubbing this shit all over the place yeah. uh, in everyone's <laughs> face to the point where even normies are like, oh, I'm not going to buy that game because everyone's saying it's bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, fucking Spider-Man 2 was able to kind of work past it by just ignoring ignoring the larger outburst mm -hmm. when, when people went, hey, yeah, why the yeah. fuck is there a Cuban flag instead of a Puerto Rican one yeah. in your goddamn protagonist's house and went, okay, we'll fix that. Because yeah. the, the actual game developers, for the most part, they kept their mouth shut and they let other people do the arguing for them. Yeah. Uh, James Rhodes, five bucks. Ever heard about the Department of Homeland Security back group coming to defend Sweet Baby Inc.? Seriously, can something not uh, be a fed up for fucking once? I just talked about that. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they've been known about since 2022. Yeah. You'll see the Tate brothers got arrested again. I laughed at Aiden Ross showing a message from Tate <laughs> saying they're going to leave the country, push the arrest forward. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, Big Pussy Ben Shapiro for a dollar. SFO had the actual balls to gaslight my ass and say there was no Jim versus Sargon. Despite me clearly remembering Sargon making an ass of himself yeah. during that whole debacle and Dev's rolling it. Oh, yeah, no, like that, that is just flat out lying. Yeah. Once again, he, he has just devolved into flat out lying about shit that people are like, dude, I fucking remember when that happened. I know mm. you're lying. Uh, do you know the creator designed Guts from Berserk? Uh, reached out and apologized to Sam Raimi, who looked too similar to Ash Williams from Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was scared because he went to go see Army of Darkness in theaters mm -hmm. and he was like, oh my god, that looks like Guts. And he was scared shitless he was going to get sued. Yeah. Personality for two dollars. Uh, no one would have been the wiser if SBI didn't spurg. Why, literally? It was, the, it was the actual developers that were spurging, yeah. Uh, for Suicide Squad, it was the actual developers that were spurging and, and yelling at people, yeah. Because hey, here's the thing uh, if you notice when, when Suicide Squad first came out, uh, the Cole posters were they were scrambling for all the wrong things, yeah. Because if you ever notice, they only ever talk about oh, well, it has a trans flag, it has this, it has yeah. this really surface level stuff that a normal person doesn't give a shit about, yeah. Uh, we, a normal, we said, person, a normal yeah. person sees that and they go, wow, you're a weirdo for caring about that. Fuck off. Yeah. Uh, the problem was it had it had issues that went deeper than that. And thank fucking Christ the, the developers made asses of themselves on, yeah. on Twitter and stuff. 
Otherwise, it would have just gotten brushed over. Yeah. We, we've said it before. Woke shit in a game is not what kills it. The woke shit is a sign of what's killing the game. Also, uh, chat, I want you to play a game. Uh, the, the normal trans flag, the, ignore that. Whenever you find the updated revised version of, of a trans flag, mark that down. Because the original, the original rainbow flag is not copyrighted. Yeah. The updated one is copyrighted. And every time that's in a game, they have to pay the guy that made that. Yeah. Uh, Porch for five bucks. Gamergate 2, if it's even a thing, uh, was over before it started. People started realizing journals are scum and the pro-GG reach is gigantic now. Well, I, I talked about it in the in the Saul video. Like, back in 2014, people didn't know for a fact game journalists slept on Blizzard sexually abusing employees. Yeah. Like, Jason Schreier yeah, opened Jason his Schreier, fat yes. fucking mouth and said, I was aware of rumors. And people were like, well, you didn't fucking report on that? No, as a matter of fact, he put him in a book. Yeah, he put him in a book and is trying to sell the book. And people are like, yeah. you are a massive piece of shit. Uh, on top of that, you also had shit like Naughty Dog crunching people left and right for Last of Us 2, and then Last of Us 2 getting the fucking biggest dick sucker yeah. in the entire industry. Yeah. Uh, you know, shit like that where people are like, Jesus Christ, you people are fucking scumbags. The rainbow the rainbow with brown flag? Uh, it's the one with the little triangle on it. Yeah, so yeah, it might have brown on it. Uh, A2 Rob for 10 bucks. Uh, sister and I are planning a trip to Japan, staying mainly in Tokyo. Any advice you could give uh, to someone who has never been to a non-English speaking country? Okay, uh, you are lucky because you are choosing Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they are very, very, very much willing to yeah. to help out, you know, non Japanese speakers. Uh, even even the ones that don't speak uh, English, which uh, a lot of them do speak English, even the ones yeah. that don't are are very very accustomed to motioning and using body yeah. language. Yeah, they they'll they'll take care of you. It'll definitely help if you'll learn even rudimentary Japanese. But if you have trouble clicking with the language, they'll watch. Didn't out help for you. me. That bitch ignored the fuck out of what uh, I she, was saying. She ignored the fuck out of you. No, no, I come in and clean. Yeah. Ma'am, don't make me hurt you. <laughs> yeah. uh, Xander Dawson, five bucks. Oh boy, time for some top tier writing. Also, do you guys have the TLDR on the whole Kirsch SFO drama? I say, right. it's not. Kirsch is only a tangential element mm -hmm. of it. It's just SFO by and large being a fucking retard. The, the only thing I saw was, was the post on Twitter where uh, I don't know who retweeted it, but someone retweeted it, and it was a uh, video of SFO quote unquote calling out Kirsch. I didn't listen to it with audio. I just yeah. saw I just saw it was it was a stupid fucking talking arms crossed avatar. Yeah, yeah, the PNG. <laughs> the PNG. Uh, and then Kirsch popped up in black and white, and I was like, oh god. And then yeah. I saw Kirsch's thing where she's like, hey, I don't know you. We we don't interact with each other. So why don't you go fuck off and yeah. uh, argue with people in your own circle? Well, I, as stated, when when you know the the kind of saga he's been on the last few months, you you understand that like. She was just a name he literally pulled out of a hat. He yeah. does not like VTubers in general. And has been actively working to find a low-cal VTuber he can yes. beat into the ground to prop himself up. That, that, that is why he's doing what he's doing. He tried it with Pikami. People ripped his fucking dick off for Pikami. Uh, he's now trying more indie people like Kirsch and, and is now also getting his dick off for getting his dick ripped off from that because mm -hmm. it's like motherfucker will you stop doing this shit? You keep doing the exact same fucking thing mm -hmm. every fucking time and it's just a different name. Nice name for five dollars. Good dog has been absolutely a molested in the last decade. A lot of times, uh, a couple percent for five dollars. But guys, I'll make two is amazing. It's the fastest selling remedy game. It sold 1.3 million uh, units. Ignore the fact that it hasn't made its money back. Oh yeah. And most games don't seem to make their money back anymore. Uh, here's the thing. From what I understand, Alan Wake 2 is just a good game, period. Yeah, uh, Arpro likes it a lot. Arpro, Arpro, Arpro likes it a lot, but Arpro also likes anything. Uh, yeah, he's just a, he's just a positive guy. Uh, now, here here's the thing. What Sweet Baby did have their hands in was making Saga. Yeah, making Saga her black. Anderson, yeah. Uh, making her black uh, and whatnot. And from what I understand, the parts of the game that most people are like, eh, I could, I could live without them are the Saga parts of the game. Yeah, they're, they're like, the parts they, that suck. Yeah, they, they don't play the way I like, and Saga's gimmick is dumb. Yeah. Uh, I look for two fake monies. Uh, tips on FF3 3D remake. Parties, uh, Monk, Warrior, Blue mage, yeah. red mage? Uh, monk, white mage, black mage, and red mage. I didn't see that first first little hat. Uh, if I remember right, FF3 did the job system, so you kind of want to have everybody do everything at least once. Uh, like a dragon these nuts for $5. Uh, VTubers are the western version of idols. Uh, does dumb really expect their fans not to rip them to shreds? Yeah. Yeah, quite literally. Yeah. Uh, dumbass never learns wasn't SFO all for the Harry Potter boycott. Yeah, as stated, yes. he he gunned after picking me, trying to like prop himself up above her and go like, oh, well, she could have just handled it better. Because he's, he's blatantly, like, you pay attention to him long enough, you understand he actually has a fetish for transgender individuals. It is an unironic sexual fixation with lady boys and transgender individuals. Go surround himself with them. Yeah, yeah. And he will actually shift his opinion to stay close to them. That's why he repeats literally any fucking talking point Lilith gave him <laughs> for a time. 
Uh, so when the Harry Potter thing came out, which was blatantly the trans people losing their fucking mind and saying, if you play this video game, you are literally murdering people and we have the right to do whatever we want to you. Uh, he had to go, well, don't you know my both sides bad in this situation? I was like, no, no, this is a, this is an egregious case of not every fucking side is bad here. <laughs> There's one very, very fucking bad side. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, Pick Me was the biggest figure involved with it, because Pick Me literally didn't do anything. She literally didn't do anything. She didn't even fucking play the game. Yeah. Uh, they, they also went back and tried to say Silver Veil lied about being harassed in docks, oh, which yeah. is full shit, because they fucking admitted to it. Uh, you know, this whole thing where... where they never did anything wrong ever. The person that's, you know, propping up as a victim is actually a piece of shit, that whole thing. And, and SFO's whole thing is, well, Pikmi should have just handled it better and, and called out the trolls and all that. And people literally explained to his fucking autistic ass over and over again, she is not a political streamer. Yeah. She does not milk outrage for profit. That is not what she fucking does. She's not you. She doesn't milk a fucking topic. She plays video games. Yeah, yeah. She she doesn't milk a fucking talking point to the end of fucking earth, okay? She plays fucking video games. She's meant to be a cutesy entertainer. It's like it's like saying, why doesn't Barney the Dinosaur monetize his haters? Because <laughs> why the fuck would he? Nobody should, though. Yeah, it's like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you fucking stupid? And yeah, obviously. Uh, I don't even like Silver Oak. She got hunted for playing a game. Yeah, yeah. it's like... It, Multiple people were. It, it was one of the most egregious cases of like, no, you people are just fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. eh. uh, worship Pippa, praise Pippa. No, disgusting, bad chat. Yeah, picking me, Henya just wants to play games. Exactly. It's like mm -hmm. not not everybody wants to get involved with this shit. Not everybody wants to be a fucking Twitter drama whore yeah. where they're sniping at each other in DMs, going, "Well, did you know this person said this?" It's like some people just want to serve their fucking audience. Yeah. I respect Silverville for standing up to those fuckers. Uh, yeah. Silverville didn't have any fucking choice. Uh, Barney has no haters. He loves everyone. Everyone loves him. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Oh, yeah, and Stone Toss got doxxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone Toss got doxxed, and he is a white Latino, proving once again that America's strongest soldiers are, are the Latin Americans. <laughs> Keeping this country held together. Uh, Creeper Weirdo for two bucks. He Anita's wedding theme birthday. I, I did. Perish. Uh, Culper's Eye for 10 bucks. Uh, I do like how Alan Wake 2's uh, writer tried denying SBI influence saga. Uh, and while I don't think Rimini consulted SBI to make her black, I 100% believe they consulted SBI to make her, her non-white. Oh, yeah, no, I, they, they 100% admitted to it they, at first. Uh, if, you, if you read the interviews they did for the game, they, they talk about making saga, and they're like, yeah, we had the character planned out, uh, but there's also the pre-release materials where saga was white. So yeah. at some point in development, they did consult SBI, and I guarantee SBI said, oh, we'll just make her black. Yeah, just make her black. So I, the gameplay elements that she has that are wrong, I don't think those can be blamed on, on Sweet Baby. But the yeah, fact no. that be, that post, uh, I'm sorry, uh, post showing where they first showed her off, she was literally, uh, had had a black skin grafted onto her. Yeah. I think that was a Sweet Baby thing. Yeah. Do you read Berserk physically? If not, I'm a bigger Berserk fan. Yeah. Yeah, I have the, I have the fucking Deluxe Edition books. They're yeah. awesome. Devil says he would vote for Biden because Trump tried to challenge the election <laughs> results and there were tons of evidence of honking. Yeah, he's a fucking Canadian. Yeah. I was, was going to say, every he, fucking his major doesn't Canadian, matter. He's not in this country. Every fucking major, you know, figure on the internet that's Canadian has been proven to be a fucking dipshit. Oh, yeah. Big push bench bureau. Chat. Big push bench bureau for a dollar. I'm, I'm just glad Ned Luke wasn't responsible for the kind of dumb shit in Alan Wake 2. I still won't play the game, to be honest. I also think Ned Luke could be a great writer for an LA Noir sequel. That won't happen, but I can dream. Yeah. 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 I'd love, I'd love an Alan Noir sequel. Yeah. Give I, it to someone that's not Rockstar, because they take 20 years to make each game. I think what kept Alan Wake 2 to just being, oh yeah, that came out instead of, holy shit, oh god, that fucking happened, is the fact that Remedy does genuinely care about their games. Well, uh, Remedy, Remedy cares about their games, for one, for sure. Uh, but the real big problem is horror games h historically don't sell very well unless they're big blockbuster titles. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, like Resident Evil and whatnot. Yeah. And sadly, enough time has passed that a lot of people genuinely I, forgot about I Alan see, well, Wake. Alan Wake, was, Alan Wake itself was never super crazy big. It was, yeah, it was, it was always a niche a title. Game. Yeah. Uh, so the fact that I, I don't know if its release did better than the original Alan Wake, but I'm willing to believe because because the market for video games has grown since the original uh, Alan yeah. Wake. That 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 1.3 is probably really really good in comparison to what Alan Wake sold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, Alan Wake too. Need more Alan Wake in it. The Herald of Darkness scene still stuck in my head. Yeah. Well, I, I like what they've been doing, uh, what Remedy's been doing with the live action shit. Fucking love that. Yeah, I, I, yeah that is it's great. Fantastic. It's great. Uh, didn't control sell really well or no? I, I don't know how well it sold. I think it sold okay. Yeah, it, it's weird. It sold worse than Alan Wake 2, which sold 1.3 million copies. 
but Ellen Wake 2's budget was fucking insane, so we don't know how much mm. that made. Uh, Matthew Pickard for two fake money. Sam Lake, not Ned Luke. What was I talking about? I, I don't know. It's okay. We all had that. We all have that. Now we're sure. Uh, now are we sure Stone Toss, uh, Stone Toss got doxxed because part of me thinks the Twitter left are just shitting out their ass once again. We don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say you, you'll you'll never know unless they themselves uh, own up to it. So uh, I'm digging through Alan Wake 2, and I'm 100 percent convinced Epic Games told Remedy to hire SBI for reasons. Also, SBI tried to move Herald of Darkness. Wow, that is stupid. Mm -hmm. That is stupid. Once again, showing that like it, you can't make art by committee, and no. SBI literally advertised itself as committee. You can't fucking. Uh, yeah. it, 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 it no good. It it will not. It will not mesh. Uh, so I suppose attack here today. Show declare jihad. As day, this is something he's been doing. Like yes. you know, this is not a new thing. This is just part of a larger spurg out. Uh, Couple on for two dollars. Uh, that now like two is stuck on the Epic Game Store. That also yeah. definitely does not help. Yeah, yeah, not gonna lie, I forgot about that part. So it's probably what got another year of exclusivity or something. Yeah, no one fucking uses Epic. Mm -hmm. Also, Alan Wake 2, 70 gigs. Uh, 70 gigs ain't shit no more. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't nothing. That's actually kind of reasonable now. Well, like, uh, I was going to say, like, Arkham Knight came out, what, seven years ago? Seven, yeah. nine years ago? And that, mother that motherfucker's like 50, 70 yeah, gigs Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what's worse about Jim Sterling, the voice of the visage. The visage. The visage. <laughs> he looks like an English woman, and that's the most insulting yeah. part. Uh, Stone Toss Dogs uh, fixed with the timeline of Hans going to Japan the same time frame as Stone, uh, Stone Toss did in 2019. Yeah, uh, that's that's honestly why like, I, I'll, I'll believe it is true, and I just think it's funny. I think it's funny that, once again, America's strongest soldier is a Latino. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Epic pays 80 to $220 million per exclusive. I, I, I imagine they play a, a fuck ton. Yeah. Because that was their entire strategy was we're going to we're going to bring the exclusivity shit to the online marketplace, which isn't a very good idea. But you're competing against Steam, which is where people have 99.9% .9 of their games library already. Yeah. So you need some sort of edge because you cannot just compete with them yeah. outright. Just look at GOG. Oh yeah, 100%. But like GOG's GOG's gimmick is is better than anything Epic could ever do, and that's hey we don't have DRM in our shit, and it still doesn't get nearly as much traffic. Yeah. It's funny how big of a fetish Dev has for trans people, considering every time he's seen one in a video, he has a visceral reaction to them. Oh, yeah, stay, he's, he's pretty tart. Our uh, SBI commies are socialist. All I know is they ruined AAA games this past two years. They're worse than that. They are just trend-hopping degenerates. Yeah. They, they they don't believe in anything. They oh, are yeah. just nihilistic California city people that are just hopping on whatever thing makes the most popular. Oh. That's why they can't write for shit, because they're not real human oh, beings. Yeah. They, are, they are the epitome of just the generic asshole you see in the background yeah. of a movie. They're, they're coal posters for the opposite side of the political spectrum. They serve yeah, the literally. exact same purpose. Quite literally. They, they, they're, there is no originality behind them. There is no spark of life. They they just exist. Uh, still waiting on Stone Toss thing to be another uh, op like Mombot did years ago. That'd be funny. Oh, yeah. It, it would be hilarious if it turned out that Stone Toss was, in fact, a black woman. I miss Mombot. Yeah. Mombot had the best posts. Apparently Lance Reddick was ready to play Mr. Dorn on Wake 2, but he passed away. Fuck! Damn, that that would have been dope. That would have been dope. Yeah. Hearing hearing about how Lance Reddick was willing to be in a ton of different nerd shit, oh, yeah. and he just died before he could, it's yeah. like, fuck, that hurts. Well, yeah, I also think, I think part of it is, like, once you get your, your foot in the video game door, uh, I think a lot of people really enjoy it. Because yeah. I, I think, I think, uh, I think there's something with video games that just offers a little bit more freedom. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. The SBI shit blowing up. Remember, if someone keeps posting, why do you care, respond with a period of triviality. You don't even have to do that. All you have to do no, is no. just show them the statement of the CEO going, yeah, we intimidate game developers. Yeah, I was going to say, doing the, that appeal to whatever, doing the straw man argument stuff uh, makes you look like an idiot. Yeah. Literally just show them the developer saying, not the developer, the CEO saying, yes, we force games to change. Yeah. Like, that's they, literally they, all you can do. I was going to say, it's literally, it's, people have the clip. Just pull it where she's telling the story, where she's like, yeah, we, uh, if, if, uh, if a marketing team doesn't want to let you in on a game, then you just tell them like, oh yeah, well what if they're, what if an outrage mob uh, came by and hated on yeah. your game, then uh, do you guys want to deal with that? Uh, a couple of extra dollars. Should I get uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 on Steam or console? Hashtag DRM sucks. Uh, I don't know what type of DR DRM they're using for Dragon's Dogma 2. It's probably the same shitty one they've been using. Uh, they said it's going to run at, at 60 frames on, on consoles, so I don't know. It's up. That, that's going to be up to you. Yeah. Uh, Dave's a game war for $5. So there's an active civil war going on in Russia. Uh, they've taken a few cities already and are actively working with Ukraine. Huh? Hmm. Holy shit. I, I know I know America issued uh, issued a uh, a no travel and a recall on Russia for yeah. U.S. citizens. And they said, "Hey, get the fuck out of there." There's terrorist uh, organizations active. Mm. Uh, Gog from the back hard. They could have uh, been the game store to preserve ancient games. And they just fucked that up. Yeah, that is sad. Yeah. Also, in case y'all missed it, Oshino Coast tourists are once again spurging out because this was at the end of the latest chapter. Uh, Yosogo no Soya rises again. <laughs> 
Chat, chat, is that true? Can someone uh, chat pull up pull up Google? Uh, can you confirm? Uh, is Russia is Russia currently falling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another civil war in Russia. I can't wait. I can't wait for it to go. Don't you terribly. love the world collapsing into fucking flames? We got another ten good years in America, boys. Oh. Savor it. Uh, what do you think of Ned Luke gave you a shout out? Oh, Ned Luke is chat. Holy shit, it's real. Chat. Oh my god, it's true. It's hundred percent true. I, I just pulled it up, man. It's true. It's hundred percent true. It's all gonna be gone. <laughs> <laughs> All of Russia, man. It's all going to be gone. Also, Covercore Hull Labs company is opening a branch in L.A., California, and people, uh, I see people cold posting over that, and I don't know if the worry is justified. We do not know. Yeah, you, you, We you just know. don't know. Because on one hand, it's like, oh, well, they're just opening a company. On the other hand, you remember Sony. Yeah, Sony. Uh, the ghost of Kiev. The ghost of Kiev. He's infiltrated Russia. <laughs> just rip the band-aid off at this point. Yeah. Uh... Remember the coup last year? Uh, Putin's Putin's already dead. <laughs> They've just been deep faking him into all all yeah, his I know, videos. Yeah, right? I know, right? The reason the African president felt so comfortable sitting down first in front of uh, in front of Putin is because he wasn't there. <laughs> Still remember that The Walking Dead used to be one of my favorite comics ever. Uh, the ending, uh, uh, the way has an ending that's basically Rick saying socialism is. Dude, you fucked that up. Socialism is. Is there a uh, is there a, a character limit on YouTube? I don't know. Mark Cave's got to have two bucks. Also, congrats, Grimdark have uh, made him uh, a shout out to. You. Yeah, yeah, you cool guy, cool guy. He's the guy that does uh, Conan lore videos. I, uh, I shout him out when I made a Conan video. He's a pretty good guy. Nice. Pretty good. Tucker interviewed a hologram that taught him ancient history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lance, uh, Hendrickson is a legend, like Michael Bean, uh, Bill Paxton. Yeah. Uh, Stone Toss is brown. Yeah, he Latino. Yeah, Lolly. Stop putting it off. Yeah. Okay. Stop putting it off. Okay. They came here for good shit. Good Kino. <sighs> Boss, get down. The enemy sniper. Yo, get 180. What does that mean? Uh, Blackrock, Blackrock literally lost another $1 trillion, uh for ESG. We winning, boys. Oh, they got plenty of money left. They own, they, they own a lot of property, man. Yeah, but losing trillions ain't nothing to ignore. Mm -hmm. uh, Eco for dollar, hail lolly, oh fucking gas, titties want to poop on Dev's front porch. Also, have you seen the new Pizza Tower update? I'm not. Is it good? Is it fun? Yeah. Some Mexican guy for dollar, hail lolly, from old Mexican watcher last uh, 8 de marzo uh, during Women's March. A leftist radical uh, feminist kept harassing and destroying shit. They harassed a delivery guy yeah. when he defended himself against them. He got jailed in the video call it, uh, and his video edited out. Oh my god. Yeah. That's fucking fucked up, man. All right. Well, we will. <sighs> okay. A saga for only two a bad character. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't. Seem, she doesn't seem that bad. It's just her gameplay segments don't seem very good. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. F's in chat, boys. F's in chat. I was gonna say you forgot to deactivate the, the gato. Forgot. Oh, forgot. <laughs> chat stream over. Stream over. Go home. Okay. Stream over. Okay. Wrap it up. 234 dead at the Russian border. At the border? Yeah, we're doing it. Uh, somebody had a 4chan post about how there were plans for an actual fucking airport shooting to cause civil war in Russia. Did it actually happen? Wait, were they going to pull a, a reverse no Russian? I, I, I guess so. Were they going to pull a yes Russian? Yeah, because it's like... Holy shit! Because <laughs> if so, like... Listen, okay. okay now Listen. I'm confused. Now I am confused. Listen, chat, okay? I don't approve of starting civil wars in other countries, especially in superpowers. Yeah, it's like... However... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 So, yeah, we, we are actually playing the Suicide Squad. Remember... Only Russian. Do you want to give some context on how you acquired the Suicide Squad? Same motherfucker that got me the Avengers game got me this. I think he just wants to fuck with me. Yeah. So, no money was purchased, or no money was used to purchase this game. Uh, we have no desire to put money down on this game. No. And when I... I, don't, I was going to say, I, 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 I don't know if you can refund a gift code yeah. or not. But I should have thought about that. However, I've already put time into the game. Yeah. So, 
I guess the best way to describe it is when I came in and asked you about the game, you said you had notebooks worth of complaints. I've got notebooks worth of complaints because I, I care I care less about the, the writing being bad because that is like a, a continuous issue in modern games is like writing is just mad to bad. Yeah. Uh, Macho Levi for 199. Oh, yeah. Enjoy Boomerang's fat man meat. You dig it? Hey, he, he was blessed by the gods, chat. He, 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 was, he was blessed by the gods. Uh, I, I, I care more about the gameplay issues, which is for the first entire... You know, the actual thing you're fucking playing? Yeah, yeah. For the first, like, 15 to 20 character levels, the game's not fun to play. It's just not fun to play. Uh, Ermentaro Ariolo for nine ninety nine. Lolly, go back! Anything with this? Too late, chat. Too fucking late. Uh, but, uh, like, yeah, for, like, the last, first 15 to 20 character levels, the game's just not fun to play. They need to reshuffle... Uh, some of the character stuff around because uh, I, I think like the skill you get for, for reaching level 30 is the equivalent of a team ultimate. For reaching max level with the character, you get a team ultimate. Hmm. Uh, a couple of for two dollars. Me. Oh man, I hope they stream Unicorn over... Oh, we will never stream that game chat. We will yeah. never stream it. Never ever. Uh, the the uh, Probably one of the biggest... Uh, oh my god, that is so yeah, limp. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is so fucking limp. One of the biggest issues with with uh, the game at large is the characters, the, the differences between them are largely just cosmetic. They all play exactly the same, with the only real difference being their traversal. Uh, Deadshot by far has the best traversal in the game, with Captain Boomerang being a close second. Uh, Harley Quinn and, and King Shark are fucking unplayable. Oh wow. I hate them. They make me miserable. They are awful. Uh, so you, there's no no reason to play any other characters uh, unless you like the way that, that they traverse the map. Okay. Um, the monster L monster for two dollars. It has begun. Let's get dangerous. Did I seriously need to be stopped in place just yeah. to fucking do a jetpack menu? Yeah. You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. Uh, Freddy A for five bucks. I'm happy this game's burning. Once I heard that, uh, what's the what's the game company called? Fat Baby Inc. Put uh, put those grasses on. Struggle Lolly Boy. Yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah. Uh, God knows we spent three hours talking about them. Yeah. So uh, that's actually something that once again we we kind of want to bring it back to. We're like, the the problems with this game, in, involving Sweet Baby, are actually kind of minimal. The the writing being cringy is like one tenth of the problem of the game. Yeah. The the very the the fun the very fundamental foundation this game is built off of doesn't feel very fun until you've sunk way too much time into it yeah and honestly chat i don't know if it's fun or if they fucking brainwashed me i don't know if it's one of those things where you just play a game for so long that you're like oh no it's not that bad yeah yeah no, it's, it's, not, it's not that once you once you reach level 20 come on man it's not, it's not that bad man just just reach level 20 just, just reach level 20 man uh turn around oh, okay you gotta kill, you gotta kill those enemies. Oh, uh, Creeper Weirdo for five dollars. This game has Kevin Conroy's last performance. It's not gonna be his last one. He's gonna, he's gonna show up in one other game. Yeah. Uh, it's a so bad uh, games like this is why uh, calling things woke is still a, a legit criticism. Well, that, that's the thing. You don't call shit woke because normal people look at you and go, "Are you stupid?" Uh, you criticize the game uh, for what it is, and God knows there are pages of shit to criticize about this game, and fucking none of it is the is the quote unquote woke shit. Yeah, like that. That comes at the end of my complaint list, and and it's like it, it is just desperation for attention. Yes, a uh, hundred, a hundred fucking percent. Like they're they're the gameplay is what you need to complain about because at the end of the day, that's what actual that's what actual normal people care about. It's yeah. It's all right. Well, I'm paying seventy dollars for this. How's the game? Yeah. And it's well, it plays it plays like shit. There's uh, this game was in development for seven years, and there's less than twenty four hours worth of content in the game, which is insane. They promise there's going to be more content, but they haven't been transparent with people. Yeah. Uh, it has it, the 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 Steam charts have topped out at like two thousand players. Uh, that's terrible. It sold like a million a million copies on that, Steam. That, that is as bad as Guilty Gear Strive, which has been out for mm -hmm. fucking years. Yeah. Uh, it fucking. It, it, it sold like a million copies on Steam, uh, and if you just want to be even-handed, then you go, okay, so let's just say it sold a million copies on each platform. So that's three million copies total. Uh, they want this game to have a minimum of 13 seasons of, of, of uh, live service content. It is not going to get that at this rate. No. There needs to be some major, 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 major course correction. 
that that's why I say if they uh, ha had handled the release of this game better, if they had put a muzzle on their developers and told them, uh, be nice to people, don't don't make an ass of yourself online. Just shut the fuck up. I think this game could have could have uh, skirted by and prevented the the sweet baby uh, uh, explosion for like another yeah. two game crashes. Uh, call first time for two bucks. Warner Bros. Hogwarts or uh, or Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad wins. Suicide Squad wins, baby. Uh, just saw Dune two, uh, Dune Part two with Marisu, and it was really fun. Uh, it was really good. And the last fight was fun. Nice. Opening scene reminds me of Death Stranding. Uh, also, I kept making a joke that Marisu was jealous of Zendag and the kiss uh, Timothy. <laughs> it, it does look really good. I I do want to go see it. I keep hearing it is fantastic. Chat. Why do girls like Timothy Chalamet? I don't I don't understand it. This game still would have tanked. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. okay. it's, it's, people are also getting tired of live service games. Yeah. Li uh, yeah. That being it, said, bad live service games. Look at Helldivers. It literally just released. It did fucking gangbusters. It's still a massive fucking game. And, and it's a live service game. The The difference is, like, this game's not fun to play. Uh, uh, Helldivers is fun to play. And yeah. a lot of... Uh, you, you, could, you could put a lot of that on the fact that they copied wholesale, like, movement mechanics and shit from, from Metal Gear Solid Five, Like, hook, line, and sinker animation, oh, yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. And that's uh, just a fun game to pick up and play. This game just doesn't have that. It doesn't yeah. have that until the second half of the game. And they want you to rope your friends into playing it. They want you to have your friends put down $70 for an incomplete game at release. Yeah. It's only been out a month, and I'm pretty sure it's on sale on multiple platforms now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, th I think I, I saw it was on sale. And the, the game released without... It, it is a live service game. Uh, what, what is it called? Uh, Helldivers released with the Battle Pass content available at release. Yeah. They have not finished the first Battle Pass chat. It has not been released. It will not release for like another month. The game yeah. came out... It was in, in development for seven years. Came out completely unfinished. Yeah. And that is insane to think about. Oh, boy. He, he gets three of those. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Uh, we'll spend for $2. Uh, have you guys seen The Gentleman? It's pretty good. Very good movie. Very oh. good movie. But yeah, like, uh, uh, another big problem with this game is just the fact that, like... He's an average Frenchman in Algeria. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, the the big problem with this game is just the fact that it's, like, it, it feels so fucking floaty. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel very good to play. Like, uh, I have a goddamn minigun, and it does not feel like it has any impact. Well, uh, the, the, that, that is the core problem. Uh, whenever you get to the actual mechanics that the game has to to offer you in the fucking post game, that is when the game becomes fun. Okay. Oh you have to beat the game. You have to finish your character skill tree. That's why I say the skill tree needs to be reversed. Yeah. Uh, because once you're once you're like in in the post game content, then you're doing stuff like uh, you're you're sw you're doing melee. You're doing your main weapon. You're swapping to your secondary weapon. You're juggling with your grenades. You're, you yeah. got like five different status effects going on and it, it's fun to keep on top of that stuff but it requires you to beat the game yeah it, it, it requires you to get to the, the post game content 90 percent of your time it feels like in the game is spent just traversing metropolis and after you've gone after you've gone through your first uh run through of metropolis it's just kind of there it isn't yeah, it doesn't yeah. feel like arkham city or arkham asylum where, where, it where just it's has alive that, yeah. has that staying power to it uh it, it, it's funny you say you, it doesn't feel alive because it has something that those games don't where the changes for those maps were relatively minor the map in this game tr uh, it completely changes okay it completely changes throughout the game uh, which is cool but it doesn't really fucking matter yeah I, I, I like whenever you first open it up and you you traverse the city you look at it and you go oh this is this, this is pretty cool because they did a just like what they did with um, uh, Arkham City they tr uh, they translated the art style of the animated series relatively well. Yeah, okay. like like they, they they did that pretty well. But it's just not it's not fun. Yeah. it's just not, it's not very it's not very entertaining. Uh, Blue fifty six two fake money. By the way, Guilty Gear Strive is less than two K actor players. Yeah. At least that has the excuse yeah. well, of it's also it's, a fighting game. It, it has the excuse of it's been out for years. It's been yes. out for years. Yep. So it's like yeah, no sense. You'll have you, no shit. You'll have player drop off. Mm -hmm. This came out like a fucking two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, well, spam two bucks. I'm talking on the series set in the same universe. Is it out? I thought that show was. I, I thought that show was still coming out. I want to go. I, I want to watch it. I think it'll be yeah. great. But right now, I'm also watching Shogun, and Shogun's fantastic. Yes. Remember how Monolith Productions making that Wonder Woman game? Can't wait to hear the person is that the studio will die afterwards. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I should have played Guardians of the Galaxy instead of this and be what this game's trying to be. Yeah, I heard the Guardians of the Galaxy game is not as bad as what you would think. Yeah, well, it's also not a live service game. That it's, is like, true. it's like it's a self-contained thing. 
Mark nine after two bucks. Why this game? I was expecting another XCOM two stream. Cause you you, never, you guys you guys need to hear you guys need to hear how shit it is. You will never receive XCOM two for the third time. One of my friends is ranked number one squad on Suicide Squad on console. Him and his other friend group unironically like this slop and can't see how shit mm -hmm. it is. Oh, give it time. Give it time. Yeah. Uh, Burp for five bucks. They did it. They made a worse looter shooter than Vanilla Destiny two. Jesus must be coming sometime soon. Okay, Captain Boomerang is just Captain Boomerang's fun to play. <laughs> Yeah, it's like that's literally just a fucking dash. That's great. Yeah, it's it's just a dash. Like your two characters are this. Uh, uh, Deadshot has the best traversal in the game because he just flies. Yeah, just jetpack. And Captain Boomerang is just relatively fun because his his button presses are are fun to manage. Yeah, it's like that's cool. Uh, Harley Quinn is miserable, and I don't like playing. I don't like playing King Shark. King Shark was weird. That, that that's why that's why. Uh, so oh, hang on. Uh, like a like a dragon, these nuts for five dollars. Uh, saw a tweet like you view a GG player's bio and it's about gender or something. You see a tech player's bio and it has their portfolio. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so that that's something that this game has going on. Um, it has balancing issues all over the place, and I, I was complaining a little bit about it before the stream started. But something I didn't bring up is uh, they have kind of a they have an incentive for you to not just play one character the entire game. Yeah. And that is a mechanic called psyched. Now, whenever you you can go on to missions on the overworld and a character will be psyched, that, that's the game going, oh, if you go on with this character, that character gets uh, double the experience, they do double the damage with all their weapons, they get all their meters fill up uh, twice as fast, and you go, oh, that's cool, I should probably do that. The problem is, the only incentive that you really have sitting around the table is those bonuses. Um, yeah. By those bonuses, I mean doing the double damage and stuff, because the experience multiplier has got to be something like 10%. It is non-existent. My God. To the point where I, I I got rewarded for it twice in a row. Said I don't like playing these characters. There's no reason whatsoever for me to play anyone other than Captain Boomerang. And then proceeded to not play anyone but Captain Boomerang yeah. for the rest of the game. Because why the fuck would you? He's also like, he's one of the only characters that I uh, like writing wise that I enjoy. Yeah. Because uh, uh, Deadshot has has these moments where they they want him to kind of come off as a straight man. But they want him to be the straight man that they, they make the butt of jokes multiple times to the point where he doesn't, he's no longer the straight man. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the straight guy, but I'm afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of enclosed spaces. I'm afraid yeah, of yeah. water. Uh, Aram, $13, $13, $5. Uh, look at Payday 3. That game is less than a year old and has less than 1K players. The game isn't woke. It's bland and incompetent. Yes, yeah. uh, Payday 3 has so many other issues with it. Uh, but, yeah, it is also a, a rather dog water game. Uh, wait, what's going on in Russia? What's happening? What did I miss? Don't worry about it. Civil War. Oh, We're talking worry. about Suicide yeah, Squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Suicide Squad is more important than Russia, I promise you. Uh, Dark Thomas, I have two bucks. Destiny, uh, Destiny 2 has problems, but it does play well. It, it does have it. Uh, I, I don't I don't like the single-player content of Destiny as much as I like the, the multiplayer, but yeah. 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 Uh, War Thunder is selling digital vehicles for seventy five bucks, and Paradox sells basic game features twenty five uh, piece. The shit's only going to fly for so long. Yeah, but I said yes. jumping the price of games up to seventy dollars is going to have a lot more consequences for companies than they than they ever want to admit. Yeah, not everybody is a fucking you know NBA two K you know purchaser. Even yeah. those games are right now kind of dealing with an issue where players are kind of going like, well, why the fuck am I buying this? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's this thing where like they they don't understand that right now people just do not have the money to to justify these purchases and they really don't yeah they they, they don't want to play something that's either going to be fucking broken and doesn't fucking work mm -hmm. or or is only out for more and more of their money yeah like i mean say what you want about uh yeah. you gotta let go okay yeah it's dumb shit yeah. say what you want about hell divers having having a little cash shop it launched at 40 dollars it launched at 40 dollars and the cash shop currency can be earned in game in game and not yes. small amounts yeah uh now uh, juxtapose that with this where this does have a cash shop it has a cash shop it is all cosmetic items of course um the classic outfits are locked behind the cash shop so if you want classic harley quinn boomerang whatever yeah. the fuck you you need to pay out of pocket for it uh there's no way to earn that currency whatsoever yeah yeah uh especially without the fucking battle pass being available yeah you, obviously yeah you have to buy it yeah uh, XYZ Noon for two bucks. King Shark's jump looks like Saxon Hells for TF2. <laughs> God damn it, chat. It all comes back to Team Fortress, doesn't it? Uh, the Iron Fist of Democracy is truly an Iron Fist. 
Yeah. Can't I'm, get around it, chat. I mean, right now, right now, Helldivers 2's biggest problem is that there's so many people playing it, it's fucking up the servers. Yeah. They're, they're also doing one thing where, like, Sweat Lords are kicking people left and right, but every yeah. fucking, every fucking game I was gonna say, every game shit. deals with that, and they're actively reaching out to their, uh, another major thing, uh, to compare, yeah, to compare, she, she just has, uh, Batman's traversal system, but slightly more improved because you can get farther with it. Yeah. Uh, but she was missing a cape, so she sucks. Meh. Yeah. Um, you, uh, you, you look at it like this. The first month this game released, the only thing you saw from people was uh, developers uh, being unprofessional online, and uh, the reveal for the for the Joker for for like the Battle Pass one. And Season nobody one. was impressed with and the Joker. No one liked the Joker's design, so like no one's gonna come to the game for this. You need to have cool character designs to, to draw people to your game. Yeah, that is. Fighting games have been doing that for years. It's that, literally that is, what they're built off of. Yeah, that, that is what they're built off of, is, is cool-looking characters. I don't understand how we, we don't have that anymore. Uh, people people are interested, so they're not gonna they're not going to come for the Joker. Yeah. It's just, that is what it is. But they've been completely silent about it until, like, just recently, where they did a dev stream, and they're like, yeah, we're not, we're not going to push out an update until the first season of Joker comes out. Yeah. Uh, or the first season comes out with Joker. Uh, I gotta say, the movement, gunplay, and level design reminds me of Saints Row 4. The game considered the third, fourth worst in the series. Yep. Well, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I, what I thought when I first saw it. Sunset Overdrive. They want to do mm -hmm. Sunset Overdrive meets Destiny. But it's a million times worse. But it's a million times worse. We're doing Captain Boomerang. He Captain is the Bo only one that feels fun. Yeah, he's also max level, so... Uh, okay, you'll, you'll, we'll you'll, you'll, be to, you'll be able to fill the... Fill the yeah. Oh, maybe they de-level you for, for story mission. I don't know. Do uh, y'all hear that Halo MCC is dying like Master Chief Collection? Is, like, oh. Are they taking the, the servers offline or something? That sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, so a little pace for two large. So where's the trans right sign? Yeah. Uh, is that, the, is that the, like the, the beginning of the game? Whenever you yeah. leave the Hall of Justice? Uh, or, or, yeah. Okay, that's weird. Yes. So there's a lot of gameplay design decisions that I don't like in the moment moment, moment gameplay. So you have, a, you have a shield and health, of course. Yeah. Um, that does not... Uh, it doesn't recover. In order to get it to recover, you need to uh, use your melee to break shields. So, think about it like this. It is somebody who didn't understand fundamentally why the different uh, sub-mechanics in Doom Eternal worked. Yeah, yeah, it's that they, classic thing. And they copied them and made them fit into their game. And it just kind of breaks up the flow flow of the gameplay. Because whenever I'm playing, I, I, I literally just play in a way that m makes it where I don't have to interact with that that type that part of the game yeah well, well having it be a thing where you have to aim in order to shoot feels weird not having a blind it, fire is fucking it, weird yeah it, that, that that you get used to that that is just a weird decision i i don't know if i can consider that just a bad game design though yeah yeah that is just, just kind of a weird decision it's awkward yeah yeah uh but yeah like the the counter shot mechanic is something that i found to be annoying because there are boss fights that use it like the uh oh god I think every boss uses the uses the mechanic in it. Okay. Um, but for something like the Flash, it was more of an annoyance than it was uh, an actual difficulty curve. Yeah. It, it, like I was I was doing it, and I was like, ah, can you just fuck off? Just just fuck off, please. Ugh. Fuck three four three. Fuck three four. Fuck three four three. So there's not even much point to use the the counter shot on regular enemies because you can just like fucking melee them. Yeah, uh, that's usually what I ended up doing because uh, it takes long enough that you can just get the melee out of the way. Yeah. And usually, whenever you break their armor, uh, you pop them up in the air and you deal more damage. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, literally that. Uh, oh yeah. So you okay? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, Batman is the biggest problem. Batman not existing. Uh, the, uh, Batman is nowhere near the biggest problem. The, this game's writing is is nowhere near its yeah. biggest problem. Uh, it's yeah. gameplay. It, gameplay is the, the biggest The shit problem. you're going to be doing hour per hour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the the writing is bad, but it would not have saved the rest of the game. Yeah. You know, the the, the writing is only really there to, to make it even more annoying. Yeah. Uh, well, like, uh, a lot of the stuff people, people are complaining about with the writing... Are, are things that just kind of feel like they're uh, they're kind of done. I don't know. They're kind of done soft-handedly. Yeah. Like they kill the Justice League, but there's stuff in the game that implies that the, these aren't the the real Justice League. Yeah, this League. is just this timeline's version of the Justice League. Well, no, they, they... not even that. It, that uh, they're clones of the Justice League. So. Oh real, wow. Okay. Real... So yeah, they're not even sticking with their gimmick. Yeah, the real Justice League might be might be out there somewhere. Uh, might be like on Brainiac ship somewhere in another yeah. universe. Uh, so, you know, like, you never, you never know. Uh, 
I don't know how that's going to affect Kevin Conroy's Batman. Yeah, because, yeah. Because, like, if they did at some point in time in, like, a different season, uh, want to bring back the Justice League members. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a fucking problem. Yeah, Batman can't come back. Yeah. Or, or you're going to have to get someone else to voice him. If you were going to do it, I, I don't know, maybe get the Arkham Origins voice actor. But, yeah, maybe. Uh, because you really... You really don't want that to be the actual death of Batman in your universe. Yeah, yeah seriously. Like, you don't want the only character that wasn't a clone to be Batman. Uh, you have 100 bucks, uh, but it's too much for me to pay 70 bucks on something that looks and plays mid, let alone the possibility that those servers will commit seppuku. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, it is an always online game. So you, even though I've only played the game in single player, uh, if you ha if you drop internet connection or anything like that, you yeah. just lose whatever you were doing. Yeah. Uh, Halo Kid 4 for 5 bucks. You hear Homeland Scares Against Gamers now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they did, uh, Take This, which is a non-profit company funded by the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, alright. In the legs? Really? Yeah, you, yeah, you hit him in the, you have to hit him in the legs, and then you press R2. That's retarded. And that's how you recover shields. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a non-profit, uh, funded by the Department of Homeland Security and all that shit, and they, they are rushing to sweep baby's defense. The interesting thing yes. about that is... People found out that companies like Sweet Baby, which are, there are multiple, there's a lot, yes. lot more companies out there than just Sweet Baby. That's why, once again, you don't you don't want to focus just on Sweet Baby, because uh, they are just one part of a much larger issue. Uh, but they are straight up funded by the what was it, Ministry of Art? Uh, that is literally the Ministry of Art for the fucking Canadian government. Mm -hmm. So the Canadian government are also responsible for this because Sweet Baby's Canadian. Mm -hmm. uh, they directly get those grants. They're funded by Baby Ghost, which Baby Ghost is also in bed with that. Yeah. There, there's a lot of shady shit going on. Uh, why are you playing the uh, Espartan Infi game? <laughs> the the Espartan inf Infant game. I don't I don't know what you're fucking talking about. No, I, 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 he's trying to do shorthand for like Sweet Baby or some shit. Uh, at first, I thought Brainiac was going to switch between Justice League members' powers for each phase and mix them together. Then I remember how lame and gay the rest <laughs> of the game was. So, I, I, I thought so, too. So, the final boss is, is Brainiac, and you get there, and you're, and you're like, oh, so they're going to... Like, there's only five, four or five boss fights in the entire game, so yeah. you're expecting a unique boss fight. And Brainiac transforms into the Flash, and you just do the Flash's boss fight again with, with ads. And that's literally it? It's literally just that. He's, like, slightly more annoying than the Flash because, A, you've got ads, and, B, I think he actually yeah. moves faster than the Flash. Okay. So that is screaming that the other Brainiacs you fight are going to be are reskins going to be, of, yeah, of the Justice League. Yeah, they're going to be League. either reskins of the Justice League or they're going to add new mechanics, new characters yeah. to fight as you go through, which would make sense. A man died for two companies, Chad. They are able to get away with murder. Yeah, yeah. Alec Holica. I can't believe Alec Holica because he's dead. Hey, listen, Chad. A Night in the Woods is a damn good game. Pirate yeah. that fucking game and play it. I enjoy the fuck out of it. Uh, this game is like if you threw a shit version of Sunset Overdrive and the modern Battlefront games into a blender with minimal millennial humor Borderlands games. Yeah, yeah. very true. Uh... Here's the problem. I, I don't. I don't have like a major problem with a lot of the moment-to-moment -moment character writing. Like I said, uh, I don't like two of the four characters. Yeah. I don't like Deadshot's writing, and I don't like Harley Quinn's writing. Uh, I also don't like King Shark's writing, but that's because they they essentially tried to make him Drax from Guardians yeah. uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and I just don't like Drax. I, I don't like that version of Drax. I think he's dog shit. Uh, so I'm just not gonna like him. But I understand that there's a lot of people that do like him, and that's what King Shark is. He's just Drax. Uh, Captain Boomerang, he has a lot of funny moments. Like the only the only genuine entertainment that I have gotten in the game has come from Captain Boomerang. Yeah, it, it seems like Boomerang all around is like the best part of the game. Yeah, uh, he also does a fucking bang up. His voice actor, bang up job, doing good, doing good. Uh, Irish Town Introvert for five dollars. If you play Baldur's Gate three, who's your favorite companion and, uh, and antagonist and why? Also, you're excited about the Elden Ring DLC. Mm. I mean, I'm excited for the for the DLC. Um, favorite character or companion, Ooh. rather. Ooh. Uh, I like Carlac. She's fun. Carlac is fun. Yeah. Um, and he said villain, right? Yes. Because I just love the mind flayers. I, I love that Lovecraftian uh, yeah. body horror shit. It's like that's awesome. They are cool. Uh, being able to sleep with a, a mind flayer that that just wants to fuck you over is cool too. Yeah, that one's great. Uh, letting actually giving you the option to turn into a mind flayer and let your party turn to mind flayers. Yep. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the voice for Harley sounds like she smokes a, a pack a day. Uh, so he, here's the th here's the thing about the voice actor for for Harley or actress. Uh, it's the same one we've had since Arkham City. Yeah, it's Terra Strong. Yeah, it's Terra Strong. Um, it's not going to be Ar uh, Arlene Sorkin because she retired after uh, Arkham Asylum. And I think she's dead. I hope she's not dead. <laughs> I think she died. Yeah. 
She she might be dead because I, I was thinking I was thinking she was dead too the other day, but I I didn't have to, I didn't think about looking it up. I was just like, I hope she's not dead. I'm just going to assume she's not. <laughs> gang gang. She passed away. Uh oh. Their song has become uh, tedious aids. Yeah, she's kind of fucking nuts. Oh really? Yeah, she's horribly nuts. Yeah, go figure. Yeah. Should I have yelled at like a, a Mexican taxi driver because he wanted to vote Trump? Oh my god. Not even kidding, you go look up the video. Oh god. Uh Halo Kid Fred Dollars. Uh, if you think about it, it's MK Ultra Electric Rainbow Boogaloo. Yeah, a little bit. MK Boogaloo. But I say that the only reason they're getting this desperate is because the money's sinking so badly that they yeah. need to have a reason to exist. Yeah. They're like, no 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 no, don't pull out, don't pull out. We swear to god this will work. As much as everyone goes like, oh well the government's an infinite money fountain. It's like, yeah, you wanna know what you wanna know what happens every single time the government thinks like that? You get a fucking recession and they have I, to admit, I, yeah, I that's not that. how this works. Uh so, uh, one of the small mechanics that I'm, I'm... So, everyone gets a sniper rifle, because Captain Boomerang also has a fucking sniper rifle. Yeah, uh, well, not everyone gets it. Uh, Captain Boomerang and Deadshot both get sniper rifles. Uh, Captain Boomerang's gimmick, I think he's the only one that can have a shotgun. Uh, I, maybe, maybe Deadshot can have one, too. Uh, but Deadshot, Captain Boomerang can have, have snipers. I don't think Harley can, and I'm like 99% certain King Char can't. Yeah. I could for dollars. Uh, enough Terra Strong already. Hire a different actor. <laughs> I I can understand. I can understand it. Uh, like I, I don't have the same attachment to Terra Strong as I did with like uh, uh, Sorkin, yeah. Conroy, and Hamill as as those characters. Yeah, yeah. Also, chat. This game starts in media res. Post, post game. Post what is available in the game. Wait, seriously? Uh, yes. This happens sometime in the middle of the season, the, the Battle Pass stuff. That's fucking stupid. Yes. Yes, it is. What? I don't, I don't, so, let's, let's assume they only get four seasons in. They have to make it to this point in the seasons. That's retarded. It is. It is stupid. That is one of the dumbest things I think I've ever heard. She can't do the voice anymore. I uh, Personally, I think she sounds the same as she did in the Arkham games. I, I do. I don't think I don't think her voice has changed. Um, if you if you hit the ground with the boomerang and then uh, hold R1 and X on landing, uh, you can sprint. Yeah. Yeah. We. This game's plot is distasteful. Uh, I'm not one of those people that are like. Um, I, I think it is a it is a bad coincidence, and I think it's shitty that Kevin Conroy's uh, second yeah. to last voice performance as Batman is going to be him getting shot in the head by people that uh, didn't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I would go as far as to say it's distasteful, because obviously... They didn't know, but... They didn't know he was going to die. Um, that being said, the entire game is a... Uh, uh, it poo-poo. It, it, it poo-poo yeah. now. Now, um, I, I do... Okay, so you will have to... <laughs> yeah, okay. You will have to do that every time, which means you'll have to jump into the action, you'll have to go into the menu, go to mission which select. one we're on, yeah. All right, I got my sausages. Now I got two. Fun. Fuck you. Uh, Kevin Conway had fun. You can tell that that is true. You can tell Kevin Conway had a lot of fun with his voice performance. Yeah. Yeah. The, the only real thing I'll say about it is, the game was delayed multiple times. It was delayed multiple times. One of which was after the death of Kevin Conroy. Yes. So it would have been preferable if they changed the ending cutscene to be a bit more, you know, obviously sad, um, more tragic, and be you know. At the very fucking least, try to acknowledge the Pause. fact of, like, yeah, he's fucking dead. Hmm? Pause. Um, L1 to squad. Quit session. Alright. Oh, we're gonna have to do this every time. Every time. I don't know why there's not a mission select in one of these menus. It's dumb. How's the Haiti situation? What do you think the Dominican Republic should do? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, chapter select. Chapter 1. Suicide mission. Oh my god, this is going to be painful. It's going to take so much longer than it should. And I, I, I don't know, like, I didn't want to delete my data because I wasn't sure yeah. if that would just mean... Well, I wasn't sure if that would just mean when, when I boot it up again, it just downloads it from the cloud because it's an always online game, so... Yeah. No point to it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You have to select the missions manually? It's not, it's not that you have to select the missions manually. Okay. Well, I guess you're gonna have to quit. What? Because it brought us back oh. to here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So maybe, maybe it fuck? plays the entire chapter at once. Maybe. I don't think so. No. But yeah, go ahead and quit. Yeah. Here. Out. Here. Let me leave session. Mm -hmm. 
I, I didn't mess around with this before before stream because I didn't want to play. I didn't want to yeah, play yeah. more of the story stuff than I had to. Damn, son, seven hundred viewers and five hundred of them are bots. I know, right? We're we're moving up in the world. Think about all the people with ad block that aren't counted. Um, I guess Arkham might. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? That's weird. Is it? Is it not? Can you select more than one? No. no. Okay. okay. Just go to Arkham Knight. Okay. And then play. Why is this so fucking backward ass? I, I've got no idea. This is that, this is insane. So put this to the list of complaints. It's very very obtuse yeah. to replay uh, missions. Well, more than that, it's like it played two missions and then boot me out of that. And now you got to play one mission at a time again. Now I have to go back to that, and not only that, I have to select the mission. Mm -hmm. Th that's fucking weird. I, what is going on here? Uh, Ten-hour story, four party members with three different play styles and four and a half bosses. Viral loot came so awful, creating actual content. Not even, not even. And some like Elden Ring or even jank double RPGs made by fifty people and everyone's collective salary. Not even three different playstyles. There's no differentiating between the characters. The only difference is their traversal. That is it. Yeah. Uh, I'm reading Undead Unlock, and Andy is straight up the most fun uh, main character I ever saw, and Fuko is really fun and cute. Yeah, I like Undead Unlock. It's fun. Seven years to develop, everyone. Yeah, seven yeah, years. Now, I, I, what I do wonder is, how much of that development was Suicide Squad? How much of that development was... All right, we're gonna make Superman. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna make we're gonna make a sequel to the to, to Batman Arkham Arkham Knight. Yeah. Okay, now we make the Suicide Squad. Uh, Freddy Five Bucks. This game is a, has his name is the Jorkel, I believe. <laughs> Jankler, Gregory, Gregory Giggles, Giggles? <laughs> Franz Funny Man. Fuck, I don't know. He eats those white packs and beef jerky. <laughs> uh, Who'd win a twerk off? Dante, Raiden, or Ryu? Ryu. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I right, plan on playing SMT Five Vengeance. I plan on it. I think it'll be great. Oh yeah. Uh, so sick of seeing this, the lady playing Amanda Waller. She is in fucking everything. Apparently she's she, in everything. No, I, I will say this. I think she's a good actress. Yeah, but apparently she actually has a contract with Sweet Baby to put her in stuff. Oh, really? I heard that. I heard that before. I don't know if uh, it's true. I don't... Uh, I was gonna say, that sounds like some rumor shit, though. Yeah. Because, like... It would be fucking hilarious if it was. Yeah, that, that sounds like some, some cold poster, uh, yeah. I need to make things worse than they actually are type of shit. Yeah. I think it's just the fact that she's... It's like getting uh, A-list actors. Yeah. She's a name that everyone recognizes, and she does... She, like... Deborah, I think her name is Deborah Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's, she's not good. a bad actress. She's a good actress. It's just the fact of a lot of times she shows up... She's just in everything. She just shows up in a lot of stuff, and people are getting sick of it. Mm -hmm. At the very least, change her design. Change her face. Yeah. You know? Uh, Zachar's for two bucks. Uh, uh, you guys ever read Brandon Sanderson? That doesn't sound familiar. That sounds familiar to me, but I don't know. Finally, someone talking about gameplay in a video game, not just a story being shit or sweet baby being an evil mastermind. Yeah, well, well, that's that's what we talk about. It's like that, 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 yeah, that's that's what I try to harp on is that's what matters at the end of the day. Yeah. To to a normal person, it's the gameplay that matters. Having your little your little fucking freak out about, uh, you know how how bad it is and how bad sweet baby is would have accomplished nothing if the game developers didn't make asses yeah. out of themselves. Yeah, yeah. If that didn't happen. It would have taken another game crash or two game crashes before Sweet Baby got outed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look at look at Spider Man Two. I mean, uh, Spider Man Two was able to coast for a while with only like mild controversy off the fact that the moment to moment yeah. gameplay in Spider Man Two is yeah, fun. It's fun, yeah. It's fun to play. It's fun. Uh, it's not perfect. It has some flaws, especially compared to the first game. But it's fun for what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only now that it's kind of worn off that people are going back and going, yeah, that had some fucking problems. Yeah. Uh, Tyler James for uh, Five Buckaroos. Uh, why couldn't they just make a Superman game? I've been seeing people make great demos on Unreal Engine. Soup says long overdue for a good game. Yeah. I, 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 100%, I think that is a WB thing. Because they yeah. have concept art for, for a Superman game. I 100% believe that their Metropolis was rehashed yeah. from a, a uh, old Superman build. I believe that vehemently. Yeah. Uh, Big Pussy Bench Hero for Dollar really sucks. This most likely be the last game of Kevin Conroy's actual voice. No, it is not. It's not. It's not. There's there's gonna uh, be one more. I don't remember what it's called, but the, yeah. we will have another one. Uh, also very unlikely, but it've been cool. Mr. A shows up, shoots them, and says base shit like you had your ch uh, chance to reform but refused to do so, etc. Yep. We're we're never getting Mr. A or the question no. anything in um, a big game. So once you beat the game, they do the teaser and like uh, the the story will continue in the yeah. in the seasons, um, and they show they show the first one because they already knew who it was gonna be. Yeah. Uh, well. They already know who everyone's going to be, but they knew who, who they were going to have as the first one, uh, and they shoot, they dropped the trailer. Yeah. So you see the Joker, and they have teasers for the next three characters. Yeah. The first one is either going to be Mr. Freeze or Mrs. Freeze, Yeah. Uh, just from the silhouette that I saw. The third one I can't make out, but I figured like maybe maybe like a female gizmo or something, because it looks like they're a tech character with a jetpack. Yeah, maybe. And the fourth one is either going to be Deathstroke 
uh, according to, like, from what I can gather from the silhouette, it's either going to be Deathstroke or a female Deathstroke. And I was like, cool, the character that should have been in the base game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they, they've been teasing that since Arkham Origins. Yeah. That, that Deathstroke was going to be in the Suicide Squad. But they only they only have the people they have because all of them showed up in some Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. So whether we, we it was the David this, Ayer one or yeah. the James Gunn one. So we were talking about this beforehand. Uh, three of the four characters are the ones from the David Ayer movie. Uh, Deadshot being Black Deadshot, uh, Will Smith Deadshot, yeah, Will Smith. David Ayers, uh, Harley Quinn, David Ayers, um, and, Captain Boomerang, and David Captain Ayers. Big. Even though he dies off at the very beginning. Yeah. Uh, now my thing was uh, currently Killer Croc is on the Suicide Squad in the comics. So I think initially they probably took uh, Killer Croc from the David Ayer movie, See, and he was like, going to be King Shark. I like this moment. They're all fighting over the cure for their their injection. Yeah, I probably. like that. That's actually a funny, a fun little moment to show, like, hey, these and people you, are dysfunctional as fuck. And you get to see Deadshot. Uh, this is before they start fucking with Deadshot's character. Yeah, it's when he's still he's still just a straight man. So he's yeah. like, it's a test. If we take the detonator, it shows that we're all a liability, and, and then we all die. Yeah. But if we don't do it, and we all just work together. They were going to be fine. And yeah. Captain Boomerang, being the idiot that he is in this game, he's the he, one that fucks it up. Immediately jumps for it. Yeah. yeah. That is a good moment. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they're, that's the that's the first thing, thing about this game. There was potential. A Suicide Squad game in and of itself is not yeah. a bad idea. Well, it also... Um, so live service games I dislike on a fundamental level because I just think they're, yeah, yeah. they're bad. Well, I mean, look uh, at look what's happening make... right now with the crew. Yes, yeah, yeah literally online. getting shut down, and you're never going to be able to play the crew again. There's so many, uh, there's so many concessions you need to make with live service games. I don't like it. Yeah. But here's the thing, the the one good thing about this being a live service game, and if if it was handled much much better as a live service game, it would have been good. Um, is that there's so many DC characters that will never get any love, all these D-list characters, yeah. that it being a live service and guaranteeing like up to 13 new characters to play as. Yeah. They could pull so many villains uh, from yeah. DC, and that'd be really cool. And they could all come up with a fun gimmick for them. You might see yes. Polka Dot Man. You might see you yeah, know you some can, of the more dumb ones. Yeah, you can see those. Uh, you'd get a chance to play uh, Deathstroke again. Yeah. He, he wouldn't play like he did in Arkham Origins, but you'd get to see him again. Uh, Lulu4, five bucks. Question, why is the game a live service? It looks like a single-player superhero game. Why does, it have, uh, why does it have to justify season of microtransactions? Uh, 110%. That WB. is 100% because of WB. Uh, grats for two bucks. Uh, wait, it's not Miss Leeds. You're actually playing it. Yes. Yeah, no, we're, we're playing it. Uh, Slum Skeleton for two dollars. Biggest throat goat. Trick question. Boomerang man. <laughs> no, chat. Biggest throat goat is Orochimaru. Yeah. He throat goat. Uh, King Shark died in uh, Assault on Arkham. Look it up. Yeah. He did. Yeah. He did. Uh, um, so the, it, it makes this really weird gray area where this game is 100% set in the Arkham universe. Yeah. Uh, Assault on Arkham, which is where that version of King Shark is from was supposed to take place in Arkham, in the Arkham universe yeah, as well. Yeah. And he gets his head blown up. So yeah. you can just assume, ah, there's two King Sharks now, because the other one was just Killer Croc, but not. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we have a theory that King Shark in this was meant to be Killer, Killer Croc. Croc. 100%. But then the James Gunn movie came out, and everyone fell in love with, with uh, King Shark. Yes. Uh, he became basically the Drax of that movie. That's what I believe. And so they swapped him last second to be King Shark. Mm-hmm. Crazy how Grand Blue Relink took on this game P3, reload infinite wealth, and buy it all three. It also has an offline mode despite still being PvE focused. <laughs> yeah. I uh I was gonna say I don't know how it how it did sells compared to, to Persona, but Persona's yeah. the only one that could really put up a, a fight against yeah. that. So people bringing back RE4 in your Twitter replies and saying it was tampered with and censored. What the fuck's going on with those call posts running me miserable? Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say people people literally just want to be miserable. People have two bucks. I play a Plastic Man game. Yeah, Plastic yeah. Man. That'd be a fun one. Yeah, I was gonna say Pla uh, Plastic Man was started off as a criminal. So 100%. Yeah. Imagine Plastic Man in a Suicide yeah. Squad game. That'd be cool. Yeah. And they're they're already doing multiverse shit. So yes, this Plastic Man never became good. Yeah. Pretty sure Deborah Wilson thing is uh, she was already a somewhat notable VA and changed mocap bodies and faces revealed she's in absolutely everything. That is okay, yeah. Yeah, well, like yeah, like they they just they have her like she's in so many games her mocap is down to the fucking T. Yeah. Like. So it's super easy. Yeah, it has to. It has to be. It wish has they, to be. Wish they had Bane or Firefly or Deathstroke or Firefly. Yeah, yeah, you know shit like that. Yeah. Well, like uh, I I understand the reticence to to use uh the Arkham bad guys. Because you already had four games with them. Yeah. So I can understand wanting to move away. However, fucking Harley Quinn's in this game because she has to be in everything. Uh, Brandon Sanderson writes the Stormlight Archive and Mistborn most noticeably. But essentially different series take place on different uh, planets and each planet has its own magic. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I've heard... Uh, I was going to say, I think I've heard of Mistborn. See more... Um, uh, Peacemaker Mortal Kombat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Why is King Shark and Boomerang in, in the Arkham in the first place? I don't know about Boomerang... 
Um, but I do know King Shark was there uh, because Amanda Waller had a, had him transferred into Arkham. I think Ked K's a psyop. I mean, probably he did get psyop. Uh, did you see Civic called Guide in a bad game story wise? Like immediately the guy opens with the story makes no sense. It's sucking off Yakuza six design. I want to say you're British. Yeah, at that point you're just not paying attention. Uh, Zacharias for two dollars. Uh, do you think the uh, do you think you'll ever review Blade Runner? It's a it's inevitable. It's mm -hmm. inevitably going to be touched. Yeah, you have to touch it. You have to touch it all over the place. Yeah. Uh, King Shark wasn't really the Drax in the movie, but he's the Drax here. Yeah. Well, in in the movie, from what I understand, he just said like uh like sh shark shit, like yeah. just, just shark related shit. Uh, so I, I imagine they, for the sake of it being bearable, they changed him to become Drax because everybody liked Drax. Yeah. Quote unquote, everybody. Uh, Adrian for two dollars. If you want to read Sanderson, start with Miss Byrne. Miss Byrne. Okay. Imagine a black Harley. Yikers. No, they wouldn't do a. They wouldn't do a black Harley. Uh, yeah, they no. they wanted or they wanted Harley specifically from the Arkham universe because it's set in the Arkham universe. It really didn't need to be. It, it by no means. They're, they're already they're already already establishing that it's a fucking multiverse. You know, it, it's yes. a fucking multiverse, and nothing you do matters because there's gonna be they, they. Apparently, they already established there's like 13 brainiacs you have to fight. Yeah, they're uh, you. I don't even think you. That's not even like a credits thing. I think you learn that before the credits. They're like, yeah. yeah, there's 13. There's 13 brainiacs. You need to go fucking kill all of them. Yeah. Joker also owns a KFC. Chat, can we fact check that? Can someone can someone tell me does does Joker own a KFC? So this game is basically pulling from Suicide Squad movies. Uh, man, this really Square Enix is the Avenger game all over again. They even took their own sweet time to develop. Yeah, it's yeah. like they did too. It, Seven it's, years. It's a thing where you can tell the development legitimately comes down to sunk cost fallacy, where they're like, "Fuck it, yeah. fuck it. What are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. We've sunk so much money into it. Are we just not gonna release it? Yeah. He must own a KFC. <laughs> Right, does it make sense for it to be set in the Arkhamverse? Because there, uh, there are so many inconsistencies. I, uh, I can't really count uh, way like a, a shit ton of inconsistencies. Um, the major ones are explained away, except for King Shark. To my knowledge, no one touches on the fact that yeah. uh, uh, Salt and Arkham was supposed to be set in the Arkham universe, and King yeah. Shark died in that. Uh, but that's that's kind of easily easy to hand yeah. wave away because that King Shark didn't look like any King Shark we've had before. Could just been a clone. Yeah. A uh, big push bench bureau for dollar. Uh, a really cool hypothetical Mr. A the question game could be like a thief ask stealth, uh, Yakuza ask beat him up, or a mask pain ask shoot him up. L.A. Noir ask investigation, Hybro still being his own thing. A man can dream. A man can There's dream. too many asks. You know what you did. Slum Skills uh, for $2. I wish they had Firefly or, uh, and Black Manta and, and Firefly. Listen, Black Manta would be kind of cool. He'd be kind of cool, but he's like a, a, he's like a relative to Aquaman. He's like an yeah, A-list villain. Also, he, he's Aquaman's legit. not in the... He's not in the Justice League, so... Yeah, and, and he, he legit just wants to fuck with Aquaman. Yeah. That is Black Manta's whole thing. He just wants to fuck with Aquaman. Yep. Uh, thank you, Sir Plastic Man. Who, uh, who would you get to voice him besides Russian Badger? <laughs> uh, Barry Man, uh, McCockiner for a dollar. Uh, will female Deathstroke always be a pedophile who beats her kids and, and tweaks when she sees under, uh, superpowered teens in spandex? Not gonna lie, though. Uh, female Deathstroke sure trying... Was. Yeah, trying to kill me would make me want to give her some devious strokes. Devious strokes. Back in my day, when I was told to kill 13 clones of the same bad guy, we got that done in one minute on game and not a spinoff. Yeah, seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, could make different levels with open areas with one level uh, with aggressive NPCs. Uh, next with tactical NPCs, one level could be stealth able to recruit and lose villains in the story with horde mode. Uh, are you talking about this one? Uh, I don't think that would be very fun. Like, it already has a bunch of instant stuff, but that doesn't sound very fun to me. Uh, Archivist Art Control for $5. Deadshot being race swap makes no sense. Uh, he had his own family and everything. Uh, they they explained uh, they explained it away with um. Uh, that was uh, a, a different universe one, I think. Yeah. Uh, like that, that that wasn't the real Deadshot. That was Deadshot. Uh, yeah, Deadshot is the is the black one. He's the original one for this universe. The the white one was. He just uh, took the mantle. Yeah, he took the mantle, and uh, the black one came to to kill the motherfucker. And uh, it ended up costing him Green Lantern arresting him. Yeah. So that's why he's in Arkham. Because he, he straight up he straight up could have gotten away with it. Yeah, he could have. Like they they explicitly state you were retired, living with your family, and no one was none the wiser. But you you sacrificed being with your family because of respect. You're yeah. a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Flam. Yeah, good shit, good shit. Yeah. Oh. Nom, nom, nom. Nonsense excuse. Chat. Mm. I, I will say this. It's a comic book. Well, keep your keep your college shit nonsense. Keep it in check. It's comic the, books. 
The, the idea of somebody going like, hey, wait a minute, you're stealing my fucking mantle and committing crimes under my fucking mm-hmm. name? That's bullshit. It's like, yeah, he, yeah. It, it's a stolen credit thing. That's reasonable, but he, like, a really big thing in this with his character is he, he supposedly really values spending time with his daughter and loves his daughter a whole bunch. But he also 100% sacrificed being with his daughter. Yeah. Due to petty petty uh, reputation shit. Yeah, and, and he is a bad guy. Uh, Tyler Dan's five bucks. Uh, thoughts on Blade Runner 2049? Not as bad as I remember it. Mostly thanks to Gosling, but it's also nowhere near as immersive as the original for me. I'm the exact opposite. I love 2049. That's fantastic. I don't think it's as good as the original, but I think it 100% stands on its own. Yeah. Math pick up for two fake mice. Rocksteady while making Deadshot. We was ganks. Mm-hmm. Archive stuck control two bucks. That's dumb. Batman wouldn't have known a fake. Yeah. No, okay. Again, Batman's been fooled in the comics time and time again. Yeah, that is a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a thing, and it is a. It's also a thing of this not. Mm-hmm. This, if they didn't establish it was the Arkham Batman, they could have gotten away with it. We're oh, like, yeah. well, this this version of Batman just didn't know. Yeah. You know, that well, thing. They, they do also state that, like, everything about them is identical down to their DNA. Yeah. Because uh, they have, like, audio logs and shit, and they're like, everything's, everything's identical uh, uh, about you down to your DNA, your fingerprints. And then he goes, except I'm darker. Yeah. And he's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. Co-op Suicide Squad game would be better with Deus Ex style levels and one player controlling Waller is basically a DM that can give out bonus objectives or kill players on a whim. That would, could be fun. Yeah, but we've had we've had uh, people try that multiple uh, multiple times and yeah. it just never works out very well. Yeah. Biblically ap- accurate Amazonian woman height. <laughs> uh, they should put 13,000 Riddler trophies across 13 dimensions for the true Super Ending <laughs> appealing to the next game, Arkham World. Oh, chat. Uh, I, look at this. Ba- uh, look at the Superman. This is the best. This is one of the best fucking Superman costumes ever. Yeah. I think this is an amazing Superman game. Uh, Superman costume, and it, and it is pisses stuck, me off. It's wasted on this. It is stuck in this game. Uh, the, the Wonder Woman outfit's okay. I, I think it's all right. It, it, it does a job. It's it's Wonder Woman. Yeah, I, I think it's okay. It's like yeah, whatever. It's, it's, it's not the best it of the best, but that Superman costume fucking banging. I it's don't think the one. Batman costume is as good as the Arkham Knight one. It looks like it's based um, off as Asylum one. Let me get back to it. It, it. it is like it's a it's a mix between his Origins one. Uh, and like, yeah, yeah, it yeah. it looks a little bit like Origins mixed mm-hmm. with Asylum. Yeah. Uh, now I understand it because the entire point of the Arkham uh, Arkham Knight that armor yeah. was it was armored because he knew he was taking on a bunch of shit that night. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's just more of a relaxed one. Uh, Lulu for uh, Lulu four for two bucks. Uh, the identical Deadshot thing is so convoluted. Yeah, but it's also comics. Yeah, now, yeah. now here here's something here's something that needs to be said. Um, when it comes to comics and movies and entertainment media in general. Uh, the amount of, of uh, <coughs> excuse me, the amount of, um, god damn, I'm forgetting the word, uh, the amount of stuff people are willing to overlook uh, about your, your, your game or movie or whatever is entirely dependent on how good something is. Yeah. Uh, the fact that this game isn't very good is going to make people poke holes in it. Yeah. And now, I've also said time and time again, if they, like gameplay is what matters. If this game was just fun to play. You wouldn't care. I would be sitting here saying you guys are stupid for for thinking uh, thinking about like comic books yeah. with logic, because even even some of the best comic books out there just fucking toss co- logic out of the window. Yeah, uh, but it's not. So I, I'm telling people to like temp- temper it because it's just like whenever you start focusing, whenever you just start harping on logic in a comic book property, you're gonna have normal people that go like you're stupid for trying to do that. Even yeah. though I understand it, even though I do understand. Arkham it. Knight had non-lethal missiles. That's all you really yes. gotta know. Yeah, Arkham, Arkham Knight had non-lethal missiles, and the entire reason, the the entire explanation behind that was, uh, Joker was influencing uh, Batman's mind to make him build the Bat Tank version we see. Yeah. But there was enough Batman in there to have enough contingencies to make it non-lethal. Uh, like, Nolan North, Nolan North is actually a good Superman, uh, but he's just wasting this. I, I believe it. Nolan North is capable of. of he's planning. good. This is a fantastic yeah. uh, version of, of of Superman. He has. You can tell he's having fun playing him. Yeah, the the problem is purely the fact that like it's 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 wasted on a game that was made very cynically. Mm-hmm. You know, there, there there is passion completely misdirected in this. Uh, also, I will say this: this is kind of a hot take. I don't like armor flash. Uh, I don't like armor uh, flash. I I can get by armor flash. The problem is there's too many of those silver areas. The, yeah. the areas that break up. Uh, if you're yeah. gonna have an armored an armored version, it needs to be all red with some yeah. gold. In my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I personally am a believe this is kind of my hot take. I actually like the Flash's designs when he's wearing a bodysuit. Oh, yeah. I'm usually pretty picky about that. We're like, eh, I don't think a lot of bodysuits look good. I think that's just the excuse to, uh-huh. to draw people naked and not have to worry about it. Because then some of my favorite designs are like more bulkier stuff. Like I love Frank's design and Punisher Max because yeah. he's, he's a bulky motherfucker and he's wearing the leather jacket and you see it and all that. Yeah. 
Flash, I'm always the opposite. Like, he is meant to be very fast. He shouldn't look like he's wearing something weighing him down. Yeah. You know? So, uh, so I'm, I'm okay making him as, as like... As little as possible. As flexible as possible, uh, yeah. Now, here, here comes that world building that chat, chat likes. Um, now, they explain it away in, in this universe by uh, Wayne Tech. I don't know what his previous costume looked like, but this isn't his first. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Tech, whenever Batman joined the Justice League, they, they made a costume for him that turns uh, fr- friction and air resistance for him yeah. into, like, a, like, I think it was additional speed or something. Yeah, okay. So, he, like, the suit harnesses uh, friction and whatnot yeah, to it, make him it, better. Yeah, okay. Uh, flash in a bodysuit makes sense, aerodynamic and all. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think, yeah. It, he he is the kind of character where that's the perfect excuse for him. Yeah. I, I also... Oh, my phone uh, bust, look, Hill. <laughs> Uh, how do you feel? So, how do you feel about the things on his ears? I think they should always be lightning bolts. Yeah, uh, they I, always I think they have should to be always be lightning bolts. They yeah. always have. To I don't be think they should bolts. be straight. They, they, yeah. they're, they're weird. Uh, I think adding time management elements like Bully Persona would be a good way to make a cape shit game long on a budget too small for an open world. You should choose your backstory, powers, and how you handle stuff like villains you know in your personal life, like Catwoman, Black Cat style, <laughs> Femme Fatale. Eh, eh, that gets into like a uh, kind of like DC Universe online territory. Yeah, of like how how are you possibly gonna fit all that in one big mm-hmm. game? You know, uh, Scully, 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 Batman, uh, Alfred, Di- uh, Die Shot has started to use a credit card and he's starting to get a tan. Something's not right. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. <laughs> uh, El Mascarillas likes to see the the print on the suits confirmed. I want to see the balls, yeah. chat. <laughs> Uh, Eco for dollar. Hey, odd question out of the blue, but who's your favorite Neptunia girl? Got into an argument about her in Discord a while back. Oh, uh, Nep, Nep, Nep is pretty good. Yeah, I like Nep. Fuck it, simple. I haven't played enough Nep, Neptunia to really know. <laughs> uh, Teen Titans slayed the Edward for dollar. Uh, Holly Quinn with a hard R. Also, is Misato <laughs> Deathstroke a real thing, as you guys described? Also, also, you know who really would have made this game instant classic? Uh, revealing the main bad guy who orchestrated all this cast was Cunny Man all along. <gasps> yeah, female Deathstroke's a real thing. Yeah, I forget her name. I think it's literally just daughter of Deathstroke. Yeah. Uh, you, you just interact with it, I think. No, you break no, it. No, you shoot it. My bad. Oh. Oh, well. Yeah, as long as you break it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot of really interesting little little details in this. And like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. And it's all hidden in the game that is made with the most corporate cynicism yeah. possible. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know how much of this of this game was, was tossed back into the, 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 the development room. Sorry. Uh, by WB. Yeah. And it's, it's hard to tell what is a, a rock steady decision and what is a WB decision. Yeah. Obviously, live service is 100% WB. I don't think any any good game developer would ever actively choose live service when you yeah. can just have a non-live service game and support it, support it for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and you never have to worry about servers. Yeah. Um, so I, I, that is 100% a WB thing, but how many decisions and how many, how many revisions of it were yeah. mandated by WB? Flash is voiced by the same VA that did Heimdall and God of War 5, easily the most entertaining part of both games. Chat, he behaves exactly like Ezra Miller's Flash. Oh, God. I, no, I, that's not a bad thing. I liked Ezra Miller's Flash. I don't like Ezra Miller. Yeah. Uh, for good reason. Yeah, Ezra Miller's a piece of shit. Uh, if Assault on Arkham is canned to kill the Justice League, then this is the Ravager, second... Ravager, yeah, that's her name. Yeah, then this is the second dead shot that Amanda Waller has worked with. Yeah. Yes, t- like quite literally. Yeah, quite literally. Uh... What about Helldivers 2? That's the thing. Helldivers 2 is made with a lot of passion. I mean, you yeah. know, there, there are articles coming about like, yeah, we have basically a DM for the entire map, and he'll wake up in the middle of the night to yeah. reinforce to planets because he thinks it's funny and he fucks with people. It's like, th- that's a studio that very much cares. Yeah. And eventually, I still think it's shitty for being a live service game yeah. that I can't play offline. Yeah, eventually by, by it virtue, needs to patch that in. By virtue of there being a DM that just magically behind the scenes changes shit for people, fuck you. It could one hundred. It could one hundred percent be offline. Yeah, one hundred percent can. Uh, said it before, but this feels like an undead nightmare to our, uh, Red Dead One being an actual Justice League game we never got. Very true. Yeah. This does I, feel like a a the joke parody to a Superman game we never got. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hell, Devers was using the old Absolute engine that was de- uh, developed eight years ago. Yeah. I'm in Japan right now. I hope it's nice. It was really really nice when we went. Yeah. Uh, Slums got for two dollars. Wait, that means Flash was evil before Brainiac. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, he's shooting at Jess. You can hear his love lens, <laughs> love lens butt plug. Ooh. Oh, do you want to tell him the the thing you purchased over the over the weekend? Oh yeah, I added everyone in Discord. Uh, so I uh, I, I bought the uh, it's a new release. It's the Ghost in the Shell by bi, uh, bilingual volume. Uh, it has the the original translation uncensored for Ghost in the Shell along with the uh, the Japanese translation in the same book. 
Um, I bought that, and I was like, well, since I'm shipping it from Japan, I'll just go ahead and get something else. But I was I was looking around. I was like, ah, I don't want to spend that much. I don't want to spend that much. Nah, I don't want to do this. Uh, and I saw the fucking the Tenga chocolates, the the Japanese yeah. Mona hole. I saw the Tenga chocolates, and I was like, oh, 100 percent. So I bought those. They're like yeah. ten. They're like ten bucks. Uh, yeah. And I got them with my my Ghost in the Shell book, and uh, I brought them over, and we tasted them. And the chocolates aren't bad. They're shaped like little, little tingas. And one of them is like just regular chocolate. Uh, yeah. I think it was dark chocolate. It was actually. dark chocolate, yeah. It tasted like dark chocolate, but it didn't, it didn't say dark chocolate. Um, one of them was strawberry. It tastes like strawberry yogurt. And the other one was um, banana. And the banana yeah, tasted banana. exactly like a ban- uh, banana Laffy Taffy. It was actually yeah. great. It was, uh, it was good. Square. It was very good. Oh, yeah. These doors are in here for no reason. Probably just to hide loading screens. Well, yeah, still to hide loading screens. You're correct. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like everyone at Warner Bros. hates Superman except for Gunn. I'm scared, skeptical about Gunn. Everything I'm seeing from his Superman movie looks good. Oh, yeah, he's adapting fucking All Star Superman. Yeah, like there's he can't fuck that up. The, the only the only problem I have is DC is scrambling to be like this is canon. No, this isn't canon. No, this is canon. And uh, just like it, it, it is it, quite it's quite literally the the so that they've gone out of their way to clear it up. Yeah. Uh, James Gunn literally had a, a live stream where he's like. I'm the DM of this universe. I decide what's canon. Yeah. Peacemaker season one isn't canon. We're going to make a season two. From that point forward, it will be canon because everyone likes John Cena as Peacemaker and we don't want to uh, we don't want to have to fuck around with that. Yeah. So that's canon. Uh, everything else is kind of starting from scratch. I did like his idea for the Green Lantern TV show. Did you did you see that? No. What did he do? So he, he, what they, they're going to do Green Lantern as a TV show. And it's going to be, they said they wanted to make it like a, a space cop version of True Detective. And I was like, that sounds cool! Okay. That sounds cool! Okay, okay. Uh, looks like they're going to have John Stewart and, uh, what's his face? Hal uh, Jordan? Hal Jordan, yeah. Okay, okay, so that I was has like, potential. Fuck yeah, that, that sounds has, awesome. That has potential. Uh, obviously, Guy Gardner is going to be in the Superman movie in yeah, some yeah. capacity. Yeah, I know Guy Gardner was going to be in it. Um... The only thing that pissed me off about the Superman movie was the fact that they replaced Henry Cavill oh. with, with that um, other guy. I, I don't know what the other guy is. Uh, he's really small, so I want him to bulk yeah, up. Yeah. Uh, the guy they have playing Lex Luthor, he, he was in the menu. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, uh, okay. He looks good. He, he's fine. Now, he, here's the thing. I appreciate him, and I know he, I know he's reading the source material behind the scenes. Yeah, he flat out said it. Because he, he, well, he did an interview where he was talking about it, and he said, oh, I've actually been working out a lot, because there, there's a scene in All-Star Superman where Clark Kent goes to interview Lex Luthor, and Lex Luthor goes on a rant about how uh, all of Superman's muscles are fake because he's an alien and how yeah. his are real, and he does. He's fucking, he's big yeah, and he's, he's bulky. Bulked. So he's, he's, like, he's like, I'm bulking up for the role because I want to play as accurate a Lex Luthor as possible. And I was like, that's yeah. fucking respectable. It, they're, they're doing the one fucking thing everyone keeps asking time and time again, and that is act like you're excited to be doing this. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, like, I, um... You, you, uh, most of the time when people when people say... oh, Nicholas I, Holt, yeah. Nicholas Holt, yes. Uh, when, most of the time when people talk about uh, their movies that they're in and it's based on a property, they go like, oh, I'm a huge fan of it. I, I read the source, blah, 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 blah. And it's, it's just lip service that they're yeah, told to say. Yeah, it's pure lip service. Um, very rarely do I ever feel like that's that's true. Yeah. Uh, one instance where it probably is true, uh, because just because of the behind-the-scenes stuff that came out, because the director didn't parade it around, yeah. um, was the, uh, the Dragon Ball Evolution movie. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the director didn't parade it around. Uh, he he's like, oh yeah, I told him about it, and you know, I just kind of told him about uh, OG Dragon Ball. I didn't need to get into Vegeta or any of that stuff for him because it'd be too t- complicated for him. Yeah. Uh, but people talked about behind the scenes, like yeah, they started reading Dragon Ball, and and some yeah. some way during development uh, of the movie, people started to go. Dude, we shouldn't do this to Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's too late. It's the, too late. The main actor is still like a really big Dragon Ball fan. And he's still yeah. like, yeah, sorry he, about that movie, guys. Yeah, he literally apologized. Uh, he like he, he gave his condolences for Toriyama's uh, uh, death, and he, and he was like, I'm I'm sorry we we did evolution like that, man. Yeah, and I, I did love everyone was like, dude, that wasn't your fault. <laughs> Seems to be one of the most abused IB, IPs in the public eye. I hope, it, yep. I hope it's good. I believe it can be good because it's all-star Superman. Yeah. And the casting choices have been fucking peak so far. You can't knock off the Emerald Crown. Uh, the Cold Cosmos Force is Emerald... Uh, damn it. Eh. Uh, Cold Cosmos Force is Emerald Crown. A force of justice from a league renowned. The Cosmos are his baby. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, heck, if they want to make a Suicide Squad live service game, they should have just taken the best aspect of Warframe, if anything, because Warframe oh. is probably one of the best. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I, I feel like that's kind of what they wanted to do. Like, uh, 
once you get to later on in the game is whenever the game opens up. So in yeah. that aspect, it is kind of akin to, to Warframe. But the thing is, like, it's not a movement shooter. There is movement. Yeah. But it is mainly just a shooter. It is a looter shooter. Yeah. Uh, they needed to focus on making the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay much more fun in the early game and not just at the end game. Uh, Bruce had warrants for his arrest post-Arkham Knights. How is he just walking around with his identity public now? Money. He, jo he joined the Justice League. Money. That is literally the explanation. And, and what sucks is, like, Jon Stewart finally gets to be in a fucking game. And after he's all evil! These years, and he's fucking evil, and it's this game. Yeah. Fucking disrespecting, like, one of the better Green Lanterns. Yeah. Uh, I'll get Publix and Private for a dollar. Imagine a carbohydrate-based hitman and marksman named Breadshot. He kills you with old hard breadsticks from a distance miles away. Yeah. So I don't. I'm excited for the new plan of the Apes, which is what my grandpa called Black Panther. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, so show what does Green Lantern has. Still has powers despite losing his will to Brainiac. Uh, well, it's implied that all these, all the Justice League members are clones. Uh, so their superpowers yeah. have been like synthesized. Like straight, straight up, when you kill, when you kill Green Lantern. Uh, he keeps his ring on. It doesn't go seek anyone else. Uh, yeah. And King Shark's able to put it on and conjure conjure stuff. Because it's a fake so, ring. So, uh, yeah, it's very likely that his, the ring was synthesized in a lab. Uh, James Masters deemed himself as a Zamasu and gave a hell of a performance to age redeem himself. That is true. Yes. He was Zamasu. He, he literally he literally uh, played the part of Zamasu for free because since it was a non-union project, you can't work it. Yeah. Uh, so he did it for free. Yeah, just because he he loved Dragon Ball that much. Yeah. And very, Zamasu, very Zamasu's cool. in there, like, quite a bit, so he did yeah. a lot of work for free. Know any good Green Lantern comics? There are a lot of good ones. Yeah, there's a John Stewart one where he becomes the uh, the sole protector of a planet. I forget what that one's and called. And ends up turning into a prison. Yeah, uh, but it's still pretty good. It's, it's uh, good. It's it, good. It, it's still good. Um, the uh, fuck. I, I'm trying to remember yeah. what it is. Uh, a lot of the Kyle Rayner stuff. I I am really partial to Kyle Rayner. I love yeah. him so much. Uh, He's say, my favorite. Say we love about Zack Snyder, but man, is John Stewart look cool? Also, fuck the devs. You know they wanted to call him Uncle Tom so badly. Yeah. They, they fucking they called him one of the good ones, bro. Like yeah. they just called him an Uncle Tom. That, that, that is a point where we, we keep harping on like the stories. The story's not the big thing; it's the gameplay. That is somewhere you beat that into the dirt. Go ahead and beat that into the dirt. Yeah. Because there's literally no excuse for it. I I like I I do like interactions like this. When when you see yeah. the characters just kind of playing at it, it's cool. Like the Flash is just a cool character in this. Yeah. Um, even though, like, they very clearly based on Ezra's, like, even his yeah. face shape is, like, based on Ezra Miller's. Yeah. So, obviously, they imply that's the real Flash. No, that just is the real Flash. Well, oh, okay, yeah. Yes, no, that, that that is literally the real Flash. He has not been brainwashed yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is, once they go up to the to Raniac ship, it's implied that that's when they're, they're brainwashed and, and cloned and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, they're they're able to synthesize their powers and give it to uh, the enemies in the city and stuff, including Batman's. Uh, <laughs> so, so like once you beat Batman uh, and you do the mission for it, it unlocks and it's like, oh, you have bat, you have enemies with the the powers of Batman infused with them. And I was like, what powers? Yeah. Money? It's like what, did what Brainiac the give them all like a million? But what do you mean? Yeah, it's like the fuck do you? Like, what? And it's just, oh, you can't target with some attacks and they're invisible sometimes. And I was like, oh, okay. But, like, that's not a power, though. Yeah, it's like, that's literally not a power. I was gonna say, what the fuck is Batman's power? It's like, if they just said they raided the Bat Cave and, like, <laughs> Something you know, like that. It would be like, okay, that's a little bit better. It still would have been like, oh, that... Batman, so... literally Batman infused bad guys. I was like, what the fuck is they, what the fuck are they infused with? Yeah, and, and like I said, the, the idea of, like, they would raid Batman and, and like, give his shit mm -hmm. to, to other... Because there is a, there is a Bat Cave in, yeah. in, in uh, Metropolis, so it's like, yeah, 100%. Yeah, and it's like, so the super advanced aliens need to steal from fucking Bruce Wayne? He's super cool, though. He's, He's so cool, though. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Actually, there's multiple Batman labs. Uh, Batman's powers is intellect and willpower. Brain scans? Yeah, brain scans. Eh, maybe. Uh, but yeah, but they don't do that. They just turn invisible. <laughs> it, they're supposed to be like okay, more stealthy than the average enemy. Uh, it is that landing thing is way more finicky than it should be. It's awful because it's literally like either just before or as your feet touch the ground. Way too finicky. I think it's as your feet touch the ground because yeah. that's how I've been able to it, do it. Yeah, it's, it says upon landing, but it feels like there should be some buffer before you land that you should be able to do it. Because I don't think... I can't think of anything you use L3 for other than that, really. Uh, so I'm just giving two bucks. Batman's power is supreme out of capitalism. Yeah, baby. Brainiac gave all his androids daddy and mommy issues. These aren't, these aren't even androids. These are like actual people that have been transformed into whatever the fuck these things are. Yeah, they're like mutants or something. Yeah. Maybe they're clones, but still. They're like... They, they yeah. make it clear they, they have a will of their... Quote, unquote, a will of their own. Because they have a henchman dialogue like the Arkham games. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Aramanto Areola for five bucks. Find out how the League of Clones Wonder Woman will still be Ashes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, yeah, like, like Wonder Woman will be the only character that actually 100% dies unless they pull one in from another universe. But it's still, this this universe is dead. Yeah. Like, this is one of the multiverses that didn't didn't survive. Mm -hmm. Also, they have a mind-controlled Batman, and they don't access his contingency plan. That's fucking stupid. Uh, are you they, talking about, like, Brainiac? Because they don't, they don't need his, his contingency plans. They, they, they already have all to, the yeah. League. Yeah, they, they have the League. They the they have I I think it was everyone except for Wonder Woman went to Brainiac ship no yeah all of the League members went to Brainiac ship and whenever Brainiac betrayed them and started mind controlling them uh, Flash reacted and was only able to get Wonder Woman out yeah really should have gotten Batman out of there all I'm saying all I'm saying Wally should have gotten the guy saying. who literally has contingencies on if the fucking Justice League turns evil yeah but the Justice League probably didn't know that oh, okay yeah fair enough they might not know yeah. But yeah, like 100%, Bruce is your tactician. You should listen to your fucking tactician. Uh, I will say this, they make Superman the stupidest motherfucker on the planet. Because there, there's like nine audio logs leading up to the Justice League getting uh, brainwashed. And it is literally, it like, Brainiac shows up in his giant, like, look up in the in the, in the sky. Yeah. Uh, you should be able to see, yeah. The giant fuck-off skull ship. Yeah, the, the uh, you fucking... You can X, you can run up faster. Yeah, the, the giant evil death ship. Evil death ship. And, and Batman go like, uh, Brainiac goes, oh, I want to parlay. I want to talk to you guys. And Batman goes, nah, that shit's a fucking trap. No way on earth. And Superman goes, come on. We need to give him a chance. Everyone knows the, the Justice League is super strong, but we need to go talk it out with Brainiac and show that we can, we can broker peace as well. And Batman's like, it's a giant skull ship. Come the fuck on. Even, even the Flash is like, yeah. Yeah, Cal, uh, but you want to know something? You didn't show up in a giant fucking skull as a ship, so... And Superman if just they goes, literally remark on the skull... <laughs> literally! Like, oh my god. And Superman goes, yeah, well, I didn't decide how I came to Earth. And, and like, everyone's just kind of like... And? <laughs> and? Giant death skull! <laughs> death skull! But everyone just goes with Superman anyways, okay. and, and it fucking fucks them all. Did, did they fight Brainiac before? No, they, they've never interacted with him before. But Giant Skull! Yeah. That is a fucking skull! He is evil! Because I would say, that would have been even more egregious if, if like, they had fought Brainiac before. Superman goes, nah, I'd win. nah, the League would win. Instantly loses. Uh, Jackson, 212 for five uh, five bucks. The fact he never runs out of money. Batman's power is a bank account of yeah. plenty. <laughs> uh, Tokyo, uh, for two bucks. All three of the Stalker games are on Xbox now. And PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, from what I hear, they, they uh, perform very poorly, though, sadly. Yeah. Which is... Honestly, not surprising. They, they, they perform about as well as they do on PC without a patch, so... <laughs> yeah, it's like, why, why would you ever play Stalker on, on console? Yeah. Uh, Superman sees the good in people, but he's not stupid. I hate that they write him as naive. Oh, yeah. Like, like they literally have Batman on the team, and he's their tactician. And he's yeah. going, no, we shouldn't go there. This is 100% a trap. And yeah, Superman's this, just this... like... Superman literally goes, nah, but trust me, though. Yeah, it's like, this is a fucking bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wasn't a movie where everyone in the JS League were brutally killed was because of Superman being bad at planning? I think it was Dark Seed. Yeah, but no one like no one like that one. No. Nah. Uh, Super, uh, Superman's not that dumb, naive, but not dumb. Yeah, I I don't really like the characterization of Superman prior to him being evil. Once he turns evil, it's just like eh, whatever. Like, He's just evil, Superman. Like, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Batman's power is the pot of greed. <laughs> The pot of greed. This is a bad idea, Cal. No, just trust me, bro. Just trust me, bro. Bro, just trust me, bro. Uh, Superman had decades to integrate into human society. Brainiac just rolled up. Yeah, yeah, Brainiac rolled up as an adult. Like, like maybe send like one league member or something. Uh, what game is better, Avengers game or Suicide Squad? Uh, Suicide Squad is more fun to play. I will say that. Yeah, hundred percent is more I, fun. I, to I will play. say this: this game at least feels like it is finished. Like, Avengers it feels like a game, yeah. <laughs> uh, Avengers was like I, I would, I don't even know how to describe what Avengers was. Yeah. It, it takes me no time at all to go. Yeah, hundred uh, yeah, percent. There you go. Yeah, I gotta get away from uh, that. Yeah, it takes me zero time to go. Yeah, it, it's just more fun to play. Uh, if you run up some buildings, some of them, you can, like, bust out the windows as Captain Boomerang. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's only in, like, one area. I don't know why that is. I think, I don't know. Uh, legit, uh, Superman's legit smarter than people give him credit for. Oh, he's super smart. He's just not as smart as Batman. The, the, team tac the team's tactician. They're the world's greatest detective. And in this know. universe, they intentionally write him as a fucking idiot if he's willing to go up the Brainiac ship. With the entire Justice League. Brady, I've rolled up with a Glock and said, give me your stuff. Superman did the camera move, getting in his face. <laughs> Yeah, it would have worked better if Superman got captured in space and him and Brainiac come to Earth to take it over. Like, not not even that. It's just, like, 
just show, just have it be like uh, Superman and Batman were the first ones to be taken or something like. Yeah, they're the most one powerful the, ones. Yeah. And then and then they just kind of fell one by one. Yeah. Like, or you know what? Just have them. Just if it wasn't for the fact that Brainiac pulled Brainiac pulled up in his skull ship. Yeah. If he just pulled up as and he was just Brainiac. Do do like a secret a invasion guy. thing where like. Slowly, heroes across the world are going quiet. Something. Well, like you can. Uh, what, what, I, I, chat. How, how's Brainiac done in the in the uh, Superman animated series? Because he like he's a computer that's a good guy for a while, if I remember correctly, and then he turns evil. Something so like if that. it was, it was literally just if it was like the same version of that, like sure, hundred percent. Like Superman did the thug shaker. Pog. Pog. There we go. It's a giant skull ship in space that has tentacles, Superman. I didn't decide how I came to Earth. Tentacles! Yeah, but your parents did. No, Brainiac blew up, Brainiac blew up Krypton. Yeah, but there was a, there was a, uh, they had Brainiac as a, as a supercomputer in like the, the, the Fortress of Solitude or some shit. Is an Aquaman in this game? Uh, Aquaman doesn't fucking exist. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I genuinely don't have an answer. He was in movies by this point, so it's like I, yeah. I don't know why they wouldn't capitalize on him. Uh, I don't know. You know what? He's just probably saving him yet. for another season. I would imagine that that's entirely possible, but like, just weird. Brainiac comes to Earth is a good guy, but it's a ruse, and then it's real that he's the reason Krypton blew up. Yeah, just do that. I, I like. It's been a really long time since I've watched the the Superman animated series, but like, yeah, yeah, just do just do that. Yeah, there was an entire episode of Stag Shock where Brainiac controls the Justice League. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it is a it is a common plot point. I mean, it yes, is a it, it is, is a plot point that does happen. His more entire than once. gimmick is being super smart and brainwashing people. Yeah, uh, someone's got one two bucks. Uh, Brainiac becomes a fem uh, femboy pipe Supergirl. No, I really like I really like watching the Flash. Uh, like the distance, zoom close and, and farther away. That's cool. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. Uh, Dead face for ten bucks. Uh, I still can't go over the fact this is the canonical end of Arkhamverse Batman. Who the fuck thought of that? And why didn't everyone smack him upside the head? Yeah. Uh, now that, that being said, like uh, like I said before, uh, it's implied that all the Justice League members are cloned or just not the real Justice League members. Yeah. So it's likely not the end to the actual Arkhamverse Batman. However, Kevin Conroy can't reprise his role, so whoever we get from this point forward will be different. Uh, Veggie Bad for five bucks. Should there be another video game crash reset the entire industry? I feel like this industry is far more nepotistic than any other. Uh, one of them. But no, film. Hollywood's fucking worse. Yeah, film by far is the is the worst one. Yeah. You, you just sit off and, and watch them do their yeah. little fight. I, I kind of like the fight, you know, like seeing yeah. Flash like zoom all over the place. Like that's kind of fun. I think it's cool to kind of set up how uh, out of your depth you are. Yeah, we're like, oh shit. Yeah, you're 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 just a bunch of normal people. The strongest one of you is King Shark, who is a, a literal uh, demigod. Yeah, and he's just a shark. Yeah, he's just a, a shark dude with like some some super strength powers and shit. Uh, and I think I think it does a good job showing how out of your depth you are because you have Flash literally yeah. conjuring tornadoes and Green Lantern piloting a giant green lantern mech. yeah and he's and he's just firing shit all over the place yeah uh mr only fantastic for a dollar Ooh. i drew pot of greed who allows me to shove two more cards up my ass admins that's not how this works i draw pot of greed which allows me to evict two more single mothers yeah. admins please stop i draw pot of greed which allows me two more beers while driving <laughs> uh clitoris eastwood for a dollar the teen titans at teen Ti uh titan tower discussing politics uh kid flash listen dick the fact that bruce wayne gives money to dnc isn't the issue the issue is that he and the democrats having kids dressed up in bright costumes no parents around <laughs> be real sure do you think the doves are smart enough to do that if you're talking about uh copy the animated series yes because the architecture of this game is up based on the animated superman series yeah this metropolis is based on that you can tell yeah uh, uh it screams it as the the problem with this game is the fact that you had developers who clearly love DC shit trapped under the yoke of corporate cynicism. Yeah. I, we, we say it over and over and over again. They did not want to make this game. They didn't want to make it a live service game at they, the very yeah, least. Yeah, they, they did they, not want to make it a Destiny clone. Yeah, they would have much preferred to make their Superman game that they were working on. Yeah, a Superman game, or if they were going to do a Suicide Squad game, make it more like Sunset Overdrive, where it's a single-player adventure game. You're going mm -hmm. around Metropolis, you know? Make it genuinely more fun, I guess is the best way to say it. Because they've done it before. I mean, granted, the, the people at Rocksteady are not uh, exactly was, the same ones say, anymore. I was going to say, like, all, all the old people left, uh, turn around. <laughs> I, I, I want to do this, though. It's cool. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, the, like, I was, I was going to bring up, uh, most of the people at Rocksteady that made the old games left sometime after yeah, Arkham yeah. Knight. And I'm pretty sure the last vestiges of them are completely gone. Yeah. 
Uh, a couple of other five dollars. Get ready for all those Haitian convicts to invade and for uh, and for absolutely nothing to be done about it. Also, did you see the Boeing whistleblower got whistleblower got whacked? Yes. Yep. Uh, guy's been working on a fucking uh, court case since he retired uh, against Boeing. And uh, uh, honestly, I know. I genuinely believe in situations like that, automatic guilty plea. I agree. Yeah, it's I like, fucking it, agree. It, that is the one thing you stop. It's like if they end up dead, automatic guilty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he, uh, got back to his hotel and blew his brains out in his car before he, he went to the, the hotel, quote unquote, blew his brains out. Even though he was in the middle of, of his thing. Yeah, middle of a court case he'd been working on for several years to prove that Boeing was intentionally using faulty, uh, equipment. Yeah. Uh, to save money. Boeing whistleblower got ventilated just after testifying. Yeah. Where well. You're reaching with people loving DC. There's no love in this game. There, there's, uh, it was worked on for seven years. Yeah, it was worked on for seven years. There's definitely some love there. Yeah. I would have just fucking gone to, gone to another studio. Yeah. Fuck that shit. It, it's purely the fact that, like, WD's, uh, WB is a bunch of, uh, WB assets. are, they're some of the worst, if not the worst fucking studios out there right yeah. now. Look at what they did with, with, uh, uh Coyote versus Roadrunner. Yeah, it, Coyote it's like, versus Acme or whatever. I mean, that shit happens, and, like, now they're trying to go, like, oh, well, the movie might come back, which, screams oh the suits and realized how much people want it now they're gonna turn this into a whole fucking thing yeah they're like hey guys you might get it you might get well, it th that's the, that's the thing uh they would only do that because people are, are talking about levying uh, a lawsuit against them for doing it rightfully Be so because several several studios had gone to them and offered to buy it whenever they yeah. they toss it out and it was leaked that they they tossed it out uh, or were tossing it out and and completely getting rid of it like Netflix offered to pay them like way above yeah, mar yeah. market price for it, and they still declined them. Yeah. Because they want, I guess, I guess they just wanted to use it as a as a tax write off or whatever the fuck. Yeah, something. Uh, I have a genuine question for you, Shoto. Are you a pad or a stick player? Uh, I can play with stick. Most of the time, I just play with pad. Yeah, a lot of games are built for pad. Mm -hmm. WB is amazing at losing money. That they fucking they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, you see Pippa showing her her beaver huff on stream tonight. Uh, chat, I don't watch YouTubers. I assume that means that she has a little beaver puppy. Nah, fucking no. Yeah, like with the possum. Mm -hmm. Now they couldn't find a bidder, and they uh, they may toss it now. No, because uh, it came out that Netflix offered to buy it. Yeah. Netflix it, made an offer on it. It, it. Yeah, it's like them them going like, oh well, no one wants to buy it. They're they're trying to hike the mm -hmm. price up. Yeah, they they, they are price be, gouging. Yeah, they wanted it to be like way 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 above uh, above what it should be. Yeah. Like a hundred ten percent. Yeah. When when they say shit like this, they are a hundred percent doing it purely for the. You know, uh, to, to get people emotional and go, oh, fuck, please don't, please don't, please don't. Mm -hmm. So then they can just sell it at a price that's, like, probably three times above what they use to make it. Yeah. Uh, what version of Ghost in the Shell did you get, Shota? Uh, what site did you use? I used J-List, but it, it's uh, it's Ghost in, the, uh, Ghost in the Shell Volume 1, and it is um, it, it's the uncensored bilingual version. It's one that, like, just released. Uh, but they brought back the original translator slash localizer for, for yeah. the original Ghost in the Shell, and he retranslated it to be as accurate as possible. Uh, and of course, it's uncensored, and you have the Japanese yeah. and English text right next to it. Uh, Nest Nate for five bucks. If God wanted me to be sober, why do you make being not sober so fun? <laughs> uh, whistleblower getting wax sounds like a day ending in Wild Things considered. Yeah. yeah. I gonna play Stellar Blade demo when it comes out. I plan to. I think it'll be yeah. good. It'll kind of, it'll kind of, it'll set me up for like, do I want to buy this at full price or oh, do I want to no. wait? Seventy bucks. I ain't buying at full price. Yeah, right. Uh, Especially whenever it's it's the fucking so-called fans are only harping on one single thing. Yeah, and that is the ass. Yeah. Which is a good ass, but it's like, is that seventy dollars? Yeah, ass? I don't fucking care about the ass. I care about the fucking gameplay. Yeah. Dead face five bucks. Wait a second. White Deadshot was in Arkham Origins, which was only Batman Year Two. So I was old. How old is Black Deadshot if he was already retired by then? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Also, I like this. Uh, Boomerang, for some reason, just knows everything about Flash. Yeah. I uh, don't know if this has been asked, but thoughts on Rooster Teeth closing? Surprise took this long for them to bite the dust. Uh, to me, fuck everything em. went to hell when Monty died. Oh, yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. Look at that. Is that $70 cake? Yeah, basically. Yeah, right. Like, uh, I'm, I'm trying to look up other stuff about it. Well, Once again, that's kind of a thing of, like, listen, the, the Culture War stuff is the Culture War stuff. Mm -hmm. the, the actual shit that matters is the fucking... Uh, you know, it, is the game going to be fucking good? Yeah, is the is, game going to be fun? It do, It honestly doesn't look like it's worth even 60 bucks. I, I think it looks pretty good, uh, but I want to see more of it. I want to I wanna get general thoughts on it first. Yeah. Because, I, like I said, I'm, I'd be happy with, like, a Bayonetta clone or a Nier Automata clone, but that's the thing. Do I need to set myself up to that expectation? Mm -hmm. Why are they wearing Nerf guns? Uh, these guns look uh, significantly more realistic than the ones in, like, uh, Arkham Knight and yeah. Origins and whatnot. 
I've seen how bad the Joker DLC looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I don't like the way Joker looks at all. Uh, people memeing on him because he's... Uh, they tried to get away with it because it's obviously an alternate universe Joker because this universe is Joker's dead. Yeah. Uh, but, like, dog, he looks dog water, yeah. man. It's true. Woke ruins everything. I mean, anything. Woke does not ruin things. Woke is a sign something has been ruined. There is a difference. It, it is utter desperation to get people talking out of, you know, just sheer controversy argument shit. Yeah. And rage bait people. So then someone is talking about the fucking game because then someone's going to buy it out of morbid curiosity. Yeah. Woke by itself is not why something sucks. Woke is showing that something does suck. There, there is a difference. And I harp on that because you, I, I know the, the guy that was in charge of the Sweet Baby Steam Group did an interview. And he was harping on about, like, yeah, I know it's the, you know, games had really uh, ugly women and all that shit. And guess what? Journalists are using that talking yeah. point to go, oh, the Steam Group is full of a bunch of unreasonable assholes and they hate this, they hate that, blah, 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 blah. You know, the, the usual shit. There is a big, big art to knowing what to say and how yeah. to say it. Uh, especially whenever he he outright made multiple statements where he's like, "Yeah, don't talk to don't talk to journalists or anything." Yeah, like that. yeah. It's like don't don't just, do he it. He just shoot him. He just shot himself in the foot entirely. Yeah, uh, it, it's a thing of like understand what you say, understand everything you say will be spun against you. So that's why you keep it to the most clinical, the most objective, the most. How the fuck are you going to excuse this? Yeah. You know. That's why if you want to talk about the, the, the story shit and the shit Sweet Baby did, talk about the one of the good ones thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, okay, so diversity and inclusion, that's all fucking great. But now Jon Stewart's one of the good ones, fuck you. Or the Spider-Man 2 thing of, oh, diversity and inclusion so fucking great. You have the wrong fucking flag in Miles' house. Yeah. You know? Where, with the people you have working on it don't give a shit. Yeah, they don't care. Uh, a South Korean game is not worth 70 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I agree, Chad. I agree wholeheartedly. Also, for the Coyote vs. Acme deal, apparently some of the people that worked on it had some stinkers, so maybe we were, we were spared. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, it couldn't have, have been worse than SJ2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it, just the very act of making a movie and then never releasing it is fucked up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's the same thing as the, the Aliens vs. Predator uh, anime that they made. Yeah. What about race swapping? Is it a sign of anti-whiteness? Well, as they look at the way they're talking about it. If, if they go like, oh, well, you know, we, we cared about black inclusivity and we're we're race swapping this lady that's supposed to be in the Nordic Viking times. That's obviously a sign of like, yeah. all right, something's going on with this game because uh, that's bullshit. But then you have stuff like as they with a new Superman movie where they got the guy who played Bunk from The Wire to be the chief editor. I can never remember his fucking name at the uh, Daily Planet. I can never remember his fucking name. He, he's Superman's manager. Oh, uh, uh, not fucking... Oh, god damn it. I can never remember his fucking yeah, name. Yeah, the black guy. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh... I can never remember his fucking name because I always jump to the Daily Bugle and Jay Jonah. Yeah. Because they're basically the same well, fucking character. Well, they also have a... Uh, the Daily Bugle Perry also, White, yes. Yeah, Perry White. Uh, the Daily Bugle also has a black guy that functions yeah. so very similar to him. Yeah. And he also is designed very similar to him. Yeah. So, so they're having Bunk from the Wire play Perry White. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's pretty fucking good. I love that guy as yeah, an actor. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. When, when I heard he was going to be in Jack Reacher, I was like, fuck yeah, that's great. Then they ruined his character by making him yeah. over-the-top Muslim just so they can go, we're not racist, we're not racist. Uh -oh. which Which ruined the fact that he's the fucking, he's fucking Bunk from the Wire. Just let him go nuts. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I heard he was going to be Perry. He's like, that's fucking good. I like that. I like Lauren Fishburne in the role. I thought Lauren yes. Fishburne was great. Yeah. You know, so long as it's somebody that can be a ball buster. That, that is a case of, like, the, the race of the character is ancillary. But obviously, there are situations like with Saga and Alan Wake 2 where it's mm -hmm. like, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, shit like that. Are you ready for the best part of the game? Uh, do you hear that uh, Shift Up is going to go public after reaching 2.6 billion or oh, something? God. Oh, yeah. Best so. part of the game. Okay, so a reverse Batman's hunting new segment. That's pretty cool. No, not a reverse just a Batman's hunting you. Oh, okay. They know to be afraid. Yeah, because now this... Yeah, yeah, because this Batman's unafraid to kill. Oh, yeah, like, the he, you literally had a dude come in with his fucking uh, throat, or uh, with a battering in his throat. Um, press L2 the flashlight. Yeah. Oh, it can't. I'm oh, you'll, you'll get it here in a second. Yeah. They need to. They need to talk. So there's a bunch of there's a bunch of moments where the game just completely stops you and is like, listen to the characters walk, and I'm like, let me fucking do something. Yeah. When no one likes that. these segments. No one. No one likes it when controls taken away from someone. Just let them talk in the background. Now you can press L two. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. go. Okay. Uh, and now this is kind of a, a copy of the the moment in um. 
uh, God damn it, the, the the moment Arkham Knight where you play as a Joker. Yeah. And and uh, you just kind of go around. Only Batman can't just fucking kill your ass, so you better be careful. Yeah. <laughs> like as you can see, uh, there's explosive gel over there that you need to you need to shoot, otherwise it'll kill you. Yeah. That that is pretty cool. Yeah. I say there's little hints and details where I'm like, that's really fucking cool. Oh, yeah, this just feels like a, a an expansion upon that scene in Arkham Knight. Yeah, it's just goddamn. Why did it have to be this fucking game? Yeah. Don't tell me how to yeah. play my and, game. And just seeing the dead bodies and knowing yeah. that oh shit, this he is a Batman. He literally just dropped just dropped that body from the ceiling to fuck with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like this is a Batman that does not give a shit and will kill yeah. you. Yeah. It's very clear that that um. What's his face? Kevin Conroy had a had a very very fun time playing yeah. uh, evil Batman and 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 shit like that. You know where he'll just jump out of nowhere. Yeah, he just fucking one taps your ass. It's like that's fucking interesting. Oh no, I gotta play his Deadshot. Fuck. Yeah. We still have flashlights. I know. Just I don't want to play his Deadshot. Boomerang, no, no boomer. Every man for himself, Lolly. Fuck him. He's Al Man. Just behave like Owl Man because you know he kills and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, giving this game too much credit with devs' bad intentions. No, because as stated, Rocksteady no. has done good games before. Yes. Not the same people, but there it, there are signs that they wanted to make something good yeah. and they were just hampered. Yeah, cold posting doesn't do anything other than make you look like an idiot. Yeah, and that's the worst thing you want to look like online. Yeah, it, it there is legitimate talent put into this. The problem is it was completely misdirected. It, it was misdirected, and it was honed purely into chase the current thing as hard as possible. Turn it into a fucking Warframe yeah. clone. Turn it into a fucking Destiny clone. Turn it into clone. a live service looter shooter. Like, yeah. bro, come on. And and it's like, who the fuck wants to play that? Who wants to play that with this setting, with these characters? I mean, the, the first complaint everyone had when they, they saw the fucking gameplay is, really? Everyone just has guns? Yeah. Like, they, they showed off the game in, like, 2022, when it was going to release in 2022, yeah, and and people gave such bad backlash about the gameplay that they they took it and they worked on it for an additional year. Yeah, I don't I don't think it really did anything other than change the UI elements. But yeah, yeah, they put it back in the oven. <laughs> Lolly, you're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're making it out the hook. Oh, I see. <laughs> Unfortunate. So Bruce, uh, about how cool you are. Oh, don't worry. It's just Batman. He can't kill bad guys. Batman throws corpse in front of Harley. Harley, surprise Pikachu face. Oh, I think he got dead shot. <laughs> I think he might have stepped on explosive gel. All right, we're the we're the big shark guy. We got this. <laughs> we're getting pe we're getting picked off one by one. <laughs> the, the current thing of seven years ago, lol. Yeah, been in development seven years, man. Yeah, literally been in development for seven years. Most folks are tired of evil, evil Superman. Well, Evil Superman yeah. isn't the main focus of this Yeah, that, that's like barely a factor, because the idea is the entire Justice League are evil. Yeah. It, it is a factor, because people are like, really? We're just going to like, oh, okay, fucking whatever. Well, like, they, it, it's better, it's, uh, Evil Superman is actually done with, like, some sort of gravity to it. At, at least they acknowledge the fact that he's not supposed to be acting like this. Yeah, no, he's not supposed to be acting like that, and, uh, <laughs> fucking love it. Oh god, he took out King Shark. One hit, King King Shark, bro. You ain't shit. Uh, like it, it, it's given a lot of a lot of gravity because uh, we'll, we'll get to it, and we should get to get to it in the story with the way that we're able to blow through things. Yeah. They they bring down Green Lantern, and Amanda Wall. Like they they're like, yeah, we we got down Amanda Waller, the 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 shield protecting Brainiacs down, and Amanda Waller literally goes, "Thank you for your sacrifice. Uh, your crimes will be will be." Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, you'll be forgiven for your crimes uh, posthumously. And they're like, what? Yeah. And you literally see them launch a fucking nuke. Because <laughs> they're going to take out Brainiac's ship and blow yeah. up Metropolis in, in, the, in the process. And Superman fucking just grabs the nuke and flies it back to where they launched it from. And then you have the characters... Okay, did he just use Fear Toxin? Uh, yes, this... this uh, he So... This version of Batman does use Fear Toxin because it's the Arkham Knight Batman, yeah. remember? See that? Um, Once again, that's a cool detail. Yeah. He's uh, using fucking Fear Toxin. Yeah, I don't know if he actually spewed it on you, if that's a thing with that's happening in the background yeah. or not. Uh, Alchemist1999 for three bucks. Uh, what TV are you using for gaming? I'm looking for a new TV for games. Everyone, uh, eh. the IG old for games, uh, but it's a thousand bucks and has a risk of burn-in. <laughs> uh, I have an LG. I'm not sure what type of LG, but uh, yeah. that's what I use. 
Yeah. It's always been good. It, it's a smart TV. It's about as much as we know about it. Or there's a massive bitch in this game. Oh, she's always a massive bitch. That's just yeah, her That kind of is her character. She's kind of supposed to be a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's literally just her character. Uh, but but Superman grabs the nuke and flies it back to where they launched it from. And the characters kind of do this back and forth. They're like, oh, oh, you were going to kill us. You're a bad person, Waller. And then the nuke goes off. Oh, God. In the, in the background. And the characters kind of stop and they go, oh, fuck. Yeah, they were going to kill her. No, no, no. Superman flew the nuke back to where it was in the city and blew the fucking nuke up at the city. Oh, my God. And they're like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Uh, and then Wonder Woman fights him. And, like, you do several missions while yeah. Wonder Woman and Superman are fighting. And that's a really cool scene. Because, yeah. like, they're like they're just straight up fighting. There's a goddamn, like, freight ship that they, they throw at one point in time. Like, it, it's cool. Yeah. There are those really cool moments. Your records will uh, be expunged. Yeah, I uh, think that might be it. The cream titans yeast boy for dollar. Uh, <laughs> Boeing guy committed suicide by driving his car three hours out of town, rolling his, uh, rolling his car into a shallow pond, climbing into the back seat and stabbing himself forty-seven times in the back with a pen. <laughs> also, remember when the lost evidence uh, during the uh, remember the FBI lost evidence during Oklahoma City bombing? Yeah. Weird. Uh, if Amanda Waller isn't fat, you know the game movie is bad. <laughs> I like uh, Amanda Waller used to be skinny, chat. Yeah. Also, I, I like this as well. This yeah, is, I, cool. I, I kind of like that, yeah. Uh, they should have removed the entire game, just have put 13,000 Riddler <laughs> trophies across 13 dimensions for the ending to reveal next sh uh, true next game, Arkham World. Is Arkham Knight any good? That's the only Arkham, Arkham game I haven't played yet. It is fantastic. very good. It is very good. I think Arkham Knight's the best one in the series. Also, WB is also shutting down Adult Swim games as well. Remind yes. me to buy Samurai Jack Battle through time very soon before it gets delisted. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, they, they're, they're in the process it, of delisting the games right now. And yeah, it's like literally a week. Yeah, it's literally the game that has the true ending of Season 5. Mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding. Batman's beating beating him up, and Brainiac goes, Hey, hey, don't kill the Flash. And he's like, Oh, uh, yeah, of yeah. course. You want him alive. Damn, Batman, you're already dead. Fight back, Mary. Fight back. Damn, nigga, fight back. Fight back. Uh, let's be real. Justice League would end these guys within five minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like that's that's another thing that I was talking about. You know, you you have that cognitive dissonance where it's like, uh, if you enjoy something, you're willing to get it, you're willing to let it get away with a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Since this game isn't isn't received very well, the public the public image of it is that it's bad. Yeah. Uh, you're not willing to give it the leeway of like, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Superman wouldn't just take everyone out. Yeah, Flash wouldn't just instantly wipe everyone out. Yeah, yeah. Because Flash could quite literally turn everyone to paint. Yeah. This version of the Flash can can vibrate so fast it can turn invisible, dude. Like, yeah, bro, <laughs> bro, you're dead, bro. Uh, whenever you do the Flash boss fight, he literally, literal, uh, not not even the Flash boss fight. It's it's one of the things beforehand where the Flash is just kind of around. Yeah, he he goes so fast. He he. Uh, I'm sorry, not goes so fast. Blah, blah, blah. He uh, if you're playing Captain Boomerang. He strips you down to your underwear and puts a pair of Flash underwear on you. Yeah. Holy shit. In the, in the blink of a fucking eye. This, he could literally just murder you. He could have just ripped you in half uh, he wanted now to. Now, the hand wave away thing that they do in the game is they go, well, Brainiac wants you alive because he wants everyone He wants yeah. everyone alive. He wants to, to do whatever with you. Yeah, he's trying to capture everyone so he can clone them and, and brainwash them. Also, yeah. this is the Arkham, Arkham Museum. Yeah, where it, it literally just over, explains the Arkham lore. It goes over everything in the Arkham games. The only one that really matters for you yeah. is this one right here where it's Superman and Batman because yeah. that's the only thing that doesn't happen in the Arkham games. Yeah. Uh, here's the retarded portion of the whole nuke scene. Waller launches the nuke while she's still on the city, a literal block from the squad. Oh, no, no, no. She uh, she didn't launch it. The president launched it. He, he, he gave the orders because there's a, there's a cutscene beforehand where she's talking to the pre either the president or, the, or a senator Yeah. and she's like really mournful about it and she's like, I understand. Uh, so that's, yeah. the, that's the point where you as someone playing a game and paying attention goes, okay, something bad's going to happen. If if it was me, I would go. Oh, so they're gonna launch a nuke at Superman? Yeah. Cause cause Superman's been MIA. They know Batman's bad. They know the Flash is bad. They they're probably Green getting Man reports turns. from Waller that this shit's going down. Yeah. And at that point, yeah, what the fuck do you do? Mm -hmm. Uh, Superman would laser these guys apart in five seconds. Some dumbasses were like, "Oh, lol, the heck and judge." And Batman doesn't have plot armor. All the main characters have plot armor in this game. Yeah. Yeah, well, they have to have plot armor because that's how you have a fucking video game. Yes, I mean that, that is just how what you fucking do. Every every game out there has has a bunch of shit that you could pick apart with it. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. That, that's where the cognitive dissonance comes in. Was it President Luther? I don't know who's president in this. No, no, uh, Luther Luther is just a guy. Uh, the president remains unnamed in the, okay. in the game so far. Was the OG Suicide Squad just assassins for the government? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they sent them on. You good, Shark? Shark, shark you good? Shark, you good, bro? Shark, you okay? You good, man? I think he was scared. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the, the the big thing with this game is 
a lot of the story stuff does just come down to it's a comic book video game. Give yeah. it some, give it some fucking leeway. Yeah. But yeah, yeah with everyone uh, going like, well, the rest of the game is ass. Then yeah, you're gonna rip it apart. Yeah. Because you're gonna look for literally anything you can to go. Well, well, you wouldn't do that, or you wouldn't do that. Yeah. The thing is, people people get annoyed when people when people start picking apart uh, comic book stuff, especially since this is in the same universe as the Arkham games. Yeah. Uh, it, the very few people that will go to bat for this game are just gonna go. Uh, you remember how the game that this is like that the universe this is based on has you running around as a guy in a fucking bat costume? Yeah, yeah. Where he takes do down his shit. entire his entire rogues gallery in a, in a single day, and how uh, in Arkham Knight, uh, Scarecrow literally gasses an entire fucking state. Yeah, yeah, and, and Superman never gets involved. Yes, yeah, and... so none of these characters get involved. It's like it's like you don't want to harp on stuff like that. Yeah, there is a way to do it. Without sounding like, uh, well, actually. Yeah, because pe pe people are going to go like, yeah, here's all the problems with the thing that you like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it is just the nature of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the real story stuff that sucks is the fact that it feels very stretched out. They're very blatantly setting up for multiple seasons. So, yep. like, it can't, it, it can't get anything done. Yeah. There, uh, there, there's not enough fucking game. Yeah, there's not enough fucking game. Shark was about to go Jaws. Uh, not even a single day. It's one night. Yeah, yep. that is true. All, all, all... Fuck, all four games are a single night, dude. Yeah. It's what a about, legend. It's not about logic as a corner reality. It's about having a consistent logic within the world you're telling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you set the rules of the game, and then you play by it. And this yeah. game is at least willing to be like, hey, listen, this is what we're just going to fucking do. Yeah. Uh, if if they did outright establish, hey, these are, these are clones of the Justice League, and they are not actually as powerful as they should be because they're not the real fucking Justice League. Yeah, well, like... That would have been something. Yeah, well, uh... You like you have that scene where you cut off Flash's finger, and then in, in like almost every subsequent scene, and and it plays a it plays a story element. Cutting off yeah. his finger plays a story element, uh, and in every subsequent uh, scene with him, he still he has his finger. Yeah. So that that helps go along and imply that uh, it's a clone of him that you're fighting. Yeah, they're they're using clones. Yeah, yep. Uh, Draxian for two bucks. Uh, Lolly, you jiggerboo, what are you playing? It's Suicide Squad. It's pretty awful. Yeah. It's pretty awful. Batman Arkham Video win. Arkham Video never, because every single song on the original Arkham soundtrack is copyrighted. Yeah, seriously, I don't, I don't fucking know why. You get like 80 copyright strikes playing through the very beginning of that. Uh, Archive Star Control, five bucks. Scarecrow rig Gotham a bomb, so if anyone uh, else tried to interfere, then the Bat family would blow the city up. Yep. But that that's the thing, though. When you have characters as powerful as Superman and, and the Flash, and the Flash, Green Lantern, that wouldn't matter. They would just do it. Yeah. You know, I say you you make these concessions to have it work with the story it wants to tell. So you you go like, yeah, if we're going by this version, obviously that'd be bullshit. It's just something you accept. You know, it's comic book logic. I'm sure that wasn't incompetence on the dev's part. Uh, no, because there's a model of him without his finger uh, in the game. And like I said, it plays a story element. Why are they uh, starring Superman in this new world? The story meant to be the end of him. The new Batman movie is at least later one long uh, Halloween. Because as stated, they're more than likely just going to drop the fact these are clones. They, yeah, they, they're likely. introducing multiverse shit. You outright have to fight multiple Brainiacs. Mm -hmm. You're going to have multiple different versions of the Justice League. Yeah. You're going to fight different variants. Yep, yep. I mean, it, it, it is insane how obvious it is that none of this matters. Yep, yep. That is the big problem of the story. Literally, none of this matters. Yep. Because it's all multiverse shit. They're probably clones. So yep. they're even when they want to make it weighty and have it be like, oh, well, Wonder Woman has to sacrifice herself to save Superman. Okay. It doesn't fucking okay. matter. Okay, but Superman, I'm sorry, Wonder Woman's the only one that does matter because she's not a clone. But even then, it doesn't <laughs> because they're introducing the multiverse. So there's just going to be another Wonder Woman. I the, that's the thing. Wonder Woman would be would be the only one they they would uh, keep dead because she's the only one that actually sacrificed herself. Everyone else would be clones. That shit costume. Deadshot costume looks neat. Yeah. So uh, the costume that like Wonder Woman and Deadshot have are, uh, I guess they're they're like. So uh, they're Justice League members yeah. that they're attached to. Oh, okay. I mean, it's in the new DCEU All Stars and Ultra World story for a reason. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Well, um. It is, in fact, an old story for a reason. Yeah. Uh, you hate multiverse stories. That's very understandable. It's very clear they're going to rewrite uh, the all-star Superman shit to where it's going to be... Have to. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a jumping-off point. So, obviously, they're not going to kill him off in his first fucking yeah. movie. But it's they, also... they are banking so hard on this movie being a success. Yeah. Because if it, if it fails again, they're just going yeah. to they're they're have to fucking like, pack it up, dude. They're literally giving James Gunn every single thing he wants. Yeah. 100%. Are like, Batman? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead. I was just going to say, like, he's already posting about the different comic lines he's taking yeah. plot points from. Like, yep. and he, they're, they're good. Like, All-Star Superman is, is a fantastic storyline. Yeah, so, yeah, you're, you're going to get the scene where he helps a girl who's suicidal not jump off a roof. He was James Gunn was posting about that, saying that's going to be in the movie. Yep. 
Uh, to be fair, if Batman beat Scarecrow in one, uh, in one night, it is a possibility that Batman beat Scarecrow so fast that Superman just didn't hear about it. <laughs> Uh, Big Puss Ben Shiro for that one. My big problem with Batman is that his insistence on seeing people who will never reform to Arkham Asylum uh, makes him complicit in a lot of death and destruction, uh, his rogue salary calls. Mr. A wouldn't have that problem, but fuck me, I guess. The the problem with... Yeah, people know... No one... There's a reason yeah. you don't see Mr. A is because people don't want to read a story about Mr. A. They yeah. don't like that fucking logic. Yeah. Uh, as much as people bitch, whine, moan, and complain about Batman, Batman's not the Punisher. There's a yeah. reason Batman Batman fucking outsells him. Yeah. Well, the, the big thing of this is the fact that, like, a lot of the time... You're complaining just about the formula of comics, which is yeah. you have to reset everything to zero to keep the status quo. Yes, it would be better if Batman just killed the fucking Joker. But guess what? There's four other people writing their own stories of Batman. They need the fucking Joker. Red Hood was all about it. <laughs> yeah, Red Hood was all about that. Yeah. The the big thing is uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the self-contained stories about Batman, they do have pretty definitive endings, and it does seem like it's finally over. But then they reset it to zero. And also the fact that... It, that, that kind of comes back to the, the issue that the Batman brought up, you know, the, the Batman, the movie, the Robert Pattinson one, where it's like, why does Batman have to do everything? And and, and honestly... Also, uh, I, I do. this is a logical fallacy. This is the lasso of truth, and he did just lie. Yeah, he did. He did just lie. That, everything else he says is true, but him going, it just came off, that's a lie. Yeah. But uh, the, the big thing is, like, so I, I, I recently rewatched uh, Dark Knight Returns. I will rewatch part it's one a, and part two of Dark Knight Returns. It's good movies and, Seriously. and comics. Seriously, some of my favorites. Some of my favorites. Probably still one of the best Batman movies ever. Yeah. The, the, the dystopia it sets up is so fucking perfect to explain why Batman does not kill. Uh, Sega 162, five bucks. I appreciate you two insisting on focusing on the big issues instead of nitpicking this game to hell like average nerd might. Well, because yeah. the, the big issues are in your fucking face. Yeah. Well, like, the, uh, like I'll, say all, all, I'll say it again and again. Video games, what matters in a fucking video game is the gameplay and the stuff gameplay. like that. The story is secondary. There's a reason John Carmack went on record saying story in a video game is like it, story in a porno. Yeah. Uh, Archive starting trophy two bucks. Give me back my foreskin, Bruce. Give me back yeah. my foreskin, Bruce. But yeah, the the Dark Knight Returns explains perfectly the the yeah. problem with raising the whole "Why does Batman not kill?" thing, because uh, you you see the version of Gotham that's set up in Dark Knight Returns. It's being it's being plagued by the mutants. The mutants are literally kidnapping children and murdering them for fun and like teasing the media with the fact they did that. Yeah. And everyone in Gotham is too scared shitless to to want to fight back. They're like, well, we'd look fascist if we did that, or oh, well, we wouldn't want to stomp on anyone's rides or yeah. any shit like that. Literally, I I love the I love the thing with the, the where they're doing the interview and the yeah they, yeah they have the guy that's like, yeah, we need to kill the Joker, but they wrap it up in in with him being like hyper racist. Yeah, yeah. And then you also have the guy that's like, oh no, we need to have a soft hand on crime. We need to we need to, we yeah, need to help yeah. rehabilitate him. And then he's like. Oh, yeah, I would never fucking live in the inner city. Yeah, I would never live in Gotham. Yeah, yeah that, that one's great. Uh, the psychiatrist who wants to reform the Joker, yeah. and they make it so fucking clear he's doing he's it for, doing his, for, the, for, yeah, for his, his image. Yeah, his image. That is probably one of the best setups for why the, the characters are still alive. Because yep. it's like, because nobody in Gotham beyond Bruce wants to fix anything. Yeah. No. He is the one man trying to fix the fucking city. Yep. Him and Gordon. Well, uh, as much as people, as much as people like harp on on Arkham and like they they elevate the Arkham series up. Yeah. Uh, so do you know? Do you know in in the Arkham universe? Do you know why Jason Todd went after the Joker? Why? Because the Joker chopped up a bunch of babies and sewed their bodies together, mismatched, and sent them to their parents. So oh the parents God. had to had to take the body parts apart to get their kids back. Oh my God. And and Jason was so pissed off that Batman wouldn't kill the Joker that he was gonna do it. And the Joker just got the drop on him. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so fucking over the top that you're like, Jesus fucking Christ, I don't care if he's crazy, execute him. And yeah, that's in the Arkham universe. Yeah, it's like that that is something where it's like, okay, Bruce, come on. Bruce, Look, what not, the fuck, man? Not even Bruce. What the fuck is the rest of Gotham doing? Why do you not give this motherfucker the death penalty? What the fuck's going on in the, in the United States? Jason was the only man that made any sense, dude. Yeah. Uh, Gotham Dark Knight Returns is some of the best social commentary. That's what I mean. That's what I like so much about it. The, you know, the fact that it's willing to show Batman is just part of a much larger problem. Yes. Reagan sends Superman yeah. after Batman <laughs> yeah. because he made them look bad. Yeah, Because exactly. Gotham was the one city that was not a shithole. It, it, it is. It is it just gen- a little joke. Just a funny little just, gag. Just a, just a funny little guy. Just a funny little goofer. Yeah. But it's like that. That, that is the best possible explanation behind why Gotham is such a shithole. If you ignore the Court of Owls and the whole yeah. shit with that and the the curse on the city. Well, in Arkham and in, in the Arkham games, I don't think the Court of Owls is a thing. I don't think they establish it. Yeah. yeah. Thank fucking Christ. I, I I'm not a big fan of Court of Owls. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, 
Uh, Joker's mentally ill, no need to kill him at all, goy. <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it's this thing where, like, everyone keeps harping on why doesn't Batman kill? Why doesn't Batman kill? Why is he the one making that decision? Yeah, like, at some point you have to, you have to take a step back and go, all right, listen, I, I know social reform gets thrown around a lot, but come on, man. Yeah. Hell, uh, hey, killing joke had Gordon forcefully looking at pictures of his half-dead naked daughter. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's a thing where, like, Batman is, exp is expected to be the judge, jury, executioner. When he flat out says over and over again, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. I don't want to be that guy. I'm leaving it up to Gotham to judge these people. Yeah. And under the Red Hood, he outright states that it'd be too easy, easy and he's afraid that it would lead to, to worse things happening. Yeah, and he's right. Yeah, he is, 100%. Yeah, he, he's 100% right. Uh, especially with the fact that, you know, you have shit like um, uh, fucking uh, the Lazarus Pit, you know, with Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. Where, where like, even even if he killed somebody, Ra's al Ghul could think, I want to fuck with Batman mm -hmm. and just bring somebody back. You know, it's like, it, the, the, there are so many answers to the why doesn't Batman kill question that it does get a little like, well, dude, we already know. Yeah. It, 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 it kind of turns into one of those meme questions of like, oh, ha, ha, yeah, you heard about that over the weekend, whatever. Just saying, Metropolis says the death penalty is a much nice city. <laughs> uh, yeah, the death penalty is, is Superman bringing them in oh. and going, like, I won't do anything. Court of Owls is a thing in Arkham Origins as an Easter egg. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Where was the baby jigsaw puzzle mentioned in Arkham Knight? It was one of the collectibles. Uh, it, it's in one It's in one of the stories, if I remember correctly, because yeah. Arkham, Arkham Knight had these things called Arkham Stories. Yeah, I, I don't think it was when you were hunting Azrael. No, 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 not the not the side stories. Uh, oh, it, it's you. You scan like you scan the Riddler th the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it gives you like a a story. Yeah. I, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, Superman, no worries, because vil most villains got the death penalty, like that one dirty cop that tried to kill Superman. Well, his Clark persona. Yeah. Yeah. That's how cool. Bring everyone back. Uh, Batman dropped just to spite him. Yeah. <laughs> the hell is Batman supposed to do in the city? And the state doesn't have death penalty. Yeah. Right. Good game of the good stories. Go to the bad game of the good stories. Passable. Bad game of the bad stories. Ever Yeah. Yeah. The, the gameplay needs to be there and that that's why that's why I always think you should focus on gameplay first and foremost yeah because there's there's no excuse in gameplay yeah it'll just come down to well I like it and I, it's like I, well congratulations yeah yeah I don't care I don't care if you you have the best story of all time if your game if your gameplay sucks I'm going to say your game bad period uh, so playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth all I can think is damn you big titty teeth and washboard air thing for you <laughs> making me act up I bought a cheap, cheap tablet and learned to draw I make bank lolly boy I can't fucking draw uh, there's a great DLC in Arkham Knight where Roz is dying and Batman has a choice to bring him the last of the serum from the Lazarus Pit. Yeah, it was it was a season of infamy because they all came yeah. out in, in a single pack. But yeah, it was uh, it was you either let him die or you bring him back. And if you bring him back, then Talia's sister uh, gets killed because yeah. it's a war for who's going to lead it. Dark Knight Returns better than Watchmen fight me more is a pretentious hack. I, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere where Dark Knight Returns was kind of made as a response to Watchmen. I don't know if it was made, made as a response. Um... I, I just love Dark. I, I love Dark Knight Returns. Oh yeah, it's, it's just, just, it's just fan, fantastic. They're two very, very different stories. They, they are. They are very, like, very. Uh, Dark Knight Return. Okay, the first part of Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. Uh, the first part of Dark Knight Returns is just a an all around good story. It's just a great Batman and, story. And like it has its moments where it gets super dark, but at the end of the at the end of the day, it ends with them going. Yeah, Batman gets to ride off into the sunset. Yeah, yeah, he gets he, he gets to uh to start his new cult and I and say he, cult but you know yeah. he, he basically gets to start his own League of Shadows. Yeah, and he's and and he's kind of uh, gotten Superman back on the straight and narrow. Yeah, yeah. And and I like I like how they do Superman. I like how they do Superman. Yeah. They they establish over and over again. He's yes. just a misguided boy scout. Yeah, it, it, not even really misguided, it's more the fact of like, listen, if I don't do this, this is going to go really fucking bad. Yeah. I mean, it's just the fact of like, he was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Even he outright was like, I don't want to fucking do this. Yeah. You know? Which I kind of feel like, is, as much people go like, oh, it's an evil Superman story, it wasn't. He said no. over and over again, I don't want to fucking do this. Yeah. Uh, like he's, he, he's not evil. Yeah, not by any means. Uh, and they also dress over and over again, like, yeah, he could have killed Batman if he wanted to. Yeah. Specifically because he didn't want to kill Bruce. Yes. That's why Bruce won. Yeah. Too bad it has sequels. Yeah. But, didn't okay. Do okay. Them, okay. Didn't do them. <laughs> Those didn't happen. But they did, and they're so bad, though. Uh, I just want to see Batman at least cripple the Joker. I tell you, Red Dark never turns. He fucking kills him. Yeah, he just he fucking he outright kills him. I want you to remember the man who beat you. One of the hardest lines Batman has oh, ever said. Oh, it's fucking yeah. awesome. Uh, big push Ben Shrill for dollar. To be fair, I'm not saying uh, to kill him. Just didn't, just don't send him to a minimum security asylum. But I get your point. I think it would be somewhat refreshing to just have a story too with a character like Mr. A. Well, the problem is you can't have Mr. A. Uh, yeah. You literally cannot have Mr. A. You want to know why? Because they, they did water down Mr. A into a character known as The Question. Yeah. Uh, as soon as DC got their hands on The Question and ripped it away 
from uh, the fucking dude who made it. God, what was his fucking name? Ah, he helped Stan Lee. Fuck, uh, fuck. I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but as soon as they ripped the question away from the creator, all the Anne Ryan libertarian politics went out the fucking window, yeah. became a liberal mouthpiece. I'm not even fucking kidding. Yeah, because, like, guess what? The Ditko, yeah, Steve Ditko. Yeah, the people making your, your comics don't agree with that. Yeah. They, they 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 hard raped that character. And they're like as much as people go as much as people shit on Moore for for uh, writing Rorschach. Like he wrote Rorschach like that on purpose because yeah. he didn't want to make him a caricature. Yeah. The people the people who followed Moore don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. No. They they 100 percent make a caricature. Yeah. Like Moore is a contrarian asshole, mm -hmm. but at least he's just a contrarian asshole. Yeah. He he knows how to write good shit. Yeah. Like that's a that's a fucking non arguable statement. Yeah. He he is from that generation of they're crazy, but they're crazy led to something great. Yeah. Yeah. You know? His brain's fried. He too much acid. Didn't man. the question die and the uh, female picked up the mantle? Yeah, it's literally like a Latina lesbian chick. I say it, it is they hard fuck that character. Mm -hmm. Purely out of spite because of what they were meant to represent. Uh, have you ever had uh, the Gotham police try to kill a Joker? Be easy for a random cop to score him and just cap him. Yeah, there are multiple stories they try. Joker needs made. <laughs> uh, Moore's nuts, but he's a good writer. Yeah. Yeah, he's goddamn. Yeah, he's a fantastic writer. Anything you like about this game? The the late game gameplay is fun, and there's multiple story moments that that are are entertaining, and I think yeah. are I think are good. I like the small details. Like yeah. I said, I like the fact this does feel like it feels like it's made by people that know their shit about DC. Mm -hmm. It's just been directed in all the worst places. Uh, you can look at the like I, I can make a list of things that I like and things that I don't like about the game. Uh, I like the architecture of of Metropolis because yeah. it is very heavily based on the uh, Superman animated series Metropolis. Uh, kind of mixed with like some gar uh, Gotham architecture too. Yeah, a little bit. But you can see the animated series influence on it. A hundred, a hundred percent. The the late game gameplay is fun. I like the way uh, I'm I'm swapping between grenades, primary, secondary, melee, uh, in every combat encounter, encounter, and including my specials. I think that was that was done well. Late game. The first like fifteen uh, character levels in this game, fucking useless the yeah. game is not fun to play until you have your your like mid to late game stuff um oh yeah metropolis did kill a guy in the animated series yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i'm more coping and seething over rorschach's popularity as to he he is a contrarian he is a massive fucking contrarian he will change his opinion on a fucking dime depending on what people think He's been, he's been, uh, people say that, but he's been decently, uh, decently consistent about his stuff. It's just a matter of people pull, people pull half quotes from 50 different interviews. Cause he used to interview a lot before his brain got fried. Uh, and they just literally pull half quotes and like, see, he said this here and it's like, okay, but just read the fucking full interview so that we can have the, the full, full context, please. And so, like, no. so you literally have to play through the entire game for it actually gets to actually being fun. Yes. Yes. We didn't literally. say this game is good. Yeah, the the game the gameplay only gets fun once you're through the story. Uh, a lot of the stuff they do to incentivize you to play uh, multiple characters throughout the story, no reason to do it, yeah. because you don't get enough experience to keep up all your characters. So if if you if you uh, did, so you see how it says Captain Boomerang psyched up for this. He's yeah. gonna get double experience. If you did the psyched up for each character, you probably wouldn't even manage to be level 25 by the time you reach the end of the game. Oh my god. Uh, which means you still don't have. That triangle circle thing right there, you still wouldn't have access to that. My that god. is the level 30 unlock. My god. Uh, now, granted, it's super strong. Uh, if you press that, you literally just slow down time for 30 seconds. My god. Like, you are, it's just super overpowered, but still, it's a core game mechanic. Uh, agree with your point uh, that woke itself isn't the problem with the uh, map crappy games and entertainment soiled by crazy left wing ideologues and so much damage to their cause. Well, I stayed. It, it, they are not soiled by the left wing politics. They were soiled and then they appealed to left wing politics out of desperation. That that is why they do this shit. It, it's not a thing of these games were magically good and then they went woke. No, they were always shit and they're like, oh, all right, fuck. What do we do? What do we do? Yep. You know, like look at Starfield. Starfield having the the pronoun selector is not why that game sucks. Yep. That game fucking game. sucks ass, and it has that menu there to try and basically kick off what happened with it, where people argue about that, and then you can just turn and go, look at all the people that don't like our game. Yeah, people, they're they're people, super stupid, right? Yeah, people don't like our game. They're just complaining about about surface level stuff like pronouns, just because they're it's because they're uh, they're those types. They're the righties. They're yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're stupid, uh, and it gives them a fucking uh, a hand wave away. 
reason yeah. as to why their their game's fucking bad. Yeah. And that, it, that that's why that's why you need to shut people down. The cold posters like that, you need to shut them the fuck down because it's like games. These games always, always, always have actual gameplay problems. Why are you not fucking reloading? Oh, you hold triangle. You're you're in his alternate fire mode. Yeah, there you go. What? Yeah. So so this is the Bizarro shotgun. Remember how I told you? Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, you build up that purple meter, and then then you shoot somebody. Uh, yeah. That's I, fucking weird. Yeah. Uh, if you notice as well, the the Bizarro shotgun has a the reverse reload too. Yeah, that's fucking uh, weird. Oh yeah, something I do like about the game is uh, a lot of these weapons, they do feel unique. Like the Bizarro shotgun, the Bizarro weapons I think are super cool because you you put a damage over time on enemies that builds up. And then you swap to your alternate fire, hit them with it, and it'll do all that damage that built up at a sing in a single burst and it's super strong. I think a lot of these these uh, I think they're called notorious weapons. I think they're they're really unique weapons. Yeah. So they got the loot part of Looter Shooter down. The problem uh, is everything else. Yeah. Nice and eight for ten bucks. Uh, me when I'm shipwrecked and washed ashore, uh, washed ashore a beautiful island full of a bunch of rich people and celebrities. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Uh. Big push pinch for a dollar. Uh, I think it was Ren, uh, Rene Matoya, the cop who was retconned to a lesbian who took up the mantle of the question. I'll, uh, I also just think a character like Mr. A in the indie comic market, like what Steve Ditko did, uh, done right, could be incredibly refreshing. Well, there's there's tons of vigilantes that kill people. I mean, that's literally just asking for the boys. I mean, th th that's kind of the thing where a lot of these alternatives do exist. It's just people kind of get locked up and, and only stick into the main companies that they like. Uh, where... As Dave, if you want a vigilante that kills people, you got the Punisher. If you don't want the Punisher, you, you have, have Jason Todd. You have Jason Todd. I mean, there, there, there's a lot of vigilante style characters. Yep. It's just the fact of the these specific characters usually get once they get popular enough, they get grabbed up and snatched and then just exploited because they yeah. they're trying to chase what people want, not realizing why people want it. I'm gonna try out the SMT tabletop game. Nah. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a crazy huge yeah. fan of of tabletops. Yeah, and I mean, sadly, like he. Even even if you want specifically Mr. A in the question, you're never going to get it because of what that character is. What that character is, starting off as, you know, Mr. A was literally just a political mouthpiece of, uh, mouth of disco. Piece of disco. Yeah, I was trying. It was hard to say. It was hard to fucking the say. political mouthpiece of disco. The political mouthpiece of disco. Uh, he, he was literally meant to be the political mouthpiece of Ditko, meaning anyone that p takes up the mantle of Mr. A will never be able to channel Mr. A because they're not fucking Ditko. That's not Disco. Yeah, that's not Disco, baby. <laughs> that's not Disco, bro. Yeah. You know, they're, they're never going to be able to recreate that. It's going to be someone who doesn't understand what exactly he's talking about and will water it down to be something else. The question is at least meant to be more general, but guess what? Right now, they're completely fucking up the question out of spite because of what he represents. So it's a thing of, like, there's not much you can really do right now. I don't know who on the writing team hated fucking Penguin, bro, but... <laughs> but goddamn. I mean, in all fairness... Uh, I don't get it. Someone shoved the bottom of a beer bottle into Penguin's eye. Uh, that was, uh, that was Joker. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he went to gamble. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Penguin tried to throw him out, so he broke a, uh, he broke a, 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 uh, beer bottle, slammed it in Joker's face. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm sorry, in, in, uh, Penguins. Penguin's face. Uh, he also used to have one lodged in his throat as well. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice? Awful, awful, awful terrible fucking movie. Terrible. I will say this: I think the Batman armor, the armored Batman suit, it was good. That's pretty fucking cool. It was good. Pretty cool. Can't believe Harry from Disco created Mr. Egg. <laughs> well, it feels like most characters here, uh, they don't like most characters here besides a few like Wonder Woman. Well, uh, a lot of these characters, um, I, I don't think it's that they don't like these characters. Uh, King Shark, to be fair has never been consistent to begin with, so they just wrote him as a way that they thought would entertain people. Yeah. Uh, Deadshot, I think they believe what they did with Deadshot was funny. Yeah. Where he's he's the straight man. But he's not. But then they do a bunch of stuff at his expense. Yeah. Uh, Harley Quinn is just written like modern Harley Quinn. Yeah. And that's indicative of, that's kind of like a, just indicative of the comic How much market. Harley sucks in general. Yeah. Uh, Boomerang's just cool. Yeah. I, I just like Boomerang. I will say that. I think they did Boomerang really cool. I know he's not at all like his comic counterpart, but he's entertaining. Uh, nice Nate for five bucks, sweet baby. You're a white man, so you get nothing. You, you lose, lose good day, sir. <laughs> uh, they definitely like Harley, that's for sure. It's because they're trying to push Harley so fucking hard to be the DC Deadpool, and it yeah. never fucking works. 
New 52, New 52 killed everything I loved about DC, and yeah. they still won't let me have it back. Yeah, it, you know, it, it is this dumbass fucking thing where... And I know exactly what the problem is with Modern Harley. Uh, this game, it's because they never give her moments to be serious. That, that Batman scene where you're getting hunted by Batman legitimately could have given a good dynamic with Harley where she's like piss, ta- piss pants terrified. Where she's like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. But okay. no, she, she's like cracking jokes I, and we're like, oh, this looks familiar. I was going to say, well, to be fair, she was also, uh, whenever she actually fought Batman in the Arkham game, she was never showed a hint of fear. Yeah. Uh, she, but, but specifically... She, doesn't, she doesn't have a fear of dying or anything like that. Uh, even when he can kill. She's yeah. just not afraid of something like that. So that that's that's fair enough. Um, the the boss fight with Batman is a bad bullet sponge boss fight. But I will say the lead up to that, I, I like. And it's also a riff on Arkham Knight because there's a moment in Arkham Knight where you take down Harley and you synthesize her voice. And then from that point forward, yeah. you can command her guards using the voice synthesizer. Um, the lead up to, the, to the, the Batman boss fight has him flooding his Batcave with the fear toxin. So you're you're you gotta run through it and it's kind of it's kind of like what you just did, but uh, now you have to actually like shoot uh, Batman and whatnot as yeah. he's trying to take you down. Um, and you have Harley trying to keep her shit together while leading the team over the over the comms. Okay. And then it ended with Harley and and whenever you're going through it with Harley, you have a moment where she's like uh, where Batman comes over the comes over the intercom and he has synthesized her voice. And is telling them what to do, and is leading leading them to all get knocked See, out. See, that's fucking and, cool. And that's when she panics. She goes, "Oh no! Oh fuck! He's got my voice. Deadshot, don't follow his orders. He's leading you to the slaughter." That's uh, pretty good. I, I do think it's I do think it's bullshit because um, if you know about the Harley Quinn that uh, the the Arkham games is based off of, she is based off the 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 of course animated series Batman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. In which case, she literally sucked dick to get her degree. Yeah, um, not not one of the better aspects. No, not not at all, not at all. I, I don't like that. Uh, that's kind of how they explain away why she was a doctor, but she was also so ditzy. Even though I'm like, come on, get, it made Joker that much more scary that he was able to get a legitimate therapist to be mm-hmm. that obsessed with him. Yeah, um, what I don't like was something. This is probably my least liked moment in the entire game, uh, outside of like you know the the. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Outside of the the rage bait moments, obviously, yeah, uh, like killing Batman and whatnot, um, was uh, during like after that it leads up to her her the the, the way you beat him is you flood you uh, mix your own fear toxin in there because Batman has has an immunity to the, the 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 type of fear toxin he's made, so Harley mixes in her own fear toxin, and they explain it away as her going like. It took me. It took me forever to to figure out how, uh, or to talk to Scarecrow and figure out how he made his fear toxin. But you're not immune to my version of the fear toxin, Batman. And I was like, all right, that's dumb as fuck. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of dumb. I was like, if you just made a cure, and then just still had them shoot Batman, because that's a, that's all. Yeah. That's all it is. They just shoot Batman a bunch. Yeah, yeah. Like, come I on. I assume. I assume all of them devolve into you shoot them a bunch. Maybe. Uh, the Green Lantern one's one of my favorite bullshit gimmicks. Because, like, at least with Flash, you're like, okay, whatever, it's a gadget. With with <coughs> the Green Lantern, Batman literally has tiny uh, yellow lantern batteries. Oh, my God. Laying in his Batcave that they just duct tape to their guns. And then they shoot Green Lantern's constructs. And they're like, yeah, oh it's, it's a yellow lantern. It's super effective against, against the Green Lantern. Fuck you. That's so fucking <laughs> dumb. That is so fucking dumb. It is comedically dumb, dude. I love that. That's amazing. Like, it was so dumb. I was like, tch, tch, fuck you. <laughs> Harley still sucked less knob than Kamala. Yeah. Scarecrow literally went into hiding after Arkham Asylum. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, was, it was Arkham Knight. It's Because it's, it's, it's supposed post Arkham Knight. Uh, where Scarecrow is kind of like a, just a fucking babbling, broken man. Yeah, because he's gone insane. Yeah. Uh, and somehow she managed to figure out how he makes... Or talk to him and get him to tell her how he made his fear toxin so that she could reverse engineer it and make her own version that Batman would be weak to. Yep. Uh, My brother in Christ, she sucked dick for her degree. She's not a neurologist. Uh, Jackson 212 for five bucks. Also, earlier reminder: Harvey, uh, Harley, and Ivy have only interacted twice in the Arkham games, and both yes. times were freeing Ivy uh, for someone else's benefit. Yeah. Yes, yep. uh, and, and and that's the thing. Like uh, and they they try to they try to like do the they had a romantic relationship thing. And it's like that yeah. never came across yeah. in any of the games. Yeah. No, none of them. The, the excuse at the time was like, oh, well, there was a comic where they were super tight, and it's like, no, they weren't. I, I, I don't even think there was a tie-in comic where they were super tight, honestly. Yeah. No. It's like there were comics tying into Arkham yeah. Asylum, but well, like they never. Are, most of them are regarded as non-canon, but yeah, they do exist. Was she good though? I 
Perhaps. Uh, Big Piss Ben Shapiro for dollar. What do you think of the Bloodhound Gang? A person love the lyrics. Uh, this fair trade <laughs> coffee tastes like gay. Uh, uh, Vulcanize the whoopee stick and the ham wallet, along uh, among others. Welcome to Revishell Disco Inferno. We uh, we've used the Bloodhound Gang song as a, as an yeah. intro or outro before. It's pretty uh, good. I think I think a lot of their songs are good. They're yeah. they're, they're fun to listen to. I, I saw the Red Letter Media where they were like, oh, is this a a uh, Bloodhound uh, a Bloodhound uh, uh, song title or is this? Uh, what was it that they were doing? It was. It was like, is it a song title or or like a schizophrenic or something like that? Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but yeah, I, I saw that pop up on Red Letter Media, and I was like, I was like, ah, oh, hell no, you motherfucker. Because the TV show Harvey and Harley. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. It, well, not just that. Like they they have been pushing super hard in in the comics yeah. and everything to have them be a thing, and it's like, sure, fine, whatever. If you want to build up the relationship, do it. But this version of them never built that up, yeah. and Ivy died. She only came back in this game because that flower that that uh, Batman preserved. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, did, I didn't want to equip my accent. That's yeah. Fine. Uh, another big problem is. Uh, okay. Uh, another big problem is the fact that like, I I brought up before uh, I tried to bring it up, but then we lost track. As it is what it is. But the the big problem with them trying to push Harley Quinn as DC Deadpool is. Deadpool has a lot of moments in the comics where he goes out of his way not to be a bad guy. Yeah. It, not just, oh, he has moments of humanity. No, he actively <clears throat> is fighting to save somebody. Like the, uh, yeah, in the, the uh, one of the X-Force comic runs, yeah. they're, they're out to kill a, uh, a baby apocalypse, if I remember, not apocalypse, a baby uh, sinister. Yeah, I Mr. Think. Sinister. Yeah, baby Mr. Sinister, and uh, fucking Deadpool refuses to do it because he doesn't want to kill a kid. Yeah, and uh, Wolverine's lampooning him because he's like, "You're a fucking killer, you piece of shit!" Like, you, suddenly this is too far. We literally pay you to kill people. And, and he's like, uh, "Yeah, I know." No, no, he he goes, "Yeah, sure, whatever you say." Wolverine and walks off, and yeah. and, and Angel's like, "Hey, Logan, he never cashed any of our checks. He was doing, he he's doing, he's working with us because it's the right yeah. thing to do." Yeah. Deadpool stopped chick from roof suicide. Yeah, Deadpool's yes. moments of humanity hardly barely does. Not only yeah. does she barely does. Not only does she barely have it. That that cutting babies up thing that I was talking about earlier. Harley played a played a part in that. She's literally killed children. She she spent months torturing, waterboarding Jason Todd whenever they were brainwashing him. She would literally come in there and waterboard him for days on end. She she paid the other Arkham inmates like Killer Croc and them to come in there, beat Jason to near death, let him let him heal up, and then they would they would have another one do it again. She's yeah. a bad fucking person. She is irredeemable. Yeah, uh, in comics she's even worse. Comics, they've outright given her moments to be like, hey, do you want to be a good guy? And she'll double the fuck down. The, yeah. the infamous one, the, the one I will always, always reference, because that is the biggest case of missed opportunity that I think I've ever seen with her, to, to do like a Deadpool thing and be like, hey, I want to be a good guy now, is the, the one where Joker hides a bunch of explosives in like children's, it was either presents or video games. It was something like that. It was like a little handheld games or they're passing around or something like that. Uh, and all over Gotham, there are children who are getting these, these handhelds in, because the, the setup is like, Hey, a bunch of children blow up. And Batman specifically confronts Harley and is like, you don't have to fucking do this. If I remember right, it was Batman. It might have been Nightwing. It might have been somebody else. But they, they literally sat them down and said, you don't have to fucking do this. You do not have to fucking do this. You know, for once, have that little bit of fucking humanity. And then she still fucking does it. So it, it's this thing of like, if you're going to go out of your way to give the character those moments of like, hey, you don't have to be a bad guy. You can still be a villain, but you don't have yeah. to be, like, this irredeemable piece of shit. And then they have her double down. And they have her double down purely out of shock value. Yeah. Of, like, oh, you thought she was going to turn good, but that's just Harley deep down. And it's like, then why the fuck are you pushing her as a face? She blew up those kids. She did. Yeah, she blew up those fucking kids. So it's this thing of, like, why are you pushing her as a face? Why do you want her to be a face? She's meant to be a heel. You know, if you want to do the anti-hero thing, you have to show she has moments of not being an anti-hero. Uh, and they never fucking do. Shoot the, the pink thing on this one. Yeah. Gotta blow these kids up for Mr. J. Uh, yeah, her blowing kids up is... No, no, up, yeah, there you go. I wanted to shoot that thing up. Uh, her blowing kids up is... You might be able to skip to the next part, part of this, this mission. It's possible. Uh, yeah, her blowing kids up is a comic book thing, but yeah, in this universe... She helped Miss. She this helped, universe is arguably worse. Yeah, she literally helped Joker stitch a bunch of toddlers together, and so that the parents would have to have to pick the, the toddlers apart, yeah. so that they would have a, their bodies together. Yeah, they're, 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 even if you want to do the thing of oh well, she felt bad about doing it. No, there there is a level of like no motherfucker. You feel, you feel bad whenever someone's talking about chopping t fucking toddlers up, bro. Yeah, it's like no motherfucker, you help do it. Yeah, you help fucking do it. 
Joker dick game must be crazy, bro. Yeah, seriously. It's like it it, it is this thing where that there's no packing 15 inches and that shit's an arm around. Uh Brayden Ford 141 for $2. Mr. Freeze is a better anti-hero than her. Of course he is. Mr. Freeze, yeah, like he has multiple moments where he does exactly that. Like the the Batman story where he makes it snow during uh makes it snow in Gotham. Uh and Batman's like trying to figure out I was like, what the fuck are you planning, Freeze? What the fuck are you planning? And he finds out it's literally just because it was snowing on the day of their wedding, and he didn't want his wife to feel alone during Christmas. Yep. It's like, that that just fucking hurts. He's just sitting there at the grave, and it's like, yeah, she wanted a snowy Christmas. It's like, fuck, that hurts. Yep. Like, Mr. Freeze has some of the best moments of doing exactly that, to where yep. anytime they do a redemption arc with Freeze, it's usually really well. The the uh, the animated series revamp of Freeze did wonders for his character. Yeah. Uh, that's why I like Red Hood. He, doesn't, uh, he does what Batman is too weak to do, and he gets stopped. What's your opinion on Lego Batman? It's fun. It's yeah. fun. Um, Freeze is an anti-villain. Yeah, that, that's probably the best way to describe Mr. Freeze. He he is the one where if you want to have the was evil, then turn slightly good slash still out for himself. Yeah, that's him. But Free, Freeze is, is a dedicated bad guy. Like he, oh, yeah, yeah. He's full on killed people and he robs stuff. It's just but you he, get does, what I mean. he does if, it for a, a, good, a yeah. good reason. If you get what I mean. If they decide one day, hey, we're going to turn Mr. Freeze into a good guy, he'd be one of the ones where it's like, okay, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. I like the way Batman Beyond did it, where he was a head locked in a basement for for fucking yeah. years. Then they they ran experiments on him, made him a body, and then betrayed him. Yeah. And he he's finally after like living for hundreds of years, he's finally had enough. Yeah. And and, uh, and he tries to kill Powers. He he kills the chick that betrayed him. Yeah. And he goes, uh, Batman, um, Terry McGinnis tries to save him. Yeah. And he goes, let me die. I promise you, you're the only person left that that cares. Yeah. It's like for the love of God, let this fucking happen. Yeah. What is my life? Because I think his wife died by that point. Yeah, his wife was long dead. Yeah. They want Harley to be an anti-hero, but not really, because the fat cat lady feminist writers relate to her. <laughs> that's scary. That is true. Enjoying that moment. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it permanently says level up. We can't level up. I don't know why it says Shit. that. 100 years, 50. Yeah. Uh, the animated series also was also what uh, in introduced Joker toxin, because they yes. couldn't show the Joker killed people, so making them smile was the workaround. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, started to watch FF7 or Bridge arrive at the Link R cameo. What the fuck? Oh, God. I had that one line go. I exchanged 1,000 of my days for your worst day. That one line hits fucking, uh, fucking hits hard. Yeah. Yeah, you're the only one who does, man. That hits hard. Oh, yeah. Yep. It, it does hit super hard. And then he fucking lets himself die. Yeah. Harley is impossible to redeem no matter what the fuck people say or try to do with her. What happened to Jason and the kids was the worst, uh, worse than raping Nightwing. Yeah. Well... Hey, they, listen, okay, Nightwing's got that fat ass, though. They can redeem Harley. It just requires rebooting it and not going so fucking over the top with her Joker simping. Yeah. Uh, it's a thing of if she just helps Joker rob a bank, easy enough to redeem, whatever. Yeah. Her, yeah, getting involved with the death of children or torturing uh, Jason. Yeah, there, there, there's a line that becomes ir uh, irredeemable, and, like, it, it, it's the part where, where, like, Joker's killing kids, and she doesn't, she doesn't, like, turn around and try and help. Yeah, like, if, if they establish Joker wants to, like, blow up a children's hospital, and that's the line Harley draws at, where it's like, what the fuck are you doing? That That's that's one thing where it's like, you know what, okay, that's understandable. You know, she's a Joker simp, but even that's getting, to, that's getting into that uncomfortable territory. That's the psycho Joker that, like, everybody's scared shitless of, even yeah. her. You know, it's like, okay, okay, that would make sense. But they don't want to do that. They want to make her as dedicated as possible, so then they can turn around and go, well, she finally broke free, she finally broke free. It's like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. It's like, who gives a fuck? She has just as much blood on her hands. Yeah. Pink. Pink, pink. Pink. Yeah. Uh, Pay on writer simic for female villains sabotaging their writing abilities. Oh, it's just, it's stupid. Yeah, yeah. It, it just comes down to they are bad writers. You know, it, it, there, there's not much explanation beyond that. It's they are a bad writer. They can't keep their dick in their pants. I'd have tears to shed if I could shed tears. Yeah. Me. Uh, hope you didn't pay for this. Nope. No, thank God. Not a cent. Uh, remember the 4chan post about the future of game hubs? <laughs> yeah. Even the most vil evil villains stay the fuck away from Joker, except for Harley. Well, okay, there, there are people who do genuinely get worse than Joker. Uh, they're, they're, like, Scarecrow has his moments of being pretty fucking sadistic. Arkham Knight was, was fucking, he took over an entire state. Yeah. You know, there, there are people who get worse than Joker. It's the fact that Joker makes it so personal. You know, that, that's Joker's thing. He, his, he, his beef is with Batman, and he'll do whatever to get under Batman's skin. Yeah, literally anything. Uh, but people like Ra's al Ghul, who, who will kill literally anybody and not fucking blink about it. Yeah. You know, that, that's that's kind of the, the thing. Uh, Killer Croc fucking eats people. Yeah, Killer Croc does eat people. He's like, you know, Croc fucking eats people. 
Uh, Bane, Bane's about the only other one you could think of where he has some code. Bane took over, like, half of Mexico. Yeah. And even then, it depends on what version of Bane you're talking about. Yeah. There, there are some Banes, he don't give a fuck. Professor Pig's one of them. Yeah, Professor, Professor Pig, uh, kidnaps people, lobotomizes them, and cuts up their genitalia. Fucking Zaz. Zaz yeah. is just a serial killer. Yeah, and, um, and the first, in the first game, there's the audio tape of Victor Zaz breaking out of Arkham Asylum. And uh, in a tie-in comic, you see that he he kidnapped his his therapist and was going to uh, dissect her uh, yeah. alive, uh, but Batman managed to stop him. Yeah. The man who broke the bat. Yeah. Roll, roll, fight the power. Wasn't Bane born and raised in, in a South American prison? Yeah. Was, yeah. Um, fuck. What's it called? Uh, something. Prisca? <sighs> fuck. Yeah, it was something like that. They, they changed it to be like, like what the fucking Middle East and Dark Knight Returns. It, it not returns, rises. It's fucking weird. Yeah, uh, Zimbus for four dollars. Am I the only one who thinks Plastic Man is the closest DC has to a Deadpool in terms of humor style? He, he's he's a funny little guy. Plastic Man and Lobo. They're about the only ones that oh, are I fucking. Really... I I love Lobo. It's yeah. just it's very unfortunate that like they don't know they they have a Deadpool problem where they don't know how to write Lobo. Yeah, they they just try to make him wacky. And his fucking villain is Superman. Yeah. I'm sorry, his hero is Superman. Yeah, and it's like, fuck. Yeah. Braden 4141 for dealers. Joker and Harley uh, is just overused. I mean, yeah, there's yeah. a reason it's overused. It's because they're fucking good. Yeah. The main man. I, I think the big problem is a lot of people are just tired of the Joker. They kind of want other people. Yeah. 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 DC doesn't know what to do with Lobo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it's funny because like Lobo is just a shitter. Um, I yeah, he just which, talks to people. I forget which DC uh, animated movie it was, but one of the animated movies has them trapping Lobo in like a, a little like uh, man-sized test tube thing, and he does an interview with Lois Lane. And he's just hitting on her the entire time. Yeah, and like he can he can fucking get out of there. He's fucking Lobo. Uh, it is a crime we never got Prometheus as a villain in Arkham game. You are, yeah, you know what, you're right. Uh, we we were, uh, well, we were going to get, um, so the uh, what's it called? Fucking the season of Infamy was going to have a lot of characters. Um, Arkham Knight was, despite it getting as much dev time as it did, it got fucking just cut to pieces. Yeah. Um, Victor Saz is like in a background character in like one scene in the game. Uh, in the base game, there's gonna be a mission where you hunt down Victor Saz like in Arkham City. Yeah. Um, they kind of tease him. <clears throat> yeah, he. I mean, he's there. Um, in the season of Infamy, they were going to have Prometheus be one of the characters you, uh, he did, he did, yeah. uh, Prometheus is going to be one of the characters, uh, you, you fight in season of Infamy. See, that would have been cool. Yeah. Uh, Winter Blame for Jillars, uh, Brad Garrett is the true voice of Lobo. Uh, the Lobo that they had for the, um, Injustice game, fucking great. Uh, Big Push Ben Shapiro for a dollar. The Arlen Game Show was a lyrics trivia game where they're guessing the lyrics were from Marilyn Manson and Bloodhound Gang. It was very funny, yeah. in my opinion. Also, like a scrotum, here it is in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I sat there, I saw that, I was like, man, fuck you. But you're right. When Freddy's talked about how he would uh, kill to feel the sunlight on his face again, Heart of Ice was so fucking good. By far one of the best written Batman the MA series episodes. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's fucking amazing. Uh, you know, there, there are a lot of different characters you can use and, and, and tinker with to do whatever the fuck you yeah. want, but... Everyone kind of taps from the same wells, and it does get to a little bit of absurdism. Where, like, okay, White Knight does Harley really well. She's fantastic. Yeah. White Knight is peak. It, it is one of the better renditions of her, because as they, they they actually have her draw lines and go, I'm not fucking doing this. Yeah, she, she did literally completely reform, and then she goes on to have a relationship with Batman. Yeah, they get married. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Nasty Nate for $2. No more taxes, please. No. Yeah. All taxes. Slime Skulls for $2. He's not a good homie. He's broken up about Akira. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you know, it, it's it, it's a good shit. Uh, it, very, very good version of Harley. And once again, shows that if you add just a little bit of complexity and be willing to go, no, she's not going to fucking do this, you can do a lot with her. You know, address the fact she is just a follower of the Joker and she's not as crazy. Yeah. A lot of the bad ones uh, keep wanting to do this. Oh, she's crazier than the Joker. And then that just makes yeah. her into like... And it, it, then it's like, yeah, so she's a dedicated villain. Don't try and redeem her ever. Yeah, don't don't try to fucking redeem her. If you want her to be evil... Like, that, that's where the Arkham games leading up to this did it really well, where she is completely unrepentant. Yeah, like when, once Joker dies, she literally just becomes a, a new jer Joker. She dedicates yeah. her life to fucking killing Batman. She, she holds funerals for Joker like every year since he died. She, she, yeah, she has a shrine to Joker. One of the, one of the Arkham stories you can find uh, in, in Arkham Knight is she has a shrine to the Joker... Yeah. And uh, one of the one of her henchmen thinks she's fucking crazy, yeah. and he's planning on killing her. 
uh, but she she's been watching him, and she uh, he goes to destroy the shrine to the Joker, and, and then he's gonna go kill Harley. Yeah. And uh, he gets to it and uh, plays a tape of the Joker where he says he says you messed up and the, like the guy's name, and he's freaking out. He's like he's what what's going on? what's going on? And then she fucking bashes his fucking brains in at yeah. at, at the foot of the statue. Yeah. Uh, Vidi bad for five dollars. Joker made Harley kill kids. People treat her like she's a child who literally has no agency. She is an adult who made a decision to be irredeemable. Yeah, yeah. And I say that when they dedicate and are like, hey, yeah, she's just a piece of shit. That she's interesting. Yeah, she's fun. You know, she she is just a an absolute fucking monster. I I, I never. I, I never liked the way that they tried to make her like a, a person who cracks jokes all the time. Because yeah, I always no, felt yeah, like yeah. I always felt like Joker shtick. And, That's Joker shtick. Yeah. And I don't think Joker's jokes should ever be really funny. They should no. always they should always be like really like corny, awkward. Because he, he, he's a failed comedian. Like at yeah. his heart, at his heart, he's a he's a failed comedian. He's not know? funny. There's a reason the uh, the killing joke. There's a reason the joke at the end of it like sticks as hard as it does, and that's because it's a fucking corny ass joke. Yeah, it's a corny ass joke after all the horror. after all the buildup. Yeah, you know, I, I I do genuinely love the 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 two insane asylum patients escape uh, joke. That that's yeah, just yeah. It's just a good way to accentuate it. You want to get in that blue thing before? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, eh. Before that. Uh, Necroner for 10 bucks. Sorry, this is stated, but my favorite version of Harley and Joker come from White Knight, where Joker regains his sanity, and we find out, uh, animated Harley actually did gain a conscience. Yeah. And a different woman, uh, went with, uh, wear Harley from Arkham. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I say a very, very good version of Harley. Um, White Knight is fucking peak. It White is Knight, very good. Beyond White Knight and Curse of the White Knight. Fantastic. Sean Gordon Murphy's, uh, an amazing writer. He's doing Zorro right now, so if you like Zorro, pick up his Zorro. Yeah, very good shit, very good shit. And, and I say it, it, it just works because... Addressing the fact that she has lines already puts a lot more depth to her. Uh, if you want to go with the, your redeeming Harley thing, if you go with the redeeming Harley thing, giving her those lines makes her stand out so much better from the Joker. Because as to, I love the, I, I, I hate the the retcon that Harley was a ditzy like slept her way into being a doctor shit. Because yeah. the 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 idea of like no, she was a put together psychiatrist who tried to help the Joker. And, and fell so hard under his influence that she became the the ditzy Harley, that to me is a scary contrast. Yeah. He could fuck a person up that bad that they become the complete opposite of their personality. <clears throat> yeah. That is scary. Yeah, that's understandable. Now, it's not a retcon. That was Paul Dini, and, and them. that was the ones that, that actually wrote the animated I, series. So I don't that's, care. It's a retcon. That, that's what they intended with the character. But yeah, yeah I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I see. know what you mean. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It, you know, that's scary. That's good. That's interesting. So once again, introducing those little moments where she conflicts with the Joker, where you do see there is, there is humanity in there and she's trying to get out. You know, it's like, that's good. That's interesting. Uh, Eric, you know what's for dealers? Remember, they introduced Punchline as the new Harley. Yeah. Yeah. No and one, then, they, then they got rid of Punchline. No one fucking liked Punchline. You can fuck a person up, but I'm just... Big push Ben Spiro for a dollar. You, uh, you can do a lot of stuff with Harley, like weird stuff with her butt. That is true. <laughs> Uh, how do you feel about the new Joker movie, the Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga? I am interested. Uh, I'm interested in it being a fucking musical, and we don't know what that's about. Yeah, I, I, the fact they're they're keeping it so close to their chest, I like. They're not coming out and saying it's not going to be for fans or this and that. They're just keeping it real close. Yeah. Oh, well, what's your favorite Robin? I don't know if this counts because technically he's not Robin anymore, but Nightwing. Oh yeah, he, he was Robin at one point. Uh, yeah, my, my favorite is Jason Todd. I, I did like, uh... Jason Todd's really fucking cool. Uh, I, I liked that he had his moments where he was an actual character. Also, look, look, uh, look, 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 oh, look, look, Sorry for spamming, but you missed my last super chat. Uh, two bucks, but I'm gonna return. Sorry, give me, give me, give me a sec, give me a sec. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, uh, Batman watching over you, it's cool. Yeah. Uh, let me try to find this. Yeah. Oh, God, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be entertaining. Give, give me, give me a second, okay. YouTube wants to be awkward and fighty, so give me, give me two seconds. I have to use my phone. Okay, so it's from... Yeah, Will Spain for two bucks. Will Spain uh, for two bucks. Bane was just an inmate. Tali was born in prison. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that that was Dark Knight Rises, right? Uh, I don't remember if that was Talia's actual backstory. Making sure we're caught up here. Uh, yeah, it was about Dark Knight Rises. Okay, so yeah, it was uh, explicitly about the movie. Yeah, Talia, uh, yeah, Talia was put in there. Meanwhile, Bane was born there, and he'd been there his entire life. <sighs> yeah. 
uh, Folie de Adieu, a.k.a. Shared Psychosis, or, or Boy Arthur and Harley. Yeah. Uh, another good Joker voice actor was John DiMaggio in Under the Red Hood, and ha uh, not Hamill, but for the, uh, for the performance, dry humor works. John DiMaggio yeah. was a good one. Yeah, he was a good one. Talia was born there. Was she? Yeah, yeah, okay, I remember. I don't remember a lot of Dark Knight Rises. I don't Rises. remember because Dark time. Knight Rises is... I, I, don't, I don't like Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, the one I really liked, once again, bringing it back to Dark Knight Returns, I love the voice actor they got for Joker. The The guy that got to play Joker in Dark Knight Returns... Was, oh, the animated movie? Yeah, that, that yeah. was really good. He, he, he did fuck, fantastic. Who did, who did they get? Uh, it was like Glenn Prescott or something? Give me yeah, a second. They did a, they did a good job, whoever it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you take over while I, while I do this. Uh... God damn it, really? I, I put in fucking Google, and it gives me everybody but... Okay, Michael Emerson. He played the Joker. Uh, Peacekeeper for five fake mice. Ra's al Ghul is the most evil, uh, pretending to be uh, his daughter. How far was he willing to go? Yeah. Uh, Damian Wayne's the most cocky Robin. He's an entitled little shit. Yeah. They, they literally had to tear down the entire rest of the Bat family to make him bearable. Yeah. Jason Todd VA and Under the Red Hood was pretty good. That was Jensen Ackles. Uh, Jensen Ackles, like, I, I, Jensen Ackles would make uh, Jensen Ackles makes both a good Batman and a good Red Hood. Yeah, you see, Stone Toss was apparently doxxed. Yeah, and he's a Latino. Yeah, America's strongest soldier, isn't Supposedly. he? White. But yeah, I, I, Michael Emerson as Joker was really fucking good because he nailed that thing I like where he's able to give Joker that kind of manic energy, yet he never goes too far with it. He when when he's manipulating people and talking quiet, you believe it. Where, where he he's all like, oh, I just want people to see my side of the story. It's like, yeah. that's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. And yeah, having that kind of edge where it's almost like he's legitimately in love with Batman. But then you get that ending where he's like, oh, I won. I made you lose control. Just so fucking good. That mo those movies are fucking fantastic. We're only five bucks. Uh, Richard Epicar was surprisingly good fit for the jo uh, Joker and Justice. Yeah. Um, he did an all right job. I thought he was pretty good. Um, God. I'm trying to remember. Did he also voice him in Injustice Two? I, I believe it was the same guy. Yeah, because I, I know he had a little bit, a little bit of a presence in Injustice Two because uh, Harley hallucinates him once. Yeah, and and that was pretty good. Was pretty they good. they have uh, Injustice Two has like flashback moments, and that's where yeah. he's he's in there. Besides Kevin Conroy, who's your favorite Batman VA? That's hard. Uh, like I said, Jensen Ackles did a good job. Jensen Ackles uh, did really good in Long Halloween. Who, who did him in um in Returns? Peter Weller. Peter Weller, yeah, Peter Weller's good. Peter Weller was Peter Weller's fantastic purely because of the the scene in the mud pit where he's dislocating the the mutant leader's bones. I'm and a like, surgeon, and this is my table. It's like, yeah, the, you know, this is an operating table, and I'm the surgeon. It's yeah. it's so fucking hard. That that is, God, or, damn, it's so good. Or or when he's shit talking Superman, and he's like, you know, I'll talk to you tomorrow, but for the rest of the night, stay out of my way. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's so fucking good. Peter Weller's fantastic. I like old Sam Fisher in Dark Knight Returns. Uh, that was not Sam Fisher. That was no, Michael no. Ironside plays uh, Sam Fisher. Michael Ironside did voice Batman, but it was in like one of the anthology movies. Yeah. I think it was like Dark Knight Year One. Uh, it might have been Roger Craig Smith. Wow, who did Craig Smith voice? What version of Batman? Uh, I don't remember. Was it the um? Was it the the Batman version of him? Maybe. Uh, Michael Ironside also voiced Returns Batman in a segment in the Animated Series. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. That, that makes sense. Uh, Lulu Ford for two bucks. What's your opinion on WB's The Batman from 2004? I haven't watched it. Oh, he it. did him in Origins, dub. Yeah. Uh, I have not watched it in a long time. I thought it was pretty cool, because that's the, if I remember right, that's the one where they wanted Batman to be basically like a moving cloak, right? You didn't really want to see his body? Uh, yeah. 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 I kind of like that. I that, thought that was kind of sick. One, that's the one where they had the, the black guy voice Joker, and he has like yeah. a really over-the-top design. Yeah. John DiMaggio uh, told the killing joke better in that multiple-ending version of Red Hood than Mark <laughs> did in the actual movie. <laughs> hey, fuck yeah. you. Will Arnett. Uh, it was an episode of Batman the Animated Series that did seem from Returns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of my favorite Batman jokes in DC's run where a lot of the contingency plans were revealed to the Justice League and Green Arrow got buttery with not followed for. Yeah. Uh... I, I, I like in this whenever they're going over okay I, I don't like the scene where they're going over it because it, it like they, they turn it into a joke yeah um, but they they go they get the scene where they're they're going over Batman's contingency plans 
and uh, they get to the Batman one, and he just goes, "There is no contingency for the Batman. Yeah, you need to get all of the all of the Bat family together and jump me. Yeah, you need to just get together and jump my ass. Just beat my ass to death. Just do it. Just, just absolutely obliterate just my ass. Just fuck me up. Just, just fuck, fuck me, me up. up. Uh, Damien's better written when he's not an edgy little shit. I liked him in Super Sons Run. Uh, I but, don't like Super Sons. Uh, but then they edged up John Kent. They gave him an ugly boyfriend. Yeah. They, I don't know why they fucking like. You had you had the potential to do years upon years upon years of character development, and they fucking flash forward to him yeah. being a goddamn like a, a adult dude. What the fuck? Because they're bad writers. Uh yeah. Um, Damien. The only time Damien was ever good was in I think War for Gotham, which is where Catwoman starts to quote unquote re- rehabilitate, aka give the bad guys a union. And the fucking Bat family turns against Batman, except for Damien, because he's yeah. like, he's like, all these other motherfuckers are some fake bitches. It's you <laughs> and me, Dad, for life. Uh, yeah, Joker was voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson in 2004. He has too many credits to list, but he was the Twins yeah. Invincible, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Batman's Joker is played by Kevin Richardson, and he put in a great performance. Clancy Brown also played Mr. Freeze. I remember that! Yeah, uh-huh. Clancy Brown's Mr. Freeze. I was fucking sick. Uh, Batman outright goes, if you want to beat me, use trauma or take hostages, but think before you try it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so did you see the leaks about multiplayer Spider-Man game? Supposedly. Uh, th- that's not, that's not something that's coming out. That was yeah. something that was cut in development. Yeah. Uh, cause you can look at, uh, and something that came with that, came out with that uh, <clears throat> a while ago. Yeah. They talked about it, um, before Spider-Man 2 released, one of the things, uh, as like a, a later thing that was planned that got yeah. completely canceled was a multiplayer Spider-Man. Uh, I like that Batman story and went to India or something to not feel pain. <laughs> Uh, please stop talking. Yeah, no, right. What's what's the point of this? What's the point? Uh, it's it, it, they need to give you five minutes to read the fucking how to throw a grenade. Yeah. Uh, found a video on YouTube that uh, was an AI Batman doing contingency plan for guts. <laughs> That's a uh, painting on Batman Ninja. Batman Ninja's fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I I don't like some of the some of the character designs. Yeah. K- Kabuki Joker is okay. He's okay. He's certainly an interesting design. I hate yeah. I hate Robin's design. That's but talking. Catwoman's design, fucking peak chat. Uh, on the note of versions of Batman, I still wish they'd have full series of that Batman from Shanghai Animation. Uh, that's that was the Chinese one, obviously. Yeah. Um, they had, God, what was it? Uh, Elon Musk has tweeted about Gamergate 2. This is not a drill. Put an APB for Sargon. <laughs> yeah, Batman. Best Batman actor, Adam West. He's pretty good. I, I love. He Adam was West. fun. He was fun. The, the fact he loved he the character it so good it killed yeah. his career. <laughs> yeah, he loved the. <laughs> he loved the character. He he enjoyed it a lot, and he just got typecast because he was just too naturally funny. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, uh, watching documentaries about fucking Adam West and the 1960s Batman show, it really is sad because. Uh, they flat out say over and over again, yeah, this was a comedy show for fucking kids. Like, no fucking shit, it's cheesy. We made it for children, and it was a comedy. Like, what the fuck do you want from us? And it just got Adam West typecasted for fucking years, despite, like, it being a massively popular show. It, Aww. It's, it's pretty good. Have you ever uh, consider reviewing any David Lynch movies or Twin Peaks? Man's one of my favorite filmmakers. Oh, it's definitely on the list. It's definitely gonna happen. Why about that, Sharko? Best of luck to you and Shoda. I'm hitting your Sandy with this game. Stay based. Stay ace. Uh, Batman has a robot contingency plan for himself that has a contingency plan for some, uh, Superman in case he tries to stop the robot from killing Batman. Yeah. Uh, what was that? What, what was that one? Was, uh, what was that one called? Because the current run of Batman played into that one, where yeah. Zirin, Zirin R takes over the uh, the body of the robot. Still piss people ask if Spider-Man ever tried to join Justice League because Dar- Death Bell said he did when that was fucking fan or do research. Yeah, that, that's something where it's like, motherfucker, you don't know. You, you don't know. You I mean, know yeah, shit. obviously. <coughs> I mean, technically he did because the Avengers are basically just Justice League for Marvel. Pog, 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 pog. Pog, 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 People still make memes of the 60s Batman show because it's good. Yeah, it's dated. It's cheesy, but they're flat out like, yeah, it's fucking cheesy. That's the fun of it, asshole. Yeah. Well, they, uh... Fail safe. Yeah, I felt safe. Uh, before before uh, he died, I want to say they did animated movies for the the '60s Batman, and uh, they're they're not bad. They're not bad. Yeah. They, there's like three of them. Uh, Tic Tacs for three bucks. Uh, that's on Ratchet and Clank series, most notably a 2016 movie tie-in game and Rift Apart. Uh, Ratchet, uh, Ratchet and Clank Apart's great. Uh, the movie tie-in game is nowhere near as good as it could have been. It's okay. 
If you have, like, a really small kid that wants to get into Ratchet and Clank, uh, A, just get him a fucking emulator and play the fucking old games. Well, it's, uh, like, the, the gameplay itself isn't, uh, isn't bad. It's just a matter yeah, of the, yeah. the tone. The tone has shifted away from what it used to be. It feels like it's far. trying to be, like, the movie, and the movie was trying to be for little kids. <laughs> it, it literally was. Yeah. Because uh, it, was, it was literally just the game covering the events of the movie. Yeah. So, so like I said, it's the thing of, if you have, like, a really little kid and he wants to get into Ratchet and Clank, because maybe he saw the movie, I don't fucking know. Maybe you just want to show him it, because... You're a big Ratchet and Clank fan yourself. It's not bad, but there's better games. Like Rift Apart came out just a few years later, and Rift yeah. Apart's a million times better. Yeah, Rift Apart. Rift Apart's better than the the 2016 game. Yeah. Uh, obviously, almost any other Ratchet and Clank game is just a, a better game than the 2016 one. Get, get, Maybe not gameplay wise, because gameplay wise it's really smooth, but get, like story wise. Yeah, get an emulator and get something like uh, Up Your Arsenal. You know, which is like. Uh, have you heard that uh, Tombo he got paid, popular on tour was found out to be a paid show, uh, paid for by BlackRock, uh, Black Rifle? Yeah. Uh, people were like, oh, yeah, they, they're trying to prop her up as like, a, oh, that's not how a woman's supposed to be. And then you find out, like, she's literally the, the fucking girlfriend of a dude who works at Black Rifle Coffee. Yeah. Scum. Going Commando. Going Commando is really fucking good. Yeah, Going Commando is fantastic. I, I love the gameplay and the mechanics of, of Up Your Arsenal way more than Going Commando. Yeah. But Going Commando just has some of my favorite stuff. Like I love Angela Cross so much. Yeah. I love the ship segments. They're they're really yeah. fun. I like being able to customize my ship properly. Yeah. Deadlocked. Deadlocked was really Deadlocked fucking fun. Deadlocked was was fun. I don't think it's as good as any of the games that come before it. May, okay, maybe better than the original Ratchet and Clank. Maybe. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank One is definitely very simple. plays better. Yeah. Rift Apart came out and made fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Captain so, Boomerang would have made more a lot more sense in this game if his son Owen, who is an actual speedster. <laughs> uh, there, no, the, he it's literally tech. Uh, yeah. There's I, Doctor Sal Sal Salvar Salvari. Uh, can use uh, he has tech that emulates the speed force or taps into the speed force, and that's what he's using. Yeah, he flat out said it's a speed for, uh, speed force gauntlet. Yeah. Well, uh, for two bucks, just saw Doom Part Two. Let the spice flow. I still need to see it. The spice flow. From, from what I understand, it does stick to the book, and like you find out that Paul is not gonna be a good guy. So it's like, yeah. you know what? That's ballsy. They, they didn't dumb it down. Good on you, Denis. Once again, Denis Villeneuve showing like, motherfuckers, I like sci-fi shit. Yeah. Quit, quit saying I ruin every fucking franchise I touch because I objectively don't. Yeah. He makes good movies, man. He makes very good movie. I'm sorry. You uh, just Doctor. Shit. Yeah, Doctor Savannah. Yeah. Savannah. That's what it was. Uh, I like I like what they do with uh, the toy maker. Yeah, or Toy Man or whatever. Uh, I think it's Toy Man. I like what they do with him. Uh, he, he's like a super, uh, super intelligent kid. It really, really, uh, really big fan of the Justice League. Yeah. Um, to the point where, to the point where, like, I feel really bad for him because Amanda Waller sees him and they immediately put a fucking bomb in his head despite him literally being a civilian that asked to help. Yeah, it's like, dude, I, I just want to fucking it's, help. It's like, you guys, you guys are literally the bad, the bad guys, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, like Amanda Waller's just a massive fucking asshole. The kid would have helped. All you had to do was just lie to him, man. Hmm. It makes sense if he was like a proper villain or something, but he's like he's not. Sicarian prisoners are super underrated from Denis. Excellent films. Oh yeah, yeah. they're awesome. That's it. The, the only reason, the the only reason. Oh oh, people are people are saying shit. Oh, what? Okay okay whatever. Uh, oh, Mike was dying for a sec. All right, so it was just a weird hiccup thing. But yeah, fucking the only reason people started saying Denis was like shitty is purely because of Blade Runner, and Blade Runner was only shat on because YouTubers said it was bad. Yeah. Be because they were saying shit like, oh, they turned Blade Runner into an art film, which was an actual take I saw, and yeah. I was beating my fucking head against a wall. Yeah, you fucking idiots. Yeah, it, it's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> he stands in the lead scenes, his ass. He's also a director. Yeah. Directors have weird takes about movies. They do. Like, like universally, they all have, like, weird fucking takes. Yeah. I'm as, uh, once again asking who is talking shit about Denis. Oh, just post that you like Blade Runner 2049 on Twitter. Yeah. I know Literally, just do that. Uh, fucking what's his face? Uh, uh, Razor talks shit about him. I know. Yeah. Because he, he doesn't like uh he doesn't like twenty forty eight nine. Uh, Creeper of two bucks twenty four nine is overrated and undeserving. Fight me. Uh, see, I, I was I was gonna say everyone shits on it. Everyone shits on it. Yet they go it's 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 overrated. Come on, come on, buddy. Yeah, it, it's like dude, come on. Freeze the building's coming down. Believe me, the only one who cares. I cry every time. It's fucking yeah. good. Yeah. It's a fucking crime we never got Prometheus. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, there Damn, we go. bro, you up. You up there, man. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I haven't seen the second Blade Runner film. It's really good. Yeah, 24 is fantastic. 
Uh, Alchemist 1999 for two bucks. To be fair, he didn't write 249. He did write Dune. Well, that's the thing. It's still really fucking good. As yeah. a director, he did a very, very good job. Oh, he does have shit taste every now and again. You'll get used to it. See? See? This is literally what I mean. My problem is the atmosphere didn't feel as cyberpunk as the original. It just felt like conventional sci-fi film plus nostalgia bait's kind of obnoxious. I, I don't agree. No, I don't no, no. agree. Uh, like, it, it, it is fucking completely drenched in cyberpunk. Uh, I, I will say this, something that uh, is completely out of his control that it made me sad was um, Jared Leto's role in the movie uh, was yeah. originally going to go to David Bowie. Yeah, and that would have been a million times better. Yeah. He would have been a million times better. Oh, yeah. Because Jared Leto in general just sucks. No. He just is I don't not know how he actor. keeps getting work. He runs, a, he runs a literal cult. That's probably why. He just has dirt on people. Mm -hmm. uh, 24 9 is a half and half movie. One half is good. The other half is meh. All right, film is not amazing. I disagree. I love it. I was going to say, it, it, it's good thoroughly. Yeah, like, I love it. Good. Uh, I, 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 it's one of those. It's one of those things where I, I do unironically think it would be better uh, without... Uh, what's his face? Um, Jared Leto. Yeah. No. Uh, Harrison Ford? Yeah, Harrison Ford. Uh, I don't think he does a bad job in it. But I think he'd just be better without him. Yeah, yeah. Kind of tease the idea of finding him, but, you know. Yeah. Funniest part of 24 9 was when Harrison Ford came on set in his normal ass clothes and just read the lines. It looked like uh, <laughs> yeah. he wants to die and every movie's done in the last 10 years. At least in regards to Blade Runner, that makes sense for Deckard's character yeah. and, and what they set up with him. Sure. Uh, Winter Lane, five bucks. I like Lawler from uh, Just League Unlimited as uh, they made her human and someone who tried to repent for her wrongdoings. Yeah. Uh, I feel I, like OG Bloodrunner is guilty of this too, if anything. Yeah, I, I like I like this version of Gizmo, even if just because I I, do, I haven't read very many comics with Gizmo in them, so I just always picture the Teen Titans version. Okay. Uh, Ray Faulkner, five bucks. I hate when I cough when I pee, making my dick spasm and spray around, leaving a mess to clean up. Fuck my life. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Order your chicken nuggets. Keep it in your fucking pants. To be fair, Leto played Wallace as a massive creep naturally, almost like he wasn't acting. <laughs> Uh, that's on ER's review of 2049. I haven't watched it in a while, but from what I understand, he mainly just focused on people shitting on it. Probably. He, he focused on people shitting on it, going like, well, why why are, like, feminist outlets calling it a bad movie? It's a cyberpunk dystopia everyone shat on. Mm-hmm. Uh, why is everyone in this game such a dick to King Shark? Because he's dumb, Jared and they're bullies. Jared only good role, Lord of War. Not wrong. Eh? Harrison Ford shouldn't have been in the movie. I think he's fine in the movie, especially with how they handle him. Uh, cause it, it was, he's, he's fine. I just think it'd be better without him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the way they wrap it up, I think works, you know, him getting to see his daughter again, giving, giving a, a bright spot for Deckard and Kay dies. You yeah. know, it's like, I think that works. Uh, the big thing is I say every time I hear criticisms about it, it's never stuff like that. We're like, ah, we've been better like this. It's always, no, it's an insult to the original. Yeah. It shouldn't exist. Like over the top shit where I'm genuinely like, what are the standards here? Like, yeah. What are the standards here? Uh, the standards are I got my opinion from a YouTuber who, who yeah. needs to be hyperbolic in order to get views. So they just announced System Shock remake. Homie! <laughs> How far behind are you? I uh, love it when Batman killed Jared Leto with an accent American Psycho. Yeah. I think the big problem is that 24-9 lacked a compelling antagonist. Leto was nowhere near as good as Rucker Howard would have catch Christoph Waltz. Well, that's the thing. That, that is fair. But he's not really he's the, not, the yeah, antagonist. Yeah, he's not really the antagonist. He is the driving force, but the actual antagonist is Love, yeah. who was good. I liked Love. I yeah. thought she was great. You see Rushia tried to commit suicide? Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what someone said. Yeah. That's what happens when you're a massive fucking piece of shit. He said it's a good movie, but a bad, bad Blade Runner movie, if I recall. Who? Uh, Probably Razor Fist. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I remember distinctly him shitting on it. Oh, probably ER. Yeah, probably talking about oh, ER. ER yeah. yeah. Yeah, ER said the movie would have been better without him and the twist involving uh, undermines the original mystery surrounding whether or not it's a replica. No one likes that. No. no one likes that fucking mystery. The amount of yeah. people that keep saying that mystery was good, no. Not even the was, fucking I, author of the book likes that. I was going to say, it's a dumb mystery. It is the, it is the dumbest fucking mystery because it completely stomps on the theme of the story, which is Deckard the human lost his humanity. Meanwhile, the replicants want to live because they love living. Yeah. That is the whole point. Uh, Rewatch 249 a while back, show my gun buddy since he's never seen it. The memory uh, reveal still hits fucking hard. Oh, yeah. That's a new one. Uh, Superman and Brainiac start turning him trap into a thorough shit after inviting him to the city. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, my friend. Welcome home. Did you ever watch the Blade Runner anime? It's good. Oh, yeah. The, that wasn't a full on thing. That was a promotional thing done by the uh, director of Cowboy Bebop because he was friends with Denis Villeneuve. Yeah. Uh, it is, it is in fact, the one with the, the, one with the brown on it, chat. That guy yeah. was right. Razor said it didn't feel like a new war film like Jonah, man. Nah, it doesn't. Mm -mm. 
Uh, that's ER. Razor thinks the movie's complete shit and hates any sequel to Blade Runner except Soldier was a side story. Yeah, it's like that's that's unreasonable. Got my hands on the Starship Trooper book and really enjoy reading. It is fun. Yeah, it is completely fun. different from the movie, a hundred percent. Deckard's a human. Fuck you, Ridley Scott. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the, the people, the people, that, the people that say Deckard might be a replicant and that's like such a compelling mystery. No, if you want a better version of that, play the fucking point and click game. The point and click game actually has that fucking matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, it's available on uh, on all platforms now: Steam, PlayStation, Xbox. Yeah. It, it is a much better version of that question. The yeah. original movie, it is such a ham-fisted twist that half the fucking versions of the movie don't, don't even, even include have it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ER also hated Mad Max Fury Road as women. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> to be fair, uh, I I don't like the movie, and it is mainly due to Furiosa. It, it, it is a thing. I will argue, you know what? Okay, he might have a point. Let's let him cook. Let's let him cook. E extrapolate, boy. Uh, 249 uh, confirming Decker being ah. humans a massive plus. That's the thing. They didn't even confirm it. They sidestep it. They like it, It's a thing where uh, Jared Leto goes, oh, do you know if your memories are real or they manufacture? And Decker just goes, I know it's real. That's it. It's a non-answer. Because Denny even outright said, I don't want to confirm anything because I know people like that. They are real to me. Yeah, basically, it was they were real to me. But, once again, him being human makes it matter so much fucking more because him having a child with a replicant showed that, oh my god, the lines have completely crossed. Yeah. If it's just replicant having sex with replicant and making child, what, what's the fucking purpose of that beyond just replicants can breed? Yeah. Having it specifically be the, the crossing of the boundary between human and replicant, that matters. Yes. Uh, okay, explain what don't you like about Fury Road spending the next hour doing this. Okay. I don't like... <laughs> I don't like Fury Road... For, I think it's a bad Mad Max movie. Yeah. Uh, I have, like, three big reasons I don't like Fury Road. One, I don't like the wives. The wives... Yeah, the wives are dumb. The wives could have been one fucking character. Yeah. They could have been one character, and they never act like they're in the situation they're in. Yeah. They, they are kind of the beginning of the girl boss shit of, like, hyper-aggressive, even though they are supposed to be sheltered, we've been locked up in a cage our entire lives. Fuck off, you stupid yeah. bitch. So it's this thing where, like, having Furiosa be the aggressive one and, like, fuck you, stay away from them, makes sense. She's the she's the woman warrior. It's like, okay, she's the one that's hyper-aggressive. The The wives are supposed to be sheltered. They're supposed to be sheltered. They're they're spoiled. You know, that's what they're supposed to be because that's how you contrast their characters of they need protection. Mm -hmm. uh, the film doesn't do that and, in fact, goes out of its way to show that they're capable of things that really they shouldn't be capable of. Like, the one just grabbing a gun from the other one and just start, like, loading the bulletins. Like, how do you know how to do that? How the fuck do you know how to do that? It's it shit like that where it makes it feel like they were scared of portraying them as weak. And because of that, they made the movie weaker. You know, because, like, you're so terrified of, like, oh, but what if they what if they don't look strong? What if I look like I'm just making them damsels that they get in the way of the story they're trying to tell? Because Furiosa is supposed to be the one that's not the damsel. Right. Furiosa is the one that goes out and kills people. That's her whole fucking thing. You are stomping on her thing with you, that. You're literally setting up the new Mad Max. Yeah. Having having them help her fight off Max in the beginning, that's fine. Because they, they have no idea what the hell they're doing. They're just grabbing at the chain, pulling at him, trying to get him off her. That's fine. It's as to the small moments in between where they never act scared. My son. Uh, Tom Hardy is Max and Nicholas Holt is Nux are the best parts. Yeah, they were the best parts. Everyone agrees. Uh, Eric, you managed for two bucks, but they took inspiration for women in Africa. Yeah, that bullshit. It's like, no, they didn't. No, they fucking didn't. Uh, they buy the men with breast character trope. Yeah, that was a little bit of it. Yeah, Furiosa also I did not like purely, purely from a casting thing. I don't like Charlie's Throne. I have never liked Charlie's Throne. I guess that's fair. I, I I didn't like the fact that it was a Mad Max movie that virtually didn't have Max yeah. in it at all. And people were promoting the lie of like, well, well, none of the movies did. Yeah, they fucking yes, did. They fucking did, bro. Only the first movie didn't have Max that much because he was a twist character. Because you had the fucking police guy that got set on fire. Yeah. But guess what? Second half of the movie, it's about Max, Max and how they kill his family. Uh, Road Warrior. Anyone who says Max was barely in that movie. No, he fucking wasn't. He yeah. was in that movie from the fucking beginning. The entire first 30 minutes of the movie are him wandering around the fucking wasteland. Yeah. Uh, Beyond Thunderdome. He's all over the fucking place. It, it, didn't, it didn't help the situation at all in any way, shape, and or form. Because uh, they they literally have that that, in, that incredibly cool setup 
to uh, to him going him, out him, into the desert. Him just and, taking a machete and a gas tank. Yeah, and then fucking literally single-handedly taking down a, a, that fucking outpost. Yeah. And it's like, oh my god, that's really cool, but it has to happen off-screen because this is Furiosa's movie. And it's like, yeah. it's like cool, you made me dislike Furiosa. Do you feel yeah. happy now? Yeah. Uh, also, the, the shit with the Volvolini, which was just fucking yeah. retarded. That was fucking retarded. My Volvo! I'm Volvoling! It's per. It's pulsating! I'm Volvoling! I'm Volvoing! That shit was stupid. Yeah. That was fucking dumb. It was purely dumb because they established they caused that swamp area. Yeah. The land got. The, the, the soil went sour. Yeah. It doesn't just go fucking sour. You fuck something up. I, I wonder if they. Uh, I wonder if they tried to grow crops by believing hard enough, Lolly. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, right? Uh, give me uh, give me drinky poo. I'm Volvoly. I'm Volvoing. I'm Volvoing. Yeah. So I, I did not like Charlie's Throne. I've never liked Charlie's Throne. Uh, she reminds me a lot of Meryl Streep, where she's so arrogant that it comes into her performance of like, yeah, you think I'm so fucking good, right? Like, her her in the desert screaming, I hate that. I hate that. That is embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I that sucks. When I heard that uh, fucking, what was it, Anya Taylor-Joy... Uh, she's going to replace her for the Furiosa prequel. I was actually like, all right, I'll check this out. Because I like Anya Taylor-Joy. I think she's a good actress. Uh, uh, that's the one that plays um, in Midsommar, right? No. no. Uh, she was in Northman. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. She played the Valkyrie? Uh, no. Or she, the mom? Yeah, no, she played the... Uh, the, the fucking, goddamn it, farm farm girl? Yeah, the, the slave, the, yeah. The, the the witch. Uh, Also was in the menu. We played the, the hooker in the menu. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite GTA 5 character, Lolly? I like Michael. Uh, Franklin or Michael? Yeah. I, I, I really like Michael just because you know, he, I like he's, trying, he's trying to get out of the game. You know, I like Franklin the most because he's the best straight man. He's Yeah, he's he's so good. Him being... He seems like a modern age character juxtaposed against, like, golden age rock star characters. Yeah. Where he's just trying to play the straight man. He's trying to get by. And you got Michael and fucking Trevor just doing yeah. crazy batshit stuff. And he's just like, whatever, man. That's on Dave Patel's uh, movie Monkey Man. Starring it, directing, and writing it. Looks kind of awesome. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Uh, I should already have what I need for this, so let's see if we can just go fucking kill, uh, uh, kill, kill Green Lantern and do uh, shit early. Volvolina fits right in with gay boy berserkers and spank my crazies. <laughs> as stated, though, it's, it's something that's so fucking dumb with the movie. It is stupid it, as fuck. It, the idea itself is not bad, the idea of, like, an all-woman gang that, because, like, they're in no, the fucking wasteland. I, I do think the name is bad. The, the name is dumb and on the, you know, It's on the a little too nose. on the nose. Yeah. But, uh, it's purely how they do it, where it's like, oh, God, fuck off of this shit. Uh, also, it's, Volvo, it's Volving time. Also, uh, it certainly doesn't help again that we we got more Volvolini than we did fucking uh, Mad Max. Mad Max doing cool Mad Max shit. Actually, Tina Turner was the main character beyond Thunderdome. Fuck off. Why did I kill you? Huh? Uh, they uh, they had to be based on women from Africa. They completely killed every agriculture opportunity they came across because of their <laughs> incompetence. All right, maybe they've got a point though. Yeah. That's on Beyond Thunderdome. Not perfect. Not perfect. Uh, I like the leading lady in that. She she does a really good job. Yeah. I forget her name. Tina Turner. Yeah, yeah, Tina Turner. That's part of Fury, uh, Fury Roads and Morton Joe and his poor boys. Not, yeah, I yep. will say that. And Morton Joe was the best part. Him and his faction were the best part. They had who, a really interesting Who culture. played in Morton Joe? Uh, that was the guy that played the main bad guy from the first movie. Uh, get, let me get his name real quick. Yeah, he was like this 80 year old man coming right back, and I was like, Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Uh, Hugh Keys Burn. Yeah, he did a good job. Yeah, he was great. I say he he was fantastic. He was one of the best parts. Uh, him, Nux, and Max, they were the best part, and, yeah. and they were the exact ones they did not want to focus on. He passed away sadly. That's not surprising. He was an old man when they were filming. Uh, I see. <clears throat> they took away my uh, they took away my shit. GTA 5 was a male love letter to Heat and Michael Mann's other films. I feel like they're sort of nostalgia blind for, uh, people to 5 and its flaws. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say they're blind to it. It's just people have sunk so many hours in GTA Online at this point. Mm -hmm. Gotta admit the music for Fury Road is really good. Yeah, I say the, the only reason I don't like Fury Road is those three I listed off. Where, where it's purely just, I don't like that it doesn't focus on Max. I don't like the the wives. I thought they were really bitchy and didn't really sell me on being desperate wives trying to escape a warlord. And I didn't like uh, Furiosa. Th those were my big thing. Everything else I thought was good. The action was good. The wow. music was good and all that. It's purely just, holy shit, this movie barely has a fucking story, and the little bit of story it gives me is annoying. Uh, Jackson 212 for two bucks. Uh, hot take. MC of Mad Max was the interpreter. <laughs> Worst post apocalypse movie you've seen that isn't Fury Road. Worst? Oh, uh, there's a lot of bad ones. There certainly are. There's a lot of bad ones. Zombieland 2 was pretty fucking shit. Yeah. Goddamn, uh, yeah. 
Oh god. Uh, fuck. Okay. God damn, there are a lot of bad ones. Holy shit. Stake Land 2 is really bad. Yeah. <laughs> and it sucks, because Stake Land 1 is a charming little vampire movie. Yeah. It It's a thing where, okay, Stake Land 1 is so stoic and brutal and to the point, like, it, it, it's a pretty miserable movie at times. Stake Land 2 is a, a, a sci-fi channel movie, and it's over the top of shit. It, it'd be, like, going from, like, It'd be going from, like, The World uh, or, or The Night Comes for Ups, that, that French zombie movie that's, like, really fucking serious, or The Night Eats the World, that thing. Very serious, very character-driven. It's it's genuinely tragic and has these moments that are, like, actually introspective. And then you get fucking, uh, what was it, the, the sci-fi uh, Walking Dead ripoff. It was, like, what was it, like, Day Z, Days of Z or some shit like that. Something like that. It was some bullshit, yeah. Uh... Do you guys think George Miller Justice League movie would have been uh, good if DC uh, if he got DC instead of Snyder? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what has he directed? What has George Miller done? You know what that's do. You know what that's do. Uh, but who's the little girl in Maddox's weird schizophrenia scenes? His daughter. They they were going to explain all of this in a prequel that never came out. <laughs> they are just getting around to the Furiosa one. Yeah, Z Nation. Yeah, Z Nation. Z Nation. Are you thinking of World War Z? No, I was thinking of Z Nation. You know, because Z Nation is intentionally really goofy and over the top. Yeah, Happy Feet. Yeah, he's the guy that did Mad Max. Oh, okay. Uh, spend as much money as I can uh, until Thursday morning. Too many books bought, too many games bought. Too much spent here. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. You, you ain't obligated. You ain't obligated. Yes, you are. We're poor. George Miller's in Death Stranding 2. That's, that, that's not surprising. Kojima loves movies. Oh, yeah. My motherfucker had had uh, Timothy Chalamet yeah. at his house, bro. Eh. Eh. At his crib, chat. Uh, Big Fish Ben Shiro for dollar. Well, that good. You think Twenty Four Nine is good? You also really like that shitty Nick Cage movie where he doesn't talk because uh, he doesn't want to remember his lines and he beats up a bunch of low effort animatronics. You do occasionally have some not good takes. No, Willy's Wonderland's fantastic. Yeah, Willy's Wonderland's. It fantastic. was better than the actual Five Nights at Freddy's movie. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Uh, Crashman for Dollar, Dune 2 had some really nice visuals, the worm riding scene was perfect, but everything uh, that was changed from the book was changed for the worse. Well, I mean, it, it's really, really hard to get a straight adaptation of Dune. Yeah. Not even the David they Lynch one it could do it. three times. Yeah. The David Lynch one went way off script. Oh, yeah, horribly. Uh, the Villeneuve one is way more on script, and uh, and the third movie is going to get way off script. Oh, yeah. Big Piss Ben Shiro for Dollar. Honestly, the big thing about Fury Road that irked me was that Mel Gibson didn't play as Max. He was doing a, an Expendables movie at the time, so he was really good in shape and could have been done the, the stunts no problem. They would not uh, have let him. I was going to say, you guys know why why Mel Gibson got ousted out of Hollywood, right? Yeah, like they, they just flat out would not have let him. Like, I know it's been like 20 years, but the Hollywood don't forget that shit. Uh, George Miller directed Happy Feet and Babe the Pig movie, also sequel Babe and the uh, Pig in the City. Yeah. I thought the hallucination from Fury Road part of the game's lore. Yeah, they are. They explain that his family died. Because that's just Max's backstory. Yeah. Uh, David Lynch once infamously, one infamously got messed with by the studio inference. Yeah, because he also came in to take over from Hodorowski, and Hodorowski was basically just going to do a miniseries. Yeah, he like yeah, he had way too much to put in the movie. Uh, what's your opinion on Waterworld or Mad Max Men in the Ocean? That movie sucks. Yeah, it's not the best. I I think it I think it has like a cool world. Yeah, yeah. The, the idea of a world that has lost all land is interesting. Yeah. Uh, Mad Max 5 should have been him going back to find it abandoned. As it turns out, killing the guy who grows the crops is not considered to be a business practice. Yeah. Well, as to Max's whole thing is he wanders around from place to place, and he touches a place but then leaves. You know, he's not meant to go back to it. Uh, so having the ending of Fury Road be he leaves and whatever happens, happens, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, the big problem is the fact that, once again, they, they treat him as this complete outsider you don't really get to know about. Even though the entire first act of the movie is about him. It's following him. He's captured by the war boys. He's being used as a blood bag. It's like, okay, that's interesting. Then it comes completely about Furiosa and her lore and all that shit. And just, it would have been better if Furiosa was a better character. Well, Gibson was canceled before canceling was a thing. Yeah. To be fair, they had him on audio screaming about how his wife needed to be raped by a pack of niggers. His words, like, my, that man's not coming back. Yeah. I'm surprised he was in the Expendables, Doc. Uh, Mel Gibson could totally make a comeback now. If anything, he's out for not going far enough. That is true. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Quiet Place and its sequel? Quiet Place is okay. It, it's not particularly the best. It's okay. 
Uh, Alexander Hodorowsky's script was 12 hours long. Yeah, I said it was, it was straight up going to be a miniseries. The audio was fucking gold, LMAO. Chat, if you've never heard it, look up the fucking Mel Gibson audio, dude. He somehow gets the Interceptor, uh, despite it being a one-off. Yeah. Axel Ridgebron back. That is true. And now he's doing the, um, the Passion of the Christ sequel, which he's been doing for like seven years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was that the nerd guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sort of. Say so were buried in sandstorms caused by two nuclear wars. Yeah. I'm your daddy now, Stark. Uh, wait a minute. Did Mel Gibson direct Sound of Freedom? No. That that was a that was a Mexican guy. The guy who played Jesus in Passion of the Christ was in Sound of Freedom, though. Isn't that Mel Gibson? Only <laughs> <laughs> line I remember from Waterworld: My boat, most modern own voice. Yeah. Yeah. I just over the top and sounds like a shit post from GTA game. It's fantastic. Speaking of which, ER stream viewers yesterday thought they got him banned for hijacking the filter to get his AI super chat reader say the ninja word. Yeah. Uh. Action scenes in Fury Road are the only good thing. That's the only thing everyone brought up. Yeah, I was gonna say, that yeah, is everyone, literally everyone the one thing. Everyone universally agrees that it had good action. Yeah. And everyone will also go like, yeah, the story wasn't amazing, but it's meant to be this anyway. And it's like, eh. You don't have to sacrifice story. Yeah, you don't have to. Especially, okay. If you're going to call it one of the greatest action films of all time, guess what? You need to have both. Yeah. Because the best action movies of all time have both. That, that's not even an up for debate thing. That is just true. You know, Saving Private Ryan has a good story. Heat has a great story. Yep. You know, there are action films that have done both, have done both really fucking well. God's children are not for sale, Jesus said yeah. calmly. <laughs> Terminator 2. Terminator, Terminator 2. Terminator 2, yeah. Story's goofy, but it's told very well. Jim Caviezel, uh, I liked him in Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, he was a good Edmund Dantes. Yeah. Robocop. Yeah, Robocop is a great yeah. story, yeah. Uh, remember the South Park episode of Passion of the Christ is, is that people really hate it. Did, but they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a thing where it, it, it was, was an... It was a controversy because yeah. it was just a really brutal movie. Yeah. The, the whole thing is... Uh, Passion of the Christ was an art film sold to the general public as a religious film. That, that, that is its big disconnect with people. It was an art movie. It's not meant to be entertaining. At least in the sense of like a, a popcorn flick like Mad Max. I was going to say, most, most religious movies are also aren't supposed to be entertaining. Not particularly. It takes a very specific mindset. You know, uh, it, it, it's like saying that Sallow is not entertaining. It's like... You could argue that... Uh, you could argue that... Uh, what's his face? Um... Uh, what a twist. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan's movies are religious because a lot of his early work was religious. That is true. Uh, he, he did very much so push, uh, push a, a religious... Bent, yeah. Yeah. First two Mad Max did pretty well in Japan. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, look at Fist of the North Star. He showed a Ten Commandments. I don't believe in them. Uh, do you know there's a Jesus Christ drama called The Chosen? Yeah. Hey, yo. I don't know, man. A lot of fun watching Prince Jesus' crucifixion. <laughs> My nipples, they hurt. They hurt when I twist them. <laughs> Passion of the Christ traumatized me as a kid. Because that's, that's not something you were supposed to watch as a kid. No, no. Prince of Egypt and Ten Commandments are great religious movies. Yeah. But, but you get what my point is. I don't, you know, the, I don't believe I don't believe them, Chet. I mean, I don't believe they exist. fuck's sake. Mel Gibson shot the entire film using the fucking language they spoke at the time, which was like a, a attempted recreation of like Aramaic. Yeah. You know, it's like he went out of his way with that. That, that is not a general public movie. That is very much a... A movie you watch as like uh, you you are deeper into film than, than normal people. Uh, that sounds elitist, but that is just how it is. That's why a lot of people watch it and we're like, "What the fuck is this?" Because like, her, yeah, you know, because it's like, yeah, that that's that's the point of the movie. It's telling a story without giving much consensus about if it's fun, you know. I mean Hebrew? No, no. The dialect at the time was like Hebrew slash Aramaic slash. There was a number of dialects. There were a bunch of mixed in. Yeah. Mixed together shit. I never saw Silo. It's rough. Saw the face of God and it was square. God, why me can't have to be a pussy? Yeah. Isn't there an anime adaptation that count of Monte Cristo? Yeah. Uh, probably. But did Jesus invent the chair? <laughs> yeah, we go with this, but I think No Country for Old Men just goes berserk. I mean, they do very different things. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say they're they're entirely different. As far as passion was the South Park episode, it was one of the better ones. It was funny as hell. I will never see Solo. As it it is rough. Salo's weak sauce by today's standards. Are you a pussy? And conceptually, a lot of the shit that goes on with Salo is genuinely fucked. I like uh, that show. I said, what a twist to remind me of him, that Shyamalan. 
Hell's hands were also the hands that nailed Jesus' uh, hands on the cross in the movie. I know as they were filming, like, three people got struck by lightning. Yeah. You know Deadspin, the company that uh, defamed that kid with the headwear, fired all, fired all of its riders? Yeah. Arcade Square Tape, two bucks, I would say Silence and Passion are great. Yeah, Silence is a fantastic movie. That's another movie where, like, that's not really a general public movie, but if you if you sit down and watch Silence, it is fucking good. This is a plan. Yeah. Martin Scorsese is planning on adapting A Life of Jesus, another book made the same guy made Silence, so that'll be interesting. He promised the yep. fucking Pope he make it. Yeah. Oh, no, it's Child Ivy. Yeah. I saw God, and you know what? God is made of steel. I love Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah. And Behind the Sun is another disturbed movie about uh, UN 731, uh, Japan war crime. Yeah. These poor actors started their careers with Solo. The, the fucked up thing is they said that working with the director was actually a great experience. He was super nice to everybody, and yeah. he actually made it. He went out of his way to make sure they were comfortable, and then he got fucking murdered after the movie yeah. came out. How many careers started and ended with waters? Okay, chat. Yeah. All right, there are worse things. You could you could be eating dog shit off the fucking sidewalk for a movie, okay? A movie that's not even going to make its money back. There's a lot of great religious movies. Man, the Vatican has entire archive movies with that mindset. Oh, yeah. No. No. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, can can she not talk about strange emotions looking at Harley? I didn't know you came in fun size. Harley and Ivy forever. That didn't happen in this universe. It didn't happen in this universe. Harley, that's not canon. Also, Jim Caviezel playing Jesus but made him Christian. Yeah. Uh, it's depressing that man behind the sun's an actor because he didn't show enough. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Iron Claw. Director of Iron Claw flat out said, yeah, we had to outright cut one of the brothers because it would have been too fucking miserable. Yep. I remember I sent you the badass Japanese cover from Mad Max. As Max is silhouette covered in dust. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Looks like this version of Poison Ivy is cloned from a potato. She came from that fucking plant at the uh, whenever she died in Arkham Knight. Yeah, it was like the flower. And she's yeah. slowly trying to like regrow. Lex Lex got her and literally just fucking regrew her in a lab. Yeah. Where's Lex now? So listen, okay, you might think you might think Harley's weird, but Lex literally grew this thing in a fucking cage. Yeah. Uh, we talked about what Harley did with Joker and the babies. Is doing things to Kid Ivy really stretched too far for her? Well, Ivy on her own is also another rabbit hole. They really want her to be like a anti-hero straight man to Harley. Uh, ignoring the fact that Ivy is arguably more disturbing than Ivy. She's an eco-terrorist. Yeah, more disturbing than Harley at points. Like, yeah, she, she does some fucked up shit. Well, in Arkham, in the Arkham series, uh, she was relatively tame. Yeah, she, she was tame in Arkham. And by the end of Arkham Knight, she flat out dies saving yeah, Gotham. Yeah, she, she died saving Gotham for, for bats. Yeah. When we win the book, will fat surgeons are going to jail. Yeah, they absolutely need to go to jail. <laughs> they they need to go to jail. Every plastic surgeon straight to prison. Straight to straight to prison. Lex is a lollicon confirmed. One hundred percent chat. It's canon. You know how fucked you want you filming with spores, Harley to little girl Ivy. Yeah. For all the plants in Gotham. Yeah, but you know, but if she loves the environment, doesn't matter how many people she kills. Yeah. I'm a good person. I love the environment. You're a psychopathic bitch. Yeah. Mind that Arkham vs. Harley poisons a kid and gets her father to kill himself. Yeah. yeah. As, as they... No, 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 no. No, they keep the kid alive long enough to, to have the guy build a uh, an amusement park, and then they let the kid die, and then they repeatedly tell the guy that he should kill himself. Yeah. It, it's even worse than that because they could have kept the little girl alive, but they killed her intentionally. They just did it, you know, for shits and giggles. Literally. Uh, once again, Arkham vs. Harley is not trying to be a good person. She she is just fucking evil. That's why she's still a cut in this game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Necroner for ten bucks. You have an anime where you feel the anime ending uh, was better than the manga ending. I originally thought Soul Eater had a bit of a weak anime ending. Then I saw the ending of the manga and who talk about rose colored glass for the anime. Yeah. It's not really an anime. But I know one of the live-action versions of Death Note outright changed it to where L wins. That is that is my definitive ending. That is my definitive ending. Uh, because, I mean, if you read the ending of Death Note, even in the manga, it's like... Dumb. It's dumb, and you can tell even the author was like, Fuck, I should not have killed L. Yeah. It's like, I should not have killed L. 
I like the way Light dies. I know people are like, oh man, they made him go out like such a bitch. It's like, yeah. Yeah, because he that's, is a bitch. That's the good part. It's like, he, he is the bad guy. It is good. Damn, Shark, uh, chill. Riders have suspicious things on their hard drives. How many hours did you waste playing this, Shota? Uh, I don't know. I beat it. And that's really all I did was beat it. You hear in the anime, Light has more dignified death? Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't like that. I like him going out like a bitch. I like him going out like a coward. Because the, the whole anime, he's killing people left and right. He he kills some people that really didn't need to fucking die. Uh, yeah. The fucking cop chick who dies. A, a bunch of fucking reporters. Like, he, he kills a shitload of people who genuinely didn't fucking deserve it. Uh, and he's like such an egotistical asshole about it. So having the ending be like, oh, well, now it's on you, motherfucker. And he starts freaking out going, like, no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. That's perfect. That is perfect. It's a canon event, Light. You need to die. Yeah. Jesus, this UI is horrendous. Welcome to modern game design. Yep. His father. He. Yeah, his fucking dad. His fucking dad. His fucking dad. His fucking dog. Ending of the Japanese live action movie where L eats chips while Light gets taken away by the cops. It's good. Yeah. I like it. As did. I liked L. I liked L a lot. I, I am always 100% more interested in the cop hunting a serial killer than the serial killer. Once I know what the serial killer's mindset is and their, and their modus operandi and their, their whole process. I'm like, okay, that's all I really want to know. You know, uh, I'll make some exceptions. Red Dragon fleshes out Francis really well. He's a really interesting character. But most times I'm like, I just want to catch this motherfucker. You know, I just want to see this asshole get caught. I, I don't take pleasure in watching them kill their victims, you know. <clears throat> it can be entertaining, like with Seven, where it's like, man, that's really fucked up. But you, you want to see the cops catch him. That's how I am. So having L, who's like this fucking shut-in, who's like batshit nuts, have to catch, like, the most dangerous serial killer on the planet... That's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like a big man showed a ping on the flash? So okay, so that's a that's a thing. Either a my game glitched out, or b I don't think he actually pisses on the flash. Huh? Because he like he he does one hundred percent like drop his uh, like like uh, drop his fly and whip his dick out. Yeah. But there's no sound effect for for pissing. Uh, you see from behind him whenever he has a dick out, and there's no stream coming out. So I think he... he that has he, to be a glitch. He was 100% going to piss on him, but everyone else was like, hey, fucking don't do that. And then it turned into a joke, and then he, pulled, he zips his pants back up. So I don't think he actually pisses on him. Yeah. Yeah, not gonna they lie. I do that joke twice, by the way. Yeah. Not gonna lie, Matsushita being the one to get pissed at what happened to Light's dad felt cathartic. That's what I mean. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. That, I like... I like Light's death in the manga because it is such a perfect comeuppance for him. That that is such a perfect comeuppance that the fan base is like, no, but he goes out like a bitch. Yes, yeah. he's supposed to. Uh, he almost pissed on the Flash. Yeah, he he was going to, but they stopped him uh, twice. Light, twice. <laughs> Light was living the wet dream of uh, edgy teen fags on the internet who go, "This godless world's beyond hope. Everyone our monsters went." Yeah. Wah. And like I said, that that's why I like L because it's like I'm a shut in, but you're doing the wrong thing, motherfucker. Right. He got stopped right as he was going to piss on him, and everyone compliments his giant wang. Ah, okay. Chat, I, I don't know what the fuck a ranga is. Can you hear, can any Australians in chat tell me what the fuck a ranga is? A is ranga? It? Ranga? Boomerang? She's a ranga. A rangatan? <laughs> sure, call the child an orangutan. That won't get us killed. Uh, you, funny how the people who wrote Child or Ivy and Harley would call you a pedophile and an anime. People wouldn't care as much if it wasn't for blatant hypocrisy. Yeah, maybe how it'd be. A ring is a redhead, bro. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> also, I, li I like this joke where, where he's afraid, he's afraid he's going to die. So he's like, I did it, I did it. I put the bomb on her neck and he just fucking beat his ass. Yep. Also, fuck her. She was going to kill us. I don't care if there's a bomb on her neck. Yeah, fuck her. Fuck her. Uh, We're bad guys. I don't give a shit. I sort of like the Helsing OVA ending and sort of parallel Alucard, Vlad the Impaler downfall and will she follow in this full steps and become a vampire or will she be stronger? Which one was the OVA? Is that what? the what? original 90s? What you talking about? Uh, Helsing OVA ending. Because that had to have been the 90s one. Yeah, I don't remember. What about vigilante, ser uh, vigilante serial killers and kill pedos? Este, keep it to like, keep it to like the Punisher where it's like gunslinger thing. Yeah. If, if you go to like legitimate serial killer, you just get anonymous agony. You get anonymous agony. Ultimate Helsing Ultimate? Was that the ending of Ultimate? Ah, uh, that's what they say. I don't remember that in Ultimate. That's on Congress Vomit, Miss Park and Tom, if you ask me. I <laughs> uh, remember that Light and Death Note become a Shinigami, aka Death God for all of his sins. Yeah, he gets stuck in hell. I know the author of, of uh, I know the author of uh, Gintama was real torn up over. Uh, yeah, he was all Akira fucked up Toriyama's about death. it. Yeah, he he drew a picture to commemorate. Yeah, because he was like, "Fuck, man." At least Rick Flag seems cool. I mean, yeah, he's just Rick Flag. Yeah. 
Uh, Ultimate was the OVAs. I know, but I don't remember that being the ending for the Ultimate. I don't remember that there being like a, a Vlad the Impaler thing. It's like, no, I mean, they show the Catholics were still dickbags, but I mean, the Catholics are always dickbags. Yeah. I believe in a world full of KKK members. Sir? Okay, now the guy's saying that was the original Helsing anime ending. Because, yeah, if it, if it was the ending of the, the, the 90s anime, yeah, I don't remember that. Because I, I don't remember that because I haven't watched that in a fucking long ass time. Ultimate, I especially don't remember that because I'm like, wait a minute, that's not how Ultimate ended. Mm hmm. What's one way to piss off Linkar with your comic book cakes? Uh, Garth Ennis is a good writer. <laughs> Does he not like Garth Ennis? No, he doesn't. Great, great, great. Uh, I don't ironically enjoy the bittersweet ending to Full Metal Alchemist 2003 than the happy ending to uh, Manga Brotherhood. I say all, all of them, all of them have different endings and in different stories. Uh, yeah. they're great. Yeah, they're great. All, all, all versions of, of Full Metal Alchemist are great. You should watch them all and read them. Yeah, in the OG anime, the main guys get a pike up his ass, and that's it. Yeah, because it was the Vlad the Impaler thing. Yeah, Alucard turned to Vlad to fight Anderson. The yeah. Anderson fight? Yeah, yeah, he turned into Dracula, yeah. Well, like, yeah, Vlad, Dracula, whatever. I remember that now. I think, if you're talking about the final fight, then yeah, I remember that. I think I think that's what he meant, and he just worded it weird. Because it's like, yeah, I remember that, where he, he turns back into Vlad, and he has, like, the, the legions of the dead. Uh -huh. You know, and, and that's where Schrodinger fucks him. The seas. Yeah. They're gonna go into hell. Love that when everyone in Full Alchemist dies, they go to heaven except for the dead. Yeah. I mean, he did fuck with God. He did. He did. He paid the price. Nothing. Two thousand after Alucard defeats Incognito and Integra in prison, a war criminal Alucard breaks Integra out and offers her vampirism. Yeah, I remember that. I'll say it, chat. I'll, I'll be the brave man on campus. I like horny Alucard. That's it. I said it. There's no Helsing Integra locked in a tower. She was rushed by the government. Alcar breaks. Them. Yeah, yeah. An officer turns to a, a vampire. Yeah. Because, I mean, they, they did imply that Integra and Alcar were basically in love. They had a weird affection. And in, in that very warped kind of way. I'm the only woman that can hold your chain. Uh, sure. In the anime, yeah. Uh, Alucard briefly turns into Vlad Tepes with the Alba mustache and sticks Incognito through the ass. Ultimate just has him dream night for a little bit. Yeah. We play Black Souls? Very good. I have no idea what Black Souls is. Black Souls. Not, don't sound familiar. I do not like Incognito. I prefer my Nazi vampires. Nazi vampires fun as fuck. I love the whole montage of them raiding uh, London. Yeah. That was great. That was awesome. Really right here from a big titty police girl. Saris, I love you. Come back home. You'll always be loved in my house. Sarah's come back. Or the Akuma reveal. Yeah, Akuma. Yeah. Akuma, yeah. I I like that it's the only the only thing we've gotten so far from them that didn't include the fucking create a character trait. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I was definitely surprised you mentioned that Rob Liefeld being a chill dude when Lakar absolutely hates that guy. I don't even know the this ticket story thing. Yeah, uh, Rob Liefeld's really chill. Yeah, he, yeah. A lot of a lot of comics creators are just pretty chill, especially the old ones. Yeah, the old ones. Yeah, they're they're very very chill. Some of them can be a little combative, but that's... Everyone knew that about them anyway. They're usually pretty blunt with it. Yeah. Black Souls is actual good H game. Yeah, if it's an HG, I'm not going to Oh, no. Yeah, yeah no, I'm not going to play Don't care. It. <laughs> it's like, no, it's just going to be some fucking porn thing. Everyone goes like, no, but this one's really good. And then you look into it and it's like, no, it's just a fucking porn game. Yeah, it's always just a porn game. Yeah. Uh, worst decision the hell thing made was making a Frenchman fall in love with an English woman. <laughs> Who's hacking this game? Is she in the comics? I don't fucking remember anything. She's about a hack. character in the comics. I don't. I'm not familiar with her. I don't know anything about her. I've seen uh, Bruva oh, uh, up a pulses lace up with Hunter the Parenting. Pretty good. I've not watched it. Where's Rob? Uh, where's Rob Liefeld hate come from? He was not the best. Uh, he, he has. Uh, he has some very odd art. Yeah. Uh, people always always do the um, the, the, the Captain, Captain America, America with yeah. the barrel chest and like oh this is bad comic art we need the we need more of what we have nowadays where people just trace three D models yeah and so it's a thing where like eh, I can understand the hate but even then he was he was usually really good at coming up with concepts of heroes yeah. uh, he's the guy who Deadpool. created Deadpool yeah uh, fucking uh, I know Young Bloods is still going on I think I think yeah yeah. Yeah, he made several of those characters. I don't think all of them. Yeah, but he made a bunch of them. Yeah. 
Hack was uh, was introduced in Rebirth Suicide Squad, aka she's forgettable. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Killer Croc in the current run of Suicide Squad is like uh, lovers with a literal angel. Yeah. So like, you know. Uh, reminder that Cerys is queen of the vampires. The ending ultimate. I love her chat. She's yeah. my wife. In all fairness to she's that, she's my queen. In all fairness to that, there weren't that many vampires left. Yeah. Uh, Zalardo for five fake monies. Uh, you can turn off all the H content in Black Souls. Uh, it's a Fate Stay Night situation. It doesn't need. Uh, it doesn't need the porn to be good. I just don't believe you. I'm, I'm I, tired. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm tired of being told no, but this one's good. And then you look into it, it's like, dude, it's a bunch of fetish shit. I don't. I don't want. I don't want. Yeah. Uh, Big Push Bench Bureau for all you could uh, probably get seasons one, two, and four of Dexter if you go with a killer that kills killers. Yeah, but Dexter's like a different beast than that. I have to say that. That is specifically, you are looking into the mind of a serial killer. He just happens to be targeting other serial killers. Uh, if you want a full-blown vigilante thing, just look at the Punisher. You, know, you you have that different vibe between Dexter, who is an actual psycho. He just targets other psychos. Even then, purely because his dad trained him to be. Uh, and then Punisher, where he's a gunslinger. He, he is the Old West gunslinger. You know, he is... Exactly as heroic as a as as someone like Spider Man is just directed in a much more violent way, you know where he doesn't kill because he enjoys killing. He kills because he views that as the way to stop the situation, you know that thing. Uh, same procedure. They nitpick a few fuck ups as proof that modern way is way better. Yeah, I like Fear and Hunger though. Fear and Hunger I mean, is Fear and Hunger very different. First. Yeah, that is very different. That is a horror game. It's a game first, but nudity takes a back seat. Yeah. Unless you just keep, unless you just like looking at that cock chat, but that's on yeah. you. Yeah. He does enjoy the killing, though. And that depends on the interpretation you're going with. Who? Punisher. Oh no, no. Most interpretations he doesn't. Yeah. As to he just he he doesn't think anything of it. It's just what he does. Cause he's a soldier. Max, it does tease the idea he enjoys it, but it's also showing that he's been doing it for so long. Any any humanity left in him is is petering out and dying. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's that kind of thing. Yeah, he he is a man at the end of his chain. Yeah. Black Souls also a horror game. I'm not fucking playing it. <laughs> no. Uh, Martin Lightfell's hate uh, came pretty much from shitty cracked articles, bitching about crappy comic art. Yeah. Cause that's day he's easy, easy <laughs> straw man, you know, easy like, oh look how bad this is, and it's like, ah, I mean, yeah. Getting lured in by crack, bro. Eric, you managed for two bucks. Remember the Grim Knight? Thanks, Snyder, brother. Yeah. Thanks, Snyder, bros. New Punisher, Wolf. It was four issues, garbage. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. Something Garrison. It was John Garrison. Yeah, yeah. No one fucking remembers that motherfucker. Uh, would you be willing to play Prototype on stream? Maybe Fear and Hunger. We just played Fear and Hunger. Yeah, we played Fear and Hunger already. As a weird version of being Punisher is actually good stuff, uh, not being a crazy serial killer. Because that's the, the, there is a difference. Yes. The, there is a big difference, and, and that's something I, I really think should be hammered home. Frank is meant to be old style gunslinger. He he, especially once again, if you read Max, he's basically Clint Eastwood from Dirty Harry, mm -hmm. uh, or like Man with No Name. There is that mindset of killing is the way to end the situation versus what what people are talking about. We're like, oh, he enjoys it and he loves the hunt and that kind of thing. I don't like the latter. The latter is try-hard, edgy bullshit. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, no, no. He's an anti-hero, not a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also, uh, also, when Carr having a hate bar for Frank Miller is definitely really extreme. I mean, since it is a dark noir film or even controversy, all-star Batman and Robin. Yeah. Yeah. As far as a horror game, bad uh, flash animation of the monster fucking the big booby protagonist when you miss a jump. <laughs> is there a physical manga you own? Uh, a lot. Yeah. A uh, guy sent over a uh, collection of gunsmith cats. That was really nice. fucking cool. Uh, Akira, uh, Helsing, yeah. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. Villain Saga. Uh, Berserk. Yeah. Uh, own a lot. Own a lot. Person for Judge Dredd over the Punisher. Yeah, it, it is two different interpretations of the uh, same idea. Where They are very different. Yeah. But, but yeah, where like Judge Dredd is like so hilariously obsessed with the law. It's like, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Uh, I love the dry humor of Judge Dredd. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's, Judge it's, it's Dredd that has British, some of the it's that yeah. British uh, humor. Has some of the has some of the funniest moments in comics. Like whenever whenever they reveal reveal quote unquote Dredd's face and it's just yeah. the censor. That's fucking amazing. It's the censor, or whenever uh, whenever Fear is looking at Dredd. Yeah, uh, yeah. He just fucking punches him. Yeah, staring into the eyes of Dredd. It's staring fucking amazing. The eyes of Dredd. When he, when you show gonna play another co-op game? Never. Uh. 
I warned you, Chad. I said if you don't fucking behave, no more co-op, and you didn't behave. Are there any Rob Liefeld comics you enjoy? I stayed early Deadpool stuff's not bad. Yeah. Some of the Youngblood stuff is, like, drunk fun for what it is. To be fair to Linkar, I did read Frank's worst works, but I also got overheated to Holy Terror. Holy Terror is, like, completely inoffensive compared to shit that came out. It's literally just, well, it was specifically targeting Muslims, and it's like, motherfucker, have you seen half the shit coming out now? <laughs> right. Like, they, they made Red Skull a literal fucking Nazi repeat Donald Trump quotes. I think we're kind of past that point now. Listen, we're past nuance, man, okay? Uh, and every time there's a good Punisher comic that's well-written, some fag calls it something for Punisher and quote the dog shit comics as proof Punisher delusional. Yeah, it, it's stupid. As I hate that crap, you know? Like, Frank is at his best when he is the old-style badass, you know, that... that that old-style Sergio Leone, man-with-no-name-style gunslinger. He, he is meant to be almost, yeah, almost like kind of a, a Conan-style stoic masculinity in the face of a fucked-up, corrupt world, you know? He, he is so convinced he is right, and because in his world, he's fucking right. So it, it, that's what makes Frank interesting, you know? If, if you try to do the thing of, well, he's just a psycho killer, well, guess what? You, you've devolved him into a psycho killer. Yeah. You made him lame. Which Judge Dredd movie do you prefer? Uh, reboot's amazing. Yeah, the reboot's great. Uh, I don't, yeah, the uh, original's not very good. Yeah, it's it's funny. It's a little it's a little uh, ego strokey. Did I just die? Did they no. just kill me? No, you're you're good. Uh, why is Fear and Hunger compared to Berserk? Uh, if it's close compared, I'll try it because it is very much inspired by Berserk. Uh, it's very inspired by it, but it's incredibly different. Oh yeah, it does its own thing. It does its own thing, and what it does on its own is really interesting. It is oh 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 uh oh oh uh oh oh uh oh oh thank God okay Whew. they may comparing him to Conan so basically Frank at his best as stated is meant to be a very man who's only ever read Conan I'm getting some big Conan vibes <laughs> from this guy I'm not saying it's inspired by any means I'm saying that they're the style of of character they're kind of meant to be is old world badass faced with kind of an ever-changing one that you know be good it's supposed to be creepy chat it crashed no it didn't you know we're, we're basically you know i guess best way to describe it is is look up some of the monologues of punisher max the way frank talks about the world about people around him and and kind of the era he's living in and knowing he is a relic literally from the past because frank was frank was concepted in the 70s you know he's 70s that's that's why the the vietnam war is still one of the definitive wars for frank to have fought in because it, it describes so much about who he is. Just that complete generational divide. You know, he, he, he is your pissed off, crazy Vietnam vet grandpa. And he, he is just done with the world. You know, that kind of thing. I was a Vietnam vet. I ain't got to listen yeah. to you. Whatever, grandpa. Yeah. Uh, might be a weird comparison, but I feel like Frank Shack, like Sam Fisher and Splinter Cell Conviction. Uh, no. I like his his uh, Max. Car oh, I can't teleport there yet. Even in Superhero Squad, Punisher is still intimidating. Fun fact: Ray Stevenson voiced him as well on the show. Yeah, well, one of the few times oh, I yeah, got to be frank. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thought, we, thought we were gonna have a Last of Us two situation. Yeah, right. It, it brought back some bad memories. Yeah. But yeah. The, the 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 whole thing with it is is, you know, Frank represents that that old style morality of if someone fucks with you, you kill him. You know, one one of, the, one of the issues of Max is called the Tiger, where it's about Frank's childhood and, uh, yeah, it was the Tiger. I'm trying to remember which one was in Vietnam, and which one was about his childhood. But the the point of the storyline, it was this little little arc, where it's Frank as as like a teenager, maybe about like 12, 13, 14, pretty young, and he hears about like a, a kid in the neighborhood who, his girlfriend got attacked, his girlfriend got raped, something happened to her, and he found out the guy who did it. So Frank is watching him as he kidnaps the guy, takes him into the middle of fucking nowhere, pours gasoline on him, and sets his ass on fire. And and Frank like has that as like a very defining moment for him of like, that's what you do with somebody that goes too far. Somebody that does something irredeemable, you fuck them up. Because it sends a message to everybody else, you will not get away with it. Yeah. You know, it, it is a thing that really defined it's an understandable it's an understandable thing but it's also it's also something that comes from growing up in that era yeah specifically that era uh, like nowadays you're actively taught not to not to do yeah not know, to, not, do not shit not like to that. get even yeah yeah uh, punisher the cell and the end are great the end goes on a little bit too long yeah, but yeah the, the end, cell is yeah. awesome i was gonna say end goes on too long yeah quite literally he fought a tiger no i say the 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 point of it is he compares <laughs> the tiger he compares the guy to a tiger 
Basically, a tiger will only fuck you up if you put yourself in the position to be fucked up by a tiger. Uh, men get arrested, dogs get put down. A little bit of a moment like that, yeah. It's a very good little arc. Because it's, it's Frank just kind of like watching this situation unfold, and then he sees how the guy takes care of it. And he's like, holy shit, you can do that. You you can just fuck somebody up that goes that far. Because, I mean, they, they go everywhere to show the guy was irredeemable. Like, he was never going to change. He was a piece of shit. Uh, revenge bad, MK. Okay? Uh, Frank's family's graves got pissed on by some guy once. He dragged him out to the woods, stabbed him in the gut with a knife, and left him there to die of blood loss. Yeah. Oh, he did more than just stab him in the gut. He cut him open. No, that was the Russian. He shot him. Ah. He shot the guy below the stomach. Yeah. To rupture his intestines, yeah. Uh, see the three in one volumes uh, for Vinland Saga? I'm going to collect those. Yeah. But I already own volumes one through five to of uh, the two in one edition. Yeah, it's so good. A bunch says he kills criminals in a kid show by saying he's the mac and cheese keeping the press press from the plate. Yeah, that's the superhero one, yeah. Superhero squad show. Well, like, another great character, uh, another great character moment was, funny enough, the Marvel Knights run. Yes. Where, where Marvel, they... Listen, Marvel Knights was good. I don't understand. That was a great one. I don't one. understand where it's not be. it wasn't good came from. I don't know. That was a great one. Uh, but it's a moment where, like, Frank is shot. I'm trying to remember how he got shot. But, uh... uh was it the Howling Commandos in, in, uh... No, it was before that. It, it was before that. Um, but basically, his, his neighbors, because you had Bumpo, you had Spacker Dave, and then you had Liz, they had to pull the bullets out of him. And Frank is like, he, he does not take pain meds. Nothing that will dull his senses, because yeah. it's like, I need to be clear 100% of the time. So, like, they're digging bullets out of him as he is conscious, and they have to dig him out of his fucking chest. And, and Liz is like, why do you do this? Like, why the fuck do you keep doing this? And he just says, because I hate them. Like, that that's all he says. Like, she outright says, why don't you just stop? It's like, I can't. I hate them too much. Just that, that is all you need to know about who Frank is. He hates criminals with such a passion that he is willing to sit on an operating table, biting a fucking bullet as hard as he can, just to, to not scream from the pain, because he despises what they do to people. You know, it's th th that is the difference between somebody like Dexter and Frank. Dexter does what he does because he's selfish. He, he just yes. wants to kill serial killers. It's his own personal he drive to kill. He just wants to kill, yeah. He just wants to kill. Frank does it because he despises what happens to other people. It is a genuine humanity. Nope. Didn't want to do that one. Oh, yeah. It is a genuine humanity thing with him where it's like, if I don't do this, people are going to die and I have to see some lady crying on the street because her son died or, or some child's orphaned. That's why he does it. Frank is very American. Yeah, he is. Frank is quite literally the man you send to kill the boogeyman. Yeah. Man's an artist. Yeah. Like Palico or Palamute is a pet? Um, Palicos are really cute. Palicos are cute. Palamutes are also cute, though. I'll take the I'll take the palico. They where, can cook for me. Where are Frank's thoughts on the Viet Cong? Read some of the Vietnam stories. He was not a fan. Like the, I like the one where it was I think it was called the platoon, and it was the one where it's Frank's unit before he joined the special forces because it, yes. it was the max run, so he joined the special forces. Yeah. Uh, and there was like a VC sniper that was stalking the unit through the whole run, and the final battle, Frank has her on the ground and has a fucking knife to her throat. And the whole, the whole uh, framing device of it is this journalist is going around interviewing Frank's old unit. Because, like, hey, this is the unit to the people who served with the Punisher. Uh, and they're like, what did he say to that, that sniper? You were right there. And the guy just looks at him and says, whatever they said, none of my fucking business. And you just see this panel of Frank lifting the knife up and, like, blood splattering out of her neck. He just fucking, like, cut her throat right there. Fucking brutal shit. Uh, William Gaskett for five bucks. Uh, yo, I don't give a fuck. I love Punisher, Frank and Castle, but or Amanda and Tony Moore. It was dumb fun. Yeah. They, they were trying to bring Punisher back after fucking Dakin. You, listen, no one made it out of Dakin unscathed, chat. You don't understand. Who would Roshak, uh, win Frank, uh, who would win Roshak or Frank or, and no, they can't team up. Frank, he is a hell of a lot scarier. They, they wouldn't team up. Stevenson, Jane, Lungan, or Bernthal. Who portrays Frank better? Jane acts the best. Stevenson looks the best. Bernthal clearly loves it. He he has actually he earned my respect. Yeah, he he has earned my respect with some of the statements he's made, specifically to promote Born Again, mm -hmm. where it's like, yeah, I didn't want to be in the fucking Disney Plus version of this because they were not gonna do Frank right. And I'm like, you know what? Good on you. It's the truth. Yeah. Frank damn near beheaded with a single knife stroke. Yeah, he was fucking mean. Just that day, the the way the way his uh I think it was the medic I think I think the black guy was the medic and he went like whatever they said none of my damn business that's all you need to know it was fucking amazing. Compatriot of America and Vietnam is the reason I can't enjoy full metal jacket. 
The Anaconda's easy as penguin. We should be prepared. Yeah, Stevenson looked incredible. That shot him in the red flare, holy uh, light, holy shit. Yeah, Stevenson looked like Frank. Frank is meant to be a big motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Punisher, Marvel just canceled like a recent Comic Con Punisher. Yeah, yep. yeah. Makes see. you feel any better? It wasn't a good one. It was awful. It was awful. I like how Burnthal screams like an animal. It's amazing. Eh, that's not how I like Frank, but I understand that that's his interpretation. Uh, I really like the season two Daredevil uh, version of Frankie did. Where, yeah, he'll roar in the middle of a fight that he knows he's in, but other than that, no, he is the ghost. He he is just that absolute, like, walking in and out of a place and is, like, dead silent. I like that. How do you stray so far from peak? Yeah, Thomas Jane, though, is still all-time. Yeah. All-time. Like, 2004 Punisher... His voice is the perfect Punisher voice, dude. Dude, 2004 Punisher is still probably... The best Punisher we've gotten. Yeah, it's either that or uh, what just War Zone. Yeah, the, the the end the end of the movie where he has fucking uh, Saint on the ground, and no, he's not even on the ground yet because he he has to shoot him first. Yeah. But but he just calls out to him and like his building's on fire, like his entire organization's fucking dead, and it's like I made you kill your wife and I made you kill your son. Uh, no. He says, you killed my, my family. He says, well, you killed my son. And then you hear the explosion. It's like, yeah, both of them. And then he shoots him. And he says, and, and I made you kill your wife. And I made you kill your best friend. Like, just that absolute fuck you moment is, is still peak Punisher. Yeah. The guy on fire shot up Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Uh, how long do you think it'll take before we start uh, getting some Punishers in real life? Can't go into detail because YouTube would not re appreciate it. Hey, you'd be amazed. Punisher Circle of Blood still gives me creeps with Jigsaw's look. That was a good one. That was a good one. I like that. Oh, here's the scene. How would you uh, write Vietnam era Punisher in current day Marvel movies? Uh, he's uh, just old, old badass man. I was gonna say he he'd be too old to do anything now. Yeah. Bernthal's version of Frankie does that to get his adrenaline up and to pump himself up with rage. So he'll just do the same thing, Machine Gun especially. I understand that. I just like Frank being very stoic. Yeah. As to I like I like that old man with no name doesn't even have to yell to to you know shoot you. Uh, it was strange reading Max when my only experience with Punisher at the time was seeing him in the 90s, uh, uh, 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Oh, it's fucking amazing. I was saying Larry became a Punisher fan during and after the 2000 movie. He was awesome. He was awesome. Heard the the take, Burnthal's too tiny of a build for Frank, do you agree? He definitely has moments. He definitely has moments where you can tell, yeah, he ain't as big as they want. Uh, why does squad cosplaying is the league? They're the deluxe edition <laughs> outfits. Yeah. Barracuda is arguably the best villain for Frank in recent times. Barracuda was awesome. Yeah, Barracuda was awesome. Barracuda was fucking great. I loved him. Yeah, you know, just the him telling the story about the gumbo, where it's like, man, I got bi I got balls bigger than my fucking head, motherfucker. Now give me that jambalaya. Give me that fucking gumbo. Give me that fucking gumbo. Cause I'm Barracuda, and that's how I do shit. It's like I fucking love that. This is fucking ridiculous, dude. Can you do Punisher with a backstory in that Iraq Afghanistan conflict? Oh, they've been yeah, doing that. I was going to say, that's what it, it... It went from Vietnam to... I want to say they jumped to Afghan. And then well, after was, that, they they uh, came up with an in-universe war. I think it's called the Simcara War or something. Yeah, and it's supposed to be a stand-in for, like, Vietnam. Yeah, so that way they can just keep moving it down. Yeah, because it, it was Vietnam, then it was Gulf War, then it was Af Iraq, Afghanistan. And now it's just kind of just generally Afghanistan, because that conflict went long enough that it'll last you for a while. Yeah. This is a good scene. Yeah. This is a fun scene. Whoever they had that played Flash very clearly liked being evil. Yeah. Frank will always be a soldier. He has to be. You know? It's the Flash. Might as well just post him the bullet. Uh, what would be a good comic star for someone who wants to get into Judge Dredd? There's some fun ones. Uh, just start at the beginning of Judge yeah. Dredd. Yeah, like, fair just enough. Up yeah, uh, he ages in real time. At least he did for a while. Did you get him? He's immortal. He'll did never age. Punisher and Barracuda, two sides of the same homicidal coin. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Barracuda was very honest about the fact that it's like, yeah, he just wants to, he just wants to fucking kill people for money. Why don't you just mail me the bullet? Anyway, Flash pisses me off. I fucking love the Flash so much. 
Frank being a soldier is a must as a character. Oh yeah, no, no one will yeah. ever debate whether or not Frank should be military. I mean, that's, he has that's, to be. Yeah, that's his whole thing. He can have other other stuff in addition to being a soldier, but yeah. he needs to be he, a soldier. Even even with them trying to get rid of Frank and like bring a new Punisher with it being like fucking Joe Garrison, he was still a member of Shield, which is basically just the military. Mm -hmm. No, he's just did the same joke twice. Well, that, that I think that itself was the joke. Yeah, it's it, it, the the part of the joke is that uh, Boomerang and the Flash are on like the fucking same exact page. Yeah. I uh, also know another channel called Self Pity Entertainment of Giant the Homicidal Maniac. <laughs> I like the little puppet dance he has. Yeah. Barry Allen or Wally West? This is Wally. I think it also means which do you prefer? Oh, uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure this is Wally. They say his name. I don't remember. I, I think this is Wally. Uh, I think my personal favorite's Barry Allen. No, nah, it's Barry. Yeah, this yeah. is Barry. Did Frank be in the Army or Marine Corps? Marines. Otherwise, you will never hear the fucking end of it. Yeah. Like that. That's not even up for debate. He has to be a Marine. <laughs> He'd still be wearing his old uniform. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thoughts on making Frank ex-military and law enforcement like a Thomas Jane version. I liked it. Uh, I liked it specifically because they still kept the fact that he, he did counterterrorism shit. Once again, bringing in the, the Max slash Marvel Knights run where a little bit more than your average soldier. Mm -hmm. Frank's a devil dog, yeah. Devil dog. Because Boomerang uh, fought the Flash for years. He knows what kind of bullshit he can do. Yeah. Pretty sure Wally has all the iconic moments. Nah, Barry. Wally has some, but most of them are Barry's. It was me, Barry. I jerked you off at super speed, so it appeared you nutted at a woman's touch. <gasps> when, did the, when did Punisher Max drop off? Uh, Valley Forge, Valley Forge. That, to me, is when it started feeling like it was going on a little bit too long. Because that entire arc is, oh, a bunch of corrupt generals hire a military unit to kill Frank, and he doesn't want to kill them. Oh, yeah. So he's, like, trying his best not to kill them, and it goes on just way too long. I like the, I like the buildup it has to it, because... Canonically, it came out before Born, so you learned about the Valley Forge massacre, and you didn't know exactly what happened. So the reveal of like, because it would it would start each issue with like a radio transcript of them trying to contact Valley Forge, and by the end, it's just the radio guy going Valley Forge, Valley Forge, please mm -hmm. respond. That was really cool. Agent for two bucks. Thoughts on Jennifer Blood? Uh, I'm not familiar. I don't think. I have no idea what he's talking about. That's not the Flash. That's just Ezra Miller. Uh, yeah. They just took Ezra Miller and put him in the game. That's what makes him so good. Uh, that's on the chick that almost became the next Punisher. Rachel, Rachel. never, ever touch her again. Let her come back, chat. Let no. her come back. Let, let her stay in her own little bubble. Ignore she exists. Let her come back. So she can permanently be, oh yeah, that was pretty cool. This is the reverse flash abort the Flash's kids in this game. No, he goes out of his that's way. Not to... the, that's not the reverse flash that does that. The reverse flash technically sets that up. Uh, but that wasn't him. That was, uh, fucking Zoom. Yeah. Now he goes out of the way to make sure they're alive so they have to watch their father be evil. Yeah. And that was for, that was for Wally. That was for Wally. Uh, Jennifer Blood was a Garth Times Revenge series. I never read it then. I don't think I, yeah, I don't think so. Showed it okay, but funny she came back though. <laughs> <laughs> I stay with with how much they they butcher Punisher as it is. I just cannot imagine it going well. A good character is a good character. Now, right? Isn't one of the main things about the Punisher is that he shouldn't be idolized? Oh yeah, he shouldn't yeah. be. But I stay. He he just represents that old style of like yeah, fuck yeah, like Death Wish. He mm -hmm. he is literally meant to be Charles Bronson from Death Wish. So uh, let's say who uh, fucking who are the copycat killers? I forget their names. Oh, uh, I don't think they even really had names. It, I thought their organization had a name. They were coming up in an organization. I just don't remember what they called it. Yeah, I I, I always love that one so much yeah. because like at, at, at first they they show up, and yeah, obviously Frank's Frank's not for it, but you can get behind it a little bit, and then like they they start killing people over progressively more and more petty shit. Yeah, just like insane a lady, shit. a lady's walking her dog out during the wrong time of day, and he's like, oh, I guess I'll fucking blow your brains out. Yeah. Uh, Zealous Note for two fake minds. Thoughts on the Toxic Adventure remake? I don't think it'll be anywhere near as hardcore uh, as the original. No, the guy working on it's um, a fucking pedophile, yeah? The guy, the director? I did not know about that. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. 
Vigilante Squad. Yeah, but they, they had, like, an actual name. Uh, they were trying to come up with a name, and then Frank interrupted them and killed them all. Yeah. But it was like, you, you had the guy who, who was racist, and he just wanted to kill minorities. Yeah. Uh, you had the priest, who was just a fucking lunatic. Yep. And then you had the, the gang... The fucking rich white dude. Then you had the fucking gang member who just wanted to kill people so he could steal their shit. Yep. Tyler right. Payton, Reverse Flash, Forgiveness. Forgive me. Wait, who's a pedo? Literally. Supposedly the guy directing Toxic Avenger remake. I don't know yeah. anything about him. Uh, look him up, chat. Look him up. Get his name. The Punishers? No, they didn't call themselves that. No, I don't think so. Pretty certain otherwise, actually. Uh, Macon Blair. Macon Blair. Macon Blair. Actually, oh, no, no, no. Okay, uh, no, no, no. I know who this dude is. He, uh, yeah, he was in Blue Ruin and Green Room. Now, this guy's a good actor. Yeah. So, no, I think it was another guy. Maybe it was, like, a producer or something. Uh, it should be the director. Are you sure Are you sure that guy's the director? The yeah, director? Macon Blair. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it might be a producer, then. Yeah, a film produced by Lloyd Kaufman and Michael Herz. Hmm. I know Lloyd Kaufman uh, knew some sketchy people, but, you know. You Must be somebody else, then. Oh, I think it, maybe you're thinking of the Jeepers Creepers guy. I am he's thinking still... of the Jeepers Creepers guy, yeah. Yeah, because he's actively still making movies. I and... thought he was doing the, the Toxic Avenger one. No, no, he's no. doing something else. Okay, uh, go ahead. He, he was doing something else. He is doing something, he's just... I, I, I thought it was the, the Toxic Avenger movie. Yeah. Maybe he was signed on for a little bit, then left? Maybe? Maybe. Uh, Flash and Justice League Unlimited is Wally West, and him outrunning yep. death is pretty cool. That's why I perform. He is pretty cool. Well, uh, Barry has also done that. Oh shit! I need to chase. I need to chase. Uh, I need to chase him around to yeah. get him to change our clothes for us. What Coppin's book? Make your own damn movies. Actually, pretty good book. Yeah, uh, a lot of the a lot of the books written by the um, the indie people are usually pretty good. I actually read Kevin Smith's book uh, before he you know sold the fuck out super hard. It actually had some pretty good advice. Yeah, uh, a lot of these a lot of these people can give like good fucking advice. You just have yeah. to ignore the fact that yeah, once you once once you make it to Hollywood, you just kind of turn into a piece of shit. Yeah, you sell out. Yeah. Have you watched Psycho Gorman? I did. It was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. For what it is, it's fun. I, I don't really have much desire to see it again, though. The the joke is funny once, then you're kind of like, and if I have to if I have to watch this other people, that means I have to watch this again. <laughs> I don't know if it's that funny. Uh, Robert Rodriguez's book is good as well. Robert Rodriguez's book is really interesting because they talked about how he made uh, El Mariachi and was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I did fucking medical experiments. How's that Jeep Creepers motherfucker not behind bars? He was. Yeah. He was. Like, like he's full on convicted, if I if I understand it correctly. Convicted and registered. Yep. Uh. That's how the Norse got a war game's not a fan. Not particularly a fan. Yeah, no. I don't like the way they play. Yeah. Which in turn means I don't like them. Yeah. I don't like the way they play. I don't like what they do with Kratos. Everything about it just screams, I am an art game. I am art game. You will take me seriously. And I'm like, I can't. So Francis Ford Coppola bailed him out. Yeah, kind yeah, of a major stain Coppola. on Francis Ford Coppola. How the fuck's he getting jobs? Independent financing. He's just doing indie movies. He's been relying on like Jeepers Creepers sequels. I, I was gonna say, I, w I wonder if he just like walked in and he's like, "Hey, I'm I'm the Jeepers Creepers guy. You wanna finance me?" And everyone's like, "Oh yeah, sure. You did Jeepers Creepers." Yeah. Rodriguez's story is inspiring. No matter how broke you are, you can still make movies. Uh, work several jobs, still find time to make games. So it would be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he, he is the, the epitome of you're either going to do it or you're going to fucking talk about doing it. You know, that that is, that is why I like Robert Rodriguez so much. Um, another good one I really like is John Waters. I always, I always talk about, like, how he did that interview where someone just, like, talked to him at, like, a record store or something where they just went, like, oh, shit, you're John Waters, and just asked him for advice. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, I want to be a director. What do I want to do? He just said, watch movies. Just, yeah. just watch yeah. any movie you can think of. Just good, bad, watch anything. Cause then you'll you'll imprint on what you like, what you mm -hmm. don't like, and you'll you'll remember it when you're making your own. Yeah, uh, I, I love John Waters. He's great. Oh, he's awesome. Like, rating about him, he is just like he is legitimately one of the maverick filmmakers. Of I did whatever the yeah. fuck I wanted. I will uh, under zero circumstances would I ever be in a John Waters film. No, no. He, he'd have me strapped to a bed, forcing me fucking dog shit. Uh, yeah, you, but I, you, I will never, ever, ever be in, a, in one of his movies. Having sex with a chicken, eating dog shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, however, I respect him, and his movies are entertaining as fuck. Yeah. Devil's Rejects is so awesome. Yeah, yeah, Rob Zombie's another one where, like, he, he kind of does whatever he wants. Yeah. We're here for Lex, man. Film around this middle school hasn't been in a hospital nearby. Yeah, that won't work for me. Uh, that's on Hellblade's Anyone Sacrifice. Art game. Yeah, art game. I don't like it. I'm probably not going to like the sequel either. Ow. James Rolf talked to the creators of Octane Hunger Force in a bar, and they told him if you have Photoshop and idea, you can make anything. That is true. That's it. 
There are people where they're either going to do it or they're going to talk about doing it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much what Tarantino did. Watch a shit ton of movies and that helped him fucking style and writing. Yeah. John Waters said one of my favorite quotes. Someone has to like your film other than the person you're fucking or your mother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah another another great another great quote. Yeah. That, was that before or after he told the fat chick to the fat uh, uh, cross dresser to uh, eat the shit? I don't know. Hairspray was hilarious. Hairspray. The original movie of Hairspray <laughs> yeah. is funny as fuck because it literally has a scene where. A lady is, like, hitting her daughter with a cattle prod because yeah. she wants to date a black guy. <laughs> yeah. It is fucking hilarious. That movie is so good. I love it. Un- like, unironically. We're not, we're not saying it's like, oh, wow, it's so crazy. Actually sit down and watch the original Hairspray. It is a good movie. That's on The Auditor from that Hellraiser movie. That was one of the newer ones, right? Uh, what was it? The Auditor from Hellraiser. Uh, yeah, that was one of the newer ones. Um, I don't think it was from the remake. Uh, 2007 movie? No! There was one that came out in the 80s which inspired it. Yeah. That's the one where they, they hit a, a girl with a cattle prod for talking to a black guy. Yeah. It, it, I mean, listen, man. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, one of the DVD ones. Oh, I don't like any of the DVD ones. Uh, he was the one that... You think I'm just gonna let you... He had, he had, like, the fucking really thick shades. Yeah. Okay. Like, like he looks like fucking Hugo Strange. Okay. In the 80s? Yes, the original Hairspray was an old-ass movie. Yeah. Eight, 70s, 80s. Can't get the song Good Morning Baltimore in my head. Thanks, Lolly. <laughs> uh, do you think there's too many crazy people on the other side of the political spectrum? Everyone's fucking crazy. Yeah, anyone on any any extreme of the political spectrum is a psychopath. Why do you prefer Barry Allen, Shota? Uh, I just think he's cool, Chet. I think he's neat. I'm going to watch 13, uh, no, 31, NC-17 version of the Rob Zombie movie. It's not that different from the R-rated one. They they prop up. It's NC seventeen. It's so crazy. You get like maybe one or two more scenes of gore. Sticking around or how the fuck they the name Pinhead stick when Howard Priest goes so fucking hard. People just found it funny to call him Pinhead. Yep. He does have a bunch of pins in his head. Yeah. Hairspray two thousand seven. John Travolta and drag. Yeah, he plays the the role that Divine played. Yep. Because Divine was a really good friend of John Waters, and and they were basically friends literally until the day he died. They were such good friends that she was willing to eat shit for him. Yeah. Unironically, like, just straight up ate shit for him. High as fuck on LSD, but they all were. What a psychopath. They, they were literally all high. That was, that was a, that, that's one of the funny stories from the, the, the making of Pink Flamingos. Where, like, we were stoned as fuck. Yeah. I, I love this scene. This is actually one of, this is a pretty good scene. Yeah. Uh, he, he literally just fucking runs past him, rips his heart out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Once oh. again, showing what they're capable of. And follows it up by fucking pelting him in the face with the heart. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good scene. Uh, I still can't believe the uh, the seed of Chucky had a John Waters scene. That was fun. Scene. That was fun. I liked the seed of Chucky cameo. Yeah. It's oh. behind it, literally eat shit. Oh, yeah, you can yeah. see it. In the movie, you can see it. You fucking look at their eyes, man. You can always tell. Rob Zombie director's cut of Halloween's actually worse than the theatrical cut. Yeah, it's not amazing. Is that a friendship or craziness? Oh, everyone had, like, like uh, the stable of actors John Waters used were all legitimately friends. They would come back for movie after movie after movie. Uh, they genuinely really good friends with each other. Here's pretty brings back members of being a theater and choir kid. Yeah. Zoom did this on Legends of Tomorrow CW. Oh, yeah. Think Miura ever took some influence from Punisher when he was writing Berserk? No, no. Uh, Miura flat out explained what his influences were. Yeah. He wasn't really into comics like that. He wasn't into like Marvel or anything like that. Yeah, he he's, never made he's not a he's not a like a fucking what's his face the guy who did My Hero Academia where he's a huge comics fan. Yeah. My, most uh most uh Japanese creators usually wear their their inspirations on their sleeve and are very open about them. Yeah. Even even Toriyama, he was very open about a lot of stuff oh, yeah. inspired Dragon Ball. Like he yeah he outright like full on drops the names of anything that he he ever took inspiration from. Also, John Waters and Alvin, Ch- Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. Don't ask how I know that. Yeah. Who did he play? He, he played himself. He was on like a plane with the Chipmunks. Oh. And then I Alvin was like, that. Yeah, then Alvin was like, I saw Pink Flamingos. Like, that was a very in depth reference to add in a children's movie. Maybe that's why I don't remember it. Maybe. That's on the most hated Marvel editor, Jim Shooter. I don't remember I, I don't remember a lot of him. Uh, Jim Shooter was One More Day, I believe. A fact in real life, a Cenobite is an SNM demon. It's a monk with a social life. <laughs> the game hated me because I played too good, chat. Yeah. Uh, 
Hirokoshi is almost a Rocky levels of Westaboo. Yes. Yeah, he, he loves Western comics. Uh, yeah, well, that, that's why he did uh, My Hero. And you can also, you can see the the movement through through his comics. You can see, yeah. uh, or through his manga, you can see uh, each age that he takes reference from. That's why that's why I like, um, oh, God damn, what's his name? Mr. Um, fuck. That's been too long. Yeah. Uh, gentleman, uh, gentleman. That's why I like him so much. He's like straight up Silver Age. Yeah, Gwen Saga, Rucker, Howard, Shoujo Manga, Conan, and Elric. Uh, replace Elric with Fist of the North Star. It is a much, much, yeah. much heavier influence. Why did Dave let that one eats see people eat poo? Why? Gentle, gentle criminal. criminal. Yes. Yeah. Do you like Roger Craig Smith as Batman? He was not bad. No, not at all. Joe Quesada was one more day. Yeah. I just go zoom. Yeah. I make a little zoom. Thing is, you know these are clones because, like, there is a way to break out of Brainiac's brainwashing. It's happened multiple times. I don't remember how, but there's a way out. That nose is off, yeah. Who's? I, th I think they were talking about Wonder Woman. Because that was the first one I think one Wonder I thought Woman of. looks fine. Talking about Captain Boomerang, in which case, I mean, he's got a strong nose. Where's Dr. Fade? He could free them. Good point. <laughs> Very good point. Wait, they're clones? It's implied they're clones. Yeah. Jim Shooter was editor in chief from 1978 to 1987. He was in their golden age. Oh, okay. Notice how Wonder Woman never joins Brainiac. Really makes me a uh, strong woman think. <laughs> Este, that is like a barely a drop in the bucket to what's really wrong with the game. Yeah. Because, oh. like, Wonder Woman being the one person left, it's like whatever is what is. You get it's one happened multiple league. times in the comics. Yeah. The, the problem is the fact of, like, Holy shit, the grind in this game's fucking ass. Yeah. The late game grind is fucking insane. Yeah. Uh I did the math and like that that big skill tree at the end in order in order to just get all the all the skill points to fill out the the stuff that uh you actually can. It's like 9,100 levels. Yeah, it's fucking insane. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Yeah. One of them is a very good hero, surprisingly began as a BDSM fetish. Yeah. With the dreads, Skrillex haircut. Yeah, the the haircut's always bad. Haircut's always bad. Favorite Godzilla monster? Destroy ya. I wonder one doesn't have, have the Skrillex haircut. Also, this this like th this is where it starts. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, no, technically it starts at the beginning of the uh, like right after that first cutscene with Deadshot, but right here is where where he's like, no, I'm I'm claustrophobic and I'm afraid of the dark. Yeah. Canon Wonder Woman's immune to, to, to mind control. I reject clone theory until I see it outright confirmed until then it's just cope. No, like they, they make it pretty clear. Yeah. Because once again, th this is a story with like as little consequences as possible. Yeah. No, fuck destroy that motherfucker made me cry as a kid. That's why it was cool. <laughs> Prefer younger superheroes fighting the Justice League or maybe Teen Titans and Supergirl. As a we need to make a Suicide Squad game, it's not the yeah. worst. Uh, spoiler, Shat and Steg, uh, Suicide Squad killing Wonder Woman and Superman so you can kill the men of Justice League in this game. <laughs> uh, what Godzilla kaiju movie would you want to see from the guys behind Godzilla Minus One? I want to see them tackle Biollante. They keep dropping yeah. hints they're going to do Biollante. Chat, are you implying that, that Superman is a woman beater? So based. Very cool. So based. I like Gigan. I think he's just neat. He is pretty neat. He doors my boy, yeah. So you read the Wonder Woman comic when she weaponized the lasso of Superman's spine and Scott <laughs> uh, learning she led to his death and the aftermath of an end of the world scenario. Uh, Space Godzilla. Uh, Space Godzilla will always be my go-to because I just love the idea of Godzilla, but he has literal, like, well, I say literal, but uh, what I always visualized as a kid uh, as literal mountains on his shoulders, and I was like, yeah. oh. I want a video game of uh, Stephen King's The Long Walk. Hold the down button, use the joystick, and walk for 70 hours real time. <laughs> Clone plus multiverse. Yeah, I say there, there are hints that this is you're you're fighting clones of mm -hmm. the Justice League that are still captured by Brainiac. Yeah. 
Because you have, you have scenes like uh, cutting off Flash's finger, meanwhile his finger's back. Yeah, his uh, finger's back whenever he's brainwashed. Uh, you have... You have uh, you kill you kill the Green Lantern and you take his ring and then uh, the wing, the the ring ends up in the harbor but none of the Green Lantern constructs go away. Yeah, none of the Green Lantern constructs go away and on top of that it never tries to find a new user and yeah. fucking King Shark can use it just picks yeah. it up and starts yeah. using it. So the the Green Lantern ring itself might not be real. Yeah, it's like the, that's something where it's like okay, there's something going on there. Which it wouldn't be the first time that they synthesized rings for people. Yeah. You prefer OG Gigan or Edgelord Gigan from Final Wars? I'll always go with OG. I always like OG. Final Wars is good, though. Yeah, Final Wars cool. is really fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, Clone Thing doesn't excuse the awful story, but frankly, the gameplay is still the biggest problem. Yeah, I mean, it's like... <laughs> the, the fact them that doing the, the clone is... thing makes it worse because, as stated, it is a story with zero consequences. Well, it was the multiverse. It was never going to have consequences. Yeah, there, there's no consequences that's, that's to any of this. That's the problem with doing a multiverse story. Yeah, there, there's no consequences to any of what you're doing, so it's like... Yeah, the, the gameplay is still the, the big factor of it because it's what you're physically doing for hours on end, and it's fucking boring. Yeah. It, the 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 moment to moment gameplay doesn't get fun until like three quarters of the way through the game. Yeah, because you uh, you don't fucking unlock any of the good stuff. All the early stuff is just oh well if you get your combo multiplier up to twenty you do plus one percent damage. Yeah. Uh, you don't get any actual abilities until the end of your skill tree. Uh, sounds like Copenhagen's or explanation of the writers are terrible. No, that's about the comics. That's the thing. There's too many in jokes, too many yeah. details, too, too many references. Just go. They Chat, don't know believe it or not, comics. this is a multi-million-dollar operation. I, yeah. I know, I know. It's it's hard to believe. It, it is yeah. hard to believe. Uh, but sometimes, just sometimes, people do think out their stories. Yeah. Even if it is bad, they do think out their stories. Yeah. Like I said, there there's too many there to where it'd be like, okay, how the fuck are you not addressing mm -hmm. that? I mean, when they make it a literal plot point that they take out the Flash's finger, and then the next time you see him, the finger is there, it's like, okay, something's going on there. Yeah. Much of the obsession with multiverses, don't they, do they not realize uh, that once they do a multiverse, it eliminates all consequences in the story? Well, it got really popular. Like, that, yeah. that, that's what it was. It, it was done successfully, and then it blew up and got really popular. Yeah. And then everyone's just been chasing that trend. Uh, it's only sort of kind of started to die out recently. Uh, you have the stuff that you obviously... Uh, you have it, it hit the, the ball out of the park and are still following that through. Yeah. But like this game started development seven years ago, and I imagine yeah. it was probably still a multiverse story back then. Yeah. Because you had Into the, the Spider Verse and you had Everything Everywhere All at Once. Those were mm -hmm. two massive movies that yeah. really popularized the idea of multiverse. I still can't believe Jamie Lee Curtis got that fucking Oscar. That was bullshit. Yeah. I liked her in the movie. She didn't deserve that. Yeah. I was gonna say any any of the like any of the other characters from the movie. Any yeah. of them. Uh, how are they hinting at Biolante? So very end of the movie, when the chick's in the hospital, you yeah. see kind of like a scar on her neck, uh, and they straight up are hinting that that's important, and it kind of looks a little bit like a leaf. So they're they're hinting at the idea that like maybe her 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 cells or something will be used and experimented on to figure out the effects of Godzilla's radiation, mm -hmm. and that will create Biolante. The director has flat out said the next movie is going to involve a kaiju battle between Godzilla and another kaiju. Yeah. Uh, they made direct references to Biolante and said, it's been a long time since anyone saw Biolante in a movie. Mm -hmm. I like the way they do Toy Man chat. I enjoy him. I like him. Uh, daughter should have gotten the Oscar. She was good. Yes, the she, daughter she was, was good. good. The daughter, the mom. Michelle Yeoh, yeah. Uh, Michelle Yeoh, of course, is great. Uh, fucking... Didn't, didn't the, 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 the guy who played... My boy uh, Rakakuni got snubbed. <laughs> Yeah, the guy who played short round. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, didn't he get an award? I think he got an award. Best, I don't best remember what. Actor, yeah, maybe he was phenomenal. He did a great job. Yes. Yeah, he was amazing. Uh, that was on Spider Man No Way Home. It was pretty good. It, it, it's fun. I, I yeah. like seeing Toby back. Yeah, and Andrew. I like seeing him. Fellow show director came out and said the show was made with fans of mine. God fucking damn it, that uh -huh. hurt. Oh yeah, it's well, dead. It's uh, you should have. You should have known. You yeah. should have known, Chad. I'm sorry. It's dead. Uh, actress said next time she's gonna be in the series that she'll be stomping on people. <laughs> yeah, jokes like that, obviously referencing like, oh, okay, so, yeah, because remember, Biolante's backstory is the cells of a scientist's daughter, who I think died of cancer, were mixed with Godzilla cells and then fused into a plant, and that created Biolante. Mm -hmm. Uh, Guacom for two fake monies. Uh, why is this black lady model in so many games? Because that's what the actual actress looks like. Yeah. And she she has been the most accurate person to ever be scanned into a game ever. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it really is. Shin Godzilla needs a sequel. We very much need a sequel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything Everywhere All at Once was a great story about mom reconnecting with her daughter. Multiverse sci-fi wacky shit was just for flavor. Yeah. Well, once again, it, it 
it does the thing that the directors of the film, because uh, they, they call him like the Daniels. Yeah. Uh, it was like Daniel Quo and Daniel somebody else. I don't remember his name. Uh, they use these very goofy concepts to tell very human stories. Uh, Swiss Army Man is about loneliness and not really being a part of the world and whether or not that's a good or bad thing and having regrets, things yeah. like that. Did they also do the other one with uh, uh, with uh, Harry Potter. They do that other one too with, um, what is it, Guns Akimbo? They didn't do that. They didn't do no. that one? No, okay. no, no, because that's just more of a straight-up action movie. Uh, they did uh, Death of Dick Long, okay. which, go into that movie blind. <laughs> go into that movie as blind as you can. It is phenomenal. But that, uh, Who that, did The Lobster? Oh yeah, that that was a British one. I don't remember the people who did that one, but that one that was another really good one. Horns was pretty good. Horns was good, but I say they didn't make that. Wish King Caesar would show up in the monster verse. He could be so cool if he fought Kong. They're teasing him a lot. Mm-hmm. If the chick from Mind Zero actually died in the explosion, Godzilla relations keep her sentient. That would be sick. They're they're teasing a lot of shit with her. I say I I am convinced that. She is going to be used to bring Biolante to life, and it's going to be a reference to how survivors after Hiroshima were treated. Because a, a lot of women who were there at Hiroshima received a really bad stigma. Yeah. Uh, they they were the they were the women who had like their kimonos burned into them. Once again, referenced with the fact she had like a scar on her that was from the radiation burn. So I, I think that's what they're gonna do. Where they're like they'll blame her. And it's like it's your fault this happened. And it's like it wasn't. That's what I think. Yeah. Well, we already had the the blame uh, the blame storyline. The blame the thing with movie. him, yeah, yeah, with with him being a survivor. But you know what I mean. Yeah, he, it doesn't his... mean they can't use it again. It's just uh, yeah, it's use it again, but in a different way. Yeah, we we don't know. We don't know. They're they're keeping it tight lipped, and honestly, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Desi yeah, like like character design wise, it could one hundred percent be a reference without without going yeah without the needing story. to explicitly be Biolante or something like that. It might be. Well, yeah. well, I mean, you can use the aspects of, like, the radiation burns on her skin, uh, but not necessarily yeah, yeah, have yeah. people blame her for anything. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Whee! Isn't Godzilla already referenced nuclear disaster? Yeah, but there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Because uh, the way Minus Zero does it, or Minus One does it, uh, is more of a fact of, like, there was always kind of a brewing sentiment in Japan about basically kind of blaming their government for what happened and leaving a lot of their men to die uh, that just goes unaddressed. Like, because uh, that's what they, that's what the whole committee at the end of the movie is. It's like, yep. if we take this, if we take this to the government, they're going to have a lot of fucking people die. You know, because they, they don't care about us. They see us as disposable. That's where the speech from the scientists is at the end is. Like, they told us to do kamikazes. They told us to do bonsais. Like, so many people had to fucking die and for what? Yep. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, do you ever see Dream Scenario? Any shot of it, a review of it or Pig? I really, really liked Dream Scenario. That is a goofy as fuck movie, mm -hmm. but it says a lot. It is really good. Pig good, pig good. Pig good, pig is also really good. Or it's called Minus One, my bad. Yeah, I know, it's... They, they released the, the Without Color one, and I, I think that one is called Minus Zero or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe we're in the damn movie right now. I don't watch my this one seven times. I won't watch again. Yeah, right. I've been watching. I've been waiting for that for fucking months. They've been they've been buying time to, to, to get the fucking Blu-ray out. Yeah, right. They just keep re-releasing it in theaters. <laughs> it's like, oh, this time it's black and white, but Godzilla's in color. It's like that's kind of cool though. That's kind that's kind of cool Fuck though. Fuck you, that's kind of cool. It's called minus one minus color. Yeah, it was something like that. It, it was like a really funny title. Goofy yeah, motherfucker. Uh, Yorgos uh, Lanthimos did the lobster and poor things, uh, which the film looks gorgeous, but fuck, the film was almost preaches Barbie. Ooh boy. Mm -hmm. So stick to the lobster. Got it. Godzilla minus one is an Oscar-winning film, by the way. Yep. Yes. I think it's what like. It's the first Godzilla movie to win an Oscar. Yeah, it's like the first like Godzilla movie to win an Ow. Oscar, and just all around like the first kaiju movie I think to win an Oscar. Uh, yeah. Cloverfield didn't win anything, I don't think. Yeah. Have you seen Shogun? I have. It is really good. I've seen the first episode. I like it a lot. It's I I love it so far. It is so good. I need to read uh read the book it's based on. The book is really long, but it's also very very good. I was gonna say I imagine it's an Eastern book, yeah. Uh no, it's written no. by a white guy. Oh. Yeah. Um, but it's it's all about William Adams history. Yeah. But it's like a thousand pages long, so it, it's a little bit of heft. Oh, that's not bad. 
yeah, but it's really, really good. Um, it is a fictionalized version of William Adam a Adams. They yeah, change like, like every version of him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they, they change his name. They change some some details around. Mm -hmm. He's called John Blackthorn. Okay. Which is fucking weird. You know, in the show they call him Blackthorn. But uh, yeah, it, it's still a really good book. Why aren't, there, why aren't there any African Americans in Shogun Kappa? Because Yasuke was fucking dead at that point. Yasuke was dead. And Yasuke wasn't a fucking samurai. He was a retainer at best. Live action JoJo film good. The part four one? Yeah. Not bad. Uh, there's actually two of them. We've only yeah. watched the first the first one together. Yeah, part two is all about Kira. Yeah, part four. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're talking about second movie? Yeah, okay. part two of part four. Godzilla, uh, King Kong 2005 won three Oscars. Damn it! No, it didn't. Fuck you. No, it didn't. Yeah, in the in the book, he's called Blackthorn. Yeah, because I say it, it. It was fictionalized. They changed some details around. Uh, I will say they change one element from the book, and I also think the real history maybe. I say that that's something I need to look into of like how much of the book has changed compared to what actually happened. There, there is a guy who is a samurai that is a soldier for Tokugawa uh -huh. who they do an operation to smuggle them all out of a city using the army of a guy they fucking hate called Ishido. Mm -hmm. uh, as they are going, they kind of get caught in a three-pronged fight okay. <laughs> where uh, the, the convoy they're using gets ambushed by another unrelated guy. <laughs> so they, they have to reveal themselves in the middle of the fight the guys that they were trying to sneak in with are going like, Wait a minute, what the fuck are you doing here? And they start fighting. So they have to rush down to a port to get out of there while two sides are trying to fucking kill them. Mm -hmm. And there's one guy by the name of, I think his name is like a... Baranto... Bertano, uh, something like that. He, he was a samurai, I don't remember his name. His name started with a B. Bored, no. Bow, no. No. Uh, you, you wouldn't fucking know him as the ages thing. No, I, I've seen I've seen the name before. Yeah, but uh, oh. it, it's this thing where he has he holds off a whole like fucking unit of guys as everyone's loading onto the boats and sailing away, and and William Adams I, I just call him William Adams that's the fucking name is going like should we go back for him like should we go back for him right and, and he literally just looks at them and gives a bow and they're like he doesn't want to come back so he he's fighting off all these dudes as they're watching and in the book. Uh, he fights until he's literally like panting, surrounded by dead guys, barely able to hold onto a sword, and then his 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 buddies come in on horseback and get him out, and everyone clearly sees him get out. Mm -hmm. In the show, they make it more ambiguous. Oh, okay. So they're they're doing a thing of like, is he dead? Is he not dead? Uh, they changed Omi. They did change Omi. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just five bucks. I reached level Infinity De Dragon's Dogma one. Um, trying to max out all vocations I've been in the game once. Uh. I haven't, I haven't been in the game once. My bitch will never have the weight of a woman. <laughs> Swear I'm not trolling. Tro uh, Jojo always felt like two children playing superhero, and they go back and forth saying, no, your decks have a shield and so on. That is basically how they fight, and it's amazing. Pring, pring. Wait, did Cross Spy not get a single award? It, it was nominated. Alpha Omega, five, uh, five bucks. Man, the SBI shows are out in force having breakdowns over not controlling the narrative. Once, uh, one resort to at least uh, show my face fallacy. Yeah, it's like, dude, it, the games they work on suck. Right. First fucking Assassin's Creed game taking place in Japan, and we don't even have fucking Japanese protagonists. More dick sucking with black samurai. I was never even a samurai. Yeah, it's like that. That's exactly what I want when I play a fucking game I was set say, in it's Japan. Not even Yosuke. Yeah. It's just another black guy, and then everyone goes, "No, but Yosuke." At this point, you should just call it the the Yosuke fallacy. Yeah. The presence of a single black guy in, in Japanese history, feudal history, yeah. does not constitute the appearance of multiple black people. Yeah. Omi was this unassuming guy who could snap into her nature real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the show fucks around with that, where they make him, like, pretty absurdly evil from the get-go. But still, I like what they're doing so far. I, I, I still think it's really good. Um... The way they actually do the political scheming is interesting because they, they they don't do the Game of Thrones thing of teasing it for fifty fucking steps. They're they're pretty blunt cause and effect of this guy talked to this guy and now this shit's happening. So Ow. they're they're pretty upfront with a lot of it, and you can tell immediately like okay, this motherfucker's he's shady. They, they don't they don't play around with it. They're pretty upfront with a lot of it. But uh, there there are some pretty fucking hardcore moments like um. Speaking of Shogun, I'm tired of fucking hearing about uh, Yasuke. It sucks the white guys speak English, not Portuguese. They speak English, but they are speaking Portuguese. Yeah. It is a weird thing where 
because William Adams speaks fluent Portuguese and he has to be arguing with Portuguese characters who probably don't speak English, so they just have them speak English. All the Japanese people speak Japanese. Uh, does Shogun have good gore? It has amazing gore. When you get to the cannon scene, you see people turn to fucking paint. And uh, a really hardcore kill is, uh, there's an assassin that goes to kill Tokugawa. And, uh, they do kind of like an outsmart thing where they trick her into thinking that they're in a different room than they are. So when she goes into the room expecting to kill someone who's asleep, Tokugawa just slashes her fucking neck open with a sword. Uh -huh. And she's still trying to fight and, like, you know, fucking slashing the knife at him. And only, only William Adams tried to go, like, holy fuck, I gotta get that away from her. And Tokugawa's just staring at her. He doesn't even have his sword up. He's just staring at her. And she's, like, falling backwards. And then when she gets to the door, he just fucking hits her with the hilt of the sword and falls down. And, and, and Adam's just watching, watching Tokugawa just stare at her. She bleeds out. It, it is a fucking hardcore scene. Because it, it, it is a really, really good fucking show. Look at the Schnoz chat. He's Australian chat. It was born into, he was born like that chat. You leave him alone. Is it a Death of Stalin thing? More like they didn't want to have to make you pay attention to multiple languages. Right. It's a little lazy. But it's fine can, because the point is showing the difference between Europe and Japan. I get that vibe this low, but I don't find it entertaining. I'm very much in the minority. Oh, I know, just bummed out that you got an extra step to nitpick. No, no, I understand. I understand. Because it already, it already goes so far in all these other different ways. Uh, it, it really it really does do a good job. So it is one of those of like, that's a little weird. Asking Ubisoft for over a decade to make a Samurai Assassin's Creed uh, game. Now that Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft are shit, it's too late. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just play Ghost. Ghost of Tsushima. I'll play Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, Rise of the Ronin's coming out. It won't be a, like, a dedicated Samurai thing, but it'll be cool as fuck. Yeah, it'll be good. Ready uh, who played uh, Noriko Oishi, uh, Ruriko Midokoriawa, or uh, Midori Kawa, is also Minami Hamabe in Shin Kamen Rider. Mm -hmm. I knew she looked familiar. So I interviewed Tom King saying he understands why everyone hates Batman and Heroes in Crisis. Basically, this volume is <laughs> books. I, I have trouble hating now. Samurai Assassin's Creed wouldn't work because Samurai do, didn't exactly do stealth. Anyway, play Tenchu. That's true. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna do Assassin's Creed in Japan, you'd be a ninja. Mm -hmm. That's literally the point of it. Uh, VA for Miles cried like a bitch when Across Spider-Verse lost a boy in Heron. Absolutely agree with the decision. And Across Spider-Verse is half of a movie and nowhere near as good as the first film. He he did admit, it's like, yeah, I'm just a sore loser. It's still really good. He, he flat out had a saying where it's like, if we were going to lose, we were going to lose to the GOAT. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh. 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 Come on. Oh. Yeah, get over here. Get over here, Flash. Oh. Get over here. Find a copy of Tenchu. Yeah, or I say just play Ghost of Tsushima. Chat, you know, you know the original, uh, uh, the original stories of ninjas were based off of uh, Chinese. Whoop! Uh, unfortunate. Were based off of uh, the Chinese stories that came over. Oh god. Or Sekiro. Sekiro is a lot different than what people want. Because yeah. when, when you hear Assassin's Creed in Japan, it's like, you don't really think Sekiro. Not, not particularly. Aren't you a Viking in the latest Assassin's Creed game? That's not even the latest. Uh, yeah. What's the worst game movie you like, unironically? Uh, I like that Dwayne Rock movie, uh, Faster, where he has the car and the, and the gun. Does it have a game attached to it? No. Why are you bringing up faster then? Because he's asked, what what game movie do you like uh, that's bad but you like unironically? Well, part of faster involves a video game. I assume he just meant game and or movie. Oh, game slash movie? Yeah. You're still wrong. Assassins <laughs> <laughs> are all about stealth. Has the only black guy in Japan be an assassin. The guy that stands out is the only person of his race in the country. Yeah. yeah, it's just, it's stupid. It's ESG crap. Japan was influenced uh, a lot by their one close neighbor. They were, they were. As much as I fucking despise China, they did influence Japan a lot. Uh, uh, I think that helped with the racism. By the way, the VA for Sugar and Ursa Yatsura and Kirawara and Yinuyasha died March 4th. Yep. Wasn't sure if you heard fucking Hell Toriyama died before another well-known voice actress died. Yeah, yep. it sucks. Uh, I brought up that, I brought up her, uh, the voice actress dying on uh, my Toriyama stream. <laughs> yeah. I'm just tired of the style of Assassin's Creed uses now. The pseudo RPG shit just sucks. Well, that's the thing. Uh, they had a Mirage come out, and that actually is an old style Assassin's Creed game. It's still dog shit. Yeah, it's still dog shit, and they didn't fucking market it for shit. No one even knew it came out. 
Oh, you fucking would. A gamer with a guy from Dexter was purely fun for the guy with Dexter. Yeah, that, that was a dumb, dumb as hell movie. Mirage was awful. Yeah, but it was an old style Assassin's Creed game. I don't know, man. My bullets are hitting you. I've seen the movie Sword of the Stranger. I've not. Uh, now, Furious for ten bucks. If I recall correctly, it's a myth that Samurai and Ninja were mutually exclusive. Samurai was a social class, and Shinobi was more of a job description. If you were a Samurai and you did espionage, you were also a ninja. Yeah, I mean, Shinobi was basically just their word for hitman. It, it was just go in and fuck shit up. Yeah. The 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 concept of a of a ninja. Uh, come on, the concept of a ninja. Uh, came over with a bunch of Chinese stories, which yeah. uh, I, I forget what the I forget what the name of of the Chinese stories were. They're like shooting key blasts. Yeah, it was. There's like a Xi or something. Yeah, or XI, some some shit like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the concept of the, of the ninjas based on that, and it wasn't until America got a hold of it that it became uh, interchangeable with Shinobi. Because it, it wasn't like it a, was a it was a more modern. I say America, but it was a more yeah. modern take on on the ninja. Yeah, because it was. It, I, I think they called them like. Not wushai stories, where it's like sword wushu, stories. Wushu, wushu. Yeah. Something like that. Zhangjia. Yeah, Zhangjia. That's it. So the Stranger was very good. Found fight scenes, excellent fight. I'm going to look that up then. All right, chat. Watch for a stream. We need to, we need to know. Yeah, see, King Shark is the only one with even half a decent amount of character. Cause like, holy shit, he he tried to keep us alive and and we yeah. killed him. He is a uh, well, Deadshot's also like fucking keep it respectful. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like potential little good character moment, but they still kind of fuck it over. Yeah, he never gets the pee. Yeah. I listen, okay. It is it is in character for this boomerang because he's a fucking cunt. <laughs> he's a goddamn cunt. I love him for it. He plays the, the, the team shitter way better than Harley does. How the fuck would you make the one kind of person an assassin if he's caught or spot? He's not going to be able to hide in the crowd. Yeah. That's the, it's, it's just dumbass pandery crap. That's all it is. It's Ubisoft going, guys, you're, you're going to buy the series, right? And everyone's like, no. I don't care. No. Ghost of Tsushima came out. That, literally the exact first thing that happened when Ghost of Tsushima came out is, well, we don't need Assassin's Creed Japan anymore. That's literally it. Yeah. Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed, but in Japan, and is better than fucking any Assassin's Creed that's come out in recent memory. What's on live action boomerang? You mean the one that was there for uh, approximately 20 seconds before getting yeah. his head blown up? Who played him? Was it the guy that played Kano? I don't fucking remember. I think it, was the, I think it might have been the guy that played Kano. I've literally had no desire to ever watch Suicide Squad ever since. I watched I saw it once in, in my. I was gonna say I watched yeah. it once in my entire life. <laughs> I choose to believe Captain Boomerang has a boomerang-shaped wang, and that's why we're all shocked. <laughs> Jai Courtney. Really? Pull up a picture of Jai Courtney for me. Because Jai Courtney is a black name. I know who Jai Courtney is. I don't remember him being fucking Captain Boomerang. Oh, my God. It literally shows his fucking workout routine to get in the role. Hey, yo. He was there for 30 seconds, bro. Alright, okay, but okay. Alright, fair. Fair. You got my respect. I'm God. Real shit, man. Real shit. So love the hell of the first AC game. Such a unique atmosphere and vibe and gameplay. I just don't think they're managed to recapture sense. One through four are great. Everything yeah. past that is either hit and miss or just bad. Yeah. So you guys actually buy this game or is it a gift? We're not we're not spending money on this. Yeah, we're not spending money on this chat. The same boomerangs uh, from the Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Does the character creation system work in SMT or Persona game without just giving the uh, uniqueness of each uh, protagonist designed for a game? I mean, they're they're basically blank anyway, so I'm like, eh, I don't see, I don't even see much of a point to character create. Yeah. Like, we have our avatar, we know what they're meant to be. The main character is the demons. Except for, except for, uh, fucking Nocturne. Did Lantern mention Floyd? Uh, that's Deadshot's name. Something Floyd. Yeah. I mean, uh, Nocturne's great. Demi Fiend is awesome. Demi Fiend is awesome. <laughs> One subplot in Ghost of Tsushima was a better revenge story than the entire Last of Us 2. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima was just good, even if it had some moments of, like, really... Like, not being able to kill that one chick really was, like... That, they should have made that a choice. They should have made Fox lady? Yeah. They should have given a choice to shoot her. To yeah. Moe. 
But even then, that, that's, guess what? That is a nitpick mm -hmm. in, compared to the rest of the game. The DLC is great as well. Yeah. Chat, that's one superhero down. Heard that some um, Twitter losers trying to claim that genderbent characters are now trans to try and claim Saber from Fader themselves. They mm -hmm. hate these people. It's stupid. It's stupid as hell. That's in the original Avatar, the blue alien one. It sucked. Yeah, I, I don't like it very much. Oh, I think... No. Never mind. That's on Ghost in the Shell 2.0. It was pretty good. I liked it. Ghost in the Shell. Wasn't the Fox uh, Chick Forrest do bad stuff? Forrest is a very strong sense of the word. She actively fucked people over for her own end. Yeah. She literally volunteered to teach the Mongols archery. Then they kidnap her and it's like, oh shit, I need but to yeah. break out. It was literally a thing if she approached was, them first. It was to get back at her master. Yeah. And the the big thing is the scene where she literally ties up a, a screaming innocent woman to be like, fucking help yeah. me, help me, help me. And then kills her anyway. And it's like, all right, so you're a damnable. You're a piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, I was going to say, she's just evil. Yeah. Uh, is the arrow in this? No, no. That's on Guns Suicide Squad film. I actually thought it was that first Suicide Squad should have been. Have them do covert ops that the government doesn't want to do. It was okay. It was okay. I uh, I don't really... It, he at least had the, the audacity to actually kill characters off other than the, like a single fucking character to be like, Yeah, it's Suicide Squad. One of them died. There you go. Fuck yeah, off. Yeah, like actually, like pretty much most of the team died. Yeah. I was like, Peacemaker made it out. Deadshot made it out. Harley uh, made it out. Harley made it out. I, uh, King Shark made it out? I think so. Polka Dot Man died. Uh, having their first villain be Starro might be wasting a lot of potential, though. Yeah, because be Starro is actually a pretty big deal. Uh, he, he's the first villain that the fucking Justice League fought. Josh Task Force X episode on JLU? I don't fucking remember. JL, uh, just like Unlimited Task Force X. X. Um... I, I've watched all okay. of, I've watched all of JLU, but I don't remember it. Yeah, it's not Deadshot, it's Bloodsport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, even fuck though, you. Even though they're basically the same fucking guy. Chad, I had a I had a bust you upside your fucking mouth. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Say it again. Only ones who made are Bloodsport, Peacemaker, Ratcatcher 2, Harley Quinn, and King Shark. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else fucking died. Yeah, Rick Flag didn't make it. Yeah. Uh, I salute a legend. <laughs> I, I think that was directly a joke from making fun of the David Ayer one. Because mm -hmm. Rick Flag makes it all the way out at the very end. And he was kind of wondering, like, why is he even in here? Yeah. Well, because we need it. We need Enchantress. And we need we need to make them all. We need to make a, a way for her to be good. Oh, fuck off. Pokemon's death was. Uh, Polka Dot Man's death was iconic. Ugh. They really should have made uh, Deadshot in this game, Bloodsport. The only reason he's in this game is because of uh, the one Will Smith in it, yep. and same with his race. Yeah. But, yeah, like, you, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Will Smith is... What other characters has Will Smith made that have been turned into video game characters? There's got to be more than one. There's more than one. I know there's more than one. Was there a Men in Black game? Probably. Boomerang death, uh, Boomerang's death it was especially gun making fun of the previous movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. Uh, a, a character that was turned black for for Will Smith and then yeah. appeared in a game that was black. I know there's more than one instance. There's the Bad Boys game. Yeah, Weasel lived in a post card scene. Yeah. Star was more of a Justice League villain than a Suicide Squad movie. Uh, I understand yeah. why they did it, because... I, I, I was going to say, Starro is literally the first appearance of the Justice League. It's yeah. the first villain that they fight. Yeah. It's the episode with a team being uh, led by Deathshot, uh, Deadshot on a covert mission in the White Watchtower. Oh, okay. As I Am Legend movie in the book, he was a white guy. Yeah, but was that turned into mm -hmm. a video game? No. Uh, uh, may, uh, maybe just media in general. So, yeah, yeah. that would count. Um... It's not Will Smith, but Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nick Fury. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, just like a Peacemaker and John Cena steroid infused ass being shoved in our faces. He's at least fun as Peacemaker. Yeah. He, he is a I, good... I don't like the Peacemaker character, but yeah. I mean, at least it's at least it's entertaining for people. Yeah. I know Weed Bro loves it. It's better than fucking, like, The Rock. Uh, yeah. The Rock being in a bunch of, like, terrible movies and then acting like, oh, no, you need to treat me like royalty. Like, bro, be in a good movie first. Yeah. Remember the first Suicide Club where Slipknot immediately says, fuck this at the start of the mission and then dies like a retard? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ultimate Nick Fury came before Jackson. Uh, he did, but he was, like, heavily based on Jackson. Yeah, they based him off him. I do like the detail of this Lex Luthor being skinnier instead of more well-built like other Yeah, because he's been in hiding for a while. He's been in uh, hiding and he's I, been I like the, on the suit. I like the design. I do like that it's two entirely different designs. Uh, this one later on looks more like the traditional Luthor where he's kind of, he's skinnier and he's bald and everything. Yeah. And the Luthor that died looks a lot more like all-star Superman Luthor yeah. where he's fucking built. Yeah. I like that. That's a really good detail. There was an assistant in uh, James Gunn's Suicide Squad that had a really nice rack that bounced a lot. Thank you, James Gunn. <laughs> Uh, at least Cena plays a character. Rock plays, uh, basically plays himself. That is true, yeah. Yep. Uh, speaking of John Cena, was that a joke or shame ritual he was new at the Oscars? It's just a joke. It's a joke. And we're going like, oh, they were shaming him. It's like, it, have you seen half the shit he's done? Uh, yeah. Uh, the movie that he was there promoting is a fucking shaming ritual. He was in the goddamn Fred movie. You want to talk about fucking shaming rituals? One of the few good Rock movies is the game plan and Tooth Fairy since kids actually enjoyed them somehow. <laughs> I don't like Harley's cheekbone shit too big. Yeah, they are, they are. Her cheeks are very plump. Well, The Rock is starring in a film from one of the Safety brothers, so he might actually be trying to act now. You know what? Okay. You I can't what? wait for him to not act well. I, I know, right? All right, so uh, you know how people have collectively decided escort missions are terrible? There's three variations of escort missions, and they're all considered Yay. their own. They're all considered their own fucking mission. Yay. Don't you love video games? I love video games. I love video games. At least they could have given him some tidy whities. That wasn't the joke. No, no, I was going to say the, the joke is that he's naked. Yeah. I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, John Cena was perfectly okay with the joke, otherwise he would not have done it. Yeah. He is good at making fun of himself. He's been in, he's been in other shit. He showed, uh, he showed nudity before. He's good. And the Ultimates Black Nick Fury says to the team, if they made a movie about us, I want Sam Jackson play me. They were explicit yeah. with new, they explicitly knew what they were doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, this image brings back any memories? Is that Phantom Limb? <laughs> <laughs> he does look like Phantom Limb. We were watching Venture Bros, and it was great. Yeah. Uh, haven't we learned by now that escort missions are terrible and nobody likes them? They're awful. Yeah. I like. I, I genuinely don't don't know why they're still in video games. My life is like a video game. Ooh. Uh, the only good one that anyone can ever think of in video games is RE4, and even then people bitch about it incessantly. Yeah. So what's the only fans about? He's promoting a movie. Yeah, he's promoting a, a, a movie. I forget what the name of the movie is, but uh, yeah, his only fans is the name of the character he plays in that movie. I remember hearing uh, you talk about Red Sony in the Conan video. Saw a short Yellow Flash video. There's supposed to, there's supposed to be a new Red Sony movie video uh, showed interview with the actor. It's gonna be Girl Boss. Oh yeah, they they have no idea yeah. what to fucking do with Red Sonia. They they have consistently tried to reboot her as a girl boss, and nobody has liked it. No. Meanwhile, you look at what's going on with Conan, and he's having his own run, and it's pretty fucking sick so far. The, the Titan run is pretty fucking peak. Move on to escort missions. We just want to talk to him. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Alright? I want to have a peaceful conversation, man. Don't make me don't 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 make me raise my hand. MBS2 escort missions, fine. Escorting Emma's fine, but that's because there's no there's no uh there's no real chance of failing it as long as yeah. you have the base level competency. Uh, and also, it doesn't really change up the gameplay. So, well, the only way to marry Redstone is to beat her up. Yeah, because she was blessed by the goddess Kathach to mm -hmm. give her power to fight off men and get revenge for her family. So, the only way she'll be able to lie with a man is someone who defeats her in fair combat. <coughs> Conan. Just saying. Just saying. But he never wants to do that because he's like, bitch, I want to fuck a bunch of other women. Listen, I'm not marrying you. I'm sticking my dick in 30 other women. Thus is the life of a conqueror. I'm wearing a shotgun. I just want to talk to him. I just, I, just, to him. I, just, I, just, I just want to talk to him. I, I love the fucking Bizarro. I, I, I love some of the, the uh, notoriety weapons designs. Oh, like yeah. This one having the fucking Bizarro slab on it, where it's a, it's the rock that says Bizarro number one on it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. pretty good. That's, that's nice. Pretty it's good. a nice callback to the comics. They have no clue to do a Conan anyway, uh, either, at least in the movies. 
I mean, what fucking movies? Yeah. You have one. You you're, have you're, one, no, two, movies, two right? and three. Yeah, you have three? three movies. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen the third one. Conan the Barbarian, uh -huh. Conan the Destroyer, uh -huh. Conan 2011. That's There's it. It's a 2011 movie. Yes, yeah, Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bad one. The really, really bad one. The one even Jason Momoa was like, "What the fuck did we do?" I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Was he famous in 2011? No. Uh, he was really big in Game of Thrones. Then he got that role. No. Uh, I think Game of Thrones was after. Game of Thrones was like 2012, right? What the? Oh, it's a fucking helicopter. I couldn't see. Getting tunnel vision. Hey. Yeah. April 17, 2011. So, yeah. Uh, let me look up. So, he, he was already in the works of doing Conan the Barbarian then. Oh, God. Yeah. August 11th. So yeah, he he was doing he was doing Conan, and and I guess at the same time uh -huh. he was getting ready to do Cal Drogo, which thank <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> Even in 2011, Jason Momoa couldn't escape the Baywatch Hawaii curse. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Jason Momoa was small in it compared to Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, fucking insane to think about, dude. Yeah, seriously. Conan is smaller than than fuckboy in, in Game of Thrones. Uh, what, an HBO show like Hercules, uh, Legendary Adventures work for Conan? Well, just any kind of serialized, like... Well, the thing is, you need to treat it like the Conan stories. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that, that's the heart and soul of it, and most people most people look at those, like, little serialized stories, and they scoff at them as, like, not yeah. real stories. Yeah. Like, look at, what, what was it, Ben-Hur? Look at the way yeah. they fucking treated that. Yeah. Uh, how bad was it? 2011? It was awful. It, it was really bad. Uh... I talked about it a little bit in the in the video, but remember the Clash of the Titans movie, <laughs> the the reboot of that. Yeah, it was that, but they were like, but this has blood in it though. It's like, but do you remember the sequel to the Clash of the Titans movie? Yeah, exactly. Ow, I deserve that. His most noble role for that is he played the native alien from Stargate Atlantis. At least that's where I know him from. Yeah, I think I actually do remember him. Yeah. They're going to make Conan a show uh, for Amazon, but it was canned for toxic masculinity reasons. Then the showrunners went uh, and showrun House of the Dragon, which outperformed uh, ROP. Yeah. That's fucking, fucking great. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, check out the Titan run right now. It is, it is like, to the T, the fucking spirit, and it's great. Hey, hate Jason Momoa after oh. told anyone that voted for Trump to essentially fuck off. I mean, every celebrity's done yep. that. But, I, I wish nothing but the worst to happen to what's his face, uh, G, uh, Ruffalo. Yeah, Mark nothing Ruffalo. But, Mark Ruffalo is just worst. a piece of shit. Nothing but bad wishes coming your way, buddy. Yeah. Also, I uh, did you see? Do you see the Harley Quinn uh, brute thing? Yeah. Where he just stops taking damage. Yeah, that that was a little like, yep, I'm starting to see that now. Uh, does Cohen have lots of nudity in it? Yeah. Yeah. He's fucking women left and right. Uh, was, was the Kraken first? If it was, then the sequel is more memorable. No, the the Kraken was the first one. It was Clash of the Titans. E. Clash of the Titans, and then what's the sequel? I forget his name. Clash of the Gods? Yeah, yeah, it was Clash of the Gods. Yeah. Not good. Neither of them are good. So they start with the Titan run of Conan? I mean, it, it's a Western comic, so you can literally pick up any run that looks interesting. Yeah, you can pick up any comics. You can pick up the old, the old stories, too. Yeah. Uh, Robert How isn't Robert Howard's time, isn't his fiction actually incredibly progressive? Yeah, because he yeah. really, really liked uh, badass women. That was actually something he really enjoyed. Well, you, you'll notice a lot of the... Wrath of the Titans. Wrath of the Titans, damn. Uh, you'll notice a lot of what used to constitute, like, feminism, stuff like that, is stuff that we, like, we like nowadays. Yeah. Uh, and it was only, like, retroactively changed to be something, quote-unquote, more, aka, yeah. more reductive. You know, strong, strong, beautiful women used to be feminism, and nowadays yeah. it's uh, strong, ugly women. Yeah, they have to be ugly, otherwise you're in looks uh, you're and personality. You're glorifying the sexual sexualization of women. Yeah, my male gaze, that bullshit. Yeah. And it's like, man, listen. And I, how convenient I, they don't I'm have sorry, to try. You're ugly as shit, bitch. Yeah. Well, and also how convenient you don't have to try. You don't have to get fit for a role or anything like that. Yeah. Unlike unlike all the guys that have to go on some fucking absolute yeah. insane steroid vendors. The, the, the amount of HGH Alan Richardson <laughs> is pumping into his muscles yeah. every fucking week to play Reacher. Yeah. Uh, I'm so surprised that Homeland Security is trying so hard to fence sweet Bibby Inc. and asking companies to announce Gamergate you, 2, whatever that means. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. Yeah, it, don't be the surprised. Government, the government has been funding programs like that yeah. for a long time. Yeah. The, the big thing is like, wow, they actually think that's going to work when right now the world's in a global recession. People are like, mm -hmm. dude, I, I can't justify buying video games right now. 
Like, as much people say, like, oh, they'll force people to think their way. That hasn't been working. The game, the games industry is on the verge of a fucking crash. They, uh, they started, uh... They started this during the lockdowns. Like they yeah. started, they started a big government level push for shit during the lockdowns. And that's just the one we know about. Yeah, uh, and it's more, it's more than just that too. Um, but yeah, it started during the lockdowns when kind of people were preoccupied with other shit. Yeah. Uh, AKA killing time. <laughs> and uh, they just kind of went with it. Uh, Wonder Woman was literally just the creator injecting his bondage fashion yes. into the comic. Yeah. And she was progressive as shit. Do you see Fast uh, Fast Ham Momo was the best part? No. No. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actual Stockholm Syndrome or not, but the movement actually seems good in this game. It's just attached to a shit everything else is uh, Two is... characters, Deadshot and yeah. Boomerang, have good movement. The other two suck. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I love like just having buttons to press while you're moving around the map makes time fly. Like you, you get three, you get three dashes. You can follow them up by a jump to gain more distance. Uh, you have a full, you have a boomerang like this. And then you have yeah. uh, a second boomerang that you can do while you, while you're in the air yeah. to get to get distance. Uh, you can you can game dead shots uh, afterburner shit to gain essentially two full uh, two full bars. Uh, can I swap to him? No, I can't swap. I can't swap during a mission. Yeah, great. Because because experience needs to go to, to my max level character. Very nice. BlackRock lost one point seven trillion dollars in a few months. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Where like as much people go like it's so over and the government's involved. It's like that doesn't really mean anything. Well, they've been involved for a while. It hasn't exactly changed the course of things. Yeah, it's like it, people will go how they fucking go. You can't control them. You can try, but it never works. Say, despite their best efforts. Quite literally said, uh, body positivity is for women, uh, not balding white uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. guys with dad bods. Yeah, it, it, it's just outright man childishness. Where it's like, really? That's your that's your fucking stance? Just blatant fucking hypocrisy? That's what I'm saying. It's like, don't do the Sephiroth speech thing and get heat under the collar and go MCU. It's like, just... Just be matter of fact. It's like, really? That's the standard you're using? Okay. And people don't want to listen to that. They're fucking retards and you're never going to convince them anyway. So what's the fucking point? Stop getting in arguments with people on the internet chat. I won't. They're not good faith. I won't because it's fun. I'm having any say in the bedroom probably was saying it's progressive as shit. Yeah. What do you mean I can't rape her anymore? I don't that? call it rape. That's in the Red Sonia run by Christopher Ooh. Priest. I have not read it. Uh, I've heard mixed things. I heard it was pretty all right, but wasn't really anything special. Come on, exactly. Very competent. Yeah. No campaign slogans. Exactly. Don't don't use buzzwords. No campaign slogans. Don't don't focus on the woke shit as this is what's killing gaming. You focus on the woke shit as like this is them desperately trying to hide the thing killing gaming, which is incompetence. Yep. Uh, I am at Lex 2, thank you. <laughs> this 90s adult cartoon called Duckman had two episodes that are pretty relevant. One's about political mm -hmm. correctness, the other's about America, and it's actually based. Yeah, no, uh, those clips float around from time to time. It's actually really cool. Uh, did Cena have steroid gut? Uh, it didn't look like it from what I saw. I didn't, I didn't watch the Oscars, because why the fuck would I? Yeah, seriously. I saw the one clip I needed, which is Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito yelling at Michael Keaton for being Batman, and that was good. But and Michael Keaton fucking just staring daggers. Yeah, literally, literally going like, "Come on, come on." I, I I need a I need a TikTok edit of of the the Michael Keaton. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's fucking good. It needs to be playing what, what's it called? Uh, fucking Lost Kitty in the background. Yeah. I mean, woke and incompetent are pretty much hand in hand. They are, but you don't talk about the woke as yeah. why it's incompetent. Listen, Chad, is why it's woke. Normal people are gonna hear you use the word woke, and then they're going to ignore you. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna think that you're weird. They're going to ignore you, and then that normal person is going to go on to make a purchase. Yep. E even even if you're right, and the ugly women are completely horrible to look at, like I said, the the whole thing with with Spider Man Two, Mary Jane, you don't say, oh, they did that because there's an intern that wanted to be in this and and do the whole blah 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 thing. You just say everyone looked like shit. Everyone looked like shit. It's true. Like everyone in the game looked like an alien. As much people went like, oh, Miles looked good. No, he fucking didn't. He looked no, like an alien. He looked he looked so much worse than he did in the previous games. Yeah. That haircut fucked my man up, dog. Mm. Killmonger was the worst thing to happen to comics ever. It's no longer get woke, go broke. It's now go broke, get woke, ultimately croak. Yeah. I I, I think Razor Fist was right with that saying. Where it's like, yeah, the, the, the wokeness is not why it sucks. The wokeness is them desperately trying to hold on to relevancy because they are sucking. The bad artist, plain and simple. Yeah, you leave the simple. fucking out. You leave the spider suits out of this chat. Have video games coming seventy dollars hurt the industry in ways I don't think anyone's really come to terms with yet. 
I think the only I think the only games that has benefited has been the sports games because those people will buy them no matter what. They will literally buy anything, and they even then, anything. even then, there's a growing amount of people going like, "Do I really need this one?" Yeah, it's, it's people going, "Man, they didn't actually really change anything, and I lost all my fucking microtransaction currency." Yeah. Venom only looked good. Let's be real. Venom was awesome. Venom was cool. Venom was great. Venom was great. Uh, Tony Todd did a fantastic job, even though yeah. I wish he was in it more. Uh, how y'all doing? I'm playing Fire Emblem Ready and Dawn tonight. Pretty good shit. Pretty good You're shit. You're losing. Again, I haven't touched Tears of the Kingdom because it's 70. Yeah. Only uh, way I would even buy their games that have Sweet Baby Ink is if they point a gun to my face. Even then, I'd rather die than not buy it. Yeah. $70 in day one DLC. Thank you, Sega. Yeah, that's especially yeah. bad. Like, It's getting that, to the that point is, that's coming uh, up more and more now where people are like, you want $70 and you're still doing day one bullshit. You're oh, still well, doing no, those. The, uh, it, it came out that uh, it is an internal... Uh, the, the guy who, who leaks all of uh, Atlas's stuff, uh, it's an internal mandate at Sega and Atlas that yeah. uh, you, do, you do full price releases, you do day one DLC, and then you have one big expansion plan for all your games. Yeah. So it's it's uh, literally it's seventy dollars for Persona Three. You got the day one, the day one DLC, which is costumes, and then the answer, which was planned before yeah. before release. L literally nothing about the industry changed, and no. that's not a that's yeah, not a thing. Say, that's not a good thing. It will never change. It will never. Even if we have a crash, yeah. it will not change. Although though they might for a little bit of time go like, oh, we'll be reasonable. Then as soon as they think everybody's not paying attention. No, because the only the only way to make any progress is to actively take money out of the pockets of the CEOs. Yeah. That that is very literally the only thing, only way anything can improve. And they fight the hardest to make sure that does not happen. God damn right they do. That was gonna be finishing Kingdom Hearts three, but goddamn lucky Emblems are just bullshit. Yeah. Uh the whole body positivity thing always felt disingenuous about folks with physical disabilities or deformities. Oh, they they'll do the same thing. That's why you'll you'll see some TTRPGs where there's like some fucking chick with like a wheelchair on the cover. It's exactly as ridiculous. Where are we gonna go, squad leader? Huh? What you gonna say? At least they say an Atlas or regularly do sales after a year. And that is true, but still it's a thing yeah. like it's it's behavior that has long since become normalized. Mm-hmm. The only game I'll pay for seven dollars at this point is Resident Evil because I love those and it'll be a good time usually. Yeah, you're always gonna have your exceptions Resident where like, Evil. yeah, I was, I was gonna say everyone has an exception. Yeah, and that's kind of what they bank on. Like, if there's enough people that have those exceptions, who cares? Well, they, uh, you kind of just figure if someone has one exception, they'll they'll eventually make another exception. Yeah, yeah. And they're right. You make a sequel to the game they made an exception on, they'll make another exception. Yeah. Age from two bucks. Think uh, you read Belladonna or Jungle Fantasy? No. No. Should we get rid of the middleman of the gaming industry? Is the corpos, the big wigs, and publishers? What do they do now? Don't we have the internet that can publish games for us? The thing with that, though, is how do you get rid of it? And the answer is you don't. You don't. Like, they're, they're well established, man. You don't. Skipping the Green Lantern. Yeah. The reason I'm not buying Yakuza Infinite Wealth, $7 plus $15 uh, from New Game Plus, something that should have been free? Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. May as well they, just wait. It's not even the first time they tried that. It's the first time they successfully pushed it in the West, though. Yeah. Can't, uh, can't be honest, didn't think this until I watched him very much, but I also think Narak is grifting intentionally leaves info out of his videos for the version of the story he wants to say. Yeah, they, they all do that. They, they literally all do that. It, it is a market to make you angry. Is it that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go. I want to say Tekken 8 is worth the money. I don't think any game is worth $70. No, not really. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is the only game I paid full price for in about a decade. Yeah. Uh, especially whenever it's $70 for the base game, they're going to charge you for the DLC characters. Yeah. And they have a cash shop. Yeah. Like, they're nickel and diamond. Like, there ain't no tomorrow, chat. They ever played Spider Man Web of Shadows? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Web of Shadows is great. Great tool. The only way you can play most Final uh, Fire Emblems is by sending the seed for them. Yeah, just yeah. be hell be. You need, to, you need to pirate them. At the very least, my Japanese games give me what I want, so fuck it, I'll give them my money when I can. Yeah, but I say, it's just, it, it sucks that we've gotten to this point, but, mm -hmm. you know. Those was mine only, only do getting this special edition. Exodus 7 uh, had New Game Plus, has paid to see in Japan, and the outrage was so massive, the IP, uh, when it came out in the West, they included it. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I say, it, it, it is a thing to where... We can complain about all we want, but they're never going to change until there is a fundamental shakeup that completely rattles the industry from top to bottom. And even then, there's not a guarantee. Look at these stupid fucking things, dude. They're the size of a pinky. 
fresh and relaxed. How you feeling, Floyd? Goddamn peachy. Ready to kick your ass. If it was the only game in a long time I paid full price for and pre-ordered. Oh, yeah. I, I had nothing but faith. I wanted to get the collector's edition, but I just yeah. can't, I can't afford it right now. The thing that killed Tomb Raider was because Corpos wanted a Tomb Raider game every year forever. It paid well, then they come in at 9 a.m. and clock at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. It's like uh, the idea of a Tomb Raider game every fucking year. The, the idea of like every single year there'll be a new game. Like that, yeah. that, that kills a franchise faster than anything. Literally faster than anything. Look, at, people, look at the Assassin's Creed series. Yeah, because eventually it turns into just doing the same thing over and over and over again. 70 bucks should only be for Skylanders, get our hero and such. Yeah. <laughs> Skylanders. With the Batman design, uh, you think they're baiting Batman who uh, laughs fans? Eh. No, no. Yeah, nothing about that really, really came to mind for me. Uh, did you see that Hellboy game that came out? It looked pretty cool. Uh, I did. It's Web of Weird. Uh, I never played it because I'm not yeah. really sure if it if it piques my interest personally. Oh, damn. They tried to kill off Laura, but higher ups reconned it. Good. The higher ups were right, chat. Yeah, not gonna lie. If you do a Tomb Raider thing and you try to kill off Laura, you're you're just being an idiot. You're, you're yeah, you're just you're just pissing people off. You are just being an idiot. Yeah. Have a ride off into the sunset. If you wanna if you wanna retire her and try somebody else, ride off into the sunset. Nobody wants her to die. Mm -mm. That's not even a thing of like, oh well, you have to you have to give us what we want. It's like, no, that's just a bad idea. Yeah. It's like killing off Samus. Let me out of the hole. Uh, so did you buy this game or gifted it? It was gifted. Gifted. We ain't buying. We ain't putting money down. No. Oh. Uh, you, you'd be you'd be fucked if you think we're gonna buy this shit. Because as much as we say there are some legitimate good parts here, and right. nowhere near seventy bucks, which is what they're asking. Well, to be fair, I guess it's on sale now, but still, yeah. not not. For what it's worth. This, this is a massively flawed game. I, I just think it's incredibly reductive to Cole post about every single game ever. Yeah. Uh, even the worst games out there have some some uh, upsides to them, and I think it's important to uh, see them yeah. and recognize them. Yeah, because then you can you can point out with nuance that like, hey, there there was something here, and it got fucked over by X Factor or that factor. It's John Waters in movies, chat. John yeah, Waters yeah. in movies, but for video games. Yeah, yeah. Anything good about it? As stated, it, it has know. some pretty clever references and clever in-depth little jokes and, yes. and nods too. Story-wise, there there's several there's several things that are nice. Uh, Gameplay-wise, once you get to the end game, it, it suddenly becomes fun to play. Yeah, it's like a fucking switch is flipped. Yeah, the 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 Batman segment is legitimately interesting. You yeah. are being hunted exactly like how you know Batman would do to you, or you would do it as Batman in the Arkham games. It's like you know little moments like that. It's like there was somebody who cared here. They just got fucked. Uh, thoughts on Charter 4? I heard it's good, but made by Drug Master Skipping, Amy Henning's story and Force of Devs of Crunch, such a great feminist. It has, oh, its, yeah. it has its moments where you can tell you can tell that the original people aren't there anymore, but yeah. it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. It's pretty fun. It has some of the better Nathan moments in the in the series. It just sucks that that was probably all the stuff he ripped off from Henning's script. Yeah, probably. That happened a lot with him, huh? Yeah, I noticed that a little bit, huh? Then suddenly it's like, well, guys, I, I, I don't think I can... I, I, I think right. I'm done with video games. You know, see oh, you guys. God damn it, I could shoot him. Fuck. This is all game, I like it. Uncharted 4? Yeah, I stayed. It's, it's got dumb moments, but it's not the worst by far. No, no. Yeah. Oh, The Darkest Night. Oh, oh, okay. For, like, the Batman segments, referencing The Darkest Night. Uh, maybe. Uh, what do you? What do you? Uh, which, which? There's two. There's two Batman segments. I think it means the actual Batman fight. Uh, it's referencing the the Nightmare Batman from uh the end of Dark, not Dark Knight. Fucking what's it called? Arkham Knight. Yeah. Game. No way in hell Nathan wouldn't be able to land a punch on Nadine. That oh, is absolutely. a that is a dumb as hell scene. But we already know that's that's Struckman putting his dick everywhere. Yeah. Nadine never existed in the Henning script, but it's like at that point, it's like it, it yeah. What, what else can he say? Like, yeah, it's a dumbass scene. It's also like not the first time a scene like that has showed up. Yeah. Henny Hemming is a goat, and Bruce Taylor made the first Last of Us a success. Fuck Neil. Yeah. Jolly Green Giant. Hey, yo, Jolly Green Giant, fucking my shit up, homie. Step on his neck. Put the fucking gun down. Put the gun down! 
What do you think of the OG God of War creator uh, defending SBI? Oh, David Jaffe? He's just yeah. a fucking spurg. I was gonna say, he spurgs out all the time. Yeah. That's just kind of, like, who he is. Yeah. So Dekwa says she completely beat the shit out of him every single time they fought. Yeah, I say, it's a dumbass mm -hmm. scene. It It is a dumbass scene. She is a bad character. We we have accepted this. Is the Shark Boy supposed to be paired against Superman? Since the rest of this, uh, the Suicide Squad has an fantastic pairing with Justice League member you kill. Uh, su uh, Superman doesn't get a cutscene. Yeah. Like, okay, he gets a sort of cutscene. They beat him. They go, oh my god, we killed the Justice League. Woo. And then they just gloss past it. Everyone yeah. else has, like, some sort of lamentation about the, the League member. Uh, the last two Mario Trilogy games were made by people that really like Riona because the violent death scenes make me, uh, <laughs> make sense that they actually want to kill Laura. Yeah. I'd say it's a dumbass idea. I, I, I still... I don't understand why they didn't give Shark... So they gave Shark Superman's outfit. Yeah. But you're going to see him here. He's going to put on the ring. And they have a full-on outfit for the Shark. I don't know why they didn't just use it. Because it is a yeah. good outfit. It's it's a good outfit. Yeah. Yeah. The big, I think the one of the biggest problems about the story pacing wise is that it's padded out by a million tutorials. Yeah. Yeah. It, like it if you notice every every mission you're doing up to an up to a fucking boss fight is oh it's all tutorial stuff and it's like yeah homie. You get this shit out, out of the way in the first two missions. I don't need 30 missions as tutorials. Yeah. Small indie studio. Please understand. Also, delivering one-liners, delivering one-liners after you kill someone is bad. Yeah. Always deliver them before you kill someone. Or if you're going to do it, do it over the top cheesy. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, Chuck Green, Dead Rising 2. Mm -hmm. His one-liners are cheesy as fucking dumb as hell. That's why we love them. Yeah. Most of the time he delivers them be like just before someone's dead. Yeah, usually. It depended. Yeah, the, I know the Leon one came after he was dead. Yeah. But it was also the cheesiest one-liner of all. It was fucking great. Yeah. You're on fire. The problem with having character arrive into the sunset is that the new character's never good replacement. is basically a new writer self-insert. Yeah, same thing happens if you kill them off, too. Mm -hmm. If anything, that just pissed people off. Also, he just ripped his finger off. Yeah. A whole cell. He killed one of the good ones. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, they do. They do make a joke where like they they've cut off two league members' fingers, so whenever they beat Batman, Boomerang's getting ready to cut his finger off. They're like, "Dude, what the fuck?" And he's like, "Well, we're not we're not making this a thing." Yeah. You sure? But yeah, th this is a thing where this is cool. It's yeah. here because it's cool. Yeah. This is a thing where once again. If you operate off the clone theory, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes Because that's sense. not an actual ring. Because why the fuck would the shark believe in hope? Uh, I don't think the shark has very strong willpower. Yeah. He's just kind of going along with the flow. Yeah. Ring should have left. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, which it means it's, left. it's very likely a synthesized ring. Yes. For a clone. Which makes sense for Brainiac, because he brainwashes and clones people mm -hmm. to make armies. Also, the shark having a beer belly weirds me out. It, it does. It does. Also, you're not. You're not. And uh, with the actual ring, you're not allowed to riff on the fucking line. Yeah. Should have been a red lantern. Yeah, red lantern. He just flat out would be one. Yeah. I could see it. Yeah, because he he does get uh like I don't know bloodlusted. <laughs> yeah, he, he gets angry. Because the boomerang meme face. It's good. Everything with boomerang in this game is good. I will say that. I, I thoroughly enjoy him. Isn't the isn't Hope the blue ring? No, the blue ring. Uh, Hope's the blue ring. Willpower's the green ring. Fear's yellow. Oh, I swapped them, yeah. I kept thinking green was Hope. I think because I'm remembering the fucking Ryan Reynolds movie. <laughs> what, are the, what are the rings exactly? Magic. Yeah, literal. literal Ma magic, magic bullshit. Shark Brino. Why would you piss off the Green Lantern shark? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. It is a good meme face though, chat. That it's that <gasps> It's a good it's a good meme face. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What is orange? Black is death. Orange is uh fucking Uh Orange is Avarice. Yeah. Because there's only one of him. Yeah. But everyone he's killed, he he makes a construct of everyone he's killed. Yeah. Which is pretty metal. Yeah. Black is death, white is life. Yeah. I love walking out of Doom Part 2 and hearing people say how cool Paul is and he's going to be a great king. Norman's going to be a great king. the side comes out. Yeah, because from what I understand, the ending is like, in no uncertain terms, Paul is fucking evil. Yeah. 
Orange is greed, yeah, yeah. Avarice, chat, avarice. Love is pink, everyone has a pink ring dressed like a slut. Yeah. Uh, red is anger. Purple is uh, the people that they brainwashed. I forget. Yeah. Compassion. Compassion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but what lantern's horny? Pink. Pink, technically. Star Sapphire's love, actually. Your sentences will be posthumously commuted in recognition of your efforts. I do like I do like a uh, dead shot going. You know what? I'm not even mad. Yeah. I'm not even mad. Indigo is compassionate. These are just imprisoned people. Yeah. Yeah. Which this is a reference to the is it All Star Superman or is it Dark Knight Returns? Uh, Dark Knight Returns. He does catch the nuke, but I think yeah. he's caught multiple nukes. He has caught multiple nukes. Everything with Boomerang is just fun. Yeah, I like that. It's like, go Superman! Yay, oh. Superman! Oh, fuck, it's Superman! Yeah, I like that. Okay. Unironically, if they just did a Captain Boomerang game <laughs> as, like a, as like a shit post, yeah. I would enjoy it. Give me a Captain Boomerang game. He's great. He's fantastic. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. He, he, he alone is worth looking up the cutscenes on YouTube. That was fucking retarded. Yeah. I love it when they add a new minority character and only have the woke writer on attention to make the character a racist stereotype. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. One of the good ones, chat. It's not that uh, Dune is an actual big movie that doesn't have annoying internet politics in it. I almost forgot what that felt like. Give it a week. Yeah. Well, in the uh, they're removing all references to Islam and the like. Yeah. Uh, red, rage, orange, avarice, yellow, fear, green, willpower, blue, hope, indigo, compassion, pink, love, white, life, black, death, gold, happiness, gray, apathy. I forgot gold's a thing. I don't remember gray. Also, yeah, uh, all the league members wearing their own personal underwear. Yeah. Question, what comics do you recommend for Green Lantern and Flash? I'm not as familiar with those characters' comics. Check out some of the Jon Stewart mm -hmm. shit for Green Lantern. Yeah, Jon Stewart, Kyle Rayner, uh, yeah. the Hal Jordan run-up leading to him becoming Parthenax. I'm sorry. Parthenax? No, Parthenax is from Elder Scrolls. Par Parrot? No. Starts with a P. P. Yeah. How's, how the fuck does Apathy Ring work? Oh, uh -huh. I don't care. Yeah, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Where's Aquaman? It doesn't yeah. exist. Parallax. Yeah, Parallax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My job about Berserk shirt. Can't wait uh, to see what they do with Berserk. Thank you for showing me a masterpiece. Yeah, it's good shit. Good shit. Uh, there's only one orange lantern. Larfrey's killed anyone who tries yep. to get a ring because it's only his. Yeah. And he makes constructs of their bodies. Green Lantern's never good. Green Lantern's been good, like, a fucking many a time. There's a reason he's a, he's a fucking uh, Justice League member. Uh, so, Angry Joe's 3 out of 10 for this game is accurate. The redeeming qualities he gave it was the cinematic and Batman still scene. I would not say the cinematics. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's only certain characters. <laughs> yeah. Like, King Shark's okay. Uh, yeah. Deadshot has his moments. Uh, uh, Captain Boomerang carries it on his shoulders. Uh, Harley Quinn's just thoroughly... She has one moment in the entire game and is not in the cutscene. Uh, Harley Quinn is just there. She she is contractually obligated to Harley Quinn appearance. Yeah. Uh, fucking... Yeah, Batman still section. I'll, I'll, I'll call that a highlight. That, that was creative. Yeah. You know, once again, making you now the, the goon that is being hunted by Batman. Yeah. We're, we're, we're making it through the Justice League chat. Uh, Amanda Waller gets her leg broken. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and then Superman beats the ever-loving fucking shit out of Wonder Woman. And this really is a game. Arkham City exists. Yeah, basically, it's like a Ar Arkham City exists, man. Right. Uh, what do you mean locked? What do you mean fuck? locked? What, what the fuck? I guess Batman's Last Ride? Uh, yeah, it'd be Batman's Last Ride. Uh, no. So the actual fight to get so Batman? Let's, let's, let's get Brucey back to LexCorp. Grab Batman. Yeah, I guess it's Grab Batman, yeah. I think it might be Grab Batman. What do you mean locked? What the fuck's locked? Yeah, I, I don't know. What the fuck? I remember Agony and Pink. It was infamous Power Ranger fanfic from way back in the day. They even got attention. The actress played Pink Ranger, if I recall correctly. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know. It sounds like, uh, sounds like some porn shit. Uh, I did like in Blackest Night when Scarecrow got a yellow ring. E. That was that was pretty cool. That was that was pretty cool. Come on, Sharko. 
The economy's in shambles. Hey, Batman. Whenever I did that last time with Captain Boomerang, I, I still had the same sniper rifle equipped, but it turned it into an automatic. <laughs> <laughs> so he just... just and I was like, uh... That's not how that's supposed to happen. You're saying this Robin have been compromised. It's true. I wanted to say goodbye to you. I do like this design for Bruce. Yeah. Oh, it's the same... Okay, I think they changed his face from Arkham Knight. I think this yeah. is a new face model. Yeah. My friends. I don't think I can watch Batman. Are you selecting missions so we don't deal with all the fluff? Yeah. This Chat, we're killing the fucking Justice League. We're not coming back to this game after after tonight. There's no reason to. Here's the part where he's got a plan. Is that Kim Conroy? Yes, it is. I've been secretly developing countermeasures. So that anime where Power Rangers are essentially in love with one of their villains looks funny. I saw a few clips of that. It looked nice. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it, though. Oh, wait, wait, what was it? Uh, anime where it's like... Loser a... Rangers. Yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah, because it's good. It's good. Loser Rangers is good. Man, hearing Kevin is like hearing an old friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he definitely enjoyed his time working on this game. That's for yeah. sure. Arkham Knight hints that Origins is canon, yet this game wants to sweep that game under the rug. The Batman experience doesn't include Origins. Rocksteady can't make up their minds. Mm -hmm. As I say, there, there was a lot of corporate interference oh, it's going just, on. It's just because a, a studio other than Rocksteady made it. Yeah. Man, do you think do you think they looked back on this scene and, and them killing him on the, on the park bench when Kevin Conroy died and people in the office went... Like, oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're never going to hear the end of this, are we? Wait, so people that uh, use the yellow rings are like cowards or they didn't know how to harvest fear? They know no, how to no, harvest fear. No, no, they know fear. how to harvest fear. They make people afraid of them. Yeah. Sinestro literally runs his planet like a fucking gulag. Yeah. He, he is actually meant to be Space Hitler. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man, we fucked up. Here's the thing. Like, people would just be like, ah, oh, man, like, whatever, if Kevin yeah. Conroy didn't fucking die. Yeah. Me. There is no anti-Batman device. Did the piss off the Batman fans. Chat, they could not throw together an entire game in the span of three months. I thought they implied Batman murdered Tim and potentially yeah. the other Bat family members. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, even if Batman, even if, like, like, the clone thing is true, like, the clone Batman fucking killed Tim everybody, off. yeah. It's only Tim. They only imply Tim. They don't imply any of the other Bat members. So, yeah. Tim probably came to check on him here at this Bat Cave and then was fucking murdered. Yeah. Also, I will say, Harley, shut up. Yeah. For the love of God, let there be any kind of menace in a cutscene. Yeah. Uh, Lulu Four for two bucks. Uh, then Batman should be the best Yellow Lantern. He did get the. Oh wait. He he got the Black Lantern ring. I think he had the White Lantern ring for uh, a bit of time during the bla uh, Blackest Night. I think he had the Yellow Lantern ring too. I know there's one time he got the Green Lantern ring because I like that costume. Yeah. Do you ever watch Green Lantern 3D show? No. Uh, I watched a little bit of it. It wasn't bad. I, just, I don't like 3D animated stuff. Shaka, you crying? That's in line with his current characterization. Yeah. Can I apply Nightwing since he also wore a domino mask besides Robin? That is true. That is true. Uh, they tried so fucking hard with Harley, they ruined her over the years. Yeah, they, they are desperate for her to be DC Deadpool. And at the same time, this game in particular has a bad issue where... It can't decide if it wants to be complete shit post or actually take some scene seriously. Uh, all the stuff with the Justice League where like they're dying and they're like, "Oh my God, what the fuck did I do?" Mm -hmm. Very straight faced. Very like, "Okay, that's not a joke." Uh, then they have the Suicide Squad just pop up and say, "Well, that's pretty fucking stupid, don't you think?" And it's Hog? like, "Dude, seriously." Like they they can't decide. Give me my directions, Harley. Tell me where to go, Mamacita. He's worn multiple yellow rings most prominent, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's in the Guardians of the Galaxy game I played. It's actually kind of good. I never did. Who's the Who's the Green Lantern planet? Uh, I think it's Io or something. Io? Yeah, something like that. Maybe it's Mungo. It might be Mungo. Mongo. Something like that. I don't fucking remember. There's no anti-Batman device cough failsafe. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Chat, if they had fell safe in this game, it'd be a little, little ridiculous. You got the ring and one of the Dark Knight metal tie-ins. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. The Living Planet, chat. The Living Planet. Mogo. Oh, uh, yeah, Mogo. Uh, Oa is the, the home planet of the Guardians. 
uh, Joss Whedon is writing Styles Bant as Ash for all Western writers. I will agree True. there. I will agree there. That, it is I've been all... saying that since uh, like the second or third Avenger movies came out, and it's yeah. like I still like them, but fuck you. Favorite Batman story? Dark Knight Returns. He talked about it. Uh, Dark Knight Returns is is pretty fucking fantastic. White Knight is has White Knight's really dangerous. White Knight's just become my favorite iteration of Batman ever. Even even if I even if it's not my favorite bat suit of all time. Seeing so fucking lame compared to this beginning of Arkham Knight for any Scarecrow sequence. Mm -hmm. It's building. Yeah, uh, you you have an iteration of this from beforehand where you you uh, run through the museum. Yeah. Also, there's no. Uh, let's be real here. There is no tension in the Arkham Knight scene because you can't die, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But I will say the the UI of this game definitely doesn't. Give makes it papers. worse. Yeah, it makes it worse. And at least with the museum segment, it was completely pitch black, yes. and you need to use the flashlight. Mm -hmm. So mix that with that scene, it would be a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah, here we go. It's like, yeah, give you as little light as possible to, to rely on so you actually get freaked out. Oh. John Murphy being canceled was a retarded. Yeah. Yeah. I literally want to see when someone like Harley does a Josh Whedon uh, style of joke just for someone saying to tell her shut the fuck up. Even then, you're still playing into the joke. Uh huh. And that is the problem with Josh Reading writing. Even if you try to call it out, they'll just treat it as part of the writing. It, it, it's not great. It's not great. Sir, please. Sir, please. Ever read Serious House and Serious Earth? That's one of I my have. favorite Batman stories. Uh, it's not my favorite story by any means. I can't tell. I was going to say, I can't uh, fucking tell. Uh, uh, let me up. Shark, get up. Shark, get up. Don't let him up. Yes. You hit me. You hit me. Uh, I like it a lot. Certainly not, uh, certainly not like my favorite story of all time. I, I do like the kind of bittersweet, somber ending of them going, uh, there's always a place for you in the madhouse at the end. Uh, you ever read uh, William Gibson's unproduced Alien 3 script? It got turned to a book, a comic, and even an audio drama. Lance Hendricks and Michael Bean. Yeah, it's pretty good shit. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. However, talking visually like the walls start to peel and there's an endless void by LU. Uh, everyone looks fuck, like fuck demons. You also can't die in this section. Uh, you can. You just got to get hit like two or three times. Or, like, wait out the timer, I guess. Yeah. If you're super duper spoopy. And as you can see, it is getting a bit more abstract. Yeah, it, it, it changes depending on the character. Like, Boomerang had wanted posters on the side. This this place has a bunch of shark bones and uh, uh, sea mines hanging around. Oh, you fucking bitch. I think I got one more. Maybe. White Knight Harley is probably my heal. favorite design for her. It's really good. Uh, which one? Arkham Knight? White Knight Harley. White Knight. Oh, I, I do. Because it's classic. It's, it's classic Harley basically without a, uh, a mask. Uh, thoughts on Avengers Infinity War. I, I, I was checked out of Marvel long, long past. Creepiest song you ever heard? Mine is In a Lonely Place by Joy Division. The lead singer wrote it for killing himself two weeks later. Mentioned the hanging was how he died. Probably one of the dark, uh, darkest Batman stories that are straight horrifying is Night Cries. Yeah, Night Cries is pretty fucked. Um, what is it? One of the Batman Noel storylines where, uh, to be fair, it's more of a Joker storyline than it is a, uh, than is a Batman storyline, but it, it follows uh, it follows a thug who joins up with the Joker, and uh, like it, it's just Joker being a piece of shit. Like yeah. he he saves the, the the guy's girlfriend from uh, from something, and in exchange for for that he uh, he rapes her and has another guy run a train on her in the back of the car while the guy has to listen. Yeah. X Berserk should be out in June. Should be. Uh, that's the rumor. Should be. Uh, is Beyond the White Knight any good? Uh, yeah, but Beyond the White Knight is, is pretty good. Uh, I enjoy it. Jazz, jazz. Taking orders from Quinn. That sure is my worst fear. Uh, they got greedy and decided to release three to four Marvel movies per year. They really should have took a few years off at the end game. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it was just complete burnout. People were like, "Fucking goddamn!" And then only made it worse with the Disney Plus shows, where it's like, "Yo, you got to watch even more shit." Yeah. You can like you, like you can pull up a list of all the movies that like all the superhero movies that are releasing in a single year, and there's like fucking five of them. And it's like, dude, chill the fuck out. Uh, yeah, Deadshot's got pictures of his daughter all over the place. Yeah. Like there was effort made. 
Yeah. So yeah this is kind of creative. Yeah, the, the statues appearing in, in random places. Yeah. And, Which is and 100% a, a reference to Arkham Knight. Yeah. Because the same thing happened. It's literally the exact same sequence. Fuck! I'm getting my ass whooped, dude! Now we... Idea of Batman using a fear talk is just a good idea, but it's wasted on this shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, he started it at the end of Arkham Knight, but at the same time, you really have to think about it. It's like, it, it, it's it's a good idea in the sense of like, oh, yeah, that makes sense as something he would do. But at the same time, it also super fucking doesn't. Yeah, because it's like, because the, the fear toxin's a little bit more than just it spooked you. I mean, it is actual psychological torture. Yeah. It, it, it damages people's health, uh, which they kind of explain in a way as like, oh, no, but he synthesized his own version of it that he's yeah. immune to. And it's like, mm, I, don't, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know. You've got your I got, the guy's Johnny Frost character was in the Suicide Squad movie and that was Joker's second. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in your opinion, what, what's a must-read Spider-Man comic? Uh, Spider-Man Life Story, The Life of Times of Spider-Man, Spider-Man Blue. Yeah. Uh, ulti all the Ultimate Spider-Man. Well, all the Peter run of Ultimate Spider-Man. Going now, Disney Marvel was slowing down production of shows and movies. Yeah, because people are just fucking tired of it. They're like, Jesus fucking Christ, give people a break. Okay. Give me a break. Give me one break. Uh, Scarecrow sequence in Arkham Asylum is still one of the most memorable. It's one of the better ones, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Um, I think Knight kind of peaked it with the, the ah, Barbara suicide fake out. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's nice because there's a bunch of details showing you that that scene's not real. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's really interesting. Uh, because e even though it is pretty obvious where it's like, wait a minute, something's going on here. Mm -hmm. Batman believes it. He believes it and has to, like, the, the scene where he has to call Gordon and be like, yeah, oh, I fucked dead. up. Yeah, I fucked up. Well, that not only that one, uh, you can you can go tell uh, Tim, who's locked in a cage. Yeah. You can tell him, uh, yeah, Barbara's dead, and he, like, breaks down. And then uh, whenever you find out that Barbara's alive, you can, like... It, the next mission, he gets kidnapped, so you can go there before the next mission and tell him the barber's alive, and he just yeah. kind of, like, breaks down. Uh, no, 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 for all the Star Sapphire's concept of love involves questionable con consent. That is true. He yeah. don't know no better. She don't know no better. She just wants to have fun, Chad. Let her have fun. It'd be better if Batman uh, just got used to the talks and learned to manage the fear while he's affected. Yeah, while well, he's affected. Uh, but he specifically starts using it on criminals, which, once again... Makes sense, but at the same time, it also doesn't because it also directly kills people. Well, it, it wouldn't make sense for him to like just tolerate it because, yeah. like, he was very clearly under the effects of it every time he's ever been exposed, and he's been yeah. exposed a numerous amount of times. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, the the way it's even worked in in Arkham Knight is that it's kind of the thing that caused Joker to manifest slash Joker was kind of always there. Well, Joker's, Joker's blood is in his system. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's there, but at the same time, uh, the Joker's blood being in his system caused, like, uh, it, it caused him to manifest. Yeah. Caused him to manifest specifically what? after getting exposed to a lot of fear toxin when he was trying to stop the, stop him from, like, uh, bombing the city, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was, it was the blood, it was the blood infusion. Uh, yeah. That he got in Arkham City because he, uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking like uh, the the sequence of the game where you start seeing the Joker. I got like one more in me, and uh, I don't want to have to do this again. You you can do it. You can do it. I don't want to. Don't don't make me do this again. I believe you. I believe in you. Don't make me do the game again. Nigga, please. Okay. Doesn't help that Harley just sucks. Uh, yeah, Harley's just not fun to play. Oh, oh there you okay. Go. okay, there you go. Just I was gonna say last time I did this, I I got hit like once per character. I, I'm I'm certain the fail state is uh, probably one more uh, after this. I mean, you, the, you are every like, time every time you get hit, the bar fills up. So it's it's when the bar fills up. I'm assuming. Uh, did any of the Batman movies reference the Arkham games? No, no, not the Batman movies. No. Please go back down. Fucking Thank baffling you. that this Batman with a protocol for every scenario decides to just walk in a Brainiac's trap. Yeah, that, that is just dumbass writing shit right there. It's because he trusted Superman, that stupid fuck. Yeah. Second like versus Max Payne bullshit flashback. Nah, yeah. it's nowhere near as bad as that. Yeah. Giving the new Ultimate Spider-Man comics pretty good. That's pretty exciting to hear. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good so far. Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty fun. So there's plenty of potential to shit its pants, though. Absolutely. Just as all things do. Go ahead, fuck me up. Fuck me up. It's fine. I can just face fuck. I can just face fuck my way all the way, all the way home. Some sequences, Batman, uh, kind of reminded me of Arkham games, though. 
Eh, I don't know. In the Batman? Uh, no. No. I think him using Bane as an adrenaline, uh, not Bane, Venom as an, like, an adrenaline stick is, uh, that was neat. Yeah, that was clever. Uh, the reason I brought it up is because I'm a YouTuber, Brown Tape, did a Spider-Man Blue animation of Josh Keaton. Oh, that's kind of cool. You write to me. He can never tell until a comic run ends. Sadly, yeah, that, that's just how it is. There's always time to fumble. I like the idea of that, of like the, the demon Batman. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's very, very, very similar to his design at the end of night. Yeah. Not the same, but very similar. Yeah. Because it's more streamlined, I think, because it's supposed to look more like his actual suit that he yeah, has yeah. in this game. Yeah, it kind of looked like it was trying to be like Batman Beyond. Oh. Because there's like three different demon Batmans that we've had in the Arkham games. Yeah. Talking about the aesthetic of the Batman for some sequences. Well, th those were directly just taken off comics. Because mm -hmm. the director of it worked as an assistant to one of the comic artists. We're playing through this high, drunk or sober. Oh, we're sober. Oh, very sober. We're kind of sleepy. We're just kind of sleepy. This is getting very boring. So Scarecrow sees Batman. Yeah. I like the idea of it. It just has to... It, it, it looks a little too... There, there's a different Batman. There's a different Batman for, for how Scarecrow sees him, how Joker sees him, how the thugs at the end of Arkham Knight sees him. Yeah. I, I, I like the one in the, the Scarecrow Hulus Nation where it's just like the, the the flaming, you know, horde of bats. Yeah. I, I thought that was metal as fuck. Uh, I, I, okay. I thought that yeah. was a, I thought that was one of those things that let me counter it, but I was I was poorly yeah. poorly prepared. Okay, because I think I think the line Batman says is I know what you fear and then you just see what Scarecrow's me. seeing. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking awesome. I think you know at the end game, dude. This game shores out. We've been skipping a lot of filler yeah, missions. I was gonna say we've been skipping the filler missions because like they really are just filler. Like we, we we did skip the 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 Wonder Woman Superman fight, but like it guess what? Matter. They fight they fight and Wonder Woman loses. Who could have thought? Because fucking Superman. Yeah, it's fucking Superman. Uh, so Miura had a book for the art of Rockstar's Batman in his office. That's fucking yes. cool. It's fucking great art, dude. Uh, can you play Kirby in the Forgotten Land of the Future? That is a good game. That is a good game. Thank you, Harley. Cool boss fight. This boss fight fucking sucks. I was <laughs> right say, under each other. I, I was gonna say, this This, this boss fight is, is just a bullet sponge. Yeah. However, if, if it was this or, like, the, the weird Flash boss fights, I, I, I would take this over the Flash boss fight. Yeah. And the Green Lantern one, probably. At least it's a half-decent design for it's more It's more straightforward and goes by faster, so why not? Shota, why'd you even download this piece of shit game? Because you got it for free. Yeah. Sure as fuck not just gonna sit in my library. Yeah. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him in the face. Also, there's too many people too many people cold posting. You need to you need to smack them upside the head and remind them that uh, video games are a medium where the good comes with the bad. Batman Griffith. Hey yo, he jumped that motherfucker's ass, dog! Since we're bringing up Arkham Knight, thoughts of Mr. Freeze in that game. Pretty good. Arkham Knight's great. Yep. Uh, it's like the only season of Infamy ending that I actually liked. Yeah. Uh, Cause Killer Croc, I hated, I hated that Killer Croc had to change design like two or three times throughout the series. Yeah, seriously. Uh, I hated Rachel Ghoul's ending because like I have to listen to people go like, "No, nah, Batman wouldn't let Rache die," and it's like my brother in Christ, Batman, Batman. He's done it more than once. Ba Batman was fucking just full on certain uh, he was going to die. He would have let Rache die for the sake of having a safer future. Yeah. Well, I mean, like he, he also, especially since the alternative, the alternative is, all right, well, you let Rache live, and it immediately cost you a better person's life. Yeah. Well, on top of that, it's like he knows Ra's al Ghul has the Lazarus Pit, mm -hmm. so it's like, what the fuck is even the point of of, of keeping you alive? You'll just be resurrected well, anyway. Uh, it, it was you give him the last of the Lazarus Pit because Lazarus Pit was was uh, destroyed. Yeah. For a no. uh, for a Batman boss fight, that fucking sucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the stealth segment leading up to it is a lot better. Yeah. Well, like, the, 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 the stealth segment is supposed to be taken in as part of the boss fight. Would you rather play this or watch Suburban Nights again? <laughs> you know what? I'll take my chance of a Suicide Squad chat. Yeah. Practically a zombie at that point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of like how low-tech Batman was for the most part in the Batman, aside from the camera contacts and the grappling yeah. hook, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. 
As I say, he's still supposed to be early Batman, which once again is one of the reasons I wasn't really a big fan of Joker showing up, because like, eh, Joker's supposed to be like the definitive villain. Here's your girl power scene, chat. Now yeah. you can say it. Because this, yeah. one, this one is literally just someone on the writing team being really, really like having a, a something under their nails about, yeah. well, why did why did Batman have to fire carry her, fireman carry her? It's like, cause that's how you fucking carry people, you weirdo. Yeah, it's like, who cares? He was your two, if I, cry, if I recall correctly, in the Batman. Yeah, because he wasn't even being called Batman yet. He was called Vengeance. <laughs> Do you plan to carry him the entire way to LexCorp? Really petite. Yeah. Very petite. Uh, also, chat, I want you to know, Arkham Knight, Batman, has a much fatter ass. Thank you very much. Yeah. Has being forced between playing this and watching a Channel Awesome movie. <laughs> Gun to your head. Oh, now pull the trigger, dog. Like, right now. Just fucking... Just end it. I already know. I already know how it's gonna end. I already know how it's gonna end. Let like King Shark carry him. Harley specifically said, yeah. I want to carry him. She said, no, I want to carry him. It, it's literally because he fireman carries her multiple times in the Arkham series, and someone on the writing team was like, no, no, I, I want to get back at Batman. I was like, motherfucker, he's a superhero. What's, what's, what's up with you? That scene is not a problem for me. It is so inoffensive. It's boring. I say, it's, it's, it's not. It's not very offensive at all. Yeah. The 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 big problem of the game is it's not funny and it's boring. Like that. That that is literally the the biggest prime problem of the game. It's not funny and it's boring. We toss Batman back and forth, but uh, I'm, we move fast enough. We don't really need to. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't need to. I think it's because he has a limited amount of oxygen when he's in this ball. Maybe. I don't think it matters. Not really. I could let him die, but I, I, I feel like I've got plenty of time to not let that happen. Speaking of Arkham Knight, thoughts on how Hush was treated in the game. Bro got done dirty. He was done dirty. He was done dirty. Uh, whenever you look at how much stuff was just, like, cut out of Arkham Knight, you get really sad. Because it's such a good game, and, the, the like, the, the idea of been... having a fully realized Hush and a fully, re like, a fully yeah. realized uh, Victor Zaz and It, it, it could have been fucking amazing. Mm hmm At one point, Harley used a revolver to kill Batman, but there's an audio sound of a shell casing hitting the ground. Yeah, it's dumb. Check it out. Oh, God. We bagged the bag. Ouch. Watching the Suburban Night Stream, I can safely say if I had Doug Walker in my head like John Silver, and I'd rather choose to OD. Mm -hmm. Uh, after watching the Suburban... Oh, never mind. After watching Suburban Nights. Yeah. That'll be all. That'll be all. I don't like hipster Luther. <laughs> Listen, man. He had to survive on his own in that other world for so long. Batman was accidentally squashed in his Pokeball. Would that have been better? <laughs> Would you have liked that more? No. Uh, Paul Dini foreshadowed Husk being one of the core bad guys in Arkham City, but he left. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. the the guy holding the guy holding an ice box in the church where that you uh, encounter Harley. Uh, that's Hush. Yeah. Whenever I first played the game, I was like 100% convinced that was a uh, Great White Shark. Yeah. Because in Arkham Asylum, they talk about uh, how his face is all fucked up and he has teeth and everything. And I, like, yeah. I was just 100% convinced. I was like, ah, that's Great White Shark. It's him. It's him. It was not. <laughs> yeah. Arkham Knight was supposed to have a bigger map, but they couldn't do it because the game was made on fucking Unreal Engine fucking 3. Yeah. Yeah, which honestly is, like, amazing. It looks better than this fucking game, which I'm almost certain was made on Unreal Engine 5. Yeah. It is insane how well the art direction for those games hold up. It is. It still, to this day, has the best rain effects in video games ever, which I think they might have ported over into this because when it rains, yeah. it looks pretty decent in this game, yeah. too. It's just a matter of it's Metropolis and not Arkham. Dude. I'm sorry, Gotham. Fucking City still looks pretty phenomenal at times. It does. It does. If it wasn't for the fact that it runs in, like, fucking 720p. Yeah. Uh... Arkham not... Oh, yeah. Game's uh, still really big. It, it is still really big, but uh, imagine, imagine, chat, imagine an, an Arkham Knight where you get to visit the Arkham City uh, portion of the map. Yeah. Uh, the Wayne Manor, Arkham Asylum. That's what they wanted. I guess, I uh, guess, kill Superman. Or do you want to do Batman's last ride? Well, Batman's so can... last ride because it 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 leads up to it. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Nineties Batman cartoon, Spider-Man's tiny cartoon. 
Uh, I love the Spider-Man cartoon more. Uh, it didn't. It didn't. I don't think it had as much of an impact on the industry as the yeah. Batman did because I mean, look, we're playing a game right now that has Harley Quinn in it, which was an invention from the Batman animated series. Yeah. Did uh, you crash. I, did you crash? Game. It, it might have crashed. Did you oh cr- no! Oh, no okay. God. Okay. Uh, I I think for sure Batman animated. I forgot series. about this dumbass thing. Yeah. They attached gold kryptonite to them, because because Superman's right. immune to, to regular kryptonite now. Yeah. Uh, are you skipping missions? Escort the fans or the corner store? Escort the van missions are the cornerstone of this game. <laughs> Ch- I would, I, I would honestly rather kill myself to, than I play another fucking escort mission. I got every map in Gears of War one, two, and three. Those have some fucking great art direction. Mm-hmm. They have okay art direction. I never particularly thought Gears had the best visual designs. Yeah, not at all. The scene's so lame. It's. It's supposed to be lame. It's supposed to be like the cool guy walk where they're walking out in slow motion. But and they look ridiculous. They, yeah, they look ridiculous. And you get out here, and then they have to find what car it is. Like, it's supposed to be lame. doesn't make me like it, but it's supposed to be lame. Yeah. Yeah. Did you beat the game already? No, we're killing all the Justice League members. Yeah, we're killing all the Justice League members. It's We got the Batman escort mission. Uh, we got the Superman boss fight. And then we can skip the Brainiac. And yeah. then we're done. Believe it or not, we didn't actually cut out all too much important stuff. No, it's literally just filler missions. Yeah. It is literally just fucking filler missions. Thank you, Hack, for hacking my brain. I now gain 6% more experience points. The epitome of game design chat. Bitch. 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 Poggers. I'm going to sell you more for 8 fake mice. Uh, how are you enjoying Captain Boomerang and his Kangaroo Wife vs. Clone League so far? I love Captain Boomerang, Chad. I, I will say that. That is the one thing this game did fucking spot on. The game has been more near crash than an Asian guy on the highway, right? I got done my first night in the South by Southwest. So far, it's a pretty thing. Yeah. It's a pretty thing, chat. Her turkey time, I knew drama. Do you know what it is now? All I know is some Minecraft YouTuber got outed as being a rapist, quote unquote. But it turns out the chick might just be full of shit and lying about him. It, uh, it is the it is the epitome of YouTuber drama crap. Well, something always happens in in fucking the YouTube uh the the Minecrafter world all the time. Yeah, literally. Uh, but what it was is that stuff happened, and then Tipster came out, and like he he like vaguely alluded. I think it was Tipster. It might have been Nick Nicholas Dorio. Yeah. Uh, like vaguely alluded to Mudahar and like Turkey Tom. Uh, yeah. Doing bad shit. Yeah. Once again, it is the epitome of YouTuber drama crap. Mm-hmm. What did you make of the creepy Tetsuo-looking baby uh, uh, Ivy? Yeah, it just looks bad. She is uh, fucking horrifying to look at. I will give you that, chat. It, it just looks bad, yeah. I wish they didn't bring Harley back. Uh, not Harley. Uh, Ivy. Ivy. I, I also wish they didn't bring Ivy back. Uh, or Harley back. But um, it, it, it renders her sacrifice at the end of City completely pointless. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fucking Night. Arkham Knight. Yeah. Eat grenade dipshit. Okay, I actually beat Kingdom Hearts. So you just got the materials to make the ultimate weapon. Now I'm at uh, Keyblade Graveyard. <laughs> What's this X-Men 97 thing people are talking about? I've been living on a rock. They're, they're basically going to bring back 90s X-Men, but in a reboot cartoon, and it already looks like shit. You're going to bring back the 97 X-Men, and it's going to be bad because they're fucking forcing in a bunch of modern-day politics into a show that explicitly takes place in the 90s. Right, right. Crazy that. Crazy. I mean, the wild, the wild director that. of it just got fired before the show even came out and yeah, nuked his entire fired, social media. nuked everything. Any update in the Uzumaki anime? It's in the works. It'll be done when it's done, chat. We take our time here. If your drama is the equivalent of a lobotomizing session TMZ. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, game. You ex- you spawned them out of the fucking arena, so my bad. There's a Spider-Man game. I really like the first Spider-Man PS4. The first Spider-Man PS4 is fucking great. Yeah. Uh... It's been in the works for years. It'll be done when it's done. It either that or the PS1 never saw Spider-Man. I have a goddamn soft spot for that one. Yeah. Arkham Knight felt like a, a, a you, true man. finale to Batman with him and his villains. It's mm-hmm. really sad looking back with Kevin Conroy gone. Yeah. It, it, it is the most it, it is the most definitive <laughs> ending for Batman. Yeah. It's just a fantastic game, dude. It really is. It gave me, it gave me like my favorite design for the Batman Beyond Bat suit of all time. Oh yeah, it's fucking amazing. 
Surfing the web. Surfing the web. Surfing the web. Surfing the web. I wasn't paying too much, uh, uh, paying too close attention to the screen, so I didn't even realize I was Luther Lex with hairs wrong. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Batman wouldn't use this where Robert was seeing this shit. Yeah. Uh, it does manifest Joker, but also contains him when he takes full control at the very end. This is what I meant with Darkest Night, not the Batman who laughs. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Which, to be fair, Darkest Night design looks pretty fucking sick. Uh, how come you never run out of topics to uh, talk about on stream, even despite their length? ADHD? Uh, chat, I'm well-rounded and I love video games. You bitch! Oh, uh, the one he was talking about was Love After World Domination. That uh, was the one the guy was talking uh, yeah, about. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, it's a different one. I agree with Batman, chat. You're herd animals. That's not manga comedy, if I disagree with him, sometimes I think he's inoffensive at worst. He's alright, he seems pretty nice. Uh, I haven't really seen any of his videos, but anytime his opinion pops up on my, my Twitter feed, I'm like, oh, okay, I could I agree with that. Yeah. I just, I, I really hope someone, before release, just looked through the Batman scenes and just had the epiphany. Like, they went home, they looked at the yeah. gun and said, oh. Like, all right, this. I could uh, save myself so much trouble right now. Like, oh boy, oh jeez. Oh, Reddit's not going to like this one. Reddit's so not going to like this. Chat, this is so not cool, chat. Oh boy, here we go. Please, I can't do this again. Just just think about all the good times you had with Kevin Conroy, chat. Think about all the all the years upon years that he spent playing Batman. All the roles he got turned down for just because he was gay back in the day. Just to land as, as one of the most prolific voices of Batman ever. Fuck this game. <laughs> Look at the rabbits! Woo! <laughs> damn, 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 damn! Yeah. <laughs> and they said fuck you. Yeah, and they said fuck you. In fact, Batman doesn't even have a reply for her. Just sits there like a good little boy who hardly berates him. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he, he does he, shoot he tries back. To, he, he tries to get up, but obviously King Shark just... Puts him back down. Yeah, he does shoot back with "Are you done with your with your bad stand-up routines?" Like that's yeah. something. I just wish he brought up the the fact that she sucked dick for her degree. Yeah, like she she's like she's like Joker's the only one that knew how to actually cut people di deep. Should we watch the segment on Superman? Probably. This broke new ground! This is not as bad as Lex Luthor simping for every female in this game in his dossier. Chat, I haven't read the dossiers yet. Whoever wrote this scene, I just want to talk. I just want to talk, chat. <gasps> hey, Superman. We shot Batman. I'm going to jerk off on his corpse real quick. Quick, throw Harley at him. <laughs> The, the joke from Aqua Teen is like, hey, Superman, can you mow the lawn? <laughs> yeah, I'm Superman. Lawn? I can work a mower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Superman. I can work a revolver. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ito shito. Ito shito. Superman. Uh... Why, why, why didn't that work? I love Boomerang, dude. He's so good. He, he is the enjoyable part of this game. Thir yeah. Like, thoroughly. The the one good character. Once mm -hmm. again, if, if they just did a character with him. Or a game with him, yeah. I, I agree. I want the Cap I want a Captain Boomerang game. Yeah. Give it to give it to the people that are making the, the Wonder Woman game. Help. Superman, I can't see you. Superman! 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 Pog! Chat! 
He fucked my shit up, dog. How can you fucking do this to me, man? He done fucked my shit up, chat. He ripped my dick off, man. He ripped my fucking dick off, man. Boomerang, I read, I read online that poggers means something is in fact good. I believe he just hit you with a helicopter. Wouldn't that constitute something that is not good, and therefore be not very poggers? He ripped my fucking dick off, man. <laughs> what? Uh, Eco for dollar. Hey, Law and Sen, nagging you about Slayers this time. I would like to humbly harass. I mean, uh, request you check out the official Toho manga. They're pretty good reads. I might check that out. Yeah, I heard they're really fun. I got two bullets in check. Don't hurt me. Make a boomerang game already. I want to see him have funny moments in dialogue while killing random goons. I want to see romantic moments with his kangaroo wife. <laughs> <laughs> my ass, Chad. He's fucking my ass. You fucking sack of shit, Superman, you motherfucker. Where's Superman go? Where's Soup go? Wait, where's Superman go? The scariest sentence you've ever you've ever heard in your life. Where'd Superman go? Can't remember his gold kryptonite, the the one that literally just stripped Superman of his powers and started weakening him. Nah, it's the one that makes him gay. Yeah. No, that's the pink one. It's the one that makes him gay, chat. This is a this is a, a biologically modified Superman. Uh, gang? 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 Let's get out of here, gang! Uh, guys! Uh, guys! You still being a bitch over here, boy? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Batman using the Green Lantern rings? Yeah, yeah. He's used them multiple times, yeah. Is Discord just responding slow? Uh, he's on him again. Help. Uh, what does the black kryptonite do? Uh, I don't remember. I don't know if I've actually read a story that had black kryptonite in it. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I, was black kryptonite even a thing? I, I genuinely don't remember. Okay, Northern North is fucking great Superman. It's wasted. He yeah. is. He is a great fucking Superman, dude. Thoughts on this boss fight? I think it ends a little too soon. Uh, listen, man. I think this boss fight may overstay its, its welcome. There's two bosses, three bosses actually in this game whose entire gimmick is it makes him black. <laughs> uh, uh, turns him evil. Oh, okay. There, there, there's three bosses in this game whose gimmicks is they move really fast, which means they teleport to different sides of the arena, and I don't like it, Chad. Yeah. I don't like it. I'm a fuddy duddy. I don't like it. So you think Batman would make more sense as a green or a yellow lantern? He uses fear, but he also has a ton of willpower. Uh, I mean, it just depends on the story you want to make. Yeah, he can uh, use both. He has a metric fuck ton of willpower, but yeah, he does harness. Uh, fear for all of his daily routines. Can't fucking see him. <laughs> Superman jump scare. Superman scarier than fucking Batman. Me uh, going, I can't see him. Okay. Uh, Black Kryptonite was the stuff that the Batman who laughs used to drive Superman and his kid insane. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Me, me going, I can't see him. Zooming out of the scope to him holding a fucking missile at my face is is peak game design, chat. I'll be honest. That's that good shit. That's that shit I play games for. What do you think pink, pink Kryptonite would do? Well, I stated. It turns him gay. Yeah, it turns him gay. Yep. But I think they retcon that later to be Probably. makes him like a coward. It, it, it's something like that. They. Oh they, sure. Instead of making him gay, it made him a coward. Yeah sure. Yeah. I think I think that's what they retconned it to. They did retcon eventually because obviously they're like, yeah, yeah, let's not have the the Kryptonite that literally turns him gay. Even Good though you. that would have been very funny. Pink makes him female. No, it was something else. I was gonna say no, nah, no, nah, not that, not, not quite. What? Hey, fuck you! Get down here, asshole! Thought I made him a girl. Did it? Did it? They retcon it to be a, a chick thing? There we go. Chat, we fucking murdered Superman with bullets. It, okay, they're saying it made him a chick. Okay, okay. White man jump scare. Chat, chat. I was zoomed. I was zoomed in. I was zoomed in on the scope. 
I zoom out, and Superman is standing yeah. there with a fucking ballistic missile. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, Justice League action made swap sexes. Okay, okay. Oh, action? That's the new one. That's the new kid's show. Okay. No scary words in the English language. Where'd Superman go? <laughs> so you thought the Batman section was supposed to be scary. No, the Superman section's where it's at, chat. We killed Superman! We murdered the whole Justice League. In self-defense. I love it. A battle. A good, glorious battle. Superman will always look better with undies. Always, I, I, I always. Think, I think it can go either way, but like this suit was made for the undies, bro. Yeah. It's such a good suit. Specifically good, with the belt. Yeah, such a good rendition of, of Superman. And yeah. It's so sad. So sad we'll never get... Uh, Rocksteady's final, final fucking yeah. Superman game, or real Superman game. I wanted to like my adventures of Superman because uh, it was so close to getting Superman right, but it's ruined by cringy uwu as Tumblr humor. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, the the Animu thing. Yeah, because it, it was aping off anime shit really fucking hard. Don't kill Boomerang Shark. I need him. He's my favorite. <laughs> So the pink kryptonite turned Superman's gay son straight then? Yeah. Uh, I just turned him into a lesbian. I wanted Rocksteady Superman game to be... To be uh, I wanted Rocksteady Superman game so badly. So did I, chat. So did I. The art style is pretty dull, too. Yeah. It, it, it's weird because uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City were super stylized. Then yeah. Arkham Knight went, like, incredibly realistic. And this one has, like, this really weird thing where the character models are meant to look realistic with slight, yeah. st with slight stylizations. This game is brought to you by HK, yeah. Jimbo Superman, while cute, was a mistake. And <laughs> as stated, the, the whole problem with the cartoon was that it wanted to be a rom-com about Superman and Lois yeah, Lane. Yeah, it's my adventures with Superman. Yeah, it's that kind of shit. So it's a thing where, like, if you weren't invested in that being the central point, you were never going to like it. Oh, yeah. Hey, at least uh, Jimmy Olsen didn't get killed off in the first five seconds. Yeah, seriously. Lex Snyder's a fucking hack. Dude, the best part is him going on Joe Rogan and defending everything with like, well, you just care too much about your canon. It's like, I fucking told you guys he didn't give a shit. No. I fucking told you guys. He's such a fucking piece of shit and his movies suck. Yeah. It's like when they were coming out, it's like, so no, no, no. I'm arguing with, arguing with people going, no, Man of Steel's not that bad. My brother in Christ, Man of Steel's dog shit. Yeah. I, I, completely I, misses the point of, of Superman and then furthermore there's so many dumbass fucking scenes having oh, having was. having fucking uh, Paul Kent go well maybe you should have let that kid die yeah it, 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 and once again now you have direct context to him going like well you just care too much about the cannons yeah. like I fucking told you guys he didn't give a shit uh Massey was just awful yeah mm -hmm. what was, what was Scott, uh, Snyder's last good movie Watchmen I think it might be Watchmen yeah. Angry Joe liked Man of Steel just because he's a Superman fan. Yeah. Superman fanboys love Superman the movie. Fan, yeah, I was saying, Superman fanboys love that movie despite the fact that it disrespects the fuck out of them. Yeah. Like legitimate disrespect. Uh, my Adventure Superman did have a decent Jimmy Olsen. He wasn't bad. He was just kind of boring. That's Brainiac. That design looks bad. To be fair, there's never been a good design for Brainiac. Yeah. I think Injustice 2 is about as close as you're going to get to a decent Brainiac. And yeah. even then, he wasn't exactly amazing. Where'd you train? On a farm? <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, Superman fanboy, I don't really care for Man of Steel. Yeah. Can you believe they wanted to make a second one? <laughs> they turned Jimmy black again? They've, they've done that multiple times now. It's Yeah. Well, Jimmy's white again now. Yeah. Thank you, James Gunn. <laughs> so yeah. They, they got the ginger kid from... Some fucking show. He looks or exactly movie. like Jimmy Olsen. And he dude. looks exactly like Jimmy Olsen. It's fucking crazy. Every casting choice has literally looked exactly like their characters, dude. Yeah. It's it's great. I, I'm loving it. Remember Zack Snyder uh, shutting in the shutting on the people who raised money for his yes. daughter's suicide. Yep. Uh, it's it's been so long since I've been excited for casting choices, but every time James Gunn announces a new guy, I'm like, you know what? Good job. Good cast. Why does Brainiac talk like a disgusting Brit? I mean, to be fair, uh, that's how that's how you you uh, portray someone being alien. Chat, you make yeah. him a British, a British. 
I never really liked Superman. He's just so overpowered. Every iteration, he seems boring. I prefer Goku. Re no, there, there are very, very good yeah. Superman stories. There's good Superman stories. Obviously, the one that the James Gunn movie is going to be based around is All Star Superman, which is fantastic. One of the better ones. Uh, yeah. Whatever happened to the Man of Tomorrow is fantastic. It's it's a matter of of uh, just reading an actual yeah. fucking Superman story. Uh, my adventure to Superman S tier Lois Lane. I cannot believe I yeah. said I like. Oh, holy shit! I adore Tomboy Lois Lane. Do not tell me otherwise. Her big I like problem. Her her, her big problem was purely the fact that it went with the dumbest fucking tropes possible for the show, which was the whole, like, well, why don't you tell me the secret identity? No one likes that trope in any fucking context it's ever used. Uh -oh. It is a horrible fucking trope. And once again, that, that's not a thing that the show itself did. Uh, it is just a dumbass thing all around. Uh, because it's always used for the exact same fucking stupid drama points. Uh... Uh, he's basing it on an all-star. Uh, holy shit, that's fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. The the reason the guy that's playing Lex Luthor wanted to bulk up is explicitly because of the scene in, uh, when L Lex is in prison talking yeah. to Clark, and he's super fucking ripped. Which, uh, whoever decided Jerry from Rick and Morty's VA should be Deathstroke in the show makes me want to vomit. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. The, the actual superhero stuff in the show is the weak part, because I say that wasn't yeah. really what they wanted to focus on. Like, some of the Superman stuff is cool. They were like, okay. Like the, the Superman that was scenes. one of the better versions of Superman himself. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like, I, I didn't like any, any of the villain designs at all. Yeah. No, they were awful. They were awful, awful. Uh, Snyder killed him in two movies and he barely focused on Superman. He didn't earn his death. Not by any means. No. The movie, the movie he died in, the movie he died in fucking referenced a, a comic line where Superman didn't even die. Yeah. Uh. He just had to drag Batman down with him. Her design was actually kind of cute. Character was annoying. I stay because it was her, it her was, design was fucking great. It, it was it was the worst possible tropes because it was made by like fucking Tumblr people. Game becomes basically a full on Superman story and is easily one of the best comics period. It is. Uh, I the, my only problem with Kingdom Come will always be uh, I hated how they did Shazam. I hated how they did Billy yeah. Batson. Even yeah. if it made like complete and total sense, I still hated it. Yeah. Uh, Clark, what are you saying? I should let those terrorists check that concert, Jonathan? Maybe. Maybe it'd be, it'd be really funny. You, you think I should just let them paraglide in? Maybe. <laughs> It'd be really funny. I'm just saying, what have the Jews ever done for you? Paul, we've been over this! The Jews are an alien race. They're people. People to you. No proof. You're an alien. You're an alien. Existence is non-zero. <laughs> are you a fan of the Killing Joke? Yeah, I like it. It's pretty good, yeah. Uh, I don't like the Killing Joke animated movie because uh, having to watch Batman dick down uh, uh, a girl he's ra uh, he's almost yeah, raised I, is really I weird. have never liked the Batgirl Batman It's thing. been a thing like three times. And it's always and it's the worst. Shit. It's always the worst. Uh, the semi saw is apparently Deadpool and Wolverine uh, will be packed with jokes about Kevin Feige. Yeah, not surprising. Oh, yeah. Shoving 20 other superheroes in the Superman movie, uh, let him stand on his own. He's strong enough for fuck's sake. Well, he he's in Metropolis. It's a city like bustling yeah. with other people that come and visit. The, the, Especially most of the people that sh are showing up are space space yeah. tier heroes. So Green yeah. Lanterns. Should I let those kids die? Lol, Lamau even. Lol, Lamau. Erica Durant and the uh, actress from Lois and Clark are probably my favorite actress for Lois. Mm -hmm. Period. She's yeah, they're pretty yeah. good. It's Bruce Timm's headcanon. Yeah, it's Bruce Timm's headcanon, and it's fucking weird. Yeah, it, it's Because whenever, whenever they did the animated series comics, which are canon to my knowledge, uh, like, they do the they do the romance between yeah. Batman and Batgirl, and it's like, dog, he was, like, fucking 25 when she was, like, 15, 16. Yeah. That's weird. That the adventure of Superman was boring, in my opinion. As stated, it was purely about the, the Superman Lois thing, so yeah. if you weren't on it's, board with that, you were not on board yeah, with the show. Are you a woman that wants to visualize yourself with Superman? Yeah. No, I'm sorry for you. Yeah, that's literally it. That That, that is the reason it's boring as fuck. I, that, that was the reason why when it was coming out and people were like, oh, it's the new worst thing ever, I was like, it's not. It's just it's, boring. It's not offensive. Yeah. It's not offensive. It, it is not offensive to the point of, like, I can tell people are just trying to milk it. And, like, they're going, like, worst thing ever, worst thing ever. And it's like, no, it's not. Hey, job, you fucking bum. Uh, thoughts on Batman vs. Jack the Ripper? Uh, it, it was okay. Yeah. Superman's adopted parents were uber Christian, so Clark would pick up some anti-Semitic beliefs considering he was raised in <laughs> Bible in a very rural area. No, the Kents were cool. The Kents were really cool. What do you think of the Superman show on the CW? Uh, okay, are you talking about the the Superman and uh, Superman and Lois TV show, or are you talking about uh, Smallville? I hate that I have to make that distinction now. Yeah. 
DCAU is canonically Earth-12, apparently, although Batman Beyond is the time period happening simultaneously in the main DC universe. Yeah, it's weird. It was mainly Gundam saying it was the worst thing ever. No, it was a circle of them. I, I, yeah, there, there, was a, there was a fucking bunch of them. They are all trying to push it as the worst thing ever. And it's like, get this off my fucking TL. Yeah, it's like, I don't fucking care. Because I said, I, I watched the show and I was like, this is boring as fuck. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sure some teenage girl out there is like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. And is, is making some fucking fan art of Lois and, and Clark or something. But it's like, all I can think is none of the supervillain designs are that good. Uh, yeah, supervillain designs suck. Yeah, Superman's designs suck. It's Superman's all of... designs okay. Uh, I like Lois's design. Peak character design. Channel. Yeah, yeah, she was pretty good. Uh, everything else, I was like, this is boring. I don't, I don't care. People throw our terms best and worst too much. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's why we're like, listen, there, there is nuance here. There is nuance here. There, there is redeeming. Ah, oh, there it is. There, there is redeeming qualities that make you sad because of what could have been, and then there's, there's qualities that are like, oh wow, that's just fucking stupid. I shouldn't have done that, chat. That's on me. That's on me, chat. That's on me. That, that is kind of on you. <laughs> they, did a live, they did a live wire so dirty. Dude, fucking live wire was like, what the fuck was that? It's like, Jesus Christ. Activate truck. Also, if I call correctly, Earth-52 is the Justice Lord's timeline that showed up in Just League of Hard Call. Yeah. That man, animated series comic, uh, Barbara's pregnant and Dick is excited because he thinks his baby was actually Bruce's. Yeah, and I think I think she ends up uh, trying to fight crime while pregnant, and she has like a miscarriage. It's it's a fucking dumbass storyline. Nah, it's it's the animated uh, the animated one. Uh, it's just weird, but it's not anything dumb like that. I agree. The twenty minute sex scene was totally unnecessary. <laughs> Stop watching Gundam because of that video where you actually watch stuff. He's mocking and finding it's hyperbolic or lying most of the time. Well, they Ow. they exaggerate for the sake of of. Uh, entertainment where it's mm -hmm. like oh guys worst thing ever you know it's it's the angry reviewer shtick the problem is that gets really tiring after a while yeah. where it's like listen okay something can be bad without it being the worst thing ever yeah imagine if she was like alex jones style type making rants about superman that would have been fucking hilarious that kind of god damn they're just fucking insta killing me yeah that kind of was what she was because she was obsessed with exposing superman oh yeah Leave the fuck alone and tama got videos. me into gundam Yee. Yeah, that storyline just doesn't necessarily how fucked it is. Yeah, I say, I've never liked it's the just weird. I've never liked the Barbara Bruce thing because I say, she's like his daughter, she or or like uncle, you know, it's like a, a niece, you know, because she's Gordon's daughter. So it, it's oh right, right. All right, swap out, swap out controllers. Yeah. I don't like watching Gundam's main stuff. His side channel works on Gunpla School. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Which is that flare moment? With Donald Duck, holy shit, it's still funny and awesome. Yeah. Please kill them. Game kill. Have you watched Justice League Gods and Monsters? Pretty decent Elseworlds story. Uh, that was a Rooster Teeth one. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, I like I like that they made Superman the son of uh, the son of Zod. That was a nice uh, that was a nice change. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, also, it's the only time super, like uh, Superman killing people ever made sense. Yeah. Live R was just riffing on guys like Howard Stern back then. Uh, I think making her Alex Jones style would have been a good update. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Batman and Catwoman's always canon for me. Yeah, I mean, like, they're the one with the most history, arguably. Yeah. Well, uh, Batman and Talia al Ghul. Yeah, I mean, they straight up have they, a kid together. I was gonna say they they literally have the most the most history together. Yeah. Fucking dirty rapist whore. Yeah. Gordon's one of Batman's oldest allies and friends. He's trained Barbara when she was a teenager. It's weird. It's very weird. Yes, yes, it is. Talia al Ghul drugged him. Yeah. Yep. Rapist literal war. rape. Literal rape. It should have been me. Gunnam says he's gonna start talking more about uh, things he likes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's what you should do. Cause that's it. Chasing rage bait just uh, drives you the, fucking crazy. The age of the rage bait is like slowly dying out. Yeah, there there is a lot of really good stuff out there if you just look for it and you know don't obsess with like because everyone was saying it. Uh, Pretty much when Marvel started petering out and there was no new movie to watch anymore with all the all the people trying to make rage bait uh, videos about that where it's like, oh, new Ow. new worst Marvel thing ever. And people are like, well, why the fuck are you watching it? Yeah. And, and it's gotten so boring that not even they want to justify it. And it's like, that's eh, true. Why are we watching this? What do you think of Cyborg Superman? I like him. Uh, so, uh he's cool. Yeah. Uh, do you mean Cyborg Superman or do you mean Metallo? Because those are two there, different there is characters. A difference, yeah. I just want to make, make sure... 
There's some guy and it's a Gundam or sort of sound like to me at least strange. No, it's a Gundam is pretty distinct. He's got that fucking accent. Yeah, he's got that fucking New York accent. Yeah. As long as Dick gets to stay with Starfire, I'd rather Bruce keep Barbara away from him. That is true. <laughs> that is true. He's happy where he belongs. Stay away, you hussy. Are you a fan of Lobo? Yeah. I yeah, love Lobo's Lobo. fun. He's super fun. Uh, too bad his comics haven't been good since like the fucking yeah. mid 2000s. Maybe not even. Any more so bad's good movies? Nah. I'd rather just try and make a good movie, man. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, fucking bully. Legit talk on Nightwing uh, getting done dirty. Gotham Knights is the most blatant with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Horribly. Horribly. So funny, the main three of Batman's proje is basically the three uh, ways brothers go. Oldest is the golden boy, middle is the war vet, youngest is the child prodigy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jason's the only one that's ever seen shit, dude. Cyborg Superman, as far as I can tell, he's a villain to the Green Lantern Corps. Oh. My mom, Starfire, comes to mind with addiction, not being a long-term relationship with Starfire. That, that, that was an exception to the rule. A every other storyline that does it, it's usually... It's like, yeah, they, they work pretty well together. I know in Kingdom Come, Dick and Star, uh, Kingdom Come, Dick and Starfire had our daughter together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kingdom Come is just a good storyline. If you ever get the chance, chat, pick it up. It's good. Yeah. Why oh, you have thousands of so bad? They're good movies. Yeah, it, it, it's a thing where once again, the people kind of need to start focusing more on just shit they genuinely like. You know, and yeah. kind of put the the good energy out there. Put the good vibes out, chat. So I stopped watching the stream after you guys talked about the Dark Knight Returns, and I just watched both parts. It's really fucking good. Still probably one of my all-time favorite portrayals of the Joker. I, I, I stopped watching the stream whenever you guys started talking about a movie, and I, I just watched both movies. What? Yeah, I just watched both movies. It's fucking amazing. I fucking love it. It's so good. You mean we've been talking for that long? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, got, you guys don't know how to shut the fuck up. <laughs> New 52, Starfire, fuck both uh, Jason and I fucking hate Arrow. New 52 yeah, so New, much. New 52 is awful. New 52 is awful. Jason Todd is winning in the comics currently. Uh, dude's chasing, uh, dude's dating Artemis, aka fucking Amazon. Yeah, yeah. He, he is, however, uh, he's part of the Outlaws, which is just a net loss. Yeah. Oh, uh, so yeah, yeah, it's. Eh. Yeah, I, I was gonna say like Cyborg Superman and Metallo are two separate characters. I just needed to know if he meant Cyborg Superman or not. Yeah. Which yeah, that's Cyborg Superman. Uh, he fights Superman. I forget which comic it is. He fights Superman, and I think Santa's there. I, I know that. So. I know that sounds like an in incomprehensible sentence, but I swear to God, it makes sense. Ish. Uh, you get Apple TV. I'd recommend a slow horse spy show called uh, starring Gary Oldman, uh, a genius slob. Uh, Agent Fifty Bucks. Wait now, New Fifty Two Aquaman's good. None of them are good, chat. New Fifty Two is garbage. I will not. I will not abide by your fucking slander, chat. People watching movies uh, oh. during streams usually happens on EFAP. Yeah. That's a nice looking woman in her mid to the late there. He's giving you milk and cookies and gummies and juice while sweet talking Thanks you. It's my greatest nightmare. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Can you die, please? And can you stop fucking flying up? You sick fucking bastard. What do you think is the okay. actor that portrayed Joker the best? In live action? Uh, live action? Probably Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger is definitely probably one of the best. I, I know there's the meme about him now with the whole like over-the-top edgelord thing. For the time and for the story that Dark Knight was, he was fantastic. He just does a good job here. He, he is just good. Uh, once again, I think it's the thing where he got ruined kind of by meme culture where people just can't take him seriously, but that's just failing on people. Uh, I was going to say, people, period, can't really take things seriously, so... Yeah, yeah. Can't fault him for that. Yeah. Because, no, he, he had some scenes that were just fucking great. Uh, when when he's shit talking the cop about like his dead friends, yeah. where, where it's like, hey, do you want to know which ones were cowards? It's like, that's a good scene. There you go. Jack Nicholson was good. Nicholson was good. He was. He was. He had his moments. Yeah. Everyone but Jared Little. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, I really liked Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. Yeah, he was great. Even if his character wasn't really Joker, it, it's he was doing his own thing until yeah, I was gonna say, the end of the movie. He was doing his, his own thing. It worked really well, and I'd like yeah. to see that version come back. Yeah. I, I want to go see the sequel. Um, but it is a thing of like, Very yeah. Very weird having a universe where Joker's a thing and Batman's not. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they, they do establish that he's the reason why Batman will exist because mm -hmm. he's the reason his parents died. So, which I know some people are like, oh, really? They had to establish that? It's like, listen, okay, for a Joker movie, that ain't half bad. Yeah. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. 
No, leave me alone. No bully. No bully! Put the gun down, no bully! How good is the singing voice? Joaquin Phoenix, he did play Johnny Cash and Walk the Line. I don't know if he actually sang himself, but he did do that. Oh yeah, yeah, he played Johnny Cash. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. He played the older brother in Signs, idiot. That is true. That is true. He's got a baseball arm, dumbass. Arthur Fleck is a name unique to the Joker movie and the comics is unknown. It is. That's not what he meant, though. Uh, he was talking about the characterization of him yeah. being uniquely its own. Arthur Fleck is also a unique name, but... Yeah. Well, uh, wasn't that potentially one of his names in Killing Joke? No, uh, Jack Napier... Uh, fuck, I don't remember all of his aliases, but yeah. I thought Fleck was one of them. I don't think so. Fleck might have been one, but not Arthur Fleck. Okay. Uh, Master to me is one of Joaquin's best roles. That is a damn good one. The sequel's supposed to come out this year, supposedly, but we've not seen anything about it, so I think it's getting delayed. I like the idea of Joker being involved in Batman's parents being killed. I like the idea of it just being random faces criminally never catches. That's also legitimate. Yeah, that, that, that is legitimate, even though, like, I hate it. Yeah. It, it is legitimate because, like, yeah, I mean, Joker just comes out of fucking nowhere. Uh, fucking... Oh, I made it anyways. Fuck you, eat my dick. How much do I need to pay you uh, to watch all of One Piece? Kill yourself. I'm always favorite, uh, the movie Her. That is a very good movie. Her is a very good movie. Johnny Cash is, is uh, the Johnny Cash movie is good. Yeah, what is walk it? the uh, line. Walk, yeah, walk the line. Uh, it's way better than I. Oh, he, he typed a whole paragraph. It's way better than I anticipated. When I was a kid, I was afraid about uh, it having a female Robin, Superman being a puppet of the government, and Batman killing. But two of those worries put, uh, got put to rest. I have my problems with it, especially with how Superman's betrayed. But Robin was fucking great, and Batman killing Joker was really tragic, and I loved it. I understand it's my own personal bias. I can't stand Bruce using guns, but he didn't kill anyone with them. I uh, just used them situationally because of his age. I just don't like the image of Batman with a gun or wounding a dude in, a, in his hand with one. But honestly, it's too great for me not to give it a pass. Uh, not to just give it a pass. It's easy, how, uh, it's easy to see how it's one of the most influential Batman stories. And I'm really upset. I let my preconceptions keep it from me for so long. I loved it. Yeah. Well, the, the big it's, thing is... It's fantastic. And look at it like this. Uh, even Batman Beyond Batman picked up a gun at one point. Yeah. You know, the, the thing is he doesn't use it to shoot people. Yeah. He uses it specifically as a as a you know Turn. device and other things. Um but the whole thing is, it got a reputation specifically because you had a very vocal, I guess, chunk of the Superman fan base that was like, that ruined Superman, fuck you, how dare you turn him into a puppet, and they kind of forget a larger, a lot of the larger nuance of the story. Yeah. Where like, they, they established multiple times Superman didn't want to do any of this. Yeah, Superman's not a bad guy in the story. Yeah. Uh, Green, Green Arrow fucking hates him, but... Yeah, I mean, to be, you, he has a good reason. He has a good reason. Very good reason. Very good reason. But, uh, you know, they go out of the way to establish, like, Clark is just doing what he can in a very bad situation. Yeah. Uh, he, he even gives Bruce multiple times of, like, dude, just fucking g give me something to work with here, you know? Come on, man, just just go just go into hiding, man. You ain't got to do this, man. Come on, you, you ain't got to do this. I need to do it. No, come on, man, you don't have to. Come you on, man. You ain't got to do it, man. You come get, on, man, no, don't you, do it, man. Come you on. Ain't, you ain't got to go back on those streets, man. man you, you ain't, ain't got to do that. You made it out the hood, man. You ain't got to do that, You made it out the hood, man. You went to college, man. Oh, you ain't got to do shit, man. man. Come on, man. You ain't got to do shit, man. Come on. And Batman's like, no, the the streets call. The streets call for me. The streets call. Yeah, the streets call you a bitch. What? I was looking at the screen for a while. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. It's flashing colors and numbers. Don't worry about it. It hurts, bro. This is a dog shit boss fight chat, by the way. That's a phenomenal movie. Excellent cast. Great story and great directing uh, from Paul Thomas Anderson. It is yeah, a yeah. phenomenal movie. Uh, Man Comes Around is better than Hurt. That's a, that, that is a take. I will say, Hurt is overplayed. Yes. But at the same time, so is Man Comes Around. Uh, What do you guys have? Favorite comic writer for DC? Sean Gordon Murphy. <laughs> yeah, you really like White Knight. Uh, Frank Miller has some really fucking good Batman stories. Yeah, Frank Miller's got some good stuff. Uh, Streets Bear Call Saul. Speaking of Green Arrow, nigga has great taste, and he's banging and married to Black Canary. Nigga's living the good life. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Bruce lives for the streets and dies for the streets. He a real one, chat. Isn't he real rich? one. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, because the streets... Because the, the streets can't let a man be a man, chat. Always got to be tied down. Even when Batman was beating the shit out of him, Superman was worried Bruce was uh, seeing his heart strain about to give up on him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's entire, That's uh, an entire part of his plan. Yeah. That's a very, very good story. Very, very good story. 
or it's great for to listen to Cash more underrated songs. As to, it's it's a thing where it's overplayed as fuck. Especially if you remember the the marketing campaign for Prototype Two. Oh my god, that got so bad. They were overplaying the fuck out of that commercial every chance they can get, and by extension, the the fucking hurt cover by Johnny Cash. Now, granted, then the then you have the trailer for Logan, which used it, and it was pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminded me of Manny, goddammit. I thought I escaped, uh, escaped talks of the streets of the Lizbeth blew his brains out. <laughs> what? Uh, Frank Miller's peak was one of the best to ever do it. Daredevil, Born Again, Batman Year One, Dark Knight yep. Returns, Ronin, seriously, yep. uh, how has it not been adapted yet? Uh, fucking Sin City. Yep. Like, yeah, a bunch of good shit, a bunch of good shit. Good commercial, though. It was a pretty good commercial. Pretty good commercial. Okay. Okay. I need y'all to, to, to properly exist in this universe for me to, to fight you, okay? Pretty lame prototype 2 commercial they black uh, washed Alex Mercer. I don't, I don't think he I don't think he knew. I don't think I, he I don't knew. think he knows. Does he, he know? He didn't know that that was actually just a better protagonist than Alex. And he wasn't even that great. Mad World took oh, Gears of War though. God. Yeah, Mad World cover was also pretty big. That used to be the sad song until it got replaced. By Hurt. Yeah. In Logan's case, they used uh, both Hurt for trailer and Man Comes Around for credits. Yeah. I mean, it fits. It, it fit the movie. I thought it did really well. God, you're fucking infuriating fight. Thanks. Don't forget about 300. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. also did 300. I forgot about that. That is true. Prototype 2 broke my PS3. <laughs> okay, man. By the way, thoughts on uh, Disturbed cover of Mad World? Uh, I think it's all right. I uh, I love the Gary Jules version much more. Yeah, it isn't the disturbed one based more off the actual Tears of Fear song. Oh, uh, like it, it has a bit yeah. more pep to it compared to the the Gary Jules one. Where Gary Jules one is fucking depressing. Yeah. Well, uh, the lead singer of, of Disturbed has that voice. Oh yeah, he can nail it. Just I think he based the song more off Tears of Fear. It has more beat to it than yeah. the Gary Jules version. Yeah, compare that to the the Sound of Silence one he did, which is like. Fucking oof. Right. That was powerful. Okay, are you going to sit still long enough for me to actually hit you with the, the stun bullet so I can play the game? Have you played the bottoms game for PS2? I have not. They're kind of hard to track down. <laughs> yeah. Can't believe uh, when talking about directors uh, willing themselves uh, into the industry, no one mentioned Sam Raimi. Yeah, right? This is what you wanted. Take your best shot. Don't vex game. Do you know about the face cream ad homage in Conan? Yeah, it's fun. Discurb, uh, disturb cover of Sound Silence is audio aids. Nah, I, I think no. it's a good cover. What the fuck are you, Anthony Fantano? Fucking faggot. Oh, jeez. I hear the controller having a fucking conniption fit. Yeah, I know, right? Also, I don't know why so many hot DC girls aging poorly kind of crack me up. Selena Kyle being a fat startup pimp and Superman's first girlfriend, Lana Lang, getting pretty huge as well to see. Would love to see how a uh, huge Wonder Woman got. I, yeah. I, I think I think Miller just has a thing for for women aging like that, man. Yeah. It was kind of funny, though. Uh, Wonder Woman went back to Amazonia, so I think she'd still be in yeah. shape. Well, she's also made of clay, so. That is true. Yeah, it, it was kind of funny. Uh... Fuck him up. Oh, my speed protection's gone. My bad, I guess. Oh, jeez. But it, it, it is kind of funny, because, uh, fucking... Eh. I will pull correct. Yeah. It's kind of funny, because, uh, the, the Robin in Ooh. Returns, uh, I always forget her fucking name. I think, I think her name is, like, Carrie. Tim. Yeah, Carrie. Yeah, it's Carrie. Uh, she's fucking good. She's actually one of the better Robins, she uh... Is. You know, I, I actually think she's pretty damn underrated. Uh, I, I especially like how natural she kind of flows into the role, where where when when she has to like manipulate the mutants to get them down at the pipe, she just knows the lingo right off the the back of her hand. Yeah. She she's been around it. Yeah, she's been around it. Her dad, uh, her parents listen to the fucking radio all the time. Yeah, like she she's just naturally a clever kid. Mm -hmm. uh, and and sometimes that fucks her over, like with the the neo Nazi chick where she almost got shot. Right. Uh, but then other times it's like no, she knows exactly what she's doing. Like yeah, one, one, of, one of the better Robins. I like her. 
No, oh, guys, it's not canon anymore. Wonder Woman is a demigoddess, and one of just many bastards. I'll kill you, Chad. They've I rebooted will kill her. You. They've rebooted her she fucking more so many times. She's made of fucking clay. They've rebooted her so many fucking times. She's made times. of clay. There was a twin of her that used to just be her mirror reflection, but she was younger. And then the 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 fucking dude who was writing it got so sick of keeping keeping track of it, he just fucking forgot the gimmick and just turned her into younger younger uh, Wonder Woman. Zack Snyder wanted to have her in the DCU for a fell apart. Stop, stop. <laughs> the more I hear about this man, the more I'm like, why was there no one telling you you're a retard? So does this when my dog passed away a few hours ago. He did pretty well, though. 14 for a Golden Retriever was, was really good. That is Poor really doggo. good. Yeah, that is really good. Golden Retrievers die young. Hmm? Young, but you know what I mean. I like Dark Knight Returns. Robin, I pray to God, DC never brings her in the main universe. Agreed. <laughs> I like her. Carrie, Carrie's, Carrie's pretty good. Uh, she's one of, like, only two female Robins, I want to say. Yeah. I think the other one might have been named Carrie, too. Have you ever heard of Chester Bangton's cover, Rolling in the Deep? Uh, Chester was a, a once on a time voice. That, that's got to be AI. There's no way that's an be. actual thing. Zeus, your daughter returns, and she brings the destruction of Olympus. Return to clay, you dirty bitch! Uh -huh. I do love watching the behind-the-scenes stuff of like God of War Three, where they're in the booth, and the guy voicing Kratos is just hamming it the yeah. fuck up. You, you can tell he's having fun with like every fucking second. It's great. Like, because he, he, he's doing like line readings with the chick who's doing Athena. Athena, you know, she's yeah. the chick who's doing Athena is doing pretty good too, and he is just like. Belting it out, he's like, you know, pumping his fist in the air. Oh, it's fucking great. They need to get Shakespearean actors to do roles like Kratos, dude. Oh, they need to. DC Carson's amazing as Kratos. Yeah, the the guy that got to voice him in the reboot games he's wasn't bad. bad. Yeah. I will always remember his his Game Awards uh, speech where he was high as fuck. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. He was like, get like, the hey. fuck out of here. One of the worst covers I ever heard was Limp Bizkit's cover of Behind Blue Eyes. <laughs> Oh, I love that cover, Chet. You hear Chester Mangton's Queen of the Damned System version? I did not. They have a mini Brainiac in a jar. What will you do? Yes. Shouldn't they never brought Car uh, Carson back for a cameo in their games? Right? It's like, at the very least, you can fucking do. Yeah, TLC is great. He He's not bad. He's just as dead. Like, fucking... I forget the new guy's name. Yeah, I, yeah damn it. He shot Call of Duty in December. That was honestly really funny. Yeah. Uh, Chester, Chester cover of Rolling in the Deep is real. iTunes 2011. Uh, look Ooh. it up. Oh, my God. Christopher Judge. Yeah, yeah. Christopher Judge, Judge plays yeah. him. Yeah. And like I said, Christopher Judge ain't half bad. Shake the jar. He ran out of oxygen, chat. And then got more oxygen. Put him back in the jar. Waller, that, that doesn't make any fucking sense. See, it, it would have been better if she didn't leave a one line. Like, let him fall to the ground. She doesn't say anything. Then looks at him and says, all right, next step. You know, something like that where it's like, all right, we got this done. Now trying to fix all this shit. You, you sort of wait, wait uh, with bated breath for the the Captain Boomerang to go. Ah, oh, we're rubbing, we're rubbing off on you, eh, love? Yeah, yeah, some shit like that. That was British, not Australian. When you brought up the speech, because Christopher Judge made a joke about it in the recent Game Awards. Yeah. Grant Morrison and Alan Moore. Who would rather be in charge of a DC universe? Uh, Grant Morrison probably. Yeah. Alan Moore could probably do it, but I don't know if I'd like every story being like. Alan Moore focused. I'll have what she's having. It's been revoked. That bitch stole my line! That's in the film Upgrade. So I recently thought it was awesome. It was pretty good. Yeah, it's very fun. It is very fun. I liked it. No, please. Anything but the cum jar. Cum. Cum. That ain't the jar you're going in. And just show the Russian guy standing over the jar. No, it's just the Russian. Yeah. We accomplished a lot today. We gotta kill 12 more Brainiacs.
far as Captain Boomerang's concerned, I'd, I'd be afraid of him rubbing anything. Yeah. <laughs> One more for two bucks. Put it back in the jar. Put it back in the jar. <laughs> Nope, Grant has his own issues, and no to the other Snyder who made the Crisis of Omniverse shit. <laughs> yeah. Scott Snyder wasn't that bad. He's made some good stories. Team Friendship high five incoming. Yeah. Brainiac eliminated. Yay. Twelve more. Now I know you can't contain your excitement. Twelve more. Twelve more. Let me skip this. Let me skip that. So that we can get the Batman chat. Yeah. The the hastily the hastily thrown together. Oh my god. Oh fuck. He died during our development. Oh my fucking god. As Batman and as Bruce Wayne. Everyone knew him. We did everyone. We saved Earth as Earth burns. All fairness for a Suicide Squad story that is what they would do. Yeah. He left a communication with the Which games worse this Avengers of Gotham Knights. Avengers the worst of them. Yeah, Avengers Easily. is hilariously bad. This, this is bad, but more the sense of, like, fuck, there was something here. There, Oh, yeah, there's a lot of good moments to it. Yeah, there, there there was something here. It's just the fact that it got fucked over. It got fucked over by, by scummy producers. It got fucked over by seven-year dev cycle that kept restarting yeah. and turning to different things. It got fucked over by, by dumbass devs that couldn't shut their fucking mouth. It, it got fucked over by a ton of different things. Always and forever. Peter Griffin reacting to this. <laughs> Holy crap, Lois. Holy crap, Lois. Thank you, Kevin. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Got fucked over, Sweet Baby. Sweet Baby only has so much of an effect on games. Yeah. They are, at the end of the day, a consultancy firm. Yeah. They, they were definitely a factor, but they're not the only factor. There was a lot going on here. Like, Sweet Baby not being involved with Suicide Squad was not going to make it good, but Sweet no. Baby being involved definitely makes some aspects hilarious. Like the, the, the Green Lantern bio, where it's like one of the good ones. It's like, all right, which... That was a Sweet Baby. That, that one was a Sweet Baby. You know it. Wait, which one of you assholes did this? Okay. Okay, here it is. So, obviously, Joker's first. Second one is either going to be Mr. or Mrs. Freeze. Third one, I don't know what that could be. Fourth one, very clearly Deathstroke. Yeah, very obviously. Deathstroke or fucking Ravager, which is just female Deathstroke, his daughter. All right. I can read character descriptions now. I mean, we can. We could. We could. We could. We could. <laughs> Rick Flag still talking in the background. I mean, we could. All right, I'll move it back real quick so we can show them. But we'll do it real quick. Just real quick. Uh, 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 codex. Yeah, I think it's on our codex. Uh, uh, I think it's on our friendlies? Uh, yeah. Here's here's the fucking uh, Justice League being dumbasses. <laughs> Yeah, and they're directly going like, hey, this doesn't feel like a plan. Yeah. Black Manta in the third one, I think. Maybe? It kind of looked like Black Manta a it little bit. It could be. It's just the, it being a pink motif, I guess. Uh, view bio? We only fall in the thank you, Kevin bit with the season pass ads. So yeah. tasteless. Yeah. They really didn't think that one through. Well, should I do a Dragon Ball saga in the same veins your series on Berserk? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. It certainly is one of the games of all time. Okay, okay, I do remember. I do remember reading this. So look at their look at their quotes. The I don't do quotes. Is, uh, a quote redacted by Director Wall Waller for obscenity and exposure of state secrets under the Argus Code. Uh, are you from the Captain, Bo Captain Boomerang fan club? <laughs> Love it. Love it. Uh, second issue of this game's prequel comic got out. Deathstroke clowned on a uh, dead shot and blasted him in the chest with a shotgun for walking out of Arkham mid-riot. 
Uh, Captain America has fashioned an identity as a themed supervillain, enjoying a storied rivalry with the Flash. In fact, in over 100 hours of Arkham therapy footage, Harkness has mentioned his rivalry. I'm sorry, this rivalry, an average of 15 times per hour. Ever scrubbing through the hours of all of Justice Security footage, Captain Boomerang is mentioned exactly once, followed by who? So that's good. That's I good. love him so much, chat. He is an heir to delusions of grandeur, appropriate of weaponry, still a chaotic dimwit who can tap into speed force, may have his uses yet. Yeah. So once again, Captain Boomerang's the best one. Also, uh, Shark's fucking quote, I'm wary, I'm wary of allowing you to transcribe me. I'll witness the consequences delivered upon Harley for her quote. <laughs> they jumped that bitch. I don't know what she did to make them niggas that angry, but they wouldn't stop beating their ass. Is Captain Boomerang senior or junior? Uh, probably senior. I don't know. So good, chat. I love how they explain why Deadshot's black in this game by retroactively saying that white Deadshot from another Earth that conveniently got teleported or lazy bullshit. Yep. Purely because it's like, motherfuckers, the Will Smith one. Yeah. Like, that's literally the only reason they did it, because Will Smith. Which one would be the Will Smith one? Uh, I need to know about, the, uh, about Flasher, is that he's a shiny red beacon bastard for... Okay, this is this is Boomerang, isn't it? Uh, yeah. For every high school sports captain who ever thought you were better than him, uh, you're just making a living as hard-working rebel, and uh, this guy shows up throwing his weight around, calling himself the fastest, the funniest, the best. Who asked, mate? If he was any more full of himself, he'd have little flashies yeah. dripping off his nose hairs. I, I think the idea is whoever they had beef with, they wrote the bio of. Mm-hmm. Oh, or it says from, from the, the files of Lex Luthor. Yeah. Oh my god, he oh really god. he really does just fucking gloss him. Oh my god. Lex, chill. What about Batman? Hey, yo! They don't even have a from the files of. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that, that's because it's Harley doing it. Uh, here's the one of the good ones. Yeah, yeah, one of the good ones, yeah. And no one thought about that. No one thought, no one thought maybe we shouldn't. This was written from the the mind of shark, I guess. That wall of text. Okay, go 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 back to the the flash one. She is the only one that directly says from the files of Lex <laughs> She's Luthor. She's the only one that you got to scroll on. That's what fucking three paragraphs, four paragraphs. Oh my paragraphs. god! Holy shit! And we get like one and a half paragraphs for for the flash. <laughs> Guys, the game is good now. Oh oh oh! What about Rick? Okay. Why is the fucking Justice League? <laughs> no, no, okay. Fucking, who the fuck is Jurgensen? Why did why did we have more about Jurgensen than we have about the Flash? He's not even from a comic. They don't even list his first fucking appearance. Why? Uh, why do you want to quote? Are you, are you guys playing a surprise wake for me? Ivy. Ivy. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what is this, bro? Put some respect on their names. Oh my what the god. Fuck? Chad, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, Jesus Christ, man. So, okay. To make it worse, not only do they call Green Lantern a racial slur, the rest of the entries aren't even fucking finished. Yeah. They actually aren't finished. Oh, that's just a picture. That, that's the only thing I can think of. This guy has more than the Justice League, and he shows up less than any of the members. Like, they, the fucking... Oh my god. Well, oh, thank god, finally someone with less text than the Flash. Yeah. The, the fucking bios for the Justice League aren't finished. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, that's actually kind of mind-blowing. It's actually kind of mind-blowing. So it's like, it, it... Chat, did they care? Not only, not only uh, did they fucking simp for Wonder Woman... The, the only one of the Justice League who had a finished Codex entry. But, like, they... Oh, my God. It, this game is fucking weird. It is a fucking rabbit hole. Bro, we got more We got more information on the mindless drones than any of the, any of the, the Justice League The fucking flavor text of the bad guys, yeah. The worm lets me scroll. The worm has more text. Cause, the cause, two subsequent versions of the worm that are the same thing also what, have more. What fucks me up is the fact that it's from the files of Lex Luthor. Clearly showing that, like, hey, yeah. Lex Luthor wrote about it. Well, it, it only shows from the files of Lex Luthor if he's the one that wrote it. If it came yeah. from any other character, it doesn't say who it's from. Yeah, it doesn't say who it's from. But you would think there'd be some kind of description of that going, like, oh, yeah, X person wrote this or something like that. Yeah. And and the fact that okay, it's so... Okay, okay, we have bad guy. Okay. Okay, okay, so the bad guy ones get more. Thank God. Thank fucking Christ. No cares put into this game. It's a cash grab. It is an egregious cash grab. It's definitely a cash grab. A uh, cash grab that took them seven years to decide to start grabbing, but... Would you let me scroll if I was a worm? <laughs> <laughs> Would you let me scroll if I was a worm? Get the fuck out of my house, chat. Isn't it almost four where y'all live? Yeah, we're, we're wrapping it up. I'm swapping over. Yeah. 
Yeah. We, we, we've seen all there is to see with Suicide Squad. We saw all the fun stuff. So, there you go. There you go. That That is the Suicide Squad TM. The the hit video game from from Rocksteady who totally aren't going to fucking close down because of this. Yeah, not at all. They're not going to get four four seasons into their, their live service game, shut it down, and then go go shut their doors. Yeah. They're, they're totally not going to be like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, what did we do? What do we do? And, and, and rush to get DLC and crap for this game out that no one's going to buy because no one fucking played this to begin with. And, and the sad part is they're... There, there, there was something here. Yeah, there are some really fun moments that yeah. I like. Obviously, need to be refined and stuff. Yeah. But there, there are things that other games could take from this game. Yeah. And and it would be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, the traversal system has a good concept. Yeah. Two of the four characters are just fun. Yeah. Uh, but there, there is a lot wrong with it that it needs ironing out. It needs ironing out. Uh, they don't have a fucking choice. So. I'll trust lecture on Supergirl, Superman, if he has pink kryptonite. <laughs> How many paragraphs would you write it uh, yeah. write for me if I use pink kryptonite? Yeah, by committee, by Solus A R H R, mm -hmm. uh, by investors, but no passion. Exactly. This was a contract game. Will Rocksteady survive this? I, I genuinely don't think Rocksteady is going to survive this. I think, yeah, no. like I said, they're going to get maybe at most four seasons in, in into the fucking battle pass, uh, and then they're going to shut their doors. Yeah. Th this game, at absolute fucking most sold three million copies which is dog shit oscar performance jesus christ this is what companies call good writing yeah right it's it's just like holy fuck man holy fuck at the end was it worth it it was worth it to see what the fuss was about to to see the game for what it is and realize the state it's in and what is actually up yeah. with Suicide Squad. Well, what's up with it? Not getting, not getting your your information from fucking cold from secondhand posters. sources. People warping it to be good or bad. Mm -hmm. Just going into it objectively and, and seeing it for ourselves. It is very revealing. It is very revealing. Just how much of the game is either. You know what? I could see that working pretty well. That has a clever idea to outright. What the fuck were you thinking? Yeah. The every mission being a fucking filler mission with a tutorial yeah it, it is literally every mission is a tutorial mission and then you get a cutscene that progresses the story and then you yeah. beat the game and then some missions still have tutorials after you beat the game yeah that's fucking ridiculous if that was a good idea to get what they get yep yeah. yep they get up on reddit online they'll get up on this as well exactly it's made by dragged down by the usual AAA garbage. Yeah, uh, as to the the woke shit of this game, we we saw like just with the the cutscenes we were watching, where just the the main kill the Just League people. It's barely a factor. The the woke shit was just thrown in uh, for uh, outrage. Uh, I, was, I was gonna say like the 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 woke shit is like damn near fucking non-existent. Yeah, the, it is it is by far the least of its of its problems. Yeah, it, it it was thrown in for outrage marketing, going look at this, look at this. Don't you care about this to get fucking anyone talking yeah. about this? Yeah, they needed to make their money back because they only sold three million fucking copies of the game. How would you rank the boss fights? Uh, uh Superman's probably the best boss fight. And even then, it's not that special. Even, even if... No, because he's just the Flash, but he can fly. Yeah. Uh, Flash is... The Flash boss fight himself is probably two than Batman. Yeah. Brainiac's at the bottom because he's just a slightly faster Flash with ads, which is annoying. Yeah. This is game got sweet baby in the public eye. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Only because the, the developers couldn't couldn't hesitate to put their foot in their mouth. Why does this game even have stats and number damage? Didn't need it. To yeah, push, push the looter shooter yeah, shit. To push the looter shooter stuff. Uh, It's the get, uh, get broke, go woke. Yeah, that's what it reeks of. Cause that's day the the woke shit is like we, we didn't we didn't run across anything. You had the one yeah. scene with Harley there's and even the, then. Yeah, there's the one scene with Harley and it seems less woke and more like the writer had a fucking chip on his shoulder. And there's the the new uh the new LGBT flag, which is uh, I always fucking wanna, buried somewhere. I, I always it, it's at the uh, entrance of the Hall of Justice. I, I always want to point those out because remember Instead of just using the classic rainbow flag, developers have to pay for that flag. So some yeah. dude is making money every time it shows up somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is insane. It is insane. Fun stream over one of the most corporate sludges of a game. Yeah. yeah. And at least we're just built different, chat. At least this game guy was talking about, like, fucking... Uh, right, good stuff. Yeah, stuff. good stuff. Like, comic runs we liked and things like that. So at least there's that. And that's it. Yeah. We, we had fun going, like, okay, that's pretty cool. That's kind of interesting. Reminding chat that there's always something good even in, even beneath the shit. Yeah. Fun enough for two bucks, would you love me if I was a sandworm? Would you love me if I was a sandworm? Yeah. I would say making some of the girls hideous uh, is part of woke. We didn't constantly get ugly women until recently. That that is a talking point. I unironically say keep that buried. That, yeah, that, keep, keep keep it keep it buried. 
Yeah. It, it, it's uh, it is a losing talking point. It, it's it's a losing talking it is, point. It is so easy to turn to turn it into you yeah. sound like a porn addict. Yeah. It, it, it even even if you're right, it's a thing where it's just yeah. so easy to spin. It is so easy to spin against you to where it's like, listen, that this game does not suck because the women look ugly. Mm-hmm. The game sucks because it sucks, and they made the women ugly to appeal to once again ESG crap to try and make their money back. That's why they did this shit. Yeah. Amanda Waller is one to one. Yeah, that, uh, Wonder, that's just what the chick looks yeah, like. Wonder Woman looks fine. Uh, Harley Quinn has been remodeled for like the fourth time in yeah. the franchise. Yeah, uh, as to there, there, there is, there, there is a a fucking million and one different reasons this game sucks, and the the ugly women is part of it. Just because I say it falls in that classic thing of it, it's just too unrealistic to be uncanny. Yeah. And just stylized enough to where you notice the difference. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's that classic AAA Uncanny Valley of, for fuck's sake, can you stylize your graphics for fucking once and not just rely on blind fucking face yeah. scans? Well, the it, it's crazy because we went from uh, Arkham Arkham Asylum through Origins had a, a stylistic art style. Arkham Knight went realistic with it, and it was fucking Kino. It was fucking amazing. Uh, and then you, re- you come to this, and it regresses back to some weird middle ground between Knight and, yeah. like, Origins. Yeah. They always twist the shit to hate you hate women. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It, it, it's very easy to do whenever your argument is is I want pretty women. You yeah. need to use a smart well, argument. Yeah, well look at the look at the guy who started the Sweet Baby Steam group. He yeah. made that one interview and now they're just trying to rip him apart for it. Yep, yep. It's like, no, you 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 be smart about what you say. You just say like these games are fucking hollow. There's nothing worth yeah. to them. You know, there, there's nothing worth seventy dollars for this shit. Seventy dollars on top of microtransactions. Yeah, seventy dollars on top of microtransactions. You don't get any. Uh, there's the bare minimum amount of customization in the game, like very, very bare base bones. Uh, and if you want something else, the only, the only different outfit they have is the classic costumes, which should just be in the base game because of the classic costumes. Yeah. Uh, and everything else that's in the store, it's all emotes or uh, costumes you already have, but yeah. new color palettes for those costumes yeah. that shouldn't be locked behind a fucking paid store. I know what I mean. Just notice as a sign of uh, things are bad. I just can't say, uh, but I can't say I can even take the face scan stuff on face value considering the men are usually handsome. As stated, it's a talking point where I'm like, listen, if I if a game's doing that, there are a bunch of other issues with the game going mm-hmm. on. They, they, it, you sell people on the objective facts first, which is yeah. this game has fucking problems. The, the the subjective aspect to it, if you can spin it right, not sound autistic, go ahead and do what you want. You you, you play it like a politician, chat. Yeah. You, you you name your you name your bill, the Feed Humanity Act. Uh, you gloss it up with all the stuff that people give a shit about, and then you sneak. Uh, and the women are ugly in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sneak it in there. Yeah. You don't say, oh, women Think are... like a politician. Yeah. Women are ugly because feminism wants to destroy the concept of beauty. It's oh, like, and, no, no, no. and the game's bad. And the game's bad. Yeah. It's like no, the the game sucks ass, and also the uh, the women look ugly as shit. That, that's what you do. That's what you do, because uh, they do. The game sucks ass, yeah. and women are ugly as shit. Uh, you see what Dragon's like with two now. People are saying it's ESG garbage. Don't uh, don't believe them. They just want outrage for no reason. Yes. Yeah. Seeing that, we're, we're the, the like, cold posters that are like. Well, the oh, the yeah, one okay. dipshit that was like, oh my god, the the protagonist looks so fucking dry, and there was a black guy in a Western fantasy game. I, and people are like, I, I love did it. you fucking play the first one? No, they didn't. Uh, my favorite thing was they got community noted, and the community yeah. note is like uh, in Dragon's Dogma Two, you create your own character. They purposely made the character ugly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know the women are ugly. Just focusing on all the uh, all the many other things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because I say that that is the shit that matters. The the shit yeah. that matters is the fact that it's a video game. It's the video game stuff that matters. Yeah, they're they're trying to sell you shit that just is not worth seventy dollars. Mm-hmm. That's broken. That's buggy. That's grindy as fuck. Trying to sell you shit that's not even worth forty bucks. Yeah. For seventy bucks. Yeah. It will. It, it, it's like the Dead Space remake thing with the the general neutral bathrooms. Mm-hmm. It's like there there are other problems in that game yeah. beyond that. Like uh, th- this game released. Uh, so Hell Divers in this game released at the, uh, around about the same time. Yeah. Uh, Hell Divers had issues with their servers where people couldn't play, but that's because too many people were trying to play this. Yeah. This game with a peak on Steam uh, of two thousand players, or uh, just over two thousand players. Uh, also, people could not get into just because they fucked up, and it's just uh, on them. They did a poor job. Yeah. Uh, there's no, oh, our game was so popular. It's just they did a bad fucking job, and people couldn't play the game that they paid 70 fucking dollars for yeah. at release. Uh, they, they like, a week or two after release, they pushed out a patch that fixed that. There's only been, I think, two patches since the game came out. One was to fix server, server issues and make it more stable. The second one was to fix a patch that allowed you to grind uh, to grind XP at 10,000% the normal rate. 
and that's the only pa- the only two patches there have been. The game released without Battle Pass content. Yeah. They want to charge seventy dollars for a, an experience that's barely scraping the bottom of the barrel at twenty. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, talk about how hollow and soulless the game is. How it feels like a machine made it, not someone mm-hmm. passionate about the finished product. Exactly. That's that's what this is. Sweet Baby is a committee. That that is what they are at the end of the day. They are a committee trying to make art, and what is the most famous saying in all of art? You can't, can't make, make art, art by, committee. by committee. It's like you can't fucking do it. It just that it will not work. It will not corns you know coincide. Uh, so they're just kind of adding on to an issue that's already going on, which is the fact of like. You had developers who are fucking exhausted, and they're dealing with this bullshit. They got a contract job. They're like, fuck, what do we do? We, we got to make this work. Because uh, they don't want to fucking do this. The, the man I saw gameplay of it is like, they don't want to fucking no. do this shit. No. It's like the man people saw was a Destiny clone. It's like, no one wants to fucking do this shit. But they have to. They don't have a choice. Man, it's been $100 in a game to play it a few days early just to not be able to play it. Those people yeah. must feel like complete jackasses. Don't forget them having to fix people instantly having everything in the game clear yeah. to start. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Yeah, 100% the game, uh, the instant you boot it up. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. So that that, that is your lesson for the night, uh, people. It is think, think about th- think about the tragedy of Suicide Squad and what it actually meant. Uh, not not just the the famous you know Twitter talking points, but what actually fucked up deep down, and the real problems with it. That being, it was not thought out. It had seven years, and it was not thought out because no one wanted to think it out. Yeah. Because thinking about it fucking sucked. So. Okay. I think everybody showed up. Where we're going to call it is uh-huh. 4 in the morning here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, see you guys.